And I think it was just because he was a little angry about the Eagles doing so poorly in the Super Bowl. Is that what that's about? Yeah. Well, basically, oh. we, we went to a party. You know, we had a party at the at the Hard Rock in one of their banquet halls. Big Super Bowl party, big screens. Now, this was drink. after I left, right there? Yes, yes. Yeah, this was the party. Yeah, it all broke loose after you left. And See what I mean? Like, all these guys. Yeah, and they can stay. Artie has to leave. <laughs> it came so far out of left field for me because, I mean, we're literally sitting around the game. There wasn't even a score in the game. And, you know, we're, we're chucking stuff at each other, just having a good time. I took a little cocktail napkin and rolled it up, and I threw it at him, and it bounced off his head. So, And then it ricocheted off his head, and it hit his girlfriend. Hey, Bob. Hey. Uh, I can't believe Dan thinks I'm mad at him because Philly lost. I mean, this was going on way before the game started. He's just throwing papers. He's trying to tip my girlfriend's chair over the plane because that's funny to him. You know, if it's not making a quack quack sound, that's his funniness. All right? And then when I tell him something, I told him I was going to break his legs right there. Okay? The only reason he didn't get his legs slapped because we were at the hard rock. How come it's so hard to hear him? him? What, what, know, what kind of phone are you on, dude? I'm on I'm, a I'm, I'm regular phone. Portable? Yes. Yeah, the portable phone, I, just as a professional, portable phones don't work. Yeah. You sound like muffled, and it's hard to know what you're talking about. It's like, it's, it's, like, it's like this. And then he does something in there, and I tell him I'm going to break his legs. It's just like the worst quality phone. I mean, it's like people with these portable phones. I, your, I can barely hear you, so it might be your phone. Well, maybe. But I'm telling no, but I mean, you. He's throwing stuff the whole beginning of the game. The, the Eagles weren't even losing at this point. And then he told her, F you. He told her, I just found this out yesterday. Can you get on a regular phone? Ah. Uh. This is the only one I have right now. You don't I have did. a hard wire phone? No, this is the only one I got. Okay. Is it, is it a cell phone? No, it's a regular phone. It just goes on the wall. Oh, That's it. It has no wire. It's a cheap cordless. It's a cheap cordless. It's it a, is a cheap cordless. There's like a high frequency squeal every time he speaks, and it stops when he stops speaking. Right. <laughs> but uh, now, I missed a little bit of it because I was walking down the hallway, Bob, but what, what was it that I did? You tell me uh, you weren't showing stuff the whole time, I told you. Like three times, I said, stop. And the last time I said, I'm going to come over there and, and cripple you. No, and no, you don't, no, that's, and that's, you have no idea I said that. No, that's what you're telling people that you said to me. You no, that's what I said. But you can ask Paul was sitting right there. Anybody that was right there. He's such a phony bastard. What is this? Let you were throwing something. stuff at him? You're a phony I took, bastard. I took a cocktail. Okay, there's no reason to even be down there besides have your head up Artie's ass, all right? I threw it in his head. Bob, no, dude, dude, you told my girlfriend to shut the F up. No, I didn't. All right? You, you're telling me Paul D'Angelo lied to my face then. No, okay? well, I, t you, why don't, right? why don't I will you ask your you, girlfriend you what bitch, you said. Okay? She said, don't you throw watch. She said, don't throw anything at Bob because I'm the one that has to sit home on the plane with him today, and I don't want him being any grumpier than he is. And I said, don't worry about that it. That is such a lie. I said, you are, I said you are, I'll, I'll take such responsibility such for it. You and if he's so really that much on the rig, I'd be more than happy to give you my seat. Why don't you tell people how to play blackjack all day, all right? Now, you're also, you're you're also just telling a, people. You're the biggest phony I've ever seen in my goddamn life. What is what really? You know what I mean? All you do is drop names all goddamn week. They're still sweeping up Howard's and Artie's name from all weekend. See, all right? You're pathetic. All right? Bob. I don't care what kind of phone I am. You suck and you're a piece of crap. Okay. All right? Like and you, you think you're a tough guy? You think you're a tough guy? Well, if Somewhere I was a tough I'm guy, I guess the hard rock people that I said I was going to punch somebody out. Somewhere I'm not at the hard rock face. or the airport. Come to my face. I will cripple you. Bob, I came to you. son of a bitch of a human being. Listen, you know, it's it's good shtick, and I'm glad that you got it's, out of the air, Bob. Sick, you know, you're a pussy. Why don't you do And there's no reason for you to be there. Oh. I can't even talk. I can't even do this. It's absolutely right. You can't. Oh. This is not a bad. Bob, just relax. Gonna you know, you're a pussy. I'll step back and I'll allow you to say what you have to say, but then I'd like to try and get a sentence in edgewise. And I, oh, excuse you're me for talking Jersey. while you're busy <laughs> interrupting, but you know, I'll That's do That's what you best. do is you're such a conniving bastard. Well, let Dan say okay. his piece. All right, Bob. Dad. I came up to you in the airport after hearing how you were going to kick my ass, and I woke you up, and I kissed you on the cheek, and I said, no hard feelings, I love you, Bobby, and you gave me a big smile. No. I give you, because at the airport, that's the smile of death, okay? You don't know anything. Really? No, I, you, I had heard from all do? the people kick that were supposed to you, airport, you, you, jail? you were going to kick my you're ass a, at the you're airport. You're a coward, Dan. You, you know what I mean? Bob. Didn't you I? Are how many times have I heard you, you're going to beat the crap out of people because they did you wrong, and then you're kissing and hugging and making up the next time? I was. You were such a liar. You, weren't I you going to beat the living crap you out of you? Artie, you are such a phony and a liar. Artie, do you know what's going on? 
This all happened after I left, Howard. No, I don't know. This is in. Where was this in? This in, was at the party at the Super Bowl. Yeah, I had to leave oh. seven a.m. Super Bowl morning. This was in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry that I threw a cocktail napkin at your head. It did I mean, it four times. You tried to tip her chair over twice. I never okay, did. I tip her chair over. Twice. She was leaning it back, and I stop. grabbed the back okay. of her chair and studded it. I would never try to tip over her chair. Nor the would I go Super around and tell people that I was going to kick some of these girls. All right, let us enjoy the game. If I had no intention of doing it. I was watching the game and I was having a good time. You're the biggest ball buster on the planet. Now all of a sudden you got to bug up your ass and you're on the rags and nobody can when do we're doing it. stuff. You can dish it out, but you can't take it in. I mean, how's that thing out? Like throwing it, putting mustard on Paul's chair. That's that's ball busting, Dan. Actually, I didn't put mustard you're on his chair. You're lucky he didn't snap your neck. All right, he was gonna snap your neck too. Yeah, everybody's gonna kick my ass when they're not around me, right? Dan, I'll meet you anywhere today. I guarantee you don't make it to work tomorrow because you are nothing but a... Dad, you want to talk crap now? Let's meet and see if you make it to work, you goddamn pussy. Bob, you You're a told goddamn me you pussy. my ass and I came right up to you and you didn't have a bad thing to say to me. Weren't you going to beat the crap out of Yucko at one time and then you guys were kissing to make up because he had the nerve to do a roast and you're the guy that does roasts? Hey, Dan. How many Dan. times have you told me that somebody was over, it's finished, it's done? Why don't you just answer me this? When have I ever not come through when you've needed me to do something for you? When have I not got somebody else to take my daughter to her dance recital so that I could do a ro record one of your roasts for you and then edit it down from 10 minutes to one minute? And when all of a sudden do you start deciding that, you know what that, I mean, that, that Bob Levy is a force to be reckoned with and I can't get around with him? People's days. Who, who the hell are you to be there to do that? Okay? You weren't on so the show. Is, uh, so what is Bob saying you did? You threw a napkin at I, his head? No, about okay, four of them or whatever. He's throwing I, stuff. I asked him to stop four times. All right, and then he, his, your, he, your he girlfriend took her, her chair back, back, and you caught her chair, I guess? Like, yeah, I like, grabbed it. Yeah, she was leaning back, and I grabbed the back of her chair. You know, you, you make right. somebody think they're going to fall, but of course I wouldn't do that. I mean, I might do that to anybody else, but, you, but I wouldn't do that to the great said, Bob Levy's You said to I, I mean, he went through the up. trouble of bringing his girl, you know, to Vegas the Super Bowl week, and I wasn't going to do anything to All cast right. a dark well, cloud over it. I think Sounds like there's a big war going on. I think I can add something. To this. Yeah. I think I sort of know what's going on. You know, they were all in the Get John's Job contest together. Right. Oh, please. That's Dan's not the here, to Get John's Job. And Bob's not. And I think Dan made a comment to Bob, words to the effect of, you're just sour because you don't get enough airtime. No, no, no. That's actually what Bob was telling people. Yeah, he said. Told what me, I he said goes, was, just, I can't goes, believe... You're just mad at me because you, you're so desperate for airtime. No, I'm absolutely desperate for airtime. Well, 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 now, well, 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 now that we've had your genius stand. paraphrasing of what I said, why don't I just tell you what the words were that came out of my mouth? Okay, how about this? I, I, got it on, I think I got it on my cell phone. Like how about I give it to somebody really and they play it tomorrow? Sure, yeah bring, yeah, bring in the message. I said, I can't believe that you're reacting like this. I can't believe that it's for real. Is this some kind of shtick so that you want me to talk about Dan, it? Dan, I don't do stick, okay? I know, I don't do stick. I know, I've seen your act. I know you don't do stick. All right. Okay. All right. Look. See the hack. Go, ahead. Go put your head back up Artie's ass. All right, Dan. So, uh, Bob, do you want to apologize to Dan now? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm Bob. I know you're a big tough guy, and everybody should be scared of you. No, Dan, because you're, you're telling you're, everybody you're that you are just a big troublemaker. You know what I mean? Name that's dropper. Exact, that's, that's exactly you're the one. Oh, that, I'm hey, a name you're dropper. Just, hey, you're hey, just a pussy. Hey, that's what you are. I had broads hanging on me. For three hours before somebody even whispered in their ear, that's Dan's song party. I don't want to say because I'm embarrassed to say who I am, quite honestly. You know, I mean, not that I'm embarrassed, but it, it, to me, it's it's not going to score me any points. You know? uh, Dan, Dan, so, so, I mean, don't tell me I was dropping there, names. Besides... You're telling people that you saw me calling, making reservations, and dropping names. I ate one meal the whole time that I was there. It was room service, and I wasn't dropping any names. Okay, if I if I dropped any names, I, I I'd probably just be telling people I'm dropping. Uh, you gotta get I'm dropping the name. Let's pull the end from because uh, this is hilarious. He's very scary. Yeah. He's tough. And now we're going to get go the Dan Stone Party Man popping. Oh, that is Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Go get one, Dan. Wait, wait. I'm running out of time. So. You Dan, know that's not the case. do you think it you could disrespect people that I'm with, and that's not right? Do you think you could kick Bob Levy's ass? Well, I mean, I'd have no problem. Uh, I, I wouldn't back down from. There's no, there's no doubt about. Probably you would lay down. I mean, I mean, I mean, I know that Bob can really beat the crap out of people because I've heard him tell me that many times. <laughs> right. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah. so I mean, I guess he was prepping me for the one day where we might have a confrontation, so that I should run and hide. But you're a pretty tough guy. I mean, you got the tattoos and the bike and the whole thing. And the gravity yeah. knife. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, that really doesn't have a bearing on it. But uh, you know, to me, I'm not going to back down. You can handle sure. yourself, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I'd step up. I'd step up before I'd run away. You know, even if I thought there's a chance I'd get an ass kicking. But. Lay down before you can run away. Well, 
Dan, Dan, you're just you're just a phony, man. And and you're, you're, you're I'm absolutely. glad I've seen it this weekend. You're, you're absolutely right. Look, for the last five years, I've done anything that you've asked me to. I've tried to help you. You've helped. You're disrespectful. Me. You think somebody thing. with you? You brought a girl with no teeth to Long Island. I was nice to her. Please, <laughs> I give, a me a break, break, give me a break, Dan. Give me a break. You, the only, you have respect the only for person people I know that you're with, all right? The woman with no you have respect you, for them. You pop those phony teeth out the front. You're the one who was acting like the woman all weekend. I mean, I expected to go out. Audie, I was, I was, you can ask Audie. I was having a great time. You come there, take it home. I'm going to get Audie at the airport. Audie knows how to get back from the airport. All right. Okay. Audie's a big boy, okay? You know, we, they're know, saying in the office, Howard. Yeah. Like, for Artie, you know, Artie's talking about people in the green room before the show. Like, this is the exact crap that Artie doesn't want to deal with when he goes to Vegas. Luckily, exactly. he missed it. He missed it, but, but sometimes... It could have been right in the middle of it. Sometimes yeah. it on this a goes on in the dressing room. This goes on, right. No, but all these guys are friends. Like, Dan has been with me on a lot of gigs. He helps sure. me out uh, really a lot. Levy's like, Levy's like a better comedian than I am. I just happen to be on this show, so he has to open for me. Right, but Artie doesn't... Like, it's great that he's on the show. Like, Bob's a good guy. We're all friends, and when I left and heard all about this, I'm like, what are you guys... What happened out there? You I was, guys are ready to kill each other. And I was yeah, really just shocked so because, because somebody I didn't with. get That's any of this. Both. I just thought Bob was in a grumpy mood, but then he was I'm not. I'm not in a grumpy people. mood. You were I, you're telling everybody else your version Dad, of what happened. Dad, I told you five times. Of it's not everyone else. Okay. Everybody was around seeing okay. me threaten to kill you right now, there. In this conversation right? alone, so, it started so, with three I'll times. Tell you, oh, it this is what really happened. Oh, the, and now it's five times. All right, your head up, party no. death. Why don't, don't we you wait take until tomorrow so that it'll be six or seven Who are you taking in the fight? Who am I taking <laughs> yeah, in the fight? Who, what, who would you say would win? I don't know. Who would win? I don't know. Dan, Dan's like a motorcycle guy with tattoos. But, and, but, and I'll knock the tattoos off him. No, no, Bob, no Bob's Bob, a tough guy because when, when Yucko did a roast of him and Bob was ready to kill him for that, he said, you shouldn't mess with me because you don't know. My, my ex-wife's uh, brother is a big guy out down south and he'll go down there and beat the crap out of Yucko for me. So oh, I'm, I'm just going to try and I'm going to stay on this side of the Mason-Dixon line and, and hopefully everything will be okay. Dan, you, you know, keep and, your and breath Bob, on that side of the Mason-Dixon line, Bob, please. I, I've never done a anything suitcase. but talk great about you, okay? And I try to promote you as best as I can. I try you to help you as much as I can. Somebody is, it I hard, with? is it hard you to promote, said Bob? To go after no, yourself. It's not, it's not, it's Mind not your own business. Go it's, after yourself. Who are you? It's only hard who for people are who you? don't know his act. I mean, who? some people might not like his roast, so they don't want to go stand up. And I say, you can't assess the guy stand up unless you see him because he truly kills. He's truly right. great. And he's also always got out of his way to help everybody. There's thousands of people out there. No kidding, Dan, and that's why you don't him. disrespect me and, like and that. And it's always been mutual, and I didn't know that throwing a napkin at you... Look what goes on. No, you said no, disrespect. You both sound like a couple of girls. What uh, the uh, heck are you talking about? It was the Super Bowl, Robin. It's not, you guys watch the Gilmore Girls. What do you know about sport? <laughs> All right? Listen to me. That's it's the right. Super Bowl. I want to enjoy the game. It's, it's the Super Bowl. It shouldn't be a bunch of guys hanging around, goofing on each other, and having a good time. It should be something. No, else. that right, day, bro. okay? You that's watch fine. the game, goofing on each other. Let's tickle each other during halftime, Dan, all right? Well, I mean, if that's what <laughs> you want to do, you know, you yourself, do. All right? And, and just for the record, <laughs> when you're telling everybody that you said you were going to, you know, you know, you told me to stop it, you beat the crap out of me. I but, told you, you four times a day, everybody was there. Cut the crap, or I'm gonna knock your friggin' table over. And then I think there was one more inc incidence of crap, but you didn't knock the table yeah, but over. Guys, You're still a man of your word. There's a bigger issue here because because Dan helps me out so much on gigs that I actually pay him. Like uh -huh. he helps me, and and uh -huh. Levy is a good comic, so I like having him on shows. He makes the show better. So what are we gonna do now? Is this gonna happen every Wait, gig? You know a lot of my head's happened. gonna explode if, <laughs> if this happens every gig. Well, well, you know, let Dan make the lineup from now on, audio. Okay, okay. It's fine with me. What? Let 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 Dan make the lineup since I. Since oh, he's the itinerary God. man, okay? <laughs> I'd see you a guys, goddamn break. You guys can't be fighting. This is going to be. You like... know why this happened. Hey, Bob. Because Bob has a new girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> so it's, it's, if it was Bob's wife, he wouldn't have cared if you took right. her chair. How would you like it if somebody's doing that to Beth? D do what? Tw Pushing a chair back and forth. I, I would kill him. <laughs> exactly. All right, and tell him, shut the ass but off and stop being a pussy. you don't have the same relationship with Dan that right? uh, Reverend Bob has had over the weeks, and now all of a sudden a girl yeah. is in, and he wants to change the relationship. Dan's hurt. No, he's not a he's disrespectful. You know, Levy, he's Levy, Levy, Levy got, got himself hard. a girlfriend, yeah. it's going to lead to trouble. That's right. That's all that's going <laughs> when on Levy, here. When Levy had the wife, nobody cared about tipping over his And you know what the best part is? The best part is, <laughs> in a month, when Levy's girlfriend's gone, he'll still hate Dan. Right. <laughs> but then I'll bang you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but you're right. Six months ago, I could have thrown his wife down the stairs. He would have bought me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should apologize because that's both. Okay, that's all right. Both. I'll tell you what, Bob. I apologize for anything I did that upset you, okay? I apologize that... 
Why are you apologizing? Su- okay, I apologize that I acted in such a manner that caused you to run to other people and embellish on the story. I, and it, say, I embellish and say that you had threats okay. to my face. All right, you, you guys worked this yeah, out. It's all right. Okay, that's if, what if it is. If you think, if you, th- if it will give you satisfaction you not say, to meet me someplace. Stop being a pussy. All right, I got to go, guys. I'll meet you wherever you want, and, and uh, I'll let you try whatever you want to try. As long as the agreement is, we put it behind us as soon as it's done there. Or you can sneak up from behind me. You can try whatever you want. I'm, and I'm I, don't, I, can, I can come I'm in front of you with a bullhorn telling you I'm coming. You're still going down, bitch, all right? So, so don't even talk about it. Boy, I didn't right. know Levy was such a good He's fighter. A yeah, I know. Yeah. Actually, I've seen Levy at a gig get into a fight in Boca Raton. Oh, yeah. he beat the crap out of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> That's Howard, gig. Howard, I can't wait to go to those gigs. <laughs> Howard, you gotta come. <laughs> I tell you, I, I, I went to see Eddie Murphy. He stood on stage. He made people yeah, laugh, and then he went that? home. Hey, Howard, ask Dan if he can put you on the show. Maybe you can come with us. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, that's good. All right, all right, you Bob. Save that one I for hope you act. guys work it out. The Reverend Bob Levy. What a good troop this has been. Don't yeah. break up. Well, you don't yeah. want to break up this successful yeah, well, trio. We're, we're like the second city of retards. You know, now, uh, you know, d- uh, Bob is introducing a Yoko into the thing. <laughs> no, it's it far from that. <laughs> but right now, Hypogeric is laughing at us. Yeah. Kim, Kim's a great girl, Bob. I love you. Any way you want to settle this, I got no problem with it. If it's going to give you, you'll satis- fight him. Yeah, if, if it's going to give you satisfaction to throw down, hey, I'd you be more than happy to do that. Saying that that doesn't mean if I said that to anyone that anybody was with, that is so disrespectful. Actually, Levy's girlfriend is the biggest sweetheart on the planet. Yeah. She's she re- great. I love she her. She keeps him alive. <laughs> so don't, I can't don't be believe, rude to her. Uh, uh, what does the girlfriend say when he's doing that thing where he eats food out of a girl? He stopped doing he it. Says, Go, daddy. daddy. You don't do that I, anymore? I mean, it's an act. Now, Levy, you stop doing it. It's an that. act. I'm going to stop doing it. I, 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 it can't be hygienic. Just chicks. It's a great closer, though. Really? The crowd goes nuts. Yeah, it's easy following that, too. It's like following a rape. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the audience just flips in it the whole time. You've just seen sexual assault with blue cheese dressing. You know who originally did the blue cheese thing? George Burns started his career. <laughs> <about. laughs> yeah. With that's Gracie? It. Yeah, with Gracie. That's how he met her. <laughs> a lot of people didn't know that. Howard, yeah. listen to me. Yeah, this... Bob stole that from George Burns. <laughs> Howard, this really happened to me at a club in outside of Chicago called Zany's in Illinois, right? Yeah. Yucko and Levy are opening for me. Yucko goes on stage with black strap-ons and like that are okay. <laughs> Leaves him on stage. Levy goes up, does the the ass thing, right? With blue cheese dressing. I go on stage. I'm three seconds into my act. I I trip over a black strap-on, <laughs> get my footing, and slip on blue cheese dressing for Levy's act. <laughs> and you're gonna like, kill you. Right, it was like following some weird sex video. <laughs> like a like prop uh, comedy. Exactly, and I almost Goodness. snapped the kneecap. And oh. they never had us back. All right, Dan, Dan, Dan and Bob, why. I hope you guys work everything out. Me too. Me too. Yeah, guys, come on. Don't do this in Philadelphia. Like, you know, I, I feel like this is the part in Jaws where Dreyfus and Robert Shaw are arguing, and yeah. the Chief Brody goes, you're not going to do this on the boat, are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> i got to go. I'm not even sure what we're finding about, but thank you, Bob. Any All chance right. we can carpool right. to Philly, Bob? I'm going to get, get a better phone. All right. Yeah, please All right. do. All right, Bob Levy and Dan the Song Parody Man. We got to go. We got to take a break. We'll come back. We got a lot going on. Three door, three doors down. Sylvester Stallone. Fifty billion things you got to do, and there's a million people on the phones. But first, this. I'm all for it. I'm so alive for the very first time. Do they ever get to the lyric? Or is it just on a loop? A loop, all right. Why should we just play the song? I'd love to hear some songs once in a while. I don't know we can work that out. Guess not. I've been asking for that for years. Bob Levy's here, he's a comedian. We love Bob. Funny guy. Always have him in. And uh, he wants to sit in on the news. Who am I to stop him? Guy works a lot of comedy clubs. He works hard. So happy to be here. I don't, funny. I don't want to say Bob drinks a lot, but when we work together on the road, I drive. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that means you really do drink. He drinks more than you, huh? Bob is my favorite guy to work with on the road by far because we are comparable drinkers. And we'll drink, like, all Saturday afternoon. I had a guy before a show. Yeah, but I don't lay on the floor before the show like you did. And he did that once in uh, South Jersey. He's laying on the floor going, I'm not going up. 
And I'm like, Artie, you got to go. He goes, you go back. I said, there's going to be a riot if I go back. Right. <laughs> I mean, he's got to he's got to be professional, right? right. But he, we do the job. We do a great job. You get job. it done. You get it done. It's after and before, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who were you at war with again? I forget. But Dan, we that, oh, we, Dan we, get that, we got that straightened out. Oh, but, yeah? Yeah. That was yeah. funny when you guys were arguing. I don't even remember. What were you guys fighting about? I forgot. Oh, the Super Bowl. He, he was, talked. He said something wrong to your girlfriend, right? Yeah, he was throwing stuff at me during the game, and that's upsetting. So you guys are back to being friends? Yes, we made out. We made out. <laughs> Robin, this is great for you. Two models in one day. You happy? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you are a handsome guy. I am pretty for a man, truthfully. <laughs> Feeling better now that you're dating? I hear you have a girlfriend. Yeah, I'm divorced now, too. Oh, you are? But yeah. you still live in your house. I live in the basement. I moved downstairs. Is that true? Yeah. Is your girlfriend allowed over now? No. So how do you no. see her? I see her when I get out of the basement. That's it. I mean, you I go, go to her house and sleep at night? No, I'm, I'm home most of the time. I got a kid, so I want to be with him. And your wife doesn't mind you living in the house? Well, of course she does. Now, is your wife dating up above your head there? No, that would be weird. I'd be like, keep down the noise. You know, it's it's bad. But so you're you know. officially divorced. Yes. You've split your assets, which I know are considerable. Yes. yes. That, yes. that took a while. Right. She, she got the grill. <laughs> yeah. You look happy. I am. I, I'm really happy. I yeah. mean, it's great just working in that. I haven't met the girlfriend. Is she good to you? Yeah, she's good. Yeah. You know. Is I'm, this believe... the same girl from the Super Bowl party? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You met her when uh, she yeah. came up here one day. Is she I mean, good looking? Yeah. she's. Oh, she's... yeah. Howard. She's really cute and really nice. She's like a sweetheart. Is she a stripper? No, no, not yet. I'm uh, working on it. I'm going to make some more money. Yeah. You want her to be a stripper. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to move out of your house at all? Are you just going to stay there? No, I'm going to move. I, I'm supposed to stay. I'm allowed to stay for two years. But right. I don't think I can make two years. I think she'll kill me before then. Right. Do you it's have your own much. separate entrance? No. Oh, so geez. I come right through the house. Oh, my God. This is crazy. It's you unbelievable. Are me. It's a sitcom, and I'm going to write it. I've never heard of something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, that's the deal that it's my a, great lawyer a, got. It's a reality <laughs> show. It is. It is great, but what are you going to do? And that's why I do comedy a lot. I'm always on the road and now working, so that's always good. I read in the regs that Britney Spears is getting a reality show, but they say already her marriage is so bad that they don't even like live together, or they have fights all the time. Or yeah, and but he's that's to make it good. That'll, That'll make, make it make great. A, a good show, right? Yeah, I'd watch that. She had to get married. She's going to get fat anyway. You can see it. She's starting to already. Going to, yeah. See Bob Levy this Saturday at the Webster Theater in Hartford, Connecticut. Are you in on that, Artie? Uh, no, no, but I've played the Webster with Bob before. It's a great place. See Bob April 29th and 30th at the Stress Factory in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And for more information, go to RevBobLevy.com. You ever get so drunk you forget you're divorced and <laughs> no. upstairs to the bed? That would be funny. You've never been that drunk? No. I mean, she would kill me. I mean, we, we just don't get along. She's actually What a good do you think person. the impact is on the kids with you living downstairs and her living upstairs? I don't think he doesn't know any different, you yeah. know? Yeah. I mean, I'm in the house, so he doesn't know any different. Right. I mean, you've told him, though, that you're divorced. Not yet. I'm going to wait till he's 18. <laughs> How old is that kid? Uh, six. Six. He knows you're divorced, though, right? No. He really doesn't? No. He thinks you guys are still married. Yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. Why would you do that? Well, what am I going to do? I don't know. I mean, tell, like, tell him the me, truth. Yeah, tell him you're divorced. Yeah, I mean, he just thinks married people, like, hate each other and avoid each other. That's he's, what he's going to think. The kid Whoa. thinks we're still married and that I'm the head of IBM. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, that's... What, what does he think? You just really like the basement? Yeah. Because you ever say to well, your dad, why don't you ever come out of the basement and come upstairs with me and mom? Yeah, I just tell him, please don't touch that sock when he's down there. <laughs> but seriously, what do you, how do you explain to your six-year-old son that you live down in the basement? Well, I'm doing work. I'm basically writing all the time. So that's Wait, basically do you go up for dinner and... Sometimes. Really? Is that true? Yeah. And you and your wife pretend you're married. Yeah, we no, we just sit there and eat, and then we get into a fight, and I go back downstairs. Oh, so <laughs> they look crazy. married. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like any other couple. And doesn't the kid say, "Well, how come you don't sleep in the same room as mommy?" Or no, no questions. Nope. But you think the kids? I, I mean, I'm sure the kids are very bright. But yeah. You think the kid would get a little suspicious? Yeah, I just don't think he wants to talk about. He doesn't you want know to what I mean? Deal with it, yeah. he, I mean, so it he, sounds like. A regular sort of Jersey marriage. You live no, in, it doesn't. You live no. in the basement. You have a girlfriend. Yeah. You're always arguing. Has the kid met your girlfriend? No, 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 not yet. No, I don't know. You know that'll you know, be the hardest thing. thing for me was telling the kids, and especially my six year old. Like she took it real hard, but yeah. But I mean, they do need to know the truth. I know. Well, I'm just. Uh, it'll take me a few more months probably to come up with yeah, it. You yeah. know, but it's it's tough. You know. Are you afraid some of the kids at school might blur, blur, blurt out the news? No. They don't know. Well, no. here's the real. No. Bob's kid is 22. Yeah. No, it's, Bob's kid is six. <laughs> yeah. Now, you got it. You know what, Bob? Yeah. I don't even know that. You should really let him in on it. 
And the girlfriend, I mean, she must be a little, uh, well, you know, she's very understanding. Well, that's what it is. I mean, I have to have somebody understanding because I've been through two marriages. So I'm, you know, it's going to be about me now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. I mean, no more. You know, if you don't like it, you know, everybody can leave. I don't care. Right. You're bitter. It's all, no, I'm not bitter. It's all about my kid right now. Right. So, right. and uh, people are going to have to deal with it. Are you a good dad or? Uh, I'm a great dad. Yeah. You know, it's hard to play ball at this age with him, but... Why don't you just sit the kid down and be honest and say, Mommy got fat, and I, I don't... <laughs> you're, you're, you're I mean, cool. actually, I don't even know if your wife got fat. I'm just making a joke. No, nah, it just didn't work right. out, and what are you going to do? you got to move on, so now... So now you feel better about your wife? Like, are you happy for her? Yeah, no, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, this, hopefully, you know, everybody's happy. I want everyone to be happy. Someone told me your wife even still cuts your hair. Yeah. With a scissor. Yes. Yeah. But there's something wrong with me. Who dyes the hair? Oh, keep out of it, Artie. <laughs> <laughs> that I do myself. That's why it looks like this. But the whole thing is, like, she was cutting my hair one time. You dye your hair? A little bit. Because it's gray. Well, yeah, it comes back in pretty quick. You got to oh. see right after he does it, man. He looks, uh. he looks, his face looks 80 and his hair looks like he's six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Artie, at least I have hair. Look at that. I do. I, I'm not going to, yeah, come on. I'm my not gonna God, do you're losing hair like a cancer patient. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Well, maybe I have cancer. Do you ever think of that, Bob? Don't make fun. So you, you're losing <laughs> hair like a cancer. You bastard. You, uh, so she cuts the hair, mm -hmm. and she's still willing to take care of you. She must love you on some level. Well, I and guess everybody everybody gets along, you know what I mean? You try uh -huh. to get along. But we did have a fight when she was cutting my hair, and I said, that's it. You're done. And I run out of the chair. She goes, I only cut one side. I had to come back then. Because yeah. I thought she was cutting a no, little off each side. Levy, Levy has the face of an old Elvis and the hair of a young one. <laughs> <laughs> And you so have you, the body of both. Do you find, like they say, a lot of divorced couples honestly sometimes have sexual feelings toward one another. Even no. the, you don't have that. You no, it's over. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like you just want to be you. friends. You know. Well, I wish her happiness. I know it can't be easy being married to you. I'm sure she's thinking she f me every night when she got the settlement. So yeah. ah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, she's like living like Rockefeller now. <laughs> well, she got the house. I got nothing. I signed over the house. I did good. You know what I mean? I did the right thing. You have to give her future earnings too. Uh, not really. Well, there you are know? none. <laughs> They're on. I figured me and Audie will be dead in two years anyway. So, yeah. someone tells me you get so drunk on stage you mix up your girlfriend stories with your marriage stories. Yeah, I do. I, right? Because you know what I mean. You, it's like you don't want to change the whole act because something right, happened right, in right, your right, life. You right. know. So sometimes <laughs> you Levy's, just keep going. Wait, let me tell you. Yeah, why write a new joke? Here's, yeah. Here's Levy's. Here's what Levy worries about on the road. Okay. Yeah. He does this great joke. His mother-in-law, right, mm -hmm. was living with him, and he hated her, and she was starting to lose her marbles a little bit. And he, he, says, he says, what I do now is I punch her in the face and tell her she fell. <laughs> So what? He, he, yeah. She she was starting to go like crazy. Uh -huh. yeah, she would say like, "I want to die, I want to die," and then I say, yeah. you know, and then she calls the cops and I put a pillow over her face, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and but, then I say, "Now I just punch her and tell her she fell because she don't know." She, right. But, but but she she did actually die. Yeah. Oh. So he didn't know whether or not to keep doing that joke. Yeah, I was like, should I take that out? And he's like, they they kill. Why would you take it out? Yeah, I mean, leave it. Well, you still do mother-in-law jokes, but she's been dead. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Or Eddie Dangerfield would do that. Like, sure. Stuff about his wife, even after he was divorced. Yeah. It's a generic one. Now it's great. Now, now Richard Christie's doing comedy. Have you seen this no. train wreck? No, is it horrible? Oh, my God. His act can stop a rape. I really? swear to God. <laughs> you see the way he looks? I mean... Well, he's a beginner. I know, but you see him on stage, his like, face and that. He looks like a burnt cheese doodle doing his act. I mean, he looks what like... What is a, his act? Uh, it's it's basically him having sex with himself. Well, let me... Let, hey, hey, Richard, come on in and do some of your act, dude. Don't you want to see this? I'm dying to see. He has an act? Ah, uh, sort of. A lot of people. He has material? He sounds like Dr. Phil drunk on stage. That's Hi, it. everybody. I'd like to just tell you that I'm here to do some jokes for you. Yesterday it was so cold. How cold was it? I pleasured myself. <laughs> What, let me. What do you? Hey, I don't. At least I don't have to eat cheese out of somebody's bad place to to make people laugh. Well, when you have talent, you will one day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You? How long is your act? It's. Uh, I got about twelve minutes now. Actually, it's been going pretty good. I, I'll say this weekend was a little tough. It was a couple tough crowds, but right. it's been going pretty good. I. What about the 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 joke where I play Russian roulette with my private parts? You gotta admit that's well, pretty good. Well, that's gay. That's gay. <laughs> that's what that is. Wait, I mean, would you, you would you point your thing at your face while you were doing it? Well, 
I say I spice, spice it up a little bit, and I, I play games when I'm with myself, and I do Russian roulette with myself. Do you have oh. any clean material that you can do? <laughs> um, let me try and think. I, I do a bit, actually, I do a bit about my dad getting bit by the possum. Uh -huh. I say, you know, I've lived in... Everyone can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Possum are all over New York. Well, I kind of make fun of myself being from Kansas, and I say, even though New York's known for crime, it's still a little bit safer than Kansas, because my dad got bit by a possum the other day. So it's nice to live in New York and not have to worry about getting bit by a possum. Now, I might get raped by a crackhead transvestite in an alley, but at least they don't usually have rabies. To book Richard Christie, call. <laughs> yeah, how do I book you? You got a New York up your act. The problem is, yeah, it would go good in Kansas. Well, I, I Get start Eric out. The, uh, actor on the phone. See if Richard. Yeah, he would have laugh. laughed at that. I think it'd be funny if you had makeup on like Sal has when he's on stage. <laughs> no, I start out. I start out with the thing saying, "Oh, I guess you people kind of notice that I have a little bit of an accent," mm -hmm. and then I say, "Yeah, I'm from Brooklyn," and then I say, "They they kind of <laughs> laugh at that." And then I say, uh, wow. That's how you open? <laughs> and then I'll usually say. That's also how he closes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll say, uh, yeah, I, I actually have fond memories of, like if I'm in Long Island or something, I'll say, I, f I have fond memories of growing up in Brooklyn and hanging out on Long Island. I actually lost my virginity here in this club in the bathroom. Jim the maintenance man, he was, he was hung like a horse. Hey, can you do the um, can you do the possum joke again? Yeah. <laughs> no, all right. All right. Well, you're beginning. You're getting around. Yeah, I've only been doing it for a couple months. So here's, a good, uh, here's a good opening line in New York City. Does anyone else have a tractor? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do a bit about me making love to goats and stuff. They seem no, to laugh. Not, at I like that. the way he calls it a bit. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any jokes where you unplug the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I should try that. All right. Good luck to you, Richard. Okay, Chris. thanks. All right. Up and coming uh, can we say? One time, one time, I was really drunk on the road, and Levy told me that uh, if I needed it at the time, I could have his liver. And I, I said, <laughs> "There's a tough one." This was a few, this was a few years ago, and I said, that, "That's like Christopher Reeve saying, y if you need it, you could have my spine." <laughs> well, you know, Levy, he he just anyone he sees at the station, he tries to book him for uh, to do. Comedy no, that's show. not true. That's that's everybody calls me. Everybody, oh, calls me. everybody calls me. I'm waiting for the Will and Jason tour. <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome. I was just listening to the wrap-up show from yesterday. My satellite radio went out in my car, oh. so I couldn't hear the wrap-up show yesterday. So the guys are playing it for me in here. I don't know what happened. It seems the brain wasn't talking to the radio. Do you, do you uh, know what I'm talking about there? Yeah, there's a brain inside the car. Yeah, there's a brain inside the car. <laughs> I'm like, is it real? Really? <laughs> Why is this difficult? Why is my radio Why not is the work? brain not talking to the car? I've had it before. Really? The brain stopped talking to the radio. Mm. And something to do with the way they installed it. They, they hid the brain somewhere in the car that you can't reach. So I got to bring it to some place. Oh. And then have them take apart the car and then get to the radio. Mm. Brain. Right. Hey, Ronnie. Well, tomorrow, probably when the car goes out to Long Island, that's yeah. where the guy is. Um, they have to take the radio out of the ceiling because that's where it's mounted. Yeah. Behind the radio is the brain up in the ceiling of the car. Oh. And they just have to unplug it. And plug it back in. And this is a silly question, but explain this to me. Why doesn't the guy just move the brain somewhere where we can get access to it? Like, there's a if million places. It needs places. to be rebooted that often. Like, why does he have to put it in yeah, the I ceiling? Know. Like, I, why I, doesn't he put it like where like one of those drawers are or something in the car? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, I mean, he's put he's putting the brain. So we know we regularly have to reboot it, right? Which I I don't even understand that about. Yeah, that. I, uh, I had it happen yesterday also on the radio really? on the front. But the brain is behind my seat, so I, all I do is unplug it like for two seconds and plug uh -huh. it right back in. Can't they put my brain behind your seat? Or can't they put it somewhere? I don't know. I'm going I'm to ask him. Yeah, ask him if he can I'm move the brain. I'm going to ask him. It seems silly that we have to be a week without satellite it's radio. It's crazy, right? Yeah. It's, in, it's ridiculous. It's but, like a uh, whole operation. They take the whole car apart just to fix right. my satellite for, radio. For two seconds. Yeah. It's, it's a two-second thing. All you do is you unplug it and just plug it right back in. And it's How fine. long does it take him to get to the brain? Um... Uh, He's got to slide the radio out. Yeah, I don't know. How long can that take? Ten minutes. As long as I got you in here, let me switch topics. Is Scott, the engineer, now officially off the Ronnie's Block Party tour? As far as I know, he quit yesterday. He for quit real? Yesterday. No, for real. Mm. Yeah, for real. Um, <laughs> that's the all. Arguing continues. He, he, uh, he. 
I tried to talk. He had a talk with Shuli on Monday, and that got ugly. And that got ugly. And I was, I was in, I was, I was. What when was we it? left here last Wednesday, last Wednesday, yeah, everything was fine. And then Monday morning, I heard he wanted to have another meeting. Oh dear, he goes See, home and gets riled. And I, up. I don't want to have meetings. I want nothing right. to do with right. meetings. You want to have some fun? Yeah. Well, I think I might have riled him up by accident. How? Because he came in and I was talking to him about. It. I said, well. I was under this understanding when Shuley, Ronnie the limo driver, and Scott the engineer put together the Ronnie block party thing. What they did is they sat down in a room and they said, hey, let's go out on tour and we'll split the money three ways. You know, whatever's left over, we'll split it three ways. So I started thinking about it and I said to Scott, you know, if that was the arrangement, why is it changing all of a sudden? You know, the more money they made, they would make more money as they went along on the road. So if that was the deal, so I kind of said it to Scott. Hey, and I, yeah. I can tell you, I spoke to Shuley. I think he's here today, too, because he's got some funny letters from people that are already suing Scott that want money back from the trip. <laughs> well, he's already booked on Toronto. Right. right. The Toronto people want that he's money promoted back. on Toronto, and he quit the show. You can't do that. you got to give notice. Well, uh, well, that's what I said to him yesterday. I said, well, if you're going to quit, you should do the Toronto show because, you know, you're maybe already, he you're already booked on it. Maybe he doesn't want to do the Toronto show because he feels you guys will be angry with him since he's quitting and he's going to take a lot of shit. Well, but I mean, he's quit before and right. we weren't happy with it, so why would he think we'd be okay with it now? What was your discussion with Scott the Engineer? I heard it was heated. Like, he just, he, he can't get off the, you know, but then Ronnie told me the original deal wasn't that you guys are going to split three ways. No, it wasn't. He's the only one, and Ronnie sits there and tells him right to his face, there was no partnership, there was no... Splitting down the middle. All so how do you parties. decide who gets what money? In other words, well, I wish I didn't have to do it, but right. unfortunately, I you're do. The, you're sort of the appointed leader of the right. group, and so you get paid, right? And then, like Ronnie said, he's thrilled. He gets a check for twenty five hundred dollars or whatever it is, like Scott gets, and he doesn't even ask any questions. He's like, I can't believe I get to go to Ronnie's block party and make twenty five hundred bucks for the weekend, which is a lot of money. The only gripe Ronnie's had was he said, I just want I just need to make sure that I'm back Sunday in time to be at work Monday. Right. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing I've gotten from Ronnie this entire tour. Not to mention the five other people on the tour, not a peep. Right. Nobody's complaining about a fucking thing. Scott is under the belief that he is the draw with Ronnie. In other words, you right. guys go out on your own and you draw nothing, right. according to him. And that they could get any comic to front the show and, and do the hour show. And then he would pay them. So Any two-bit comic, as he said. Two-bit, right. right? And, right. and he, he throws shit at me. And then in this meeting... I, now, when we were on the air last time, I fired him. I had enough. Surely, I want a ruling on this. Is Scott off the show? No, he's off. He's done. He's I, done. You're never working and, with and, him again. And, and everything Good. he's done here today Good. just I don't need proves this shit. that I'm making the right decision. You Trying wanna, to throw uh, you us under the bus, us, making up shit. I was going to do it. I had no problem doing the shows. Of but course you, you have no problem you, doing it. Yeah, of course. You're getting $2,500. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, really. But yeah, you have no problem fucking bitching about everything. Ronnie came to me. He said, look, let's try and work this out. Okay. You know, And I understand Ronnie and him are friends. Out of respect to Ronnie, I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a whirl. Right. We sat down last week in the office in Scott's studio, talked, worked everything out. I said, Scott, from here on out, you'll so get... So how did you... So you said, from here on out, you'll get a You'll salary. get a flat fee, and on weekends that we do well, when I can bump you up, I will. Right. I didn't say it's, you're never going to make more than this. I said, this is, this is your minimum. And then if I can do more, then I will get you more. And he says, wait he a says, second, surely. No, no, no. He agreed to it. Right. He agreed to it. Right. Then the weekend came. Uh-oh. Then Monday morning came. Right. Obviously, somebody got in his head. Well, he got in his head. Let's or he got in his head. Right. And he shows up Monday and he says to me, after the show, I'd like to meet with you two again. <laughs> so I said to Ronnie, I go, he wants to have another meeting. Ronnie's like, what, what's another meeting? Ronnie's like, I'm done with these meetings. I don't want to do these meetings. Right. So we go, we sit down. Right back to square one. Right. This was a partnership. This oh. is this. And I go, Scott, you already agreed. We were moving forward. Well, I thought about it, and, uh, you know, it's just not right. It's not fair. If you guys want to be fair with me. 
So I said, you know what, Scott? I go, you got to you gotta let me know. Are you in or are you out? And then he said he's out. No, he says, I'll let you know my decision tomorrow. Wow, like uh, <laughs> like the president. Yes. <laughs> right. So Tuesday I walk in. <laughs> His decision. I go like to him. Supreme I said, court. Yeah. Yeah. I said, Scott, what's your decision? I need to know. Because I got, I got shit I got to fill up. Well, you didn't know? he want you to open your books to him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. He wanted well, a why breakdown. Why won't you? Why don't you give him the breakdown? Why don't you just say, hey, look, here's what I got. Here's what Ronnie got. Here's what you got. I got no problem with it, but it never ends with him. That's the thing. If right. I speak split everything 50-50 with him, right. there will still be something that he's not okay with. Because right. the bottom line is, he doesn't trust me. Right. I don't want to work with somebody who doesn't trust so me. So why not just open the books to him and show him the split? Because, because Howard, it won't satisfy. I'm telling you, when here's here's something. When right. we first did our See, first four or five shows. he feels you're getting a lot more money than him. Let me he, tell you something. He should get more money than him. Right. You feel surely he can he's take the, whatever he wants. He's the, he, he's the not headliner. Not that he should take whatever he wants, but... He's the headliner. He's got to pay the comics. In other words, even though, it's called deserve... Ronnie's, even though it's called Ronnie's Block Party, right. the reality is someone's got to get up there and entertain the people for an hour. Right. And they, we have other comics that deserve to get paid also. Right. Not $100. You know Are what I'm you saying? Are you curious what the what the No, I don't even ask. Generates? I don't care. You, you just can't believe you're getting $2,500. I'm glad that we go out to people. I'm telling you. When, you know, mustn't people bust your balls on the air and curse right. you out and say you're an asshole and everything? Right. When we go to do these shows, they are fucking thrilled to see us. Right. How and, it, and I love it. I think it's great. When we did the first four or five shows, right. we drew nothing. We made nothing. Right. These guys, I made sure that they got paid. Right. Our promoter Sequoia lost money. I lost money on these shows. They got paid. Right. Scott knew when there were 40 people at, at one of our shows early on, he didn't ask to see the books then. No. He took his money and he shut the fuck he up. He was fine. He didn't anything bad. He didn't want a, he, he, no, he and, didn't want a partnership And this at that whole point? Robin Hood fucking thing that he's doing, oh, I'm looking to reduce <laughs> expenses for everyone else. And, yeah. and in these meetings, he looks at me and he goes, he has the balls to go, it's not even about the money. I go, what the fuck is it about then? Of course it's about the money. Hey, what, what is it about to him? Right. Yeah. Just, just fucking be up front. Just look me in my... And he tells me, he goes, I feel I'm not respected. I go, really? You want me to respect you? You fucking sit here and shit all over what I do for a living. Wow. And you want respect. So he's out now. So I said because to him it, yesterday, it, I it said... Is, it, it seems to me that if you guys wanted to, you could take like JD to Ronnie's block party or... Like, Sal would probably be thrilled to get 2500 for the weekend. And Sal actually does some stand-up. There's a line of people out there. Who's in the line? Yeah, but to Sal, Sal wants, I think Sal, when <clears throat> Sal goes out, he wants... Uh, big money. He wants big money. Right. Mm. From what I heard. I, really? I don't know Sal sure. gets big money? I don't know for sure, but that's that's what I heard. Does Sal get big money, Shuley? I mean, I, I don't know if he gets it at every gig. Right. I, you know, I know he wants it. We all do. Right. But, you know, I, I, don't know if, I don't know if that's a reality. I mean... Why won't you tell Scott what you get paid? I have no problem telling him what I get paid. I told him right to his face. I make more than you. Right. And I'm going to continue to make more than you. How much more do you make than Scott? Seven grand more. No, I'm kidding. No. I, I just want him to have it. It really is a difference between five to eight hundred dollars difference. Okay. So, so this guy's that walking seems away. Fair for a guy who has to enter and really doing entertain. All the managing, right. Right, basically. Yeah, right. You know, Scott, I'm hearing this. Julie doesn't sound unreasonable. You're talking about a spread of five to eight hundred dollars more than it you. It sounds like a Jackie negotiation. You're saying three hundred dollars or no, three thousand no. dollars? Oh, Mike, three. Okay, Mike go three. ahead. Yeah. I'm hearing what Julie's saying. It's five to eight hundred dollars more, and that seems fair to a guy who's got. You go out for a minute, and I know they're coming to see you and Ronnie too. But I thought from the beginning, this is I'm not going to argue. This is what I'm going to say. From okay. the beginning, we were the three. We had an arrangement. They came. And they, we didn't make money the first couple of things. Right. No, Julie, you made money. Julie comes and says, the, "No, the the block party itself." Scott, you made money on the, the shows. Don't sit so here and say, you, all of a sudden, we're all one unit now. I'm just repeating what you just said. The block party you didn't make money, right. and we got paid. And right. then you came to us and said, if we each take X amount of dollars, you, me, Ronnie, that would be fair. We can go forward and make money. We'll all take equal, equal amounts. Oh, I agree right. to that. So they said equal amounts. Well, well we said equal amounts when there was no when there was well, yeah, no now money. Now there is money. But you want to take it out of the cash register before we have a chance to Scott, count it. Scott, what did you make That's for all. those first four shows? I don't. I. I don't. I, I'll tell you. You want me to tell you? Four hundred bucks. No, no, no. The first the first three shows we did. Did you not make eight hundred dollars no, a show? Not, no, one show. Ronnie, 
Ronnie, what did we make the first? Oh, one show you made eight hundred dollars, yeah, right? And then after that, it was like we got to take less because nobody's making money. So yeah, all, well, nobody was showing up. That uh, uh, yeah, I know that. I said we, fine. We all agreed to take the, and then it, and then it, all of a sudden. So you went from five hundred all of a sudden, to twenty five hundred. But we, we, and, it was and one, now, that was one show, and then it became four shows. So it, it, don't tell me that I went from this to that. It would, did really didn't change the amount of money I was. Let me getting ask you this, Scott. In show. all honesty, let me ask you this. Out of all the people on the tour, why is it that you're the only one who has these issues? Why is it nobody else has come because to me? Because nobody else Ronnie, made an agreement. Ronnie doesn't give a shit, apparently. He just So Ronnie goes made the agreement, yeah, but, he, exactly. but, he's, but he just doesn't it was care. Never, it was an idea. It was never a partnership. It was an idea. And your idea of a partnership, let me tell you how the partnership got started again. I said, Scott, would you be up for doing something on the road? Yeah. That's how the partnership got started. All right, let me so ask now you. He would wants, you ever say that... We're going to go out and split it three ways. I never, ever once said, and Ronnie, if I said it, tell me now. If I ever said we are splitting everything down the middle three no, ways, tell nobody, me. Nobody ever said that. We, we all agreed to take the same amount of money. No, we that didn't. Was, <laughs> no, we didn't. Because we always said well, we did. That's, yeah, no, that's we your didn't. problem. If you did say that. No, my problem is him. My problem is him. I nobody, know. So nobody, I, I, nobody. I've just, I've just relieved you of a problem. Well, All right, it, so but, you're out, in other but words. But again, you you've you're quit. Again, you quit. I didn't now, quit. Were, did you, were you booked to go to Toronto? Yes. Or were you advertising that you were going to Toronto? Whatever they, they were doing. Well, of course well, we you, were. Then you should do Toronto and exit like a gentleman. But it's too late now, Howard. It's too late. Why I had to late? change the flights. I had Because oh. as of yesterday, I said, are you in or are you out? Right. I need to know. Right. It's not well, easy. Who are you going to bring with you, JD? JD has stepped in. He's going to fill in, and and that's that. And and we're doing a rotation. We're going to take whoever wants to come. We'll Who do you have in mind? Like in other words, let's oh, say it's JD. Like Regis. Anybody and everybody. Yeah. It's like the Regis show, like Kelly Ripa's in audition. Anybody you know? who you know? wants to go from the show. I think, I think Jason would be great. I do think, you think people want to see Jason? I, I actually have gotten a lot of people on Twitter saying that they, they would love want to see Jason. Tracy, I think, would be they huge They want to hit. see Tracy. I would love to see What's Tracy. What's Tracy going to do on stage? Just I mean, fucking uh, yell at this guy. Yell at Ronnie the whole time for all I come care. Come out and say douche and all that kind of stuff. That's more than Scott does. Listen, and, and, right. that, and that's... Tracy's got an act. Yeah, I mean, compared to Scott, she does. <laughs> and that's the, Is that's there the anyone really you th would reject it from here? In other words, let's say... Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of somebody who's sort of Steve. Steve Brandano. No, I would take Steve. You would take Steve. Yeah, the because he he's, he hosts the intern show. People know who he is. I see. Well, it's true. I mean, who the fuck is Scott? We're gonna do nobody. a thing called right. Mr. We're gonna do a well, thing what called. What kind of a nobody? So I got rid of this. So I got rid of his problem, and I made it easy for we're, him. We're gonna do right. a thing called mystery guest. Go ahead. In each each city we do, we're just gonna say we're. It's the Ronnie Mon block party with Shuli, blah 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 blah. The head, the but comics, what if the mystery guest and the mystery guest? But what if the mystery guest is JD? Shouldn't you advertise that? No, because people love JD. <laughs> you don't know who's coming. You don't know. You don't know who's coming. It's a grab bag. Yep. Right. You know, I don't have to. I don't know who made him <laughs> boss. Happened. Would you have Richie Balenson come? Uh, I think we might have to draw the line of Richie Balenson. <laughs> Richie Balenson is the guy who installs the radio. Yeah, the installer to the stars. Right. No. You wouldn't have him. No one I, wants to see him on stage. <laughs> yeah. What about? Look, uh, I, I, I tried. I tried to talk to Scott yesterday morning. Along. Would you take Ross Zapin? I, I can't imagine me on stage going, "Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ross Zapin." <laughs> How? Why not? It's the same I thing. I, I would love to see what the would reaction. Would you take any of you guys from Howard TV? Like uh, Scott the Phelan. Phelan, I take it a Phelan. second. He's Phelan. a fucking party. But do you think people know Phelan? Yeah, they, they, know his, they know him as Drunk Cam. They know him as Drunk, Drunk Cam. Cam? Yeah. Boy, Scott, there's a lot of people. And would all take, these people, by the Scott, way? Would you take Scott's intern on the road? No. Rafia? No. Yeah. Oh, I'd take her in a second. Rafia. Oh, yeah. You're saying, she could tell all Scott stories on stage. Oh. It'd be great. It'd so, be like having him there. Yeah, and then he wow. won't scold her and punish her afterwards. Wow. I try. I try to talk to Scott alone yesterday morning and say, "Dude, what are, what are you doing? Man, it's, it, you go out, you have a good time. It's a weekend. You get away. You know, you have fun yeah, you're with you the guys. You think you pay them to get away? Yeah. I could you, understand if you were getting two hundred, three hundred bucks. Understand. You know, he, he like, has this thing in his head. He doesn't trust Julie. That's what it is. They they keep changing so things. Shuley's they don't inform me of things. What if Julie? What, 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 what have we not? What have we not informed you on? What are we changing? So I found out from somebody, a friend, that mm -hmm. I, he goes. So you're doing a barbecue in Toronto? I go. A barbecue in Toronto? When? When? when the am barbecue, I the meet, the meet and greet we're doing in Toronto went up two days ago. That Scott. was just added. Two I just days found ago. Out about it also. But you are, you weren't going, so why would we tell well, no, you? No, I'm just I'm just telling you things happen. I'm like, really? Well, what, what happened I beside the barbecue? Because as these guys explain, the barbecue, whatever that is, it's a meet and greet. Mm. Usually, we do a meet and greet at the club before the, the club show. We're at before the show. You right. know, but for some reason, they can't do it there. 
So this guy, whoever this guy is organizing this thing. You're going to have a barbecue. He's doing a barbecue meet and greet in the afternoon. Why do you care about Why do you even want to know about that? Right. If I got (laughs) it. What's the difference if you meet and greet at the barbecue or you meet and greet at the club? What is the difference to you? Why should they bother you with that? It's free food no matter what, Scott. You're (laughs) You're going to go away and have a barbecue. Yeah. You got to ask. This is so good. This is so funny because I thought it was so insulting. Uh, they did offer Scott the opportunity to make extra money in Toronto. <laughs> Can you explain that, Julie? Yeah, I had a whole thing. Set. Scott doesn't even know about this. Yeah, but see, I, this I, is had a, I don't ever know about anything. That's the right, problem. Well, well this one I wanted to leave a surprise. Yeah, and, okay. and it wasn't something oh, that you would be prank. forced to do. But <laughs> look, Scott wants more money. Right. So I said, you know what? With all the airplay we've gotten the last couple weeks, maybe people would be interested in, in trying to dunk Scott in a dunk tank. Right. So I told the guy, look into renting a dunk tank for this meet and greet. Right. Figure, you know, line people up, That's ten good. bucks a throw. Does he get Scott the people keeps the money? every fucking penny. Right. And uh, you'd and, and probably pay a couple of uh, bucks to. I shove him out of the way to get in the fucking dunk tank <laughs> to make got, that money. I got a two year old man. He's still not right. getting it about the money. It wasn't, what is it about, it wasn't about. Of course, it's about money. No, it's not. I'm just Scott, walking away from the money. Why would it be about the money? Because you want if I'm an walking even away split. from the money. You're afraid well, shooting. Now it's getting a matter of principle. Well, I thought I it was an it. even split. That's 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 the problem. Right, so but then say, when I asked to can see, you live with the fact when I asked to see the financials, I got I got a a, a guy that went crazy on me. It's like, how dare why I? Why did you just show him the financial? How, I'll show it to him. I got no problem showing it to him. I just think it's a problem. I did. I have. I have. I think it's very. Let him see it. Let's print it out. Let him look at all. I think a guy. Who sits there? Who sits there on stage like a fucking lamp on a nightstand, and then gets a fucking fat check at the end of the weekend, when, when and then fat. comes to me and goes, oh, "I'd like to see the expense report." What, and I go, "Why?" And then he tries to, t- to act like to he's him. he's doing everything for everybody show else. Surely, surely, I got to blame you a little bit in this. Go ahead, that's fine. Because show when he yelled at me, show him, so show it to him. And then be done with it. What do you care if he's... You're not doing anything wrong. Show I'm him. not. And, and, and show believe me, words, I am done with it. Just just say, here, here's what we brought in and here's what we paid out. The guy sits here and talks about he wants respect. He gives none. Right. He doesn't respect I, I what do I... Give. You don't respect what I fucking do. He did do. call you a hack comic. Exactly. You don't respect what I fucking do. And I got news for you. I can go to school and learn what you do. You can never fucking learn what I do. You understand? I can learn. There's a bit... No. I, I get... <laughs> A year from now, go up and do fucking an hour. Go up and do ten minutes and, you can and never, get laughs without somebody writing something you, for you. You can learn what I do, but you couldn't do what I do. That's right, because I'm a grateful, appreciative human uh, being. Okay. I couldn't do what you do. No, yeah, you could. Yeah, you're right. I could. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> wow. Well, so so when he when he said I'm not showing it to you, how dare you ask for the financials? I'm like, well, what are you hiding? That's what made me think well, they're hiding something. He's got a point. Uh, uh, Show it to he's him. So he's so foolish. Right. It's too I, late I, now. First of all, I, I mean, didn't approach know? him like that. I said, Scott. I walked in very calmly. I said, Scott, was there a problem with the weekend? Did you are you not happy with what you got? No, I'm fine with what I got. Okay, well then. Why so, are you asking to see the expense oh, uh, report? Can I ask you a question? I heard through the grapevine you're wa- trying to organize Scott the Engineer's block party. No, that was a joke. It was like the Black Cloud tour. That, oh. I was, the, you know, I just. Yeah, once yeah, you organize Scott the I, Engineer I have, block party. No, I have no interest in that. <laughs> That'd be good. A competing block party. I, I don't want to do that. Now that, he has no interest. Just was, grab a few hack had, comics no, and get it done. I never, well, I Show them how it's done. I never had any interest in doing yeah, I got, my own. I got names of some other two-bit comics if you want to. Yeah, don't you know. have a whole pack of uh, two-bit you. comics oh, you yeah. hang around with? Oh, yeah. yeah go ahead. Uh, Sal just ran it. Sal, say what you just said. Hey, Howard. Scott already offered Richard and myself the Black Cloud Tour. I just said ah, that. I just said that was a joke. Wow. That was a joke. That would sound like a joke to me. I went into those guys and said, you want to do the Black Cloud Tour? I was just, I wasn't. But okay, listen. That's Another. Good. Sal just said privately in his office it was a joke. Yeah, I want. To, oh, please. Get it? Get it? Uh, I'm not a comedian. That, that's oh, dude, you, can, you can't talk about anything around here without anybody finding I, out. I'm not so. a comedian, so that, obviously that wasn't a good joke. Well, anyway, it's the end of. It sucks. It's, I, it's I, still I, a Ronnie's I'm block up, party, but yeah. Yeah, you're upset. No more Scott. Yeah. You like going out with Scott? Yeah, like you know we. He's my friend. Right. Unfortunately, he's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> No, he, he left. He quit. And you, I like you, you got to hear this letter. I was that fired. Got, How many times was no, I fired? No, you weren't fired. Yeah, you quit this I time. Fired. Scott, Scott I fired, fired you on the air, yes. and then we had the meeting last week, they and tried. we agreed to move forward. You agreed with me that you were so okay Shuley, with the plan. If Shuley shows you how much they took in and how much they put but, out. I, I, 
I think would you, would you, still, he, I don't think he'd be happy. I really no, don't. I think he just doesn't want to be a part no, of it. Does I do. he want to take the three to five, what was it, eight, five to five eight hundred dollars and split it three ways? Is that really important? <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't Great question. question. If it's five I, to eight hundred, what I would I do is thought, give it to Shuli anyway because he's going to do an hour on stage. I, I right. thought that we were all <clears throat> getting you're not. equal amount. We're Evidently, not. you're not. We're not. I told you that a long time ago. You didn't tell me that a long I time. I did tell you that. I kept telling you it's not a partnership. But he wants to that know what That Shuley the... gets more. I said, I don't care that Shuley gets more. Ronnie, th- see, Ronnie, Ronnie's thrilled he's just getting a couple of grand. I, I mean, it's a huge amount of money. It and is. You, and you, no, and I, you I don't get. You're turning down $2,500 weekends on your salary? Plus, he can get more if we do really well. Like Shuley said, if there's a, we get extra and there's well, a pop up. He gets extra money. We all get extra money. And we got bigger shit lined up. We got poker tournaments and casinos that want us. We got Jamaica, a weekend in Jamaica with fans. And and this is... What do you think? This is a price range that's out of the price range that we're in now. Work and I've told you this. I've told nuts? you this. The long-term plan. Didn't I tell you that? <laughs> Didn't I say there's a goal here? Yes. And I got to beg this fucking guy to put money in his pocket. I got I to gotta kiss his ass. Hey, really? You're walking away from all this? Tour to Jamaica? I mean, you're going to just sit there like a lummox and eat, and you're going to get even more money. And drink at the pool. And the thing that burns me up the most, Howard, is he quit again. He keeps doing this shit. And 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 this is like the third time. I've never quit anything. I've come out on stage to do 10 minutes with with Artie and Philly, and four minutes into it, 3,000 people turned and wanted to kill me. And I stayed up there to do my 10 fucking minutes. Right. Because I'm not bailing early. I'm not quitting on that shit. That's what you asked me to do. That's what I'm doing. You're not, it's not like you would have worked Toronto and come home with nothing. Uh, you would have got paid. No, you would have made money. I know that. I, but I, you just, you, all right, he's out. He's out. He's out. He I had to make he changes. Like Crazy, but he's out. on the weekends. I yeah, think. I think, I think, I think he has such a good time on the weekends well, at home. They they can't handle the, it. Right. the only thing I thought was wrong with the whole thing right now, right. I know he quit. That's his prerogative to quit. Right. But he's he was booked on the Toronto tour. He should have said, listen, I'm going to do Toronto because you're on the bill. That's true. And I can't argue I'm with that. I'm done after that. The guy, the guy who booked us there is pissed as shit. He sent his letter to Shuley yesterday. You got to see this thing. That's not right, Scott. You want, you want me to do Toronto? <laughs> I wanted you to do Toronto uh, when I came to you yesterday and the day do before. Do you want him to do Toronto? Stop whining. I, I just. <laughs> do you but, want him to do it or not? I got to find out if they got. I got to find out if they got JD's ticket yet. If they didn't well, get JD's if, ticket yet, he's driving Shuli nuts JD's with ticket. You know, I, I don't need this fucking shit, man. Is the guy Shuley. in Toronto happy that JD's coming? Yeah, everybody's happy that we're All coming. All right, so then forget Scott. I'm yeah, fine. Shuli, they did out. get his ticket because I got an updated itinerary yesterday. Well, there you go. Right, right. JD's so then, you, on Scott, it's too late. He's already gotten crazy doing it. Okay. Well, I just thought that we. But you did the wrong thing there. When you get, when you commit to going to Toronto, you go. You go. That yeah, you should have done. But if somebody here mentioned a three-way split, then Scott's right. But oh, you could have opened the books to him, shown him what was going on, that you get five to 800 more. Maybe he would have been okay with it. Who knows? But all right, he's no, out he now. he wants to split that up, too. Right. All right. All right. Robin, when... when that's it. There's oh, an God. agreement that we were... All right, all right. I'm not right. going to talk to you about this. Scott, I think crazy. you just... I think Wait a minute. Well, you I have think, an agreement, I think and then somebody off. doesn't go by that agreement and just starts... Hey, so why is it out of the three of us? No one knows about that better than I do, Scott. But I'll tell you what. I think you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. And why is it out of the three of us? You're the only one who's aware of this agreement. That's a question, because everyone out here is asking... It, explain to me, Scott, exactly what the agreement is, because you say it was, Shirley says it wasn't, Ronnie says it wasn't. So I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out... What exactly, you guys, did you say, let's go on the road together, or did you say, let's go on the road together and split everything equally? That's what I'm trying no, to figure we, out. No, we, in the beginning, we, me and Ronnie had a, had a number, and we gave it to him, and then after one or two gigs, it truly came to us, listen, we're not making money, if we all agree to take the same amount, this X amount of dollars, going forward, we think we can make something work. Right. I said, okay. So at that th- point, he said, let's all agree to take the same, but now that it's doing better, he wants a little more. Yeah, but that was never explained to me. All right. Well, I mean, but there you go. In all, in all fairness, right. Scott, in all fairness Scott. But in all fairness, Scott. Here's my problem with the whole thing. When this started out, Scott could have said, I'll handle managing, because he doesn't do anything else. Right. He, said, he could have said, I'll I, handle I do, the books. All right, I'll manage. I don't do anything. You don't. Any, anywhere. I don't do anything <laughs> really? anywhere. I mean, I don't know what you do. And that way, you guys could <laughs> I tried just to do get comedy. to perform. I tried to do comedy. They wouldn't. They wouldn't stand for it. They wouldn't let me finish. Well, the, the audience, audience was more was, against yeah, it than right, we were, right. Scott. In all fairness. Yeah, all right, guys. Listen, I'm going to sum this up. 
Here it is, Robin. Now you're he gonna know. know what the book said if he was he was doing that. The answer is Ronnie's block party as we knew it is has, now is now Ronnie's block party with guests who will accompany these guys. The mystery block party. The mystery block party. <laughs> Scott the Engineer is out. It's a mystery why people are buying tickets to this show. Right. I don't know why anyone's involved with this in the first place. I don't know how this is even going on. It's the funniest Such, business. It really is. I think our fans are, have lost their minds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to go sit and watch Ronnie yell on stage at women to take their tops off is crazy. But look, they people seem to... They love it. They, they do. He, according to him, they love they it. They do. Surely? And if he wouldn't... And they if love he, it? If he, they absolutely do. And if Scott wouldn't have uh, missed that Chicago, Arizona weekend and right. we brought JD with us, like, Scott would have leverage in this situation by the means that, you know, I don't know if people want to see somebody else. Maybe they are coming just to see Scott. But with the fact that we used JD and we saw the turnout and the energy and the way the show went, I mean, that, that was so kind of... So JD is in, in well, uh, Toronto. Here's a perfect example, a quick, a quick example. Chicago and Arizona he didn't go to, okay? Right. We made we did really well there. Right. And everybody got more money. He would have got more money too. Right. Huh. Uh, he doesn't makes trust. Sense, Scott. I'm not gonna go he through the numbers. Scott doesn't, doesn't trust. He just doesn't trust. Scott doesn't trust uh, that he's really th getting as much as he should. He asked uh, me to write up a contract last week. He did? Yeah. yeah. He asked contract. me you're gonna write up a contract? What do you want, lawyer? Lee yeah, Shuey. he wants me he want on top of everything else I'm fucking doing, Shuey he wants Esquire. me to have a contract written up stating what he's gonna make so we don't run into this problem. Well again. if it keeps changing, the the more we make the more you take. If it keeps changing then why 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 should I believe that it's not going to change again when you know there's of course more it's money. gonna change it depends no. on how much everybody makes because there's I'm overhead, gonna, I'm there's expenses, there's, there's no, hotels. He wants to see it. He wants to see what's going on. I don't want to see I don't give a shit. I don't think there's expenses. Give me my check at the end of the week and I'm happy I go home. All right. That's what I got All in right. it for. Okay. To hang out. You can't believe That's you're all. getting a check. I'm happy. I'm <laughs> thrilled. I just thought there was an agreement and then... All of a sudden, there wasn't an agreement. It was it was different, and I wasn't consulted. And Do you I thought understand that, we, that you're the only one who has this understanding? I'm a pain in the ass. No, so, you have an understanding that nobody else has. <laughs> Do you understand that? Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. All right, boys. Uh, I don't know how to resolve this other than... I don't know either. I try to talk to it's the resolved. alone. It's resolved. Scott's off. It is resolved. Yeah. Scott's sitting he home. Quit. Ronnie, I know you're upset. You like going out on yeah. the road with Scott. Now I get to mow the lawn every weekend. Right. So what's wrong with that? So what Scott up? doesn't seem all that broken up about it. I guess not. No. No, no I'm not. I you told know, you. He makes enough money here. He I doesn't do. need any extra. I made a ton. All right. So. Uh, what can uh, I say? Uh, well, there he goes. You, you guys are upset because he's turning down $2,500 a weekend. And you're like, holy mackerel! He's like committing suicide. He's like with Jackie. I know the feeling. I, I, just, I sat yeah, down I'm with sure. Jackie on a on a private jet coming home from Vegas while Jackie was stuffing himself with shrimp cocktails <laughs> and drinking and everything else. And uh, he said to me, "I don't know. I think this is my last trip." I go, "Really?" He goes, "Yeah, my contract's coming up, and uh, I think there's going to be a lot of problems." And how many times did you think to and yourself... Then, and then I, I went, well, what problem is it? You're making millions. Right, millions. Right. Millions. Right. I go, you have no idea. People in radio don't... Well, you know, we're the Beatles, and and I think, you know, I could be doing a lot of other things, like punching up scripts. I go, who's going to hire you to punch up a script? Oh, oh, oh you'll <laughs> so see. You should You've have punched me. him up. He told me, you held me back. <laughs> I said, I held you back how? At the Friars Club. They don't want to put me on a roast. I go, why would they do that? They don't like you, so they don't like me. I go, really? <laughs> everything go, everything go, is back to you. Yeah, and then I go, well, 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 and then, and you know what? You're making a lot of money, and you know, I feel like I'm a huge part of that. I go, you are a huge part of that. Yeah, but I should make a lot, and you should open your books to me. He started in with that. I, he, goes, I, he goes, on the E, when they add a market in E, or they add a market in syndication, I should get more. So if you tell me, and each market I want, 25000 and in fact, I go, whoa, really? You think in each market you should get more? You, right. You're making a fortune. I said, do you know I can do the show without you? I, I'm not doubting you can do the show without me, but if this is going to go on, books have got to be open. Oh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> That's how it. I feel. That's I've how I feel. It. But Jackie and I never had the understanding that there was going to be a three-way split. Well, it but, seems but to be <laughs> the same thing here. Jackie had an understanding exactly. of what should be that nobody else did. Yeah, he had his own understanding. I, sw I swear. And he did, he, Fred makes more than me, Robin makes more than me, and I'm just in. And I go, you don't even know what Fred and Robin make. <laughs> I don't know what Fred and Robin make. How would you know? That they make more than you. I know. <laughs> I go, you don't know. You don't know what Robin makes, and you don't know what Fred makes. 
And that's the thing, you know. It, it, it just I can imagine you sitting there and in your head going, what the fuck I is going said, on with I this said, guy? I said, I, I can't imagine another writer, whether television or radio, that makes the millions he makes. I'm yeah. talking about, you know, like on Jay Leno's yeah. staff. Yeah. Jay Leno has 16 writers. I don't think any of them were making millions. I don't think on uh, on David Letterman, you could, I don't even think his executive producer makes millions. I know comics who write jokes and send it in to, for his monologue what, how and much, get made 50 bucks, yeah, 20 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said. Well, how about we pay you what, uh, I'll pay you the best rate in the, in the business. I'll pay you 50 bucks a joke. You know, and then if you write 10 jokes, you get 500 whole dollars. I was talking to a guy the other day. He just started doing stand-up. He's doing it a year. I said, how do you like it? He goes, I just hope to be able to make 25 bucks a night here in the city. Right. 25 bucks a night. And when I met Jack, he was making 50 bucks at a bachelor party. Right. And I'm insulting him. Yeah. You know, and it's like, I don't need it, dude. I, I Listen. All right, so, Scott, it's over. It's over. It, that's it. Well, you seem okay it with it. It seems like a reasonable conclusion to this whole thing to Scott. All right. Okay, guys. All right. It's over, everybody. That's what I'm trying to establish. Everybody here. move on. Yeah. Block Party is reborn. Block Party is a whole new block party. JD's the man now, all of a sudden. Or maybe someone else. Right. It's a mystery guest. Yeah, the mystery guest. No, but it may be a mystery guest. <laughs> but by the way, you remember how JD was like not into this at all at first? Uh -huh. Right. We had to totally twist his arm and do it. He's now running. You know, he's sending me texts at 2 in the morning of while course. we're on the road. You know why? He went out on the road with you guys. He got a he taste went, of it. He probably got paid twenty five hundred dollars, like Scott does. And he got hooked up with girls. And, and he, he had got, a life. Yeah. He got laid two nights in a row. Yeah. Or, two well, I don't know if he got laid. We don't know if he got laid, but there was some but sort of activity with girls. Fun right. with two different girls. Right. That he still talks to. I know. That he's still talking. Right. To. Yeah. Where is that mush mouth? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I love mean, him. I mean, the, the, you know, here, in with the new... And he, he already said to me, he goes, I'm going on the L.A. trip. Because we, we're booked in L.A. in September. <laughs> uh, we got two big, big, two big venues in L.A. Hey, what is it with you that all of a sudden now you're... What turned it around for you? Mr. That Block Party. That you're now Mr. Block Party. What happened? To make, could you spend an hour getting yeah, the headphones now, on? He can't swallow a pretzel. I'm sorry, they're new headphones. I'll he drool. can't put on headphones. Well, they're new. I want you to open They're no different than the other ones. <laughs> no, they, they are. Yes, they are. All right. <laughs> Take about the wrapper. I, I, like, look how big this thing is. Uh, uh, yeah, listen, I, I am not big on... <laughs> oh I th already think you're way more entertaining than Scott. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm not big on uh, traveling and stuff. <laughs> right, who is? But, uh, you know, it, it's definitely fun to be with Ronnie. You got I, 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 I will say I had a lot... Uh, there, it was a better time with Scott <laughs> with Ronnie than it was with Scott. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, I love Scott, but, you know, he's not Ronnie. <laughs> he's no party. So you're into it. I mean, you were texting Shuli. I want in on the block party. Well, I mean, I saw the, the tweets and stuff of them out in uh, yeah. San Francisco, and, you know, it is a good time to we, hang out with them. We went to, we went to him <laughs> yesterday yeah. about Toronto because right. Scott quit. Yeah. He's there. No, no argument like with Chicago and Arizona. Oh, my, my demands were met, so, uh, you know, why not? Your demands were met, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Two hot chicks. So Your well, demands I, were met. Uh, so you think you'll be meeting new chicks in the big Toronto trip? I, I don't know. We'll oh, see. yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, yeah, what do you mean? How do you know? Because uh, I got girls on Twitter already already <laughs> tweeting me to, to bring JD instead of Scott, so they're waiting for him. He's like this Twitter pimp. Wow. <laughs> yep. They're waiting for him to meet him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No bullshit, dude. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unreal. Howard, at one point, I'm backstage. Ronnie and JD are on stage in Chicago, and there is like 20 chicks with their hands, like the oh, Beatles, yeah. with their hands up running to the wow. front of the stage. And I'm going, in what world do chicks run up to these <laughs> two guys surreal. like that? Very surreal. Wow. Huh? Yeah, no wonder you want to be on the tour. That's yeah, all right. And You're you get money. Surely don't even pay them. <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> I didn't, then I quit. <laughs> now, will he get what Scott got? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And he'll get bumped up if we make more money. He's going to get bumped up just like I will and everybody else will. You'll have a girlfriend in Toronto, a girlfriend in Chicago, a girlfriend in... Where was the other LA, place? L.A., San Diego. And soon to be Jamaica. <laughs> Well, I don't know about Jamaica. Oh, we got, we got Rhode Island. We got uh, Long Island. We got New Jersey. Yeah, Long Island's all a little closer up next, to home. That's all next month. Yeah, do you know about any of these girls that want to meet you that Ronnie's talking about? Uh, listen, I... Uh, he knows. <laughs> he does? Uh, you know. How does well, he know? Uh, uh, he keeps uh, it uh, quiet. Uh, he knows. Uh, uh. He's quiet. He can't talk. Look at this team. I mean, uh, who wouldn't pay money to see these two? <laughs> In a wow. second.
<laughs> so you all set for Toronto? Do you know what you're going to do on stage? Uh, I mean, nothing. Uh, with, uh, with Ronnie? <laughs> I hope he does this. I got to say, when we get we get, we get get together backstage, yeah. and, we, and we put things together just like that. Boom. You, and, you, and you guys just it. sort of improvise. And we do it. Yeah, yeah we do well, it. Well, I sort of go after Ronnie's lead. It is Ronnie's block party, so I just sort of follow his lead. There is sort of one thing that... that uh, Can you imagine 10 years from now, J.D.'s <laughs> paying child support in 10 different <laughs> countries? Uh, he's like ODB. That yeah. ain't happening. One cheetah pretzel on stage. That was funny yesterday uh, when you well, eat a pretzel. Maybe and then that. talk. <laughs> he put shit in his mouth and let him talk. Eat a pretzel and read uh, Ronnie's winter poem. Okay, here I am with a bag of chips in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now These are his I'm, gonna, impressions. I'm gonna put my mouth full of watermelon and do sliced alone. Wow, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <It's> crazy! <laughs> all right, well, good luck, boys, on the road. Well, and thanks, JD, man. good it's luck. It's all because of you, anyway. So, oh, yes. there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Could Scott the mystery guest himself quite a well, draw? Can, well, can let me take, ask you a last hey, question. Can we take you one weekend? No, I'll be the mystery guest. <laughs> He's the mystery guest. <laughs> Could and the mystery too. guest ever be Scott the engineer? Like, would that ever happen? You think? Like, all of a sudden he yeah. shows up? Why not? Why not? It could be. All right. Wow, that'd be crazy. Can you imagine that now? Instead of taking twenty five hundred dollars, <laughs> he's getting nothing. He's going to sit at home and get nothing. And right. all the lawn. And then JD's going to have twenty five hundred dollars plus plus girls, chicks. Well, this is a big Jerry Maguire moment. He showed us. He walked out. He yeah. grabbed his goldfish. Yeah, well, you know what? He'll show it. you. Mm -hmm. Wait till there's a Scott the Engineer block party. Mm. Yeah. I love how everything's a joke when he gets busted for it. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Oh, I was pranking you guys. Don't you? The yeah. book cloud to him. Yeah, it was just some fun and games. Because Ronnie heard about that, that he went to sound Richard right. and, and offered that. And Ronnie was not happy about that. Right. No, I felt that... Yeah, he was undermining Yeah, it. really. I thought it was yeah. really and, wrong. And he could do it, it with you. Friend, if, if, he, if he really wants to do it, he could do it with you guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, man. All right, thank JD. You. Good luck, man. Thank you. Who? How, how many girls do you have lined up for him in Toronto? <laughs> like right now? A couple. A couple. Yeah, at least two a couple. or three. Maybe three. <laughs> three. <laughs> Maybe more. Who knows? You know, you not. You don't know who's. There's a lot. I know it's there's a lot of girls announced. showing up yeah. in Toronto. Ever since I, he I'm did getting, well on that ugly app, he's a he's I, a. I see <laughs> No. What's that? Ever since he did well on that ugly app. I won't app. talk about that. What, the ugly app? <laughs> he doesn't uh, like that. You know. I won't. I, I don't even ugly app beat up. out Angry Birds is number I one. Know. Whatever. Good yeah. luck to him. I hope he puts his kid through college. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All By right, the way, boy. Howard, I just want to tell you, last week when I fired Scott on the air, I got an email when I got back to my desk from uh, Grillo. What did he say? Oh, God. Wants on the, email. In? the email said, I can do five minutes and I don't complain. Is Grillo uh, someone you'd consider taking out on Why the Why not? We really? let him go up and Grillo do three, five minutes. Grillo has been with the show minutes. for like 20 years or something. Yeah, we well, give it a shot. But he's associated, so it yeah, could be, even like KC could end up on yeah, the Yeah, right. Yeah. Definitely, right. for sure, KC. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Wow. Doors wide open, man. It's like a variety show, this thing. <laughs> King of all blacks, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard, I think that the money is a distraction. I think that his wife told him that he wants him home on the weekend. So I don't know. She's got to want money, too. I think she's probably angry about this. Mm. I don't know. You know, I don't know, you know everyone I, used to blame, like, when I, my situation with Jackie or something, they blame, like, Jackie's wife and stuff. But the right. point is, it was Jackie. Right. You know what I mean? Jackie had to have a brain in his head, too. Yeah, well, you got to figure No woman ever told me what to do in business. Yeah, you got to figure it out for myself. Well, the final decision's got to be his, right? Right. Well, at hey, the end of the day, what's that? I'll be a mystery guest. Yeah, we don't have black people on the tour. Sorry, no. thanks. Gang. <laughs> wow, that's pretty harsh. Yeah, you don't you don't need the money, man. King of all blacks could be on the tour. He Absolutely, does, he doesn't he, need the money. He's got. Do, I love him. All right, thank you, King. All right, boys, enough <laughs> of this. People man. write me letters. Thank don't you. talk about Ronnie's <laughs> block party. All right, all right, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. Scott, it's like, over, Johnny. Got hooked up with girls. My name is not Johnny. I'm sorry, it's over, Scotty. Well, I don't know if you got this, this, this controversy sort of went out with a whimper. Oh, what am I going to do? Well, did any part of you think, let me just suck it up, it's extra cash, or your principles are just too strong this time? I have strong principles. Going on the LA trip. And you just you just figured that Shuli's doing some shady things behind the scenes, maybe with that Sequoia character as well. And you just there's a lot of there's a there's a huge lack of trust for you. What happened? Listen, I don't know what was going on, but they wouldn't tell me what was going on. So I don't know. So obviously I don't know what was going on. You know, when somebody doesn't want to tell you what's going on, then they already put suspicion on themselves. So. They are. Yes, they are. I don't know. I don't think I was asking for a lot. In other words, I could have, that could have, well, it all just backfired according to everybody else. But, I mean, you know, if, if I equal, ask for equal, which I thought I deserved, I thought we all deserved equal, then 
we could make ten dollars one weekend, and then then I'd be out all that money. That was kind of a gamble on my part as well. So I don't see where I'm doing it for the money. I'm walking away from all that money. So. I guess my principles are too strong. Right? Are the Jackie comparisons unfounded? Do you yeah, believe that they're, I, that they're accurate? Forget Jackie. <laughs> All right. Uh, they have nothing to do with it. He didn't have a, an agreement with Howard. Howard had nothing to do with it. How I thought I had an agreement with these guys. I thought we were three together in this. We promote. We do. You know, Nobody does more than anybody else. We surely goes out for more, you know, 15 minutes more on stage than me and Ronnie. I don't know. I don't see whether where the comparison is. We're on the road the same amount of time. We're at the venues. We're at the meet and greets. I don't think anybody does any more than anybody else. We do all the promotion. We do it all here. I, I don't understand where one person thinks he deserves more than another person. Okay? We all, we all did equally. So that's, that's, you know, that's a problem with me. So I, I don't understand that. That's all. Plus your phone charges have to be through the roof oh, all the roaming oh, oh and my the, God. the data yeah. use. Oh my God, I gotta DJing use my phone. It's wear and tear on the phone. I'm gonna have to get another phone. I mean, really, they don't pay that expense. Scott, in all seriousness, how many hundreds or thousands of dollars away are you guys from an agreement? Like, how much could he throw it, it, It's at not a lot, and, and I'm trying to tell you, it's not the money. I'm trying to tell you that. It's not a lot. So, it, it's, just, it's just a point of me being fair. It's just about being fair. About justice. So, I Truth. don't think they were being fair, and that's... that's the, the American way. <laughs> you know, if, if that is my fault, I mean a fault of mine, that I'm, I wanted things to be fair because I thought we started this together, and we built it together, it, all of a sudden, you know, somebody decides, hey, we're making a lot more money, let me go in the cash register before everybody gets to count it. it I think that's what happened. So, you know, you want to come and discuss among us, all of a sudden you're giving yourself a raise. I don't know who made him boss anyway. So, whatever. That's the way it is. And they don't, you know, want to talk about things. They, you know, want to go ahead, like I said on the air, they book things without me knowing. Scott, we're going to prop you up and you have to be here and you have to be here and you have to be here. I don't work for him. I thought it was like we worked together. All of a sudden he was the boss. That's not going to happen. I don't work for him. So, if if honesty and integrity are wrong, then you don't want to be right. <laughs> Whatever. I, it's just, I, I was just trying to thought it would be fair for everybody. Surely, yes, what? sir. It seems finally what? we've established some resolution in the matter. Yeah, yeah, we have some closure finally. Um, long overdue. Do you? So the Jackie comparisons rang true for you. That's all I could think about uh, when this whole thing was going on. Was uh, you know, I imagine this is what it must have been like dealing with Jackie. Like, you know, it's just, it's somebody that is just never happy. They're never going to be happy, you know. Uh, I could open every figure to him that he wants. It's still, he's going to find something to complain about and bitch about. I don't need it. I don't well, need the fucking have it. Sorry, you still right maintain that he's getting the fairest shake he could possibly get for, for what he brings to the For what he brings to the, the table, he's well over fair. He's well over fair, you know, and, and that's really my point in all this is, you know, there's guys who are bringing much more to the table or making much less, and they got nothing to cry about. They're not bitching. They're not asking to see this and that. You know, he's he's doing very well, and it's not enough for him. And the bottom line is he doesn't trust me, you know. And I'm not going to work with somebody who doesn't trust me, and, and, and he's a quitter. I, I don't deal with quitters. I don't do that, you know. You, 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 you do it, you do it. Now you move on, and now you move north. Yeah, we're going to Toronto. JD uh, stepped up to the plate. He is a team player. Uh, he enjoys being there. He enjoys the party, and uh, so does Ronnie. And the vibe, really, with those two was excellent. It was probably my favorite weekend that we've done so far. So, you know, um, I, 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 look, I'm excited. I'm just glad this is over with. I, I've been stressing with this for the last few weeks, and it's just been making me nuts and I got enough shit in my life I you know this guy's life's almost over I don't know what the fuck he's worried about you know mine's just starting I got a fucking kid to raise you know and, and I gotta I gotta fucking hold this guy's hand through life I'm tired of holding people's hands I just want to hold my hand that's all JD now you become a permanent fixture on this tour you're the permanent replacement uh, uh, I guess I don't know your first few forays into the uh, block party world were extremely successful. Do you feel pressure to maintain this success? Of course. 
How do you plan on combating? Uh, that, these, uh, that's almost. Uh, that's probably the one of the reasons why I, I, I'm a little hesitant to uh, to go out and do all the shows because then I I put pressure on myself that if they don't sell out, then I'm like fucking or something. You know what I mean? So if they're not a success. In your wild, feel terrible. Nearly ten years ago, you started here as an intern. In your wildest dreams, did you ever see yourself? Being a money-making act on the road? Uh, no, no, I did not. I still, I still don't. I don't. Uh, uh, you know. We'll start to believe it, Mister, because it's happening. I guess. Ron. Yeah. Let's talk block party. Let's, let's talk, talk it. Let's talk future. All right. Finally, some resolution for your boy Scott. Not the one you'd hope. For. I'm not happy about it. Believe me. Uh, he think I don't know if he believes me because I know he doesn't trust Shuli. So I don't even know if he trusts me. To be honest with you. Um, you can't work in an environment like that when you don't trust somebody. I don't. I don't know how he. You know, whatever he told. Surely told him he makes more money than him. I. I, I don't understand. But I, I, I tried. I tried to talk to him yesterday along with me and him, and he's just got this thing in his head now, and that's it. And I think, to be honest with you, I think he's sorry. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I. I don't. Know. I mean, I'd love to see it turn around, but right now for the Toronto trip, we were, they already booked his plane ticket. They t we took a hit. We're going to lose money because of him not coming now, because they already booked his plane ticket. So we had, he gets his plane ticket. You know, it, it's good for a year, you know, and he does what he wants with it, but uh, we don't want to have to pay for it out of, out of the money from the weekend, you know, so I'm not happy about it. But the show must go on, as they say, and we'll, we'll you know, I, I like the idea of this mystery guest thing, you know, bringing different people on, on the tour, uh, let the fans see different people from the show, be great. We could even bring uh, penthouse girls that have been on the show, we could bring Rick's girls that, you know, that, we, that have been on the show, we could bring, you know, anybody who's associated. We could bring as a mystery guest. I think it'd be really, it would be cool. Are Scott's um, are Scott's fears and lack of trust justified in your opinion, or is he just being completely over the top? Dude, I, I, to, and I'm being totally honest. If I cared that much, I would be in the same position, asking to see breakdowns and all that shit. I mean, my name is on it, okay. Plain and simple, it's the Ronnie Munn block party. But to me, this is this is. It's fun. I'm not looking at it as, a, as, as a, a fucking business, like the way he's looking at it. I'm looking at it, you go out on the weekend, and, and like I'm telling you, you've been to, you've been to our block parties mm -hmm. in the beginning. Even in the beginning when we weren't selling shit tickets, people still came to see us, they were thrilled. Right or wrong, you were there. Um, and they, uh, Rob, the other camera, he goes on our road trips with us. He could tell you, man, people, they, they love seeing us. They love sitting there. They love taking pictures. They love hanging out. They love having a drink with us. They love the show, even though, you know, sometimes it's a train wreck, but whatever. People love that we come. So you do it for the love and for the fun, and you make yeah. some money that's secondary, exactly. and it's great. It, it's, it, and some money, it's, it's a good weekend's pay, man. Right, that's the other thing. He's throwing away yeah. a lot of cash right now. What's your problem with me? Huh? Ronnie, I'm calm. Seriously. I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm yeah. just trying What's to talk to you. What's your fucking problem with me? Uh, they have some kind of app. It's called an ugly meter or something. So I think they're going to test some of the staff to see if they're ugly. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I'll tell you what, it ain't going to fucking reflect on Greg. I think they <laughs> that shit. All right, let's bring them in. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you, man? Fantastic. <laughs> and sexy. Of course. <laughs> yep. Could the inventor of the ugly meter be ugly? I mean, that, that's not... That's true. Well, that's we not, are. That'd be yeah. terrible. Right this way, gentlemen. All right. So, any early predictions as to who's going to send this meter off the charts? You know, it's tough to say. I mean, we make guesses all the time, and and we're wrong. And like I thought, I was in the eighties. <laughs> He's awful. He's like a thirty-three out of a hundred, which is terrible. Pretty much a terrible score, but that, that's obvious. You guys. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. Really, it's I mean, they're all kind game. of. I think Will's got a lock on this contest too. <laughs> like you passed. I mean, the hottest. <laughs> yeah. He is sexy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm I mean, not. 
I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> None of us are. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. It could be... Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to rig it to uh, result Howard would like, so... Can't alter science. Let the truth prevail. Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's what's gonna happen. It'll be an interesting morning, gentlemen. Yeah. First, how you know we got a one a seven o'clock guest? If you want to come in, yeah, he's oh. here. So, I, just I'm not sure exactly how you want to do this segment either. Go ahead. Do you want to have the guys line up here, and they can go down the row and start doing everybody? I was thinking about this last. He night. also said, do you want to announce it one by one, or do you want to go? You know, you can do everybody, and then. At the end, he can Morning. announce, you know, first to last. You should, you should do everybody and say, okay, who's the best looking and work our, or work our way down so that it could be me and JD on the line vying for ugly. I'm <laughs> uh, just not you, of course. But no, I'm, I'm sure. No, you're no. What is this deal? I mean, it's just random, isn't it? it no, it, 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 actually it measures bone structure, basically. It measure, It's called the golden ratio, which is like the distance. There's an appropriate distance from how... I, the, the distance between your eyes, you got your eyes from your nose, your mouth from your ears. Originally, it was a bit of a goof, and then the guy perfected it a little bit better. That's what right. He came in here before, and it was a total goof. Now, it measures the symmetry of your face and this thing that's called the golden ratio. Okay. Joe invented an app that can tell you if you're ugly or not. I know that sounds crazy, but he did it, and it's called the Ugly Meter. It's an app they sell on... You know, for your iPhone. It's on iTunes, I think. It's on iTunes, and uh, it's basically... Hi there. $4.95. That, that's a lot of money to pay to hear bad news. Well, what if it's good news? <laughs> hey, Joe. Hi, how are you doing? What's happening, man? Uh, not much. How old a guy are you? Uh, 31. And you know how to write code and all that, like yeah. we see in the Facebook movie? Yeah, I've been doing it since uh, about 15. So instead of Facebook, you came up with uh, the Ugly Meter. Yep. And Have you done other apps before? Yeah, we do all kinds of stuff. This was just the popular fluke that uh, uh -huh. got us a lot of press. How does so. the ugly meter work? Is it for real or is it just sort of random and well, tells you whether you're ugly? I don't know if you remember, about a year and a half ago we were on the show and we had uh, our original version of it that we made for fun and uh -huh. that was the one that got a lot of press. Fox News picked it up because they they accused us of making a bullying tool and you know, we just <laughs> made it for fun. It was, you know, and, and once... Uh, once they did that, it got picked up nationwide, and just Jay Leno was talking about it. So was the original app a goof? Like, in other words, there was no science behind there it. Yeah, we, just, we just did it for fun, and then, uh -huh. you know, it, it was funny because all these news stations were having us on, and no one really cared if it was real or not. We, they were having us on. We are on Fox National News and everything. How many of those did you sell, The, the sort of the app that was frivolous? Um, we, it's been downloaded over 5 million times, but it's we do free promos, but, I mean, we've... Maybe three or four hundred thousand people have bought it. When, when three what or kind of money do you make? Well, ninety nine cents per Apple takes thirty cents of it, but uh -huh. the rest we keep. Okay. So you made a couple of hundred grand. Oh uh, yeah, at least. Yeah. So that so your business is successful. It's good. And then you went back to the laboratory, so to speak, with your buddies, and you said, "Why don't we try to make an app that can tell if people are really ugly? I mean, for real." Yeah. What happened is last time we were on the show, like it, what I was saying, you guys are the only ones that actually tested it to see if it would work. Right. <laughs> like of, of everybody. <laughs> everybody else. Yeah. Just of, took of, it of everybody face else. Value. Yeah. <laughs> so and then you know I was talking to Gary and he's like, you know, hey, sorry, we're, you know, it, it, it's not real. And but so then we're like, we'll make it. We'll make a real one. So so. How how do you measure beauty? In other words, is it by structure of the face, that kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. So there's uh, the app takes measurements off your face. There's like a hundred different points it'll take on your face and uses different ratios and. Like you, I'm looking at you. What did you score on your ugly meter? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, like I'll I'll be in like the 30s. The 30s. Mid -30s What's a good mid score? Well, I mean. What would, 50, Angelina, would what would Angelina Jolie, who's like considered the best looking woman in we, the world? We be? scanned her, and like the best looking people, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, will score in the 90s, uh, uh, like low 90s. No one scores, I mean, you can't score 100. Right. No, no one's perfect. But I feel my wife 90s. would score perfectly. I, uh, I scanned her, you want to know? How did she do? <laughs> she did a 92. 92? Yeah. That's and nice. What, and what was Angelina Jolie? Uh, she was an 89. Brad Pitt was a uh, 91 or 92 wow. around there. So. Oh. so Beth is prettier than Brad Pitt. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> and Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good. I'm going to go tell her that. I'll make her day. We did Jay Leno. You know, he's got a whole misshapen face. Uh -huh. It was a kind of a disaster. He, he's the worst scan we've ever had to date. Really? Yeah, he came in at an 11. We thought no that was kidding. pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> like Elephant Man came in at a 15. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and Jay Leno is an 11. Yeah. So, so what do you have to do? You take a picture of yourself and then the thing analyzes it? Yeah, you take 
take a picture and uh, it verifies all the points on the face to make sure it's it's accurate. Wow! And then you it takes about fifteen seconds. What? No kidding. Score. So it's cool because what it um, what it does it's going to give a breakdown. It'll say, "Hey, here's why your score is bad." It'll say your nose is twenty three percent too narrow uh -huh. and your eyes are too far apart, and it'll give you feedback. And then at the can end, can we do that with me, man? I want to see what I get. You sure? Really? Yeah, you're not going to really kick me out, are you? Want to do this. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know how ugly I am. Well, listen, I know uh, I'm not good looking. I know it. I don't want you having more ammunition against yourself. I know. <laughs> well, how do I do it? Do it to me. Okay, sure. Let me see your thing. Do it to me. Yeah, give me that thing. What's your prediction on someone like me? Seriously. Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> Anybody close that I, you think looks like Howard I Heavy should, Scan? Yeah, yeah, I should beat Jay Leno, though, don't you think? Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, come on. Should I take off my glasses? Yeah, I, I kind of need a good... Like, should I take off the headphones? Because my, um, like, my head looks yeah, white. I'm more, I'm more concerned with the face. So. The face. So hold on. Let me hear. So you get very close Go to ahead. the face. And don't smile. He needs normal. Okay. He never smiles. <laughs> of course, you're smiling now. <laughs> Did you do it already? Your hands are shaking like a leaf. It's freezing. You nervous here. prick. Freezing. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> what are you freezing about? I think you're sick. <laughs> I'm from Phoenix. <laughs> <All right. laughs> The iPhone's smoking, Robin. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> now, you took my picture. Now you're plugging in the coordinates? Yeah, we're just lining these points up. Oh, good. Sure yeah, I think I'm going to do very well. I think I have a perfect face. It's going to accuse Seems me of, like a lot of scanning work. Toucan Sam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you bastard. Wow. All right, get out of here. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Toucan Sam. Get out of here. That's oh. not nice. I bet you Toucan Sam I love is, Howard. I bet you Toucan <laughs> Sam is better get looking him, than me. Gets a better score. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine I lose to Toucan Sam? All right, how bad am I? My All wife's right, at 92. We're, we're waiting for the results. I can read oh, them Oh, look at you. that. That thing's really scanning. Wow. So it's going all over your face now. That's pretty cool. Is it really doing something? Oof. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you a second. So it says your head size is, size is about 13% uh, long compared to the width, so your longer face is less attractive. Oh, <laughs> why the long look face? look at this. Why the long face? So, well, your, your eyes are uh, nearly the perfect size for your head. Oh, perfect. perfect. Distance perfect. apart. That's good. So um, that's, that's a good, good sign. Your mouth width is near perfect. It's mm. only 3% narrower. Thank right you. Though. But you're smiling, so. Okay. Um, Nose is slightly too wide for your narrow face, which right. is ten percent wider. But overall, you're thirty-four over a hundred. Oh, wow. so. so I beat Jay Leno. You beat me by like two points too. Yeah, so. I'm better looking than you. <laughs> That's, <okay. laughs> That's pretty bad, man, for you. Yeah, I, hey, Robin, <laughs> I got a thirty-four. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Now, what about yeah. now what about like Fred? I gotta beat I him. Can, I'd be like if I break ten. Let's see. I'm a 34. Right, That's pretty what hot. What if you find that Fred is in the 90s? <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> so I do Fred. In what fucking universe? <laughs> By the way, we're talking to Joe Overline, and his app is called the Ugly Meter Pro. I'm going to break it. It's available on iTunes. Go ahead, Fred. Let's see what happens here. This is pretty cool. See, the first time you were here, it was bullshit. Right. Now I feel there's some science involved. <laughs> That's what we're going for. I don't know if for. it's good science. Let's well, see somebody beat a 34 around here. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, what's a good score? 89? 89, 90. I mean, yeah. the most beautiful that, that's people. perfect. Beth had a 92. So. What do you think? I'm married to a 92. <laughs> hey, I'd rather do that. Yeah, would you rather be a 92 or married to a 92? Hmm. I think I'd rather be a 92. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh... What's Fred? Any uh, it's coming up here? Give me your uh, yeah, it's scanning. Look at that. It takes its time. It broke. <laughs> 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 All right, so the app is called the Ugly Meter Pro. It's available on iTunes. And this one really works. This one works supposedly. <laughs> Thirty-four sounds about right for me. I mean, I All would right. say, yeah. Uh -oh. All right, you ready? But, okay, Robin, what do you think Fred is? If I'm a thirty-four. Forty-two. No. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Gee, I don't think Fred's better. Let me, Fred. Let me look at your face. I think he's better Let's looking. Look I'm not sure. Well, I'm See, just looking at symmetry. Well, I'm gonna say. Fred, I'm gonna say Fred's a 29. All right, Fred's coming in at a 40. 
Ooh, I was close. Shit. He beat me. Sorry, ugly. It says, it says you're losing your. It says you're losing your points on the nose width. Twenty five percent wide. Nose width I know. There's is nothing I can do about it. It's funny. I have the he same does. problem. He has a wide nose. Yeah. <laughs> he does. I'm, I'm, it's considerably too wide for your face. Twenty five percent wider than ideal. It says. There you go. How come you didn't have any prepared jokes for Fred? Like you had the toucan sand line <laughs> all lined up for me. Like that you worked on for a month. <laughs> I can't believe Fred beat me. That's depressing. Sorry. Barely. Yeah, Don't but do he beat Benji. Me. Hey, Benji's always claiming to be so good. Yeah, looking. Benji's you know, you know, surprised how, how normal Benji looked coming in here because the way you guys have been talking about him lately. I gotta be I didn't JD. Know what to expect. I, I do JD. All right. I gotta you be. You think him. that you won't be Benji? I don't know. Benji's got me convinced he's good looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no. What is that, Benj? I don't know if my weight will mess it up because I gained some weight recently, but uh, symmetrically, I have a beautiful symmetrical See, face. Here, here's what people right. do. Let J- him yeah, do Benji. Do JD oh, first. God. I gotta <laughs> beat this. <laughs> dear God. Take off your glasses. <laughs> All right, JD. Oh, what are you doing, JD, with your what? face? Hey, you can't turn to the side. <laughs> He's looking up in the air like a. First of all, don't you think you get a little too close to take the picture? Like, doesn't that distort the face? No, I'm a couple feet away. It's good. Hmm. It's got to line up in the... Oh, look at JD's area. face. I got to beat this kid. <laughs> oh. If I don't beat JD, I'll know it's... What? Oh, well, you were making a weird face like you just smelled rotten nah, I fish. Just, I just looked at his picture. No. Sorry, so funny. So glad this guy came in. <laughs> hey, d- hey, don't you think I'm going to beat JD? <laughs> I, I would hope. Yeah, I mean, what come on. I would both? hope. Jeez. Does that make It's a per- shame we don't have Jared here anymore. So we can Does that yeah. measure personality at all? <laughs> hey, that's the next meter, personality meter. Robin, if I don't beat JD, I'm I'm leaving today. Stop. I'm leaving early. I'm going home sick. <laughs> well, is it okay if you tie? I think JD's better looking than me. I heard you were dreading this segment for like a week. <laughs> I mean, well, I know I'm ugly. I don't need, you know, further confirmation that the... Uh, Fred beat me already. I, I don't need it proven scientifically for Fred. What, what do you think JD's going to be? I bet you JD's a 46. I just want to be over 50. I'm going to say... <laughs> Say he might be a forty-five. Yeah, but if it, so, you're saying he's better looking than. Me. But, but it's does, a symmetry thing. But no. does that app take into consideration his triple chins? Hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey. Right, what did JD score? All right, uh, you guys are pretty good. He came in at a fifty-two. So oh, oh, I'm Mr. Handsome. <laughs> Goddamn right. He beat us. <laughs> there you go. Put him on GQ. There, there, JD. Yeah. Look how happy he's he is. Stud. Stud right here, ladies. <laughs> you know what it proves? That fucking app is bullshit. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, now it's bullshit. Come now. on, dude. Sorry. No offense. Oh, yeah. No offense. You no offense. I'm 34, and you're... A, well, you know what? You are better looking than me, I guess. I got to face it. I got to face it. I'm bone ugly. What can I say? Somebody around here has got to lose to me. All right, try, try Benji. Benji. <laughs> fat fuck. I'll be an 89. Look at JD all happy. Be, JD, JD okay. Hey, JD. won something. You think there's anything real about this? You're crazy. I don't think there's anything real. Right, get out of here. I'll be the highest yet. There's no doubt. All right, let's see. Right. You think you'll beat JD? <laughs> Should he take off his hat? Well, he does have a nice nose, I've now yeah. looking at uh, here, can I, I need your hat. Can I get your hat off because I need to have head height? Uh-oh. Hey, I take off your fucking. I don't know. Show your bald head. Come on. Take <laughs> off your hat. It won't, it won't matter. It's just for measurement of your head. It's not my <laughs> face has just been hey, extended. Uh, don't smile. Jay, Benji, just let him take him put down. Him him attack him or something. Look at you. Just He's stop, trying to look dude, cute. You're, you're fine. <laughs> That's Benji's cute face. <laughs> don't smile. Uh, uh, don't smile, you fat bastard. <laughs> uh, if, if Benji... You know what? Benji's atrocious. I'm I have sorry. An incredibly symmetrical. Face. I'm just saying the credibility of this thing is way out the window. And JD's a fifty. Fifty-two. Well, fifty's not a gr- fifty-two. Not a great score. Hold on. Not great. I'm a thirty it, it, fucking it, it, four. Yeah, but it's, in, the, in this room, it's a great score. I'm club fucking footy, <laughs> yeah, so. This guy Joe coming in here bumming me up. <laughs> Joe Overline. What kind of name he's is that? He's over the line again. We're not kidding. He's over the line. <laughs> uh, how's uh, JD? I mean, how's Benji doing? Uh, all right, so but, JD, what was your score? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. All right, JD. Uh, he's a stud. Look, he's got, oh, Look he's got at him. new yeah. confidence. Well, suddenly, he's not even talking yeah. like a mush mouth. That's right. Fifty-two. I, I, I just answered a number. Calm down. <laughs> I can't believe I got a thirty-four. You sure you took that right? I'll do it again. If you, you better do it again. Oh, God, I want it done again. Lower score. I saw Benji was cheating. He was trying to look like a Playboy model. <laughs> what did Benji? All right, get? Benji came in at a fifty-two. Also. Wow. So. Wow. There's something quirky about that app. Hey there, handsome. All right, let me try it again. Okay, Robin, I want a second shot. 
I'm not buying it. Oh my god! If it comes out lower, what are you gonna do? Hold on, hold on. Let me mm. fix myself. By the way, can he delete all these pictures out of his phone? Yeah. It doesn't oh. even keep the pictures. It's, <laughs> it's all an app. Oh god! <laughs> I was <laughs> smiling. That's what. You were like. <laughs> now oh. you're doing. Yeah, you're something. looking down. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you think that? <laughs> Come on, do let's, do it. let's go. I'm doing my Zoolander. <laughs> doing blue steel. No angles. No, no, no. <laughs> I realize why I flunked. He what? shoots me from below. You okay, gotta get a so straight on shot or. It's worse. You, you shot me like they shoot Frankenstein the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying my score 34. I'm better looking than these guys. I'm really not, though. Boy, Benji, you got the same as JD. That's pretty good. I no, I'm way higher than that. That's ridiculous. Hey, well, shooting at you were. I got it. No, 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 no. Go ahead, go ahead. You don't get a second Believe shot. Believe me, you can only go down, Benji. Right. right. <laughs> don't don't risk it. You want to you want to put a, a hundred bucks on it? Yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what what did I get now with my new good looking uh, picture? Calculating. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. <laughs> you sure? You sure this is based in science? It, it's based on science. Hey, if I, I'd try. I'd give myself a better score if it wasn't. Yeah. That's Sal would say. There's no pheromones involved. <laughs> so you got uh, 34. Oh, again? Oh, thank goodness! It was 34. Yeah. Yeah. 34. It was 34. Same exact number. So sorry, buddy. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. All right. Will supposedly oh, so it. good looking. Let's see what he gets. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, here's Will. I bet you Gary. Someone's got to get lower than me. <laughs> Can I turn around? Gary's you really the one dreading this. Gary? <laughs> Gary's not oh, handsome well, at all. He's got that yeah, Cro-Mangan face. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like early man. <laughs> Gary, you got to take it so I Please. win. So I, I beat somebody. I already conceded to you. I was trying to beat Leno. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Will, right all here. confident. Uh, Will was looking like a serial killer. Like like cross-eyed. <laughs> Spider-Man over there. Well, it's, I mean, what is this? I mean, uh, I think this is bullshit. Why? Because you're not winning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's crap. I'll, I'll help you out here. I'll take it. It was answer. right for Beth. That's yeah, true. <laughs> you can't have it both ways. Yeah, it was right. It was right for Brad Pitt, and Angelina Jolie, and Beth. I can't believe I'm a 34 and my wife's a 92. <laughs> okay, who got the highest score ever? I feel Beth did. Those are yeah. I mean that I've scanned at least. But right. I mean, I mean, if she beat Angelina Jolie, she's on her way. Mm. Can't believe Beth. I'm a lucky guy then. <laughs> you know what? She's got to stare at a 34. I get to stare at a 92. <laughs> no wonder I'm behind the camera. All right, you ready? All right, what's Will? Will came in a 70. Wow. wow. Oh. You prick. Well, I expected wow. to be bigger. Wow. Thank you. 70. <laughs> He's only twice as good looking. <laughs> wow, you're, twi you're two times better looking than me. Yeah. Hey, Jason, I got to beat him, right? I would think. He's disgusting. Here we go. Now you're going to go what down are you the do if he doesn't? Are you going to do Gary first or Jason? All right, Gary, go ahead. Yeah, we'll go. Let's, it'll be like, I bet you Gary beats me. <laughs> it should be like the evolutionary chart. We're going to send it on. Yeah, but you got to show Gary's teeth. I mean, that's oh, a major no, flaw. No, no. Why not? It's my face. All right, but Nobody wait. else smiled. Yeah but, does it measure, smile. yeah, but does it measure like your lips have to, like, yeah. like they... Yeah. they, like, they they can't yeah, even cover your teeth. <laughs> you know how his lips get dry and then can't cover his teeth? <laughs> what are you laughing at, JD? You I, I like stud. how he had to sit down. Like, he can't stand up. <laughs> well, he's smart. I want to be comfortable. He's smart. He, he made himself comfortable. Oh, my God. That's JD the same position he's crazy. in when he takes a dump. What was JD? 52. 52. I want to be a 53. <laughs> I'm a 34, so you got to be me. God, that's so depressed. And Fred's a, a 40. At least you beat Leno. Leno I, that's what I beat Leno, yeah. Yeah, I beat Leno. Everybody I don't think Leno. Leno's that ugly. I think there's way... You know, like, his face is misshapen. I mean, but there's way uglier than him. According to that machine, he has a misshapen face. <laughs> All right, but I had to have beat Gary. Come on. Well, he's, uh, this, this scan's about to start now. What if he's like a seven? What's the lowest you ever did? Was Jay Leno your lowest? Jay, I've never had lower than Jay Leno. Like, wow. even trying. Like, it's, wow. It's, it's, <laughs> shit scan like the elephant man. <laughs> See where he comes in. He got a 15. <laughs> Uh-oh, there we go. There we go. I see uh -oh. it scanning my face. 59. Wow! Eat that shit, JD. <laughs> <laughs> you ugly fucking double chin prick. <laughs> Gary, you beat J You know what? You beat JD, you beat Benji, you beat Fred, and you beat me. The only person you didn't beat is Will. I'll put 100 That's bucks. Funny. He said I was angled wrong. I can beat him. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. I Benji, uh, Jason, you should have just held your head Jason, straight. I gotta beat you. Make it that I beat Jason, at least. I'm leaving. I can't Don't believe smile. You're not 89. supposed to smile. What was Gary? A 59? 59. Yeah. Wow, that's almost 60. 
If you round off to the nearest tenth. Wow. I hate this app. <laughs> I don't know why you brought this guy back. Thought I was hot. <laughs> I even wore something nice today. Being on TV <laughs> has gone to your head. Yeah. yeah. What do you got for Jason? All and right. don't tell me he beats a 34, because I'll throw you right the fuck out of here. <laughs> you better make sure you make This is what I was afraid of. I should have scanned you last. Right. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, depressing. Oh. I was going to school these boys in good luck. <laughs> I don't believe the machine really evaluates. So far, have you had the lowest score? Yeah, I'm oh, the lowest. I'm the ugly. <laughs> oh, dear. I told you I was. I told you not to do it. Uh, you're right. <laughs> I'll do an update. You can add net worth to add to the calculation. Yeah, right. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, God. Uh, 59. Oh, what? Oh, oh, get so, it. So here, oh, Gary oh, are the same. Jason and Gary, you know what? So here's this a, app is this such is, bullshit. <laughs> keep in mind, we're, we're scanning bone structure, so he's obviously overweight, but... Um, yeah, well, well, I mean, your, your so app doesn't look at that. how did you find his bones? No, it, well, you, the place on the face. Yeah. Wow, Jason, I like you're 59. Uh, Jason, uh, you even admit you're ugly. Weight. I disagree with that number. Like, I mean, that's ridiculous. Right. I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> you're what a pretty normal-looking guy, and if you lost some weight, you'd you know, probably make a big difference. I've seen him thin. He's just as ugly. <laughs> I've never been called normal looking before. I mean, God. But does the app come with a suicide device? Oh! You want to take it, purchase. Robin? No. You don't want to know? No, 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 no. What about guys like John? Who's worse looking than me? John Hines oh, got to be. Oh, my goodness. This is All these guys are in the 50s and... and, and Scott the Engineer. I'm in the 30s. Scott the Engineer or Ronnie. Oh, okay. Scott the Engineer. No, no, we need Ronnie. Yeah, here. Ronnie. <laughs> Ladies hair, <laughs> Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got to be Ronnie. <laughs> he might be the highest. Oh, I don't know. God. Ronnie might do well. Kick well, <laughs> Ronnie looks like a fucking bus but hit him. you got to be Scott the Engineer. All right, get in here, Ronnie. <laughs> you you bullshit artist. <laughs> shit in there. Yeah, bullshit artist. What's wrong with you? Go ahead. Take his, take his fugly picture. He's not going to bite me or anything, is he? No. All right, All take right. his picture. Look at this with that Fu Manchu mustache. That, this thing is bullshit. <laughs> Why am I getting upset? <laughs> don't lie. I won't lie. No, he won't I lie. I have no agenda. I don't care. <laughs> He made, he made the psychiatrist lady lie that it was crazy. Who, Who did? You did! Jeez. What? Oh my God. What are you talking about? He's talking about that test we took. Why'd you take IQ it? Test? Oh. Yeah, and Ronnie, why are you busy <laughs> giving out on the wrap-up show my private conversations when I have dinner with you? What? What? Yeah, he started talking about I was talking about Jason and this one and who oh, I didn't well, talk you, about. He did that no, on I the just air. Said, you said that Jason... <laughs> the, the don't same thing talk you said. about you what said I it. talk about. The other guys get jealous. You said it. No, you said it. No, I said it after you said it. Oh. But that's what he's saying. Why did you tell what he told you? No, right. he said it on the air first, and then I said I it on the show. I can't wait to hear how ugly you are. Oh, my God. Oh, good. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. What? I'll show Howard. What did, let me see. <laughs> what did Ronnie get? A, a, let me see. Let me see. Bottom red and yellow. <laughs> ugly I've never had results. this. You're, oh, my God. What? Oh my God! Let you announce it. Listen, Ronnie is a zero. No, are you kidding? Zero, <laughs> lower than Jay Leno. Are uh, you read kidding? it, read it, but Ronnie. You want come to here. Text? Come here. What? I swear, <laughs> take a look. Get out of here! Look at that. There oh, you thank go. God. Fuck off. On the bottom. Fuck off. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? I, zero. I, He's never even seen what a zero. What does it say? <laughs> okay, well, it says his head size, like ratio, is only one percent off, which is, is pretty good, but. It says the eyes are extremely too small and way too far apart. Uh, that's where he's losing most of his... Uh, his point? His, 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 his mouth is 34% narrower than, his, than it should be for his face, so his wow. nose is all right. But, wow, I've no Boy, suddenly I feel hot. <laughs> well, I beat him by 34 it, points. It can't go negative, so... Wow, a zero. Has I've never had that. Never. 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 Now there's well, a new well, low. Well, someone beat Leno. I guess he can feel good about himself. Wow. I knew I was better looking than Ronnie. Low. What about Scott the Engineer? You want to do Scott? What is he going to do? I just say, you know, we're doing a couple out here now, so we'd have to wait. So I just did Scott and Hine, and we're going to leave them in. I'll have those results for you in a minute. All right. Well, let, let the expert do it. You guys don't know what you're doing. Get Scott the engineer. Uh, he's got his assistant out here. Scott is doing oh, it. Oh, yeah. So good. Okay. okay. Who's your assistant? You have an assistant? <laughs> hey, maybe there's money in this you know, thing. Hey, the whole reason I did this, actually, because last time, my friend Ryan, who developed this with me, got yeah. stuck out in the waiting room the whole time. So I'm like, oh, we'll get you back on the show. I'll make this, and we'll make it. And I spent a year, he didn't even know about it, wow. making the app. And I was like, you'll meet Howard, I promise. <laughs> so, so I'm a 34. Ronnie's a zero. 
Oh my well, god. Well, at least you know you have to think, Ronnie, because before you were worried that yeah. you'd have the lowest score hey, on the Ron, staff. Thank you, man. Cuz I mean, that was now I feel pretty good. <laughs> you know, now he has new advertising for that block party. Come meet a zero. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Jeff the Drunk. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, can you check out my picture? Oh, yeah, he's got to be like... If, oh, if Ronnie's if, a zero... It's got to be negative Jeff figures. beats you. Don't do it. I guarantee you Jeff's a zero. It could ruin you if Jeff beats you. Be out and I beat Fred. No way. If that if you beat me, then I know this <laughs> thing's wrong. <laughs> Holy horseshit. <laughs> They're not accepting that. I don't know if I have a picture. Do we have a picture of uh, Jeff? It's got to be a front, right perfect front picture. Oh, it's got to be a front we picture. Like we have we a headshot we is what we need. Right headshot for you, Jeff. Let me ask you, do you think a guy who lives in a trailer and drinks all day has a headshot? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> never know. <laughs> all right. Um, while we're waiting on the results... Would that picture do it? No, it's not head. It's he's not. No, he's not straight. No. It's got to be perfectly it's straight. Be, oh, no, it's going to be work. not. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's <laughs> let's go to. Uh, oh, Debbie, the pet lady. I, I thought you quit the show. Debbie. She's not there. Maybe she did quit the show. Okay. Maybe she forgot. By the way, I got so many emails. People love Debbie, the pet lady. It's a shame she's not on the show anymore. But she finally won people over. Yeah. And now she's off the show. What is your gear? So we're scanning Richard and Sal now, but I have uh, Scott Salem, John Hine, and All right, John what is, Lieberman. What was Scott the engineer? Well, bring in the other expert. Okay. What's this guy's well, name? Because he's, he's shooting other oh, people. Oh, he's shooting. Right okay. We'll get him in in a second. Uh, Scott the engineer has got to be less than a 34. What is he? He's a 41. Oh, my God. Scott the engineer was a 41. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because it's different phones. Uh, <laughs> John Hine? Go ahead. John Hine was a 47. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. John, this machine's John Lieberman? Yeah. He was an 18. An 18? 18. I could see that. Oh. <laughs> so we're doing Richard and Sally. Wow. See, it's no fun when you do them out there because you can't get the guy's reaction. You fucked it all up, Gary. Well, why don't you bring the guys in and give them their, give them their results? I told you. you, you were, he was trying to be a good producer. Yeah, the, perfect. <laughs> well, hey, John John uh, Lieberman's an 18. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, where's his, where is he? That's bullshit. <laughs> wow. There is no fucking way I'm an 18. It was too tight of a shot. Yeah. Too tight. I think I was too tight. I'm, I'm better at a distance. Uh, this is your uh, partner? Yeah, What's this guy's right. name? Well, not partner <laughs> right what's your name ryan ryan hey yeah. ryan hey. uh all right john lieberman's an 18 and scott the engineer is a what he paid me to scan it what so. is scott the engineer i don't i don't remember Gary. 40 something I thought he said 41. 41. yeah 41 or something that's kind of weird what were richard and sal i haven't done them yet oh okay just did us. well i took your picture but then they called me in i didn't finish it all right you better do jesus ryan <laughs> Sorry. So the funniest results are I'm a 34. Nothing funny about it. Well, what do you, I mean, that is funny <laughs> to the audience. The only people I beat were John Lieberman, who's an 18. How can I be an and 18? And Ronnie, too? That's what, who's hey, John, a zero. what's on your face? What are all the scratch marks? Oh, yeah, you've no, got No, I was just scratching mark. my forehead. Yeah. After I found out this, wow. I was scratching my forehead. I have sensitive skin. That was after the picture. And what did it say about John Lieberman that he's an 18? Well, like, it might have been he was smiling a little, so his mouth was really small. Right. So it might have been because he was smiling. Okay. I, and, I want to read. I want to retake. <laughs> and what about uh, and and the most startling result was the lowest ever is Ronnie the limo driver at zero. Was he lower than I didn't hear? Him. Ronnie he scored a Jay zero. Yeah. I've never had anyone. Yeah, lower than Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ronnie doesn't even have a face. Like I mean, well, how is that a surprising result? <laughs> well, I mean, a zero. I mean, I, yeah, the guy's so unattractive. Yeah, well. But uh, you think of Ronnie as unattractive? Well, I, di I didn't, but now I do. I mean, I mean, I guess maybe some of his personality seeped into the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we see if uh, me or Sal's better looking? What about Scott DePace? He thinks he's so good looking. I was going to say Scott that. and Doug. What'd you say, Scott? I'd win. I beat Will. You think you'll beat you Will? You beat oh, Will. Yeah. I will be Come willing. on in. All right. We'll take you right now. What was Will again? Se 70. Like 70. 70 or something. Richard, you want to go? But well, can you yeah. take a picture with yours and then uh, you do and you do Scott the Pace? Yeah. Okay. I've had girls compare me to that kid from Mask, that movie Rocky Dennis. Yeah. So, I'm not <laughs> expecting much <laughs> from my school. Yeah, you got to be. All right, Scott the Pace thinks he's so good looking. Go ahead. Take your picture. Let me see how you look. It's, it's Don't put the headphones on. Let him take the picture. It, evidently, it doesn't matter. It doesn't? No, according to these person, guys. You look good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't smile, right? <laughs> yeah, no don't smile. smile. Let's just get a straight, like, face shot. Okay. 
Look at me smiling like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> there <laughs> there, there are, are no, no Brad Pitt's here. I didn't miss nothing. Oh, Debbie. What? Hey. Come on. Oh. I thought you quit the show. I did quit the show, but I had a call in just for five minutes, okay? Just for five minutes. No, I don't you have don't five minutes. Call. You don't have to talk to me anyway. What did he get? I don't need a minute. All right. He's got the pace looking all confident. Mm, off the charts. Debbie, hold sure. on. We're measuring to see who's good looking. Ronnie got a zero. Because what's good <laughs> is this thing doesn't measure your hairline. So <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You think you can beat Jason, I bet. Jason got that's a 50, my only flaw. J- Jason got a 59. Yeah, that's just... That's just ridiculous. That's just, if you see the zero, that's his weight. His, his nose is like... It's, it's so wide. There's no way. Yeah, I mean... No, it's not that wide. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God, it's huge. Look at it. I score low because my nose is really wide. Scott's got a 56. Wow. Get out. He beat me? Yes, he beat you. Jason beat you. You (laughs) lose He's not quite as good looking as me. (laughs) Wait, can we do it again where we smile? No. I like no. Gary's teeth. You know, like, <laughs> that's the point. Gary's teeth are a major detriment. <laughs> Who walks around like that? I don't know. <laughs> if we what go did, uh, the bar, what did Richard oh, get? You, we're not taking your boldness into account. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm going to scan Richard. I have Sal. So. Don't take a couple points off. All right, All right go right. get Richard and Sal. What is Sal? Sal's a 34. Oh, oh like wait me. a minute. I'm the same as Howard? Yeah, you're the same as me. Are you proud of that? <laughs> Aren't you happy? I'm in. We finally have something in common. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Sal, I thought pleased. you're better looking than that. Apparently I'm not. It says yeah. that wow. his mouth is too narrow. You're even uglier than Fred. Yeah. Wow. Well, Fred's well, Brad, pretty good looking. Yeah. Hey, not according to that thing. Would it work? Maybe we should see if Gary or the Gary mask is better looking. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Sal idea. should wear the Gary oh, mask. Yeah. Put on the Gary okay. mask and see how that does. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, you and I have something in common. What? You're a 34G and I'm a 34. <laughs> Well, who are you doing now, guys? Who are we waiting on? Richard. Richard? Richard's like a... Richard's a normal-looking guy. Your eyes are... Like... Well, I, don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Really? That's normal? Uh, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I've, my nickname was Fugly in high school. Take a picture of uh, Sal in that uh, I don't think this is going to work at all. <laughs> <You don't... laughs> it would have got to get a better score than Ronnie. <laughs> fit the mask what the... if the I Gary mask outscores <laughs> Ronnie? <laughs> I don't even know where to That's funny. start with. Hey, Debbie. How is home? I mean, if yell at you, know you would be in high. <laughs> what? I wanted to yell at you this morning. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, yell at me. I just scored a 34 on the ugly meter. Yeah, you ought to feel... You Be nice. Hey, be what nice. if what if we take a picture of my cock and it gets a higher <laughs> score? Like, Let's can you do an ass or a cock? <laughs> you really want the truth. What? what? There's only one good-looking guy in that whole studio if you really want my opinion. Who is it? You want to know? Well. Yeah. Uh, no, no, Will. I think uh, out of all the, all the, all you guys, don't take it personally, but I think the only really good looking in that whole studio is, is, is Gary. Yeah. Gary scored pretty high. You're right. Gary scored a 59. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> wow. You're attracted to Gary Delabate. I'm not attracted to him. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> volumes, okay? Go the wrong way now. Debbie loves Gary. I love you. <laughs> you love Gary. Hello, hello. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Ben. Okay, do we have uh, I love you little Shvia Dale? Richard, Red mine. I have I have the Gary mask. I have Richard. Right, well, how did the Gary mask do? Five. A five. So beat Ronnie. Beat Ronnie. Ronnie. The fucking Gary mask beat Ronnie. Wow. Oh my god. Do you think the Ronnie mask could beat Ronnie? (laughs) Put on the Ronnie Ronnie mask. mask. Hold on, Ronnie mask. What if the Ronnie mask beats Ronnie? Can we do my ass? And what if my ass beats Ronnie? Hold on a second. Hey, Debbie. What, Howard? Debbie and Gary sitting in a tree. (laughs) Here is this ing. No. I'm just teasing. All right, I got one more score here. Would you have sex with Gary? Of course. Oh, you're not. <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> Debbie, would you have sex with Gary? No, he's a married man. No, I'm saying if he was single. If he was single, I would, I, I, 
you know, no, I, I'm not going to answer this question, okay? You, you would go out on a date with him. I would have sex with him. He's a nice guy, okay? Right. I'm just saying he's a very attractive guy. I don't even know why he's on that show sometimes. He's the only decent one on the whole show. Hey, Sal is putting on the Ronnie, Ronnie the mask. limo driver mask. The Ronnie the limo driver scored a zero on the ugly meter. <laughs> I feel like a zero. All right, just hold still. Okay. Hold oh, can still. we get my score, too? He has mine. Hold on. This is more important. I want to see if the mask can beat Ronnie. What was Richard's uh, score? He's got a 46. Wow. wow. So you beat Sal. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sal awesome. I can't believe me and Sal have a 34. I'm I'm on it, Howard. Pit. I knew Sal would be happy with that score. Well, Howard, I'm not. Would you rather look like me or Jason? Uh, but Jason, you got better looking than me? Give me a fucking break, no, Jason. Uh, no all way. All these guys, do you know what you've done? What? All these guys are walking around all cocky now. <laughs> 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 and I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what are we waiting for? Uh, uh, the Ronnie, the, the limo Ronnie mask? The Ronnie mask. There's got to be somebody around here who's uglier than me. Hmm. Well, there is. Ronnie, Ronnie got Ronnie. a zero. Yeah. yeah well, I that's because he's dead. <laughs> One guy got, who, who got the 18? That was uh, Lieberman. Lieberman. John, John Lieberman. Lieberman's I know an 18. who's ugly than you, Howard. Who? That John Lieberman, okay? Yes, yeah, he got an 18. <laughs> you're right. You're right, he got an 18. <laughs> oh, he did, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, Debbie, you're pretty good at this. All right, I know, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I found something for Debbie to do. She could tell us who's good looking. I could tell you all the good looking people in there, right off the bat. What did he get? What did who get? A, f a five? Yeah. So the mask is yeah, better than Ronnie. You're saying Ronnie, Ronnie, proportions Ronnie's right. mask beat Ronnie? Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie should just wear his mask would, everywhere. Debbie, I have another one. Uh, Gary one. Howard, are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Debbie, are you attracted to Ronnie at all? Well, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Since he was nice and wants to let me do a one block party, I'm not going to talk bad about him right mm. now, okay? Okay. Okay? All right. Okay? Okay. But he fucks me, motherfucker! <laughs> I will talk shit about him then, okay? But right now he's on yeah, my... Yeah, did you know Ronnie offered a spot on Ronnie's block party to Debbie the I pet lady? I had no idea. really serious. Can you imagine that traveling with her, though, when she goes off? Like, <laughs> Can she travel? I mean, I don't even know. Debbie, can. you can... I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't I will be good. And what are you going to do on stage? I'm going to do my comedy bit. I have a real comedy bit, Howard. I got a real comedy. Dude, you got a zero on that. Your mask beat Please you. fuck these guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ghost, Ronnie. He's yeah. dead. Yeah. And you Stop. Okay? What? Not gonna what did Sal say? Calm down. I said he's dead. He's a ghost. Yeah. A ghost yeah. would get zero. I'm dead. Look at you off face. You You're dead. Wear, you have to wear makeup every day, dude. Okay? But at least I got a 34. I'm, I'm as good looking as yeah. Howard. Good. Well, that's not saying much. Um, <laughs> a man <laughs> beats you. Whoa, you just put down the boss. Okay. Well, he put me down. So what do you think? I'm you got a to talk back. Mask, I'm not afraid to talk back. Your mask got a five. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, <laughs> Debbie is going to do Long Island so she doesn't have to travel far. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Hey, you guys suck. You really can, we, can we do my ass and see if it gets better than I'm Ronnie? Sure will. I don't know. I'm, I'm not scanning his ass. You scan his ass. ass. Scan his ass and let's can see what we? he gets. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, God. Bring that thing out. Oh, oh God. I don't oh. even know what it is. It's so hairy. Uh, <laughs> if you think about it, oh. the, Jesus Christ, man. Say that. The cock and balls is more proportionate to a face, so yeah. we could do mine Get after that his cock ass. And balls in there. All right, here, here, this, come, this will come next. <laughs> yeah, oh, skin, you guys are in front You know what? Guys always turn everything. Dirty. Yeah, my, I mean, and it's always about their genitals. My dick looks like a dangling nose anyway, so. Can we post this on Twitter? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead. Feel free. All right, what do stand I care? Ready? Yeah, stand uh, yeah, yeah, on like so. Oh. Sans Oops. Oops. What was that? <laughs> Tripping over my <laughs> smells awful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is going on? <laughs> Sal, has an Sal has an ugly it's cock, like an so he can't get that high of a score. I bet you that his cock and balls score. Beats Ronnie. It's got to be Ronnie. Yikes. <laughs> They're taking a picture of Sal's cock and balls, and we'll know if it beats Ronnie. It's, Jesus. it's amazing. Right. It, you did get a scan out of it. Wow. Well, it's <laughs> wow. <yeah>. not. <laughs> I guess it does look like a nose. So where's the top of the head? Yeah, that's right the top of the head. I'm so that's the depressed. Top of the head. What did uh, what did uh, the nose? what did Richard's ass get? Do we know yet? <laughs> 16. A 16. <laughs> Ronnie. Two oh, points wow. away from John Lieberman. I beat Ronnie and Jerry Leno <laughs> with my John ass. John Lieberman. <laughs> Almost. Uh, what did uh, Sal's cock and balls get? If it beats a 34, I'll be upset. Yeah, there, by the way, no it's science gonna... behind the penis shots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's going to break the app. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would be the eye? Or the testicle? Yeah. The eye's no, lower than the mouth. No, no, no. The eyes would be right there. <laughs> <laughs> the dick is the nose. <laughs> I've done patch marks before. I know how to do this. There you go. And the other eye there. All right, what did he get? 
<laughs> Wait a minute, they're still putting it in. It's so tiny. Debbie, what do you want to say? Because I got to go. Oh, I, right, the... I, I... Okay. <laughs> I can't say it now. You missed got a two. Right I got a two. Uh... Your cock and balls got a two. <laughs> got a two. All right. All right, Debbie, what do you want to say so I can say goodbye to the. Hello? Oh, she hung up. She hung up. Hey, anyway, boys, the app is called. If you want to have some fun. Uh, no. Is this fun? <laughs> Not for me. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> Ugly meter is always fun, hey? Marianne from Brooklyn, go ahead. Howard, don't you think we have like a good day and a bad day the way we look like a bad hair day? I mean, how could that be so accurate? First of all, Howard, you are sexier than Brad Pitt ever. And I can't stand everybody talking about Brad Pitt. So the guy who made the app, you could like take a picture of yourself every other day and want to come out with your friends. No, it, it's based on bone structure and facial structure. So how you do your hair, how you do things That's like that, irrelevant. don't affect it at all. Yeah. No. Did you do George Clooney? Trust me, Clooney? I've tried. <laughs> Did you do George Clooney? Yeah, he, he was high 80s. Oh. That's a pretty good score. No. 88, if I remember right. In my book, you're one million plus. You're so handsome and sexy. I can't wait. All right, thank you, Marianne. I don't need you saying that. Well, anyway, Joe Overline. What's your name? Ryan, Alan. Ryan, Ryan. These guys have an app. It's called. It's a bullshit app, but <laughs> you don't get it. Joe, uh, Joe Overline's iPhone app, the Ugly Meter Pro, is available on iTunes. Okay, it's called the Ugly Meter. Just look it up on there. And there's an Ugly Meter Pro, and then I guess there's just a regular Ugly Meter. That's right. But you're saying the Ugly Meter Pro actually measures. Pro, pros the the real gives deal. you a lot more. For your money. Okay, it's available on <laughs> iTunes, and uh, we've just learned that everyone on the show, except for. John Lieberman, Ronnie, even Scott the Engineer tested higher than me, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not Ronnie. Not no, Ronnie. Ronnie. I'm better looking than John. Huh? John John Lieberman and Ronnie. Mm. Or John Lieberman, yeah. And I'm better looking than Sal's balls and penis. So now Will's got the IQ test and this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Will Wait, wraps it all up. He's the whole package. <laughs> you have amazing hair, though. Thank you. So that... Yeah, it doesn't it measure doesn't that. It doesn't measure that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we, it doesn't because I don't have any hair. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. Well, good luck with the app. All right. Thank Thanks. you. And uh, we'll be back right after these words. That was a lot of fun. Good yeah, work. Awesome. Good work, boys. Nice. <laughs> Ronnie and I don't believe it. <laughs> I want you to shot the bullets. Ryan, you Ronnie. got a zero. I'm not gonna shot you for a zero. Had a great day. Ryan, give me one. I'm better looking than Leno and Debbie the pet lady wants to fuck me. That's like a fucking all star day. Hey, scan these motherfuckers. <laughs> I get a. You're higher than me. You kidding? What did you get? Um, I get between 25 and 27. Yeah, we actually no, I got 22. Oh, all right. I'm always under 30. I feel a little bit. You guys right here? Benji, what'd you get? He wants to see the app. I was, I was angry. I'm happened. in the 80s. There's no question. I'm in the 80s. <laughs> I did. You're in the 80s. Doom again. Doom again. I didn't. I didn't. Do you really think he's as good as that? One more. One, two, three. Do you really think you're as good as that? No, Brad's in the 90s. I'm in the 80s. Do you really think that you're this much less than that? Ask him. Also, look. Ask him. Take off your hat and do it real quick. All jokes aside. Give me some good lighting, though, because you're. Yeah, give me no light. You really want to do it. This is what if it's lower, Ben? <laughs> yeah, that's in the dark. No, I don't think it will be. I, but you turn around. Honestly, you shot me from below. He, well, he was doing this kind of. I didn't know. Yeah. No, yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna stick with my score. I don't need a reshoot. <laughs> I'm like, you were over 50. Right? I can go I'm, yeah, I'm like scary. a guy in the Olympics who jumped as long as he's ever jumped in his I'm life. I'm saying I went twice and I got 34 each time. I'm like I'm not. Watch this. Third time. Okay. All right. What was your first score? 52. But I. I, 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 I bet you lowered it. You fucked up. You blew it. <laughs> it's like taking the SATs again. Right. Sometimes you just gotta live with um, yeah. Last time we were in, we weren't allowed to save pictures, so it got disabled in this one, so it wasn't saving pictures. Oh, okay. We're all waiting. I know. Everyone's <laughs> 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 like, what could mean something? <laughs> all right. 47, I say. What'd you get last time, Bench? 52, but... Yeah, right in yellow. Six, 67. Oh, wow. A little better. It's a little better. That's a lot better. Yeah. What did you wait for? He's not much of a mutant, and I was surprised. What's that? 67. 67 when because I angled my face the first time. Thank you. Well, we, listen to the <laughs> we listen to the show all the time. I don't know what Benji looked like, but from listening to it, I didn't recognize you in the hall. Right? I was like, who's that guy? Yeah. That happened all the time. If you're good looking, you're, you're the same as people. You guys are the same, and... No, he scored higher. You got a 20. Yeah. Well, my nose is a lot wider. He has a normal nose. Look yeah. at his nose. It's it's. I, have, I got a bad. Wow, bad. That's like the second highest score. Yeah. There we go. It's good. good. And I wasn't yeah. even putting it all into it. You are good looking. Nice, pretty normal. Maybe I should keep my mouth shut about you. <laughs>
Yeah. Little bit. shut me up. <laughs> job, guys. So well, let's hang out with you. Good job, job, guys. Thanks. You got it. Uh, what is this? Thanks a lot. Hey, Joe, another successful run with the app. I, I mean, guess the app went great in there. So, if We're nothing paying. else, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Great at parties. What well, made you go back to the drawing board and and devise a more accurate app? Well, we we kind of disappointed the guys last time. They thought it was going to be real the first time we came in and. So when we got home, we're like, we need to make a real one. Let's let's get back on there and give them what they wanted. So it took about a little over a year to do it all. It was a lot of work. How much credit do you give Howard and the show for popularizing your your, your product? I mean, I know I know other other shows featured it. Yeah, we, what ha we, we kind of had we, we got a boost out of Howard for sure, but it kind of uh, we we were big that week anyway. So, but it was hard to measure. But yeah, I mean, we definitely got some business from it. So. So do you think this is going to catapult your success even further? I mean, with a more accurate app that yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. Because I mean, the other one is fun, but people really people want real answers. I mean, you saw everyone wanted to be scanned, so people get people want to know. Yeah, even if it doesn't catapult sales, who cares? We got to come yeah, we got to Howard. meet Howard, so yeah, whatever. We made we made a ridiculous amount off these apps anyway. So. We got to see Book of Mormon last night. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah, they redid my face. Right, and they because they said I wasn't angled right the first time. What did I get the second time? Sixty-seven. Right. Sixty-seven. Okay. What factors can change and cause such a boost? Because we all know Benji's blue eyes are well, gorgeous. Here's what happened when Benji, when the first picture, he was the only one in the back, so he didn't really have any lighting. It was hard to see, and he was I'm doing this for some reason. I thought that looked good, like that's what Doug no, that was me creepy. To do. <laughs> but no. So yeah, we redid. It. Yes, <laughs> that's what he did. But girls love. Um, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so, but we rescanned him, so he came out a little bit better. A little better, a lot 67. better. Yeah, that's good. A lot better than I am. Sixty-seven is hot. Sixty-seven is pretty good. I'm hot. Yeah. yeah. You it's can't argue. And I wasn't even. Science. I hot. wasn't even putting it all into it when I got to sixty-seven. <laughs> what other things could you have contributed? I mean, what, show me some. This was what I did for sixty-seven. Okay. Now, if you're going for ninety-seven, what? Would if you I do? really run for it, yeah. like. Wow. <laughs> oh wow! Why didn't you do that? I just because I didn't think it was like you know it's like. You Superman, want to you want to be right? normal. Yeah, sometimes. you don't. Know, you want to show off, right? Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta. Yeah. Yep. So. Cool. cool. Joe, would you mind measuring a couple other people back yeah, definitely. here? I mean, yeah, we walk you around yeah, a little yeah, bit. Man. That was really fun. How'd you Thanks, feel man. giving Ronnie a speech? Was that the lowest ever? <laughs> it, it was. Yeah, I was. I, honestly, I was surprised. I, I haven't. I haven't been able to, been able to simulate results at a zero, like trying to do it. So yeah, I, I was kind of shocked. But, you know, it, what do you do? I don't know. What do you do? You'd be depressed if you're Ronnie, I guess. Yeah. It, would you be up for a reshoot, Ronnie? Ronnie, come on, let's run you're it making back. Making me fucking cry. Ronnie, let's run it back. Benji just changed his score by 15 you're making points. making me cry. You might be able to get I'm at least crying. a 15. You made me cry, man. Let's do retest. I'm not doing any retest. I will not touch, I will not do anything for these guys. Are you afraid you'll do worse? Because I know it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Ronnie, you can at least get a 15. I mean, Benji yeah. jumped 15. You know points. it's bullshit. The whole app is a bullshit. And I'm crying over it. Okay? I'm very crying. Come on, let's take one more one more shot. Let's not. You literally have nothing to let's lose. Let's not. <laughs> let's not. Okay? You can only do better. <laughs> yeah, it's just the same shit with the psychiatrist that came in here. I'm told I'm the craziest fucking person in here. Now I'm the ugliest. But you know what? They had a good time with their fucking app. It's fine with me. All right, keep reaching for the yeah. stars, bud. Can I give you my review? Utterly ridiculous, insanely entertaining. It's a great app. Insanely it's entertaining. It's a lot of fun. Because just everyone's so <laughs> like, like when Scott DeFace walked in and said, "I guarantee you're better looking," based on what? <laughs> like because you can't like you can lift weights to be, you can't do anything to be better looking. But he thinks he's no, he thinks he's very good looking. He is, but he's good at everything. It's what did he fun. get? A sixty? What? No, he got less. He got a forty something. Oh my god! Benji no, no, I'm a fifty nine. He was a fifty. Uh, uh, Benji got sixty. What was sixty seven? Benji. I got right there. Benji got a sixty. By the way, Benji retested with the uh, mm. iPhone ugly meter wrap. Yes. And he went up. He went up to a 67. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, no. I saw it. I saw it. I, Get out of here. Yes, he did. He, Are you he, serious? He kept yeah. saying, he give said me another chance. He said the first time I did it, it wasn't like I was angling my face. I know that. And he said that 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 uh, skews the results. So I did it straight on, and I didn't even put everything into it. I just gave a totally normal look, a 67. Yeah, he didn't even put on his modeling face. You're yeah. telling me the truth. Yeah, I'm telling you the He's truth. He's three points below Will. Yep. 
Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah. Makes you look at him differently, huh? <laughs> JD clobbered me. My face is closer to Will than uh, Ronnie is to uh, his ass. <laughs> JD, Benji, Gary, Jason, John Hine. They all clobbered. Scott Fred. DePace, Fred. They all clobbered me. And Fred would never do that to you. I know. I only, beat, <laughs> I only beat Ronnie and John <laughs> Lieberman. <laughs> Ronnie and John Lieberman, that's it. Even Scott, the engineer. Scott, the engineer, clobbered me. Oh, that's right. I told you I was good looking. I'm a hunk. <laughs> the chicks dig me. <laughs> and guys, too. <laughs> hey, women want to be with me. Men want to be me. <laughs> How could Ronnie get a zero? He got a zero. The guy said he'd never saw that before. They've tested this on a million things. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, a zero. At least mine said my eyes were nicely placed in my head. <laughs> and no, nothing on Ronnie worked. <sighs> nothing on Ronnie worked. <laughs> Though it said something nice about Ronnie, but... It he, did. What it, was it? It wasn't enough. His eyes were too small and too close together. <laughs> that usually means something bad anyway. It means you're retarded. <laughs> I got to tell you, what I saw, I looked actually handsome. I don't know what everyone's talking about, Benji being a 67. I mean, that's fucking crazy. I I, I don't know <laughs> how that happened. Mm. Some things, maybe it broke after Richard's ass or something. Yeah, and you know what? I never look good straight on. I need to be uh, profiled somewhat. Turn to the turn to the left. <laughs> they got to fix that app. Something's wrong with it. That app can't be real. <laughs> but it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. You wouldn't do it, huh? No way do wow. I want to hear anything like that. You want to know something? I think you would have done very, very well. Um, I still don't know. I can live in this fairy tale I have. You're a good-looking woman. <laughs> don't discount what you could have done with that. First of all, you got a beautiful oh, face. Feel ya. Well, thank you. But anyway, together with uh, Beth, I average a 63. I figured that out there during the commercial. Go. Yeah. See, that's what you have to do. Take right. the couple rating. But I think you would have scored high. I think you... you um, you, I understand Just why you wouldn't I want to know. scored lower than Will. Oh, my God. Imagine you didn't beat Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> this thing went into a minus. Oh, forget it. If I didn't beat Ronnie, I'd have to just go home. Ronnie got a zero. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I mean, that's like... Oh, yeah. Why would you even have a zero? You know, make it like right. the SATs where you get uh, points just for having your picture taken. The, his ma the Ronnie mask got a five. <laughs> <laughs> it beat Ronnie. But that's pretty bad, too, because the mask is of him. So even a, a caricature of Ronnie it's better isn't looking. great, but it's better than him. And what was the Gary mask? The Gary hey, mask beat hey. Ronnie, too. What? You're such a big shot. Why don't you get your picture taken? I didn't tell Stop anyone to have their okay? picture taken. Have your picture taken. I didn't tell anyone to have their picture what? taken. What? What's the matter? Are you afraid? Yes. Why? Uh, because I don't want to know. Why not? Because what if she got I a zero? like so living what? in a fantasy So what? I got a zero? Yeah, see look me at you. crying? Yeah, I'm, you're crying right now. I'm not crying. Yes, I'm just saying yelling. Yelling. She's, yelling. Yelling. she's yakking about me, me, me with the zero. She's not saying anything. What about... Well, I'm said, listening out there. I hear what's going she's on. She's not being mean about Ronnie it. Ronnie with the zero. Ronnie with the zero. Ronnie yeah, with the zero. You got a zero. The mask beat him. The mask beat him. What did I just say? I said something's wrong with the app. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got yeah. a That's zero. What I yeah. said. Go get your picture taken. I don't know. Lisa need got my a 72. You think you can beat her? Who? Lisa. Lisa G got a 72? Yeah, you she believe is that? Good looking. I do. She's a cute girl. Well, you don't think Lisa's good looking? Not a 72. Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think about that. 72 is very That's high. pretty high. She beat Will. She has beautiful feet. <laughs> yeah, she beat Will. Come she on. beat Will. And Greg beat Will. Who? Greg Carmel? Greg Carmel. Yeah, really? Robin, Robin loves him. Ooh, yeah. What did Carmel get? 73. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's so good looking, huh? Yeah, well, hey. To me, he looks like a nebbish. What can I say? <laughs> well, they don't All take right. height into account. My height is beautiful, 6'4". Well, six five. five. Mm. Six six with your hair. <laughs> with my hair up. Six yeah. six with your hair. After Tony <laughs> curls it, I'm a six six. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Oh my goodness. Wow, I felt bad for Ronnie getting a zero. I know, and I didn't realize he was that hurt. I'm sorry. I would Dude. never have said anything. You don't think you'd be hurt with a zero? <laughs> well, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Gary's mask. What did Gary's mask get, Gary? <sighs> oh. Does anyone know what the Gary mask got? Five. A five. It beat it beat Ronnie. But every I guess everybody's feeling pretty good. 
Not me. After. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty low. Like, I feel really ugly right now. Oh, no. I really do. And I told you not to do it. I know this will trickle back to my wife, and she'll be like, is it true? You, you, J.D. beat you? <laughs> J.D. was, oh, J.D. was standing tall, yeah. all puffed up. He uh, wasn't uh, even stammering. No, he, no. Was, he was a big man on campus. <laughs> <laughs> what did he get? 52. <laughs> he almost beat me by 20 points. <laughs> it's 18 points he beat me by. Jeez. Even Fred beat me. Fred looks like he got one foot in the grave. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I guess you got both feet in the grave. I guess so. <laughs> it's a pretty sad day when I aspire to be Fred or J.D. <laughs> Gee, I wish I looked like J.D. Whoa. I'm never, I'm never going to say that. You know what? Me neither. I'm taking that back. Uh, J.D. Did. did outscore Fred. I'll stick with my wide nose. Yeah. I'll stick with my 34 over J.D. Fuck him. Now I'm mad at J.D. for beating me. I don't know what those guys were actually testing for. Hey, so this whole uh, let me talk. Let me talk to you real for what lupus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out it, <laughs> those guys look like they have lupus. <laughs> yeah. By the way, the ugly thing was totally bogus before, and now it's like it's got some, basing it on some stupid thing those guys invented. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the whole app is bullshit. <laughs> no, it's not. It's perfect. <laughs> What were you again, Fred? I think 40, 41. 41. <laughs> like it matters. Doug Goodstein was lower than me. Was he? Hey, what, hey Doug, what was yours? Uh, I was a 26. <laughs> <laughs> well, accurate. Those are bug eyes of yours. That's what did you in. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. Yeah. If they say so with that app, it must be. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're a 26, huh? I was surprised. Yeah. No You're great. not that bad looking. No, thank you. Neither are you. Come on. Oh, well, I am. <laughs> a 34 and a 26 two, consoling each other. Two horrendous looking people telling each other they don't look that bad. <laughs> yeah, that sucks for me. 34. At first, I was the first to go, so I thought, hmm, I'm, that's pretty good. Like, I'm not an 11 like Jay Leno. The had to warm up. Yeah. Did you do it again? I mean, Jay, yeah, I did it twice. You did it twice. Yeah, it was thirty-four. Oh. I didn't even go up a little. <laughs> like, like Benji went up like eight points. Right. Benji was like a sixty-seven. And isn't that the second highest score of yeah. everyone? Yeah, he was way up there with Will and Greg Carmel. Now Benji's in third, I think. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about Greg. He's behind the other oil paintings. Yeah. <laughs> and Lisa G was very high up. Well, Lisa's got very, very she's, attractive looks. Yeah. Like Ronnie says, oh, wow, Lisa G. Meanwhile, she's attractive. She was a 72, I think he right, said. Right, right. That's pretty good. That's insanely good. Uh, John Hine, evidently, is much better looking than me. What He's did like John Ham. What did he get? What did you get, John? So I don't find you attractive. John Hyde never masturbated. What are you? 49. A 49. Wow. And what was Fred? A 42? 41, probably. Or 40. Lee from I Howard remember. TV was a 34 also. I should point that out. Like me. Lee. Lee. You know uh, Lee. Yeah, I know Lee. And I'm better looking than Lee. <laughs> kind of looks like... Cool. Lee's a lighting guy, right? No. <laughs> Do you not. know what Fred just said about Lee's Lee? Lee's my senior producer. Uh, Lee's a senior producer? <laughs> I thought yeah. he does lights, too. No. No. Well, we're all jack of all Whoever the lighter guy is, turn the lights off over me. <laughs> no, did you hear what Fred did? No, what did he say? <laughs> Lee looks like Curly. But Curly's got yeah, a cool I know, look. he does. He does, like, he looks like Curly. I like Curly. Yeah, he's a 30. Look at him. <laughs> Cur I mean, you're the same as me? Yeah. You're not handsome in the least. No offense. Like, I look good at least from the right angle. Oh, my God. You don't have a right angle. First of all... Yeah. The, I, I love to be equal w with you on most things, if right. not everything. Right. But the looks thing, of course, the Do one thing you're not you're happy with. you think you're looking to me? Oof. I mean, look, you got bags under your eyes. Well, and... yeah, it's, I mean... It's early. Whatever. The, yeah, it's early for me. <laughs> um, I would bet, I would have bet like a $10 million that you're uglier than I am. And, and, oh and then we're the same. So, yeah, hey, good for you. I don't know. You know, it's, it's a tough call. I, I don't think you're a bad looking guy. Thanks. I don't think I'm a bad looking guy, but apparently, according to this app, you know, combined, we're barely Gray Carmel. Right. <laughs> Which At least is... I have a good angle. You don't even have a good angle, <sighs> do you? <laughs> I don't know. It would take a I'm while to find it. Boy. I mean, I do have some tits you're and stuff. You're so. extremely handsome. 
Oh, thank you. So me. genuine. Uh, thank you. Thank Lee. you. Okay. Sorry. Anybody else? Do you feel bad about it? I feel bad. No. You don't? No. Why, don't. why would you feel bad? Because I like to be better looking. Come on. And I think they're accurate. And at the end of the day, I am a 34. What were you, John? 49. See, I maybe you are better looking than me. Maybe I'm kidding myself. Well, numbers. Is he better looking than me? I don't think this app is right at all. Thank you, Robin. God. <laughs> 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 it's ridiculous that oh feel yeah even pedophiles are not attracted to me when i was a little kid <laughs> thank you uh what was your number again i can't believe it 49 49 that's way above me not that far above you i mean look at john i mean is he a 49? You know what? The one Look thing they I'm don't handsome. do is give you ranges. Like, this is average, this is low average, no. this, you know, sort of like an IQ test. They should give you that so you know <laughs> where you stand. Do you think that's going to make a difference? I look like an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at myself. Maybe John is better looking at me. You know what, John? You probably are. Uh, that's why he got all those blowjobs in college. Right. I used to make funny. I'm never going to do that again. They said 50 is average, so I'm 34. So 50 is average. Okay. Yeah. I'm average. Well, good for you. I'm. What am I? I'm like an ape. And Gary was average. Above average. Yeah. Ooh, above was, average, Robin. What was your number again? Uh, three points higher than the pace. 59. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but you didn't open your mouth. And you didn't put your wig on. <laughs> That's right, he didn't. You're losing this one, Scott. So he would have gone up. <laughs> Look at Gary's teeth. I mean, how can that, how can that thing be accurate? This is what I'm telling you. He's good Not looking. that I think Gary is unattractive, but this was a very bogus... Who are those guys? Those teeth. Be, <laughs> and what did they base this on? Those teeth couldn't be any more fake. <laughs> I mean, and his, especially his old ones. And these are the new ones, and, and they're even fake. Aren't his teeth so fake looking? John? Actually, these are good. Let me see, Gary. Let me see those. These <laughs> might be the best good. teeth he's had. Yeah, these are, are the best ones. Those are the best, but they still look fake. <laughs> you know they're fake. If you didn't know how it's oh. going. Oh. Somehow I know. And then uh, Jason Kaplan scored 25 That's points higher than me. I mean, crazy. come on, Jason. You know what's so funny? This would be a whole other thing. If you would have scored a 75. You'd yeah, but I didn't. I know, but you'd be like, this is the best thing ever. No, I feel bad. No, you want to know what, Gary? That's not true. I think it's accurate. That's the sad part. I don't. I really I don't. do. First of all, I think, okay, not to be gay. I think Doug Goodstein's better looking than me. Um, I do think I'm better looking than Scott DePays. But I think that you're... I feel I'm better looking than Scott the Engineer. I, I think so, too. Yeah. So I, I mean, I mean what, I it doesn't measure accurate. hair, evidently. But I don't think it's accurate, so I wouldn't give it too much credence. Well, Robin thinks it's real because she won't even take it. I just don't want any arbitrary <laughs> number <laughs> hanging out there that I really don't have any control of. I was going to say, you guys are not, not you so much, however, Robin. You're a bit of a coward because now you won't take the IQ test or the good-looking test. Now That's we, right. I am a coward. <laughs> 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 she doesn't want to be labeled. What do you think Look, you are, Look, that Robin? 34 I can never get rid of. Hey, Robin, what do you think you are? What I do you think don't you... know. I think I'm probably very average. Really? Yeah. You're beautiful. <laughs> no, seriously, look at your face. You don't have anything wrong. You, you, you... Oh, feel you. How do you, you know a nice that? face. I know, because I, I, I'm a judge. <laughs> That's right, you I'm are looking a at judge. You. Yeah. I forgot. How do I know? <laughs> You think Lisa G is prettier than you? Lisa G is cute. You got to be up there with Lisa G. Who knows, but I don't care to know. And you have a beautifully shaped mm. head. <laughs> Always oh, admired that. Feel right? You know what I'm saying? Look yeah. at her. Good bone structure. Yeah. You do. You have beautiful high cheekbones. Gorgeous eyes. Almond shape. Full well, lips. Everyone wants lips like yours. There you go. And All you have a I thin have nose. to do now. You don't have a, a, a broad nose. You have a thin nose. I have a broad nose. Yeah, Fred has his problem. <laughs> All I have, I have to nose. do now is... I think you would test highly. Do it privately. continue to allow you to just gaze it. Well, you know what? Buy an app <laughs> and test yourself at home. I don't need anybody else's number. I, wonder, I don't know why you guys wanted to do that. I wonder what you would test mm. at. <laughs> You'll never Are, know. Is it okay if we, we bought the app? Is it okay if we take Robert's press photo? No. She doesn't want it. 
Oh, your press photo is beautiful. Mm. <laughs> what is her press photo? Where is her press photo? Yeah, what does it look? What is it? It's gorgeous. It's the one that the, the huge one that hangs in her house. No, no. That huge picture that was in your dining room that of is yourself. Not the same picture. No. If it's at an angle, you can't use it though. I think it's front right on. What do you got? Oh, there, let me see that picture. Oh yeah, you would do well. <laughs> <laughs> but you're smiling. That's the problem. There you go. This here is a '97. <laughs> Oh, fee, yeah. Gary. Woo, woo, woo. I mean, well, first of all, congratulations. But second of all, smile. really went firing at JD there. But he was saying how he was goofing on me, so I was goofing back at him. All a good fun. JD, are you getting a little too cocky I'm with that 52? Just got cut down to size by oh, Gary. I, I, I mean, I was, uh, yeah. Yeah, does my good, does my good looks diminish your score? <laughs> I don't know. Do you go, do you go, oh, uh, 52, fuck, Gary's a 59. How good can it be? No, I, uh, I don't, uh, I really, I, I know I'm ugly. Uh, You're not. I am. You're and not. I was proven. I think, uh, I, I just, I'm at a passable, I passed the, the 50 line, which was like, uh, passable. The so Mendoza line. The yes. Mendoza line. Uh, I beat the Mendoza line. I was sort of feeling more like, I bet I would have done a lot worse three years ago when I was 30 pounds heavier. My my features would have been further apart. I think that had something to do with it. That's what I'm going with. JD, do you think if you hit the gym a little more, you might be able to up that Fuck score? Fuck off. I figured that out. Too. What's up, Mr. Engineer, sir? Yes. I, I pulled a 73 today. Did well, you really? You yeah. Scored high. I think you you um you were adamant that they they measured me. Well, you did good. See, I knew you would. I knew you would come through. You you beat several staff members yourself. I beat Ronnie. I'd have to. I did. I beat a lot of staff. Yeah, beat Howard and Sal and Ronnie and Lieberman. Oh yeah, why would you even have a zero? You know, make it like the SATs where you have points just for having your ticket. The, Not bad, man, huh? The yeah. Ronnie Mask huh. got a fun. Great day for you, sir. I beat the Ronnie Mask. <laughs> but that's pretty bad, too. Cause Congratulations. Well, yeah. you should be so proud of yourself. A, yeah. a caricature of Ronnie. All right. No staring at my ass when I walk out. What did Doug get? 26. Ah, I beat Doug. See? There you go. What? You Doug's got those beady shot, eyes, that's why. He's got those beady eyes. You know, some of us look like nevishes, but some of us look like a 59. And, uh, you know, hey, look, ladies, underneath this. Underneath this rough, 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 rough fleshy, uh, jiggly material, uh, there is a 59. So you could, out of this mold, you could chisel a, uh, a sexy man. No, it just it needs to melt. Uh, like I need to melt like a candle, and then underneath there'll be the, the skeleton of a fifty-nine. Underneath. A lot of guys, no matter how much weight they lose, they don't even have that advantage. So is this going to give you a little extra, uh, a little extra boost? It certainly gives me something. It certainly gives me something because if, if he told me I was a twelve underneath all this fat, then fuck it. You know what am I working for? So yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's something. There's there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's a very dim, very dirty, very ugly light, but it's it's still a light. It still shines. It still shines. A sex spot. Today's results, were you uh, pleasantly surprised? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how accurate that thing is, but I had a 40-something, which is better than I thought I'd get. I'm not considered... I'm not considered what you would call classically handsome. <laughs> so... And my ass did pretty good, too. I was really happy with the results of my ass, because I guess that means I have a pretty nice ass. Well, I think this app speaks to the fact that, you know, it can measure, you know, proportion and symmetry and things like that, but we all know you do your best work and look the best completely naked. Exactly, and and I guess my butthole is perfectly proportioned. It's not off to the side, it's not square, it's round right in the middle of my ass and and just where it needs to be it's symmetric so maybe i'll start walking around on my hands you know because i have a pretty hot ass i've been telling you not only that you had a hot ass but a symmetrical beautiful butthole long before the iphone itself was even invented. oh thank you greg well i know will has the nicest ass in the office i felt it and touched it and ogled at it mm -hmm. so he'd probably get a higher score than me but i'm happy with the 16 for my ass Hey now. Good morning, Howard. Uh, good morning. Howard, did yeah. you happen to... I'm sorry, are you there? Yes. I'm sorry. Howard, did you happen to hear there was a news brief played over the weekend on your station, and it was with Shuley and J.D., and I just thought this was so telling. I know how you're attached to J.D. I know you, you find a, you have a special place in your heart for him, but 
he refers to himself in the news brief as J.D. Arm whatever. I mean, he doesn't even finish his own name. Wow. <laughs> you know, I did detect, though. Is he though, better t- since his uh, I did high de- score? Yeah, I did detect that the ugly meter thing, and he, he scored in the 50s. He was, right. he suddenly got some sort of confidence. I understand on the uh-huh. wrap up show yesterday he hardly fumfkeed at all. Yeah, he started to uh, he stood up straight. Uh, 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 whatever. As soon as he got his score. What do you think JD's going to be? I bet you JD's a 46. I just want to be over 50. I'm going to say <laughs> Say he might be a forty-five. Yeah, but if it, so, you're saying he's better looking than. But, but it's does, a symmetry thing. But no. does that app take into consideration his triple chins? Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what did JD score? All right, uh, you guys are pretty good. He came in at a fifty-two. So oh, yeah. I'm Mr. Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it did it help you in some way? Because it seems like you're walking around a little more confident. Or Not something. really. And uh, when, when I was talking, uh, he's back. Take it again. He needs to remember he's a. 52. Why don't you put yourself on that thing every day? Robin's right. Uh, what? When I was talking uh, in this news brief, I might even talk about my Twitter, and my Twitter is JD Harm. There's no like. Yeah, someone... but it's not JD Harm whatever. You should be JD Harm whatever. You should get that name. <laughs> well, someone's probably already got it now. Oh, I see. He did. He was so, talking about. Uh, the girl on the Big Bang Theory allowing him to follow her. Oh, is that the one that you thought you were stalking her or something? But, uh, I guess there was like a, I guess there was a, a Twitter bug or something. Yeah, and that's what happened. But now we're following each other. Oh, no. so she let you in? <laughs> she let me in. And she heard I was at fifty. What was your score on the ugly meter? 52. 52. Look at you. You got it memorized. <laughs> uh, that was a big day for you yesterday, wasn't it? You were expecting to be shot down again with like a 12 or something. Oh, I, 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 I just, I, 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 by the way, is there anything funnier than Fred doing JD or Eric the actor? I mean, come on. I was listening to the replay of Eric the actor yesterday, uh-huh. and Fred was going like on a mad tear, like, you know. Eh, eh, eh. I know. Well, he was very inspirational yesterday. Yeah. I have to say. Thank you for calling in, Eric. You should like get a business card, JD, with your number on it, like 52. Just say, you know, it's a chick. I'll change my Twitter thing, but I have 52 on the ugly meter. Did you goof on Ronnie at all about a zero? A lot of guys were in the hall goofing on him. Uh, I didn't didn't really get to uh, talk to him much, but uh, it is funny. Is anyone out there throwing the zero at him? Oh, of course. Yeah. Get a zero. (laughs) I mean, that's not cool. I, I, and I, I agree with Robin. I think it's because that that big bush he's got on his face. <laughs> it threw the meter off. Uh, <laughs> it's not I used to that sort that of is. thing. Does Ronnie have the worst facial hair, Robin? <laughs> Be honest. No, he doesn't have the worst <laughs> facial hair of anybody on earth. Because it is like a Wyatt Earp mustache. It, I just I love when guys start carving things in their hair. You know, making designs. <laughs> what kind of design? It's not a design. Is everyone busting balls about your zero? Dude, I don't really. No, yes, yes, you he do. does. No, I don't. Stop Dude, it. You really, you really believe that bullshit? Yeah, out? it seemed pretty uh, accurate. <laughs> oh, please, what get away from me. Those guys are the biggest users that ever walked through the door here. What's your theory? Jeez. My theory? Yeah. As far as what? My zero? Yeah. Dude. How do you figure? How do I figure? Dude. Yeah. They can do anything they want with that, th- that picture. They can make it. <laughs> to look like shit. Anyway, you think they, they manipulated the picture, or and they, they just, decided dude, to give you a zero? Just, just, fig, just figure out what they got out of that shit yesterday. They got airtime like they wouldn't believe. They got airtime into right into the wrap-up show. Right. <laughs> and when I when the guy walked out the but door, maybe, but, wait, 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 so wait. you don't think you are a zero? Wait, when the guy walked out of the, the, the little bald, ugly guy walked out of the oh, studio yeah. yesterday. Yeah. He goes, "Thanks for being such a good sport," with a big smile on his face. Ooh. So yeah. you think it was rigged? Oh, I know it. Was rigged. You know what? Without a doubt, my <laughs> fucking I met mind. a guy. I got to tell you something. I met a guy. He's a burn <laughs> victim. He got a twenty-five. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad. What, number do, you think, I'm what ha- number do you think you should be? Dude, I'm happy from. I don't care. But what, what number do you think you are? I don't know. Are. I don't know. You don't know your own number. No. What did you? What were you thinking you were going to get? You thought you I were going to no, beat me. Tell the no, truth. I, I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. Meanwhile, I heard that Sal put a big zero on Ronnie's back yesterday. <laughs> and he's walking around. Yeah. Don't know no, no, it, it said zero. It didn't. It wasn't a big zero. It he put a zero. Oh, it said zero. It said zero. And you didn't know for a long time. That's for, not nice. That was not nice. Whatever. 
Ron. I don't think Ronnie's a zero. I think Ronnie's the man. man, bro. Yeah, I'm crying. I'm crying over the whole thing. Believe me. I'm crying. No, you seem affected by it. Yeah, I am. I'm Phelan. very affected. I'm crying. Get Phelan, get Phelan. I'm not getting Phelan. <laughs> get him. I'm not getting him. He's fucking, he's running his bullshit camera in there. What do you want from me? I should get him? He was here. Phelan. That's your problem. Were you pissed? Yeah, no, it's just, South, it's just, zero. no, dude, it's just annoying when people just don't leave you alone. He, I want to see that on TV, though. I want to see Ronnie walking around with a zero on him. He was really upset dude. yesterday, Howard. He had, like, a lot of conspiracy. So the big conspiracy theory is that they, they rigged the picture. But then he even went back as far to say is that the psych test that he was given, that was also rigged against him. Ah. Oh, oh, right. Are you kidding? You believe so, that? Now, so now I'm crazy and now I'm ugly. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> that sounds about right. Not, Whatever, not dude. crazy at all. <laughs> right, right, right. You but, know? So, <laughs> listen. <laughs> they got they got what they wanted. I'm happy for them. Yeah. Now all of a sudden they have a you know they have an account on Twitter now too. Whatever, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you're on Twitter every minute, so were people busting your balls on Twitter? Of course. No, yeah. actually, I got a lot of re good response from people. Well, listen, man, from you know one the thing. The usual dirtbag guys gave me, you know, the usual shit, but well, I got a lot of a lot of chicks what? saying. That's Th bullshit. That you're good looking. Yeah, Listen, man. there's one thing I know. You're a great security guy. You're, I say you have eyes in the back of your head. I really do. <laughs> thank you. I do. Yeah, yeah, thanks. You know everything that's going on. Yeah, Whatever, You're dude. constantly aware of what's going on around you. Yeah, I love thank that. You. Yeah, yeah, my, uh, yeah, that's that's because my, you, you my probably, eyes are back here instead of up here. No, you that's probably know what's going, zero. You probably yeah. know what's going on behind you dude? right now. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> Stupid <Dude>. ass. <laughs> Sal was holding up a big zero. Way too long. It was the shakiest zero I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I was bummed out about the 34, but what are you going to do? i got to go on with my life. Yeah, exactly. You know, it wasn't a great score for me, but it is weird. You think you're better looking than J.D., don't you? I mean, were you surprised he was I, a 52? I would say Ronnie's better looking than me. You would? I, I, I don't know what the hell they did. There's, Who would you have sex with, Robin? Why do you think that they chose you to yeah, be Because the they know they get, they know... That it go, it blows up into a whole thing with me. Oh, oh. oh. oh he's okay. the big name. <laughs> I know <laughs> it is. Stop it now. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, why did they choose you to be a zero? Because they know it blows up. Like, look what happened with the psych test. Right. It, it went, it went ballistic in here with me. Right. So I'm you think? Idiot. No, you went ballistic. <laughs> yeah, but, but then I'm, why did Doug Goodstein get a twenty something? Well, he's to you talk about somebody being bummed out. Yeah, <laughs> there is somebody who is bummed out. Yeah, I heard he's like very upset really? with his score. Uh, I mean, I'm not upset at all. I don't know what you're talking about, Ronnie. Yeah, that's not what I heard, dude. <laughs> that's what you guys in the control room told me. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, okay, why do you think yeah. the, when those guys were figuring out who to give the zero to, and yeah, they did that why, to you, yeah. why did they give him a twenty? Because he doesn't get on the air all that much. I don't know. Dude. I'm telling you. That's my theory. I don't care. <laughs> and Lieberman and, and, and Lieberman, Le Lieberman couldn't sleep last night. Did you know that? <laughs> no. Oh, Lieberman Is that told true? Me, he, went, he, was he told me he, was, he couldn't shut up. His girlfriend was like tell telling him to shut up already. <laughs> Like all night, he didn't stop talking about it. Why would you? Because why would you tell your girlfriend that you're an 18? No, no. He, like he, Beth called me, she goes, "Why are people telling me about some ugly thing?" And I go, "Oh, because you got a 92." And she goes, "What do you mean a 92?" I said, "You tested higher than Angelina Jolie." She goes, "Oh, that's ridiculous. They probably just used a good picture of me or something." I said, "No, you just tested high." Lieber, Lieberman supposedly. I didn't tell her I'm a 34. Yeah. Hey, Lieberman, why did you tell your girlfriend you're an 18? What the fuck is wrong with you? She heard it on the air. And so she knew I was concerned about it. She heard it on the wrap-up show, actually. And all I said was, and I stand by this, and now the song even confirms it, that now I am defined by this for all of my days moving forward within Howard Stern. That's That was my concern. I got to tell you, man, I mean, I'm a guy and I'm not gay, but you're good looking to me. I mean, you seem a lot more attractive than some of these other gavones. Exactly. That's my point, Howard. No. He, he said he doesn't take still pictures well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He says he doesn't you still photograph well. To be on the move. He said historically it's known that he doesn't still photograph well. Historically. <laughs> historically. <laughs> historically. <laughs> Who historically knows you're, you don't photograph well? It's in, in, the, in the past, 
when I've had to take publicity photos or something, we had to do multiple shoots because I really don't. I don't still photo well. I'm better on video. So moving around, you're like a Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> when you're standing still, you're like ugly. Oh my. Exactly. It's all about the movement. It's true. I always see you moving, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Shuli, did you get tested? No. no. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't, I, you're smart. Stay away from that thing. <laughs> <laughs> the Mishkite. <laughs> what is going on around here? <laughs> I love Shuli. Shuli's a good man. Shuli's handsome. I think Shuli's a good looking yeah, dude. I don't I'm, know why you're giving uh, Shuli a hard time. time. <laughs> <laughs> we got some crew around. I think the average score was 12. <laughs> Well, anyway. Hey, John, look at it this way. You scored like a whole two points higher than Richard's asshole. Oh. <laughs> you know. That's a huge honor. Yeah, Thank that, you. That, that, I mean, play the song. Hey, where's the uh, Where's the new uh, John Lieberman song for his intro? <laughs> That's the best. How, how does a cock get a, a better score than John my face? Lieberman <laughs> got into the What'd you say? How does a cock get a better score than my my face? <laughs> you tell me. It makes no sense. That's why it make that that whole app thing makes no sense. It's all in the bone structure. Yeah, yeah, the no. bone structure. That's the ugliest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> Ralph, go ahead. I'm with Ronnie. That app's ridiculous because, from what I understand, <laughs> it measures symmetry on your face, and most people's faces are not symmetrical. If you if you took a how your photographer, you took a picture of somebody's uh, face dead on, you cut it in half, and then took put those nah. two halves together. All I know is JD like, did really well. Yeah, that's why I'm, I, I'm a home. And I, and I got to admit, I'm looking at JD now. He looks pretty good today. You know, <laughs> no, it's a he, doesn't. he looks goofy. You look, you're better looking than him. Am I? Yes. I don't know, man. All right, Ralph, you can hang out now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. Sorry to this yeah. this but, app just causes trouble. Thanks, buddy. Ralph is very attracted to me, in all fairness. I have to, in full disclosure. <laughs> Thank you, Ralph. You're very handsome. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of guys telling each other how good looking you are. Well, JD, I was kind of happy for you, quite frankly. Because, oh, yeah, like, yesterday you almost sounded confident. Yeah. <laughs> you know, now you're back to being in Well, he was mess. happy when he walked out of here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. He had a whole, like, happy walk. He uh, I, well, I, mean, I was okay, and then Gary got his score and said, to, like, fuck you, triple chin asshole, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, now he's back to being <laughs> a mushroom. Put right back in the crapper. Um, yeah. I'll live. Well, big weekend for JD. Why? <laughs> Chicago and Arizona. Oh, yeah. Block party? Ooh. Yeah. You couldn't get a chance to get on stage with those good looks? <laughs> <laughs> Give all the girls a thrill. Hey, right. ladies. 52 is here. That's right. Uh, I, got, I, got some, I got some girls supposedly responded on Twitter in Chicago coming to see JD. What do you mean? Break some hearts. Like they, they want to have right. sex with them? I don't know about having sex with them. They want to hang out with them. That's up to him once he, you know. I'll he's got to close the I'll deal. I'll open the door. Yeah. He's got to close it. Yeah. Are you excited about that? Uh, I was telling Shirley, I'm, I, I would like to be able to focus on that, but... Uh, I I can only focus on the show and like <laughs> what? <laughs> what about after the, the show? Having the show, okay, uh, that, that's the problem. I can. I'm more worried about the show going well. And people being happy for Why? what they pay What for. are you worried about that train wreck for? <laughs> God, it's not going to go well. There's I can no tell you that. How do you think this? Someone has to worry about it. <laughs> how do you think the show is going to go well if with Shuley's Ronnie and worried, you? If Shuli's not worried about it, what are you worried Trust about? Me, he's for? worried. No, he's not. He's not worried. <laughs> All you got to do is get up and say a couple of things to the crowd. I, I know. Well, I just you know. I and don't you're know. saying you can't bang this chick that Ronnie's going to? Is she hot? I, on Twitter, she looks hot. Is she sent you pictures of herself? Well, you know, she's got our you know avatar picture. Let me see it. I, I don't have it with me now. I, I'd Hopeless. have to look for it. And she's saying she's coming to see JD. She's romantically Hopeless. interested in him. She didn't say that. She just said she wanted to meet him, <laughs> like back at the she, hotel. Yeah, well, she heard she, she heard the stuff that was going on in the show. Right. And she said she wanted to meet him at the show. She didn't say anything about the hotels. Oh. Uh, uh. Well, hey, at least she hey. got an oh, entree. You don't know. There's plenty of recon going. Yeah, but on. you know he's going to fuck it up because like <laughs> he's going to get with her and then all of a sudden she's not. He's going to be like, Arr. well, I'm not going to stand there and give instructions in the bedroom. <laughs> what no, does it I mean, mean plenty of recon going on? <laughs> no, like, uh, but then again, maybe talk. I should. Maybe I should do that. No, no can't you help you him at least no. get her? Like, can't you help the conversation I'll in try. the beginning? I will try. I watch you watching that matchmaker show on TV. And but she, I'm a zero, so how am I going to work with you? You're a 52. <laughs> yeah, but that's the point. You're a zero, and meanwhile, you do better than him. 
Okay. And he's got 52 points on you, and he still <laughs> fucks it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, he's so he not confident. When he said recon was going on. We're just, uh, ta- <laughs> he's talking to people. I'm talking to people. You know, Everyone's see what talking. happens. Everyone's talking. Yeah, it's a disaster, Rob. <laughs> That's talk- what I meant. If he's right? talking to people, there's no recon going on. Recon. <laughs> Whatever. All right. All right. Good recon full hopefully, hopefully, you'll have a good weekend. <laughs> well, no matter what, we'll have fun. Yes. I just, uh, yeah, hi, girls. <laughs> uh, anyone want to go uh, to the bar for a drink? I, whatever. Whatever or something. Uh, you want to drink? I mean, I, I mean, I have Anybody want to get some of this cock? <laughs> <laughs> cock for sale. Anybody want to lick my balls? Uh, <laughs> my taint. <laughs> An asshole. <laughs> Who wants to tongue dart my oh, wait, 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 girl, tongue don't, dart. don't leave. I'm a 52. Uh, uh, whatever. All right, whatever. Uh, 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 uh. Can't believe you tested higher than me, you freak. <laughs> uh-huh. wow. I'm, I'm a 52. I'll be shit in your mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope you get some girls, man. Uh, Sounds like you'd be thanks. up on stage and there's going to be some chicks coming to see you. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you too. You're coming to my hotel room, both of you. Would you? you yeah, you. <laughs> Last time you got a girl in the hotel room, yeah, she broke with her a guy. Date. With, with a, a guy. guy yeah, but there. that's how he talks to the girls, kind of, too. What do you mean? Like, he's very, like, come on, you got to come with me. Oh, he is? Like, no, 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 no. Like, that, gruff. He's that, gruff. That was a whole, that was a different. She's frustrated you with know, the English I language. I have been talking to her for, before that. You don't, you weren't there. Just, just stop. You know what it is? He's so I bad. Was recon. He it's, was, it's still, it's still not the way to get the girl in a room with, know, without a guy I, coming with her. I, I know. <laughs> However you're talking to them, it's the wrong approach. <laughs> when, when you talk to her like that, she's definitely going to bring a guy with her. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you sound like a, a rapist. <laughs> All right. Are you going to come in my room? room. Uh, get in my room, you. Get in the trunk. <laughs> get in her. <laughs> Throw her in the trunk. <laughs> I've got a knife. <laughs> Push her in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, you got. You got to like. You got to get. You got to get a girl this. up there without a dude in the room. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> It'd be funny if the dude pulled, pulled down his pants and said, "Hey, JD, how about a blowjob?" <laughs> oh, see, I would have fucking killed him. <laughs> yeah, sure you would. You would have beat the shit out of you. Uh, <laughs> Why? Yeah. Yeah. I could, I'm, oh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've got ninja moves. <laughs> so he ends up with a guy in the room. Because <laughs> he blew it, right? Because he was being all rough. I think so. Yeah. Ronnie knows how to talk to girls. Stick with him. <laughs> Guy's a fucking zero and he gets laid more than anybody. Oh, I know. You know he's handicapped. He should have a handicap plate on his face. <laughs> he's got a zero. And yet he still makes out just fine. Right? <laughs> yeah. Chicks love you. I have no problem. Because he's fun. And you get all marble mouth. I'll help you, man. I hey, prom- you know what you got to do? I promised your father. <laughs> oh, God. You know what you got to do, Ron? <laughs> you got to, like, hang out with him, make sure he doesn't go wrong. Because I was watching this matchmaking show. Right. This woman comes on, and she's like a professional matchmaker. Blonde-haired woman. Nice-looking woman. I'm watching this thing. You know, because I watch everything. And what she does is these guys are total douchebags. They don't know how to talk to girls. So she kind of, like, rehearses them. Right. Like, this fucking guy wouldn't even take off his hat. And he made him look... He was 40 years old. He looked like he was 12. And chicks don't dig that. Right. And he's how JG, JD rocks back and forth and shit. They stop him from doing all that. <laughs> Just stay And one of the tips I learned, when you meet these girls... Like, like, if you meet one of the girls, give him a hug. Uh, yeah? You know, yeah. Right. Don't be... Don't, like... Give him, like, a hug. All right. Don't stay back. Go in. Yeah, go in. All right. Yeah, see how yeah. it worked for me when we did that... Uh, we did the thing here? When I went over and hugged the girl? <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody said I looked like it was a pervert. <laughs> you know what you got to do? You got to hug them and then squeeze their ass and play with their vagina a little bit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You'll do just fine. Yeah. You'll be in jail. <laughs> no, but you got to get some sort of rap together, dude. That's chicks. The main thing, it's not your looks, it's your rap. And I'm not saying I'm good at it, but you're a disaster. You, you, figure, you figure, though, you know, when he has a few drinks, that his rap would get better. Oh, it's not? It no, doesn't. It gets, like, angry, right? <laughs> yeah, he gets angry. He oh, gets angry. Especially if the girl starts to, like, because I saw this at the strip club with him. Um, <laughs> if the girl starts to, like, even reject him a little bit, yeah. Yeah, he, it's really, getting rejected. he really gets He really gets yeah, you agitated. Can't do that, well, I don't want to get rejected. Well, no, you got to keep from me. Dude, you got to keep working at it. You don't just... <laughs> you don't like you're gonna, you're gonna, if they're rejecting me, why would no, I keep working? No, they don't reject you right away. It's like they... The slightest little wrong word they say to you, it's like, get the fuck uh, away no, from me, I, and no. you move on to the next one. No, well, Dude, you got to work it. I don't even know what you're talking about. I know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Ronnie never gives I've up. I've been there with you. All right. 
She's like a like you know when those wolves get trapped and they, and they gnaw their own feet off. That's Ronnie. Yeah, he it's keeps like, gnawing. It's like on The Walking Dead when the guy cut his hand off. Right. Remember? Yeah. To get at it, at it when he was all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. I always agree with Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you fuck out of these two? Oh seriously. my god. She's fucking with fucking Ronnie. What? Is she, is she thinking Benji over me? Fuck 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 I bet you, after the test yesterday, Ronnie got a zero, you got a 52. I bet you got a shot with Robin right. over Ronnie. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Robin, you got to bang go one of them. If you can stop laughing. <laughs> Come on. Don't emasculate. Yeah, see? Can always do, can always do a threesome, honey. <laughs> no, no, we can't. No. Uh, what? A threesome. What? You have to have sex with You'll either do JD it when you or get Ronnie. There. A threesome. Seriously. Over Ronnie or JD, who do you go with? Put on that face you did yesterday, J.D., where you got the 52. <laughs> Close your mouth. Just keep throw everyone off. Okay, keep it closed. Let him look. Look, look at him with his mouth closed. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What's your I'm answer? I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> All right, this is good. J- JD turned his back on me. Oh, right but this here. is good, though. You're fantasizing about That's good. Take your she's time. Fan- oh, you see, fantasizing, all right. <laughs> she hasn't vomited yet. Go ahead, Robin. Which one do you choose? You have to kiss and fuck, and, you know, you're blowing them. You're doing the, the whole thing. You have to lick my tank. <laughs> you're doing it all. It's like a full session with these guys. All holes mm. will be visible. The last two men on earth. Right. <laughs> this is it. You have to repopulate the earth. You have to choose one of them. <laughs> you have to glug my love snot. It's not life and death, Robin. Just choose the one that will be yeah, right? yeah, she's the one who has to fuck you. Good Lord. Go ahead, Robin. <laughs> I'm going to choose... <laughs> JD. Wow. Oh. See? Since he got the 52. There you go. I'm I'll looking at him in a different way. Right? I'll, yeah. give you, I'll give you a call later, Ron. <laughs> Which would you go with, Lieberman or J- JD? JD. Wow. He really wow. is an eight. Wow. She didn't have to think about that one. Wow. wow. Well, at least she oh, thought for 20 I... minutes about me and JD. <laughs> Lee, JD, suddenly. Lee, yeah. He's going to go home tonight again. He's not going to sleep again. Right. His poor girlfriend. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. You beat out Lieberman. Uh, you know? Nice. Way to go. But since that 52, things are turning around. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Yep. I've won Robin over. All right. Well, oh, i got to do a spot break. When we got, oh, my God. It's 9.51. What we are we doing? Doing. Well, we got to do news, but first... I'm getting laid. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, boys. Oh, All right. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> You're Interesting welcome. segment with Robin. Okay. <laughs> so it's been great. a while since you've really given it to Ronnie that way. Yeah, yeah, it was good the stuff. The last two days have been classic stuff on <laughs> Ronnie. Good stuff, good stuff. Why do you enjoy busting Ronnie's it's balls Ronnie, more than it's anyone all, else? It's, it's all in good fun. I just love breaking his balls. It's like, you know, it's like breaking your old grandfather's balls. When I was a kid, I used to you know, pull the plug on the TV or change the channel with a remote, and you would think it was broken. You know, stuff like that. And Hide his cane. And he's cranky. <laughs> he's cranky. Let's it's so much fun pissing comes. off an old man. Let's get him again when he comes out. Yeah, yeah, no. You know, I'll hide here. You could hide. You could even. Actually, right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be perfect. Okay. Perfect. Here comes the dumb questions now. So, That's Ronnie, it. how do you feel that Robin picked JD? Does that really make you feel hold up, horrible? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me. Ronnie. You and JD have a bit of a friendly rivalry. Would, would you? Would you agree? Rivalry. Well, you've, he's canceled your radio show. <laughs> yeah. He's out handsome to you most recently. Yeah. Now Robin's picking him over you. Yeah. Are you feeling a little bit of bitterness I'm towards crying. him? I'm crying. I, I, I can't even talk. I gotta go cry. Do you Do you feel like that zero's been hanging over your head for a long time? Now? <laughs> Since you've been around, for sure. Without a doubt. Will you still help JD? You know, with with his swagger. When did I, what did I, were you listening to the show? Well, he just defeated were you, you like three times. I wouldn't show. be helping the enemy. And Lisa just said, Ronnie picked you, or Robin picked you over me to fuck. <laughs> like that. If me, it took 20 minutes to make the decision. You, it was like... It's as if you just scored an 8, not even an 18. Don't hit the player, hit the game, my you know friend. What? I'm whoop, done. Whoop. That's, that's, that's fucked up. <laughs> With John High and Gary Delabate. Gary Delabate. <laughs> The best of the wrap-up show begins now. I want to get into the staff stuff first. Most of it happened at the end of the show, and it really started with J.D. being called in about this Chicago trip these guys are taking. And then Ronnie came in, and then Ronnie had to deal with Sal and the Zero. And... 
Gary, you're expert at dealing with Sal when it comes to holding stuff over your head, you know, him going behind your back, doing this and that. How do you think Ronnie handled it, particularly when he said he had the eyes in the back of his head as Sal was holding a sign right behind him and he well, didn't see it? Well, Ronnie handled it better than me than when he, when he saw what was going on. First of all, Sal was holding a zero, and I joked around when I came out, it looked like double zero because his hand was shaking like he wouldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, he, his shakes, I think, have gotten worse. Yeah, they've gotten really bad. But it was it's one of those fucked up things where Ronnie's like, listen, I'm well aware of what's going on behind me while Sal's holding. Sal had to have the zero up there for at least a minute, yeah, and it seemed like an hour. That had, it had, Sal had enough time where everyone in the office gathered around to look at a monitor for no matter where they sit just to see what was going right. on in there. But I know Ronnie loves to go along with the joke and be a part of the joke, and he's a great sport, but anytime you say nothing's really bothering you and you end up yelling and screaming and talking about it for a very long time, clearly the zero is bothering him. Absolutely. And, and again, it's a ridiculousness. It, 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 he couldn't possibly be a zero. Like, if he's a zero, what is the elephant man? Seriously. Like a two? Well, you know what was crazy? But, but, what but, I found you... out yesterday, they said, someone said, like, during uh, one of the breaks, they rounded up to a zero, and but which is, like, it's like you can't get below a zero, but which is crazy. I don't know if, because they don't want you to feel bad. Like, that's like, oh, they don't, don't want, want you... anyone to have a negative number. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's so like the we'll wind chill. You a zero, like, don't worry about it, you know. But, I mean, it, but it's, it's meaningless. I, I, quite honestly, as as tough as Ronnie's taking it, I think the person we really ought to be talking about is Lieberman. Oh, my yeah. God. And, and Ronnie and Lieberman were in the hallway for, for quite a bit of time, but. You know, Shuley interviewed me for the news, and he made a very good point. Lieberman broke the rookie rule. Yeah. He let us all know it bothers him a lot. You can never <laughs> show fear, pain, anything. I mean, people No emotion gonna, shown on this show ever. Absolutely well, not. And then he's also tried to embrace it and laugh it off, but then saying he doesn't take stills well. It's like, come on, John. It's, it's historically known. I don't still <laughs> photograph. Historically <laughs> known. And you guys are getting a glimpse of, like, we're in the newsroom there. I mean, the fact they don't have a camera in that newsroom, they are missing nuttiness 24 hours a day. He's back there yesterday. I mean, it it was almost as if he was channeling Lisa G. He was blurting things out on his own without being talked to. He was just, he was out of his mind. He couldn't believe it. Yeah, clearly it's under his skin, and that you know they're going to play that news intro every time he walks in. I yeah. love the echo too with the eighteen <laughs> ugly going ugly. back and forth. It's it's frustrating. You're well, trying Gary, to to focus, and it just it's impossible. Gary had the best thing yesterday. Gary walks into the newsroom to say hi, and he just and Lieberman sit in the back. Gary goes, "Hey, ugly, what's going on?" <laughs> <laughs> now with JD out on the road with these guys for the block party. Howard made a comment about how J.D. sounded a lot more confident today when he came in. I do think that 52 score did help his uh, self-esteem, and he was kind of you know, flying off of that. But how long will it last? I think it's already back down, because <laughs> when Ronnie came in to talk about setting him up in Chicago, J.D. all of a sudden was flustered again. And I wonder if J.D. feels pressure from it, uh, if you know Ronnie's mentoring will continue with him. What do you? Th I mean, if you had to speculate, what do you think is going to happen? Um, I think JD will be back to being JD in no time at all. Again, Julie and I were talking. When it comes to JD and women, I can't. The, one of two things is going on. I can't figure out what it is. Either JD is lazy, or he's arrogant. Because we were saying he would like the hottest whore in the world to come to him and not charge him. He's always been accused of having very high standards. But 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 also not only having high standards, but really wanted to put in the minimum amount of work, meaning. They should see I'm JD, and it sh I shouldn't have to schmooze. I shouldn't have to go with the uncomfortableness of getting them back to my room. I should just be able to fuck them. I, like, I think he's more scared of being rejected. No, I get that. I get that. But you you realize that you have to put some amount of work in. Yeah, but I think it's the rejection that really, really, really gets to him. Because can anything. you can you be arrogant when you have when you're inept socially? You know, when you when you have no desire to go out, when you have no desire to talk to people because you have no confidence in yourself, can you be arrogant? Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's arrogant. Although I've seen plenty of people who who aren't good looking and aren't socially there oh, think that yeah. they deserve you know <laughs> they deserve all these great things. DJ in Philly, you're on the wrap up show. I'm just calling to talk about the Benji Vortex. Uh-huh. I, I just, I don't know. I pride myself on trying to be a positive person. I'm kind of mortified that I'm calling you with a negative comment, but I, I just don't understand how Benji really thinks people are going to believe that he did not know that he was embarrassing himself and the show and Howard with the Donald Sutherland. Oh, I, I didn't. I really, I thought, you know, 
I thought it was a good moment. If we, if I, yeah, I believe you. But Asking it's like if I, his kid's dead is a perfectly normal question. I, I thought it was. If you listen to the, I don't know, he was on for about five minutes. And I was on. I had like fifteen percent of it. I thought it was with a better fifteen percent. But I, I clearly could be wrong. So yeah, I thought not to get too into, but I thought when you you did get the story yesterday, it wasn't that you no, didn't. Understand. I, I, th I thought you were going for a bit, and that's okay because you do that a lot yeah. at a lot of times. I thought you were going for a bit with him. I thought you really fully did understand the story. No, I, I didn't at the moment, but and when I said the Will's brother thing, I was just being trying to be. Right. That was trying to be funny. When he said the story, I, I got a little lost in it, but I thought it was good. But it's cool. What's what's your name again? And one of the things that DJ? Gary and I like about Benji being I talk in to here DJ. is that well, I'm talking is that sometimes Benji will take you down a path, and sometimes it hits, and sometimes it misses. But that makes him. In I think that makes him interesting yeah. on this show. I mean, uh, you can't see everything. So, sometimes, and not to be a dick, I'll, I'll put my hand up to Benji, meaning we probably shouldn't go there now. And it's it's a thing. Like, does that piss you off when I do that? And be honest. Uh, I didn't know. I thought you were just checking out your fingernails. I just found out. <laughs> no, but now sometimes, sometimes, I mean, I, I, like, sometimes I'll put my hand up to Benji because Benji wants to talk. And yeah, even no, I, of course I don't. I don't like that, but I totally understand it. Um, you guys are, you know, this is your steering the right. ship kind of thing. I mean, sometimes I'll do that, and I need to do that to myself. John does a great job of it. Like, you know, someone will be sitting there digging a hole, usually JD, and I have to remember not to talk. To just, to just let JD talk, and that's why I put up my hands. And by the way, everyone in here has mastered that with Sal, and I appreciate right. that. You just let Sal do his thing, and uh, even though I'm saying this on the air, he'll still do it, so exactly. it's not really an issue. We now have John Lieberman sitting here with us, who's taking a bunch of ball busting. But frankly, John, I think you're bringing it upon yourself here a little bit. Have you realized, have you been able to reflect on what being an 18 really means? Yeah, well, first of all, you know, I've learned a lot in the past 24 hours. I would say I am a very excitable guy. Like, I just get excited easily, as Shuli can attest to in the newsroom when certain things happen. And so I'm not good at masking. So, yeah, when you get an 18, it did piss me off in the beginning. And it sort of stuck with me knowing that. And then the song today, knowing that that is now how I'm labeled, which is exactly. And that was the mistake I made yesterday was saying, this is how I'm going to be labeled. And now I am labeled as that. 18 and still <laughs> ugly. Do you, do you sit there and dream that you hear John Lieberman has a big penis? <laughs> <laughs> now, do, you, do you think that everyone on the show treats you equally? Or do you think there are other people who, who, who don't like you? Well, I'm sure there's people that don't like me. I mean, I had... I think Robin's been a little bit cold toward me in a couple interactions, and maybe it was my fault. I remember one of the first days I was here, I tried to make a little bit of small talk with her in the hallway about Baltimore because we're both from there, and or she worked there, and somebody wanted me to say hi to her from Baltimore, and she kind of blew me off. Then she made a comment in studio that I look like Chris Christie, which that pisses me. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's that, worse than the 18, to be honest with you. But let's was, be fair, that's back when Robin was emasculating people. She's not really doing that anymore. Right, but then today... Day, picking JD over me. I mean, and I like JD. Without even thinking about it. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. So do you think she has it in for you? I don't know. I don't think she has it in for me. I just think for whatever reason, I might rub her the wrong way or whatever. Some people Which have said, fine. I'm sorry to interrupt it's you, John, but some people have said before, like, Robin, don't, I don't think she likes me. Like, you're not the only person who has said this, but... It seems like very early on you got that indication. So what I mean, you gave a couple of examples, but has that continued? Do you still feel still feel like she's sort of boxing you in? She's got you like a stereotype of you and who you are, and she's locked into that. Yeah, that could be it. I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean, but you know what? It is what it is. Not everybody's going to like you, and so we'll move forward and see what happens. Just say it. You think she's anti-Semitic? Just get it out there. <laughs> Ronnie. Or no. deny it. Or deny it. Yeah, <laughs> say, say something. something. <laughs> Jesus, that was a joke. <laughs> Ronnie. Don't yeah. leave me hanging. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you've been accused of... Well, I'm always accused of something. Well, Go you've ahead. been accused of not exactly being truthful with this zero stuff. Like, you said it doesn't bother you, but you're yelling and cursing and fighting and... Because and, and I don't like being used. I was used. <laughs> I was used by these guys from this app company. Ronnie, when you say you were used, i got to ask you a question. Do you think that they came here and targeted you, or yes. you think that it didn't work yes. for you and they went with it? No, I think they targeted me. You think they said, R we're going to give you? Ronnie a zero? Because they, I, I explained it on the air. But why not JD? Right. Why not me? JD because they know JD. By the way, can I say something? Because they know with me, it blows up into a whole big, that I carry oh, on. So you're, say, right. so you're saying they can get more attention Out picking on you yeah, than on exactly. anybody else here? Than, than JD, yeah. Hold on. Can I say something? No one had even brought up bringing Ronnie in. 
until I ran. Oh, that's in. so not true, dude. You yes, know, it you is. You knew sooner or later you were going to get to me, and I was the last one. Uh, I was you the, last the last one. To be, one. No, I was Didn't the last like Richard one. and Sal and John Hine out in the bullpen. I was the last one to be brought in studio. <laughs> The, yeah, Lee well, came the, in. Best the lead in our news story today is that Ronnie truly believes, A, that it was choreographed just for him, and B, <laughs> that he has more impact than anyone what? else on the staff. I didn't say I had more impact. That's I said, exactly. That's what you, you said. You did, did Ron, Ronnie, Ronnie, because it blows up into a whole see? thing. <laughs> Ronnie, is there anybody else, in your opinion, that could get as much impact as you in as a situation far as blowing like this, up like that, yes, no. <laughs> or, or are you wait? Are we talking Twitter? Or are we talking just overall? No, on air. You mean getting like they felt it went you from, would be the most Gary, to get the most the upset show to the wrap up show. It went all morning was all about zero, but, zero, but Ronnie, zero, Ronnie, and then went to the wrap up show. If if JD was a zero, if John Lieberman was zero, quite honestly, if I was a zero, don't you? No, no, hold on. It, the same thing would have happened. It would have gone right. on all day. But, 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 Ronnie, 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 you're, you're saying, saying no one else. Uh, I think we're saying the same thing. You're saying if Gary got a zero, that wouldn't have the same impact than you getting a zero. Probably Gary, yeah. Wait, I, wait, wait. It's wait, even bigger said, than that. Ronnie's yeah, saying no not one else could have... do it to Gary because Gary's the producer of the show. But in, in a way... Like they're not going to zero Howard. Yeah. What about Benji? Benji, because Benji just, he lets everything ride off him. He Ronnie, you're saying no one else could have more impact, but same. you don't have okay, the most impact? Maybe I'm crazy, because oh, I'm well. also, I'm crazy. I'm crazy and I'm ugly. I told you that on the show. I'm crazy and I'm ugly. Gary, did you okay, calculate so, bringing in Ronnie last? Was that the plan I, all along? I, I, had, I didn't calculate bringing in anybody. Howard said, when we went in there, it was so, such a loose segment. <laughs> Howard said, I'll just call people in as I feel like it. Yeah, this Teddy part wasn't on the script. Okay, be my guest. <laughs> On Wednesday's wrap-up show, Mike Gangy stopped by, which is always a thrill. And we talked to him about Miss Howard TV of the year and how he's going to make his move eventually. And then since Gangy was here, it led into discussion about the Ugly Meter app. And Ronnie and John both tried it to defend themselves, Lieberman that is, on their numbers. And Gangy didn't believe that Lieberman was truly thinking he was an 18. And Ronnie also noted how feminine he looked and how all the other guys looked here. So it was a fun wrap-up show. We shift gears over to Miss Howard TV of the Year and two gentlemen who are very close to it now joining us on the wrap-up show. That would be Ronnie Munn and Mike Gange. And Gange, I heard you're a very big fan of our, our, our winner today. I, I am a fan of hers. I think she's probably one of the best-looking ones from last year. Though I like them all, because but I, I do think she's one of the best-looking ones. Let's get down. Let's right. get down to brass yeah. tacks. Yeah. Okay, here's here's yeah. what got uh, whispered in my ear. Chris Costa almost always produces this segment, yes. but today you did. He has a doctor's appointment. He's the one who opted out. It was all him. I yeah, swear to God. Right. I, yeah, sure. I have Gangie. nothing to do with it. Gangy, come on now. I swear to God. Yeah, all right. Chris Give me a Arzari break. Left. So is it, was there no one else to pass it off to? Um, no, because then I have to teach somebody, and it's like just, oh. it's a quick, easy thing. <laughs> I gotta teach somebody. Well, we we, like, pre we Chris, appreciate. Chris I can does do it. it. Chris does it well, every hold time. Hold on a second. We're on three days a week. You couldn't tell Chris to make a different doctor's appointment day. I I, I swear to God, she was booked because of the Stop show. Swearing. Was everything in the schedule. Chris said he's been waiting months to get this appointment. <laughs> I believe me. Do I you tried. think he did it like on purpose as a favor to you? No, 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 well, absolutely we, not. We appreciate the sacrifice that you make, Mike, yeah. for your job, but. A lot of times you've been accused of hitting on these girls and, you know, trying to make more of what your relationship is. Right. Did you keep it professional this time? How did it all go I down? I have kept it strictly professional. Is that hard for you? Because she's a yes. beautiful girl. Yes, it is very hard. How long? Like, you know, how, 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 they're how, hot. You want to spend as much time with them as you can. Ronnie, stop. What's the appropriate... I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what's the appropriate... Call on me, John, please. Uh, I can see you itching, Ron. What's the, mo what's the appropriate amount of time to wait <laughs> till you can call her... And you know, and say, would you like to go out if you wanted First to do all, that? First of all, she, she lives, that she lives across down. the country, <laughs> like uh, in California somewhere. So I would never. There's not even a chance I'd see her. But you go out to L.A. from time to time. Yeah, she doesn't live in L.A. She lives in like Northern California. You drive. Right, right. right. I, I would drive. But you know, uh, I would probably if she ever came to New York, you know, find out, you know, be like, hey, if you come to New York next well, time, it call didn't me come up on the out. show. But did you guys all read the notes on her? Like, I, I don't know if Will. Yeah, did she's into girls. No, there was something on the notes. You didn't guys. Did, I don't know. I didn't read the notes. I, she, I think she said, uh, "Yeah, with a bottle of wine, I might fuck Angie." 
Was that in the notes? If he gave me a bottle of wine. Yeah. I heard it was not, a case not of word wine. Not word but something like that. Something like that. Basically, the note said... Did you said, know that in the notes? I heard about it. Yeah. Basically, the note said... Did you write that she, note? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. She would go out with me. She thinks I'm a nice guy. She would go out with me if, uh, for with a bottle of wine or something like that. But, but she yeah. said for a bottle of wine, I'd hook up with Gange. All right. Yeah. Now, yeah. now I'm glad you're here, Gange, but Ronnie's here, and now we're going to get the truth about what's okay. going on. Ronnie, what's the deal? So, Gange is infatuated with this girl. Totally. We were in Vegas, okay, uh, and it wasn't a professional thing then because she was doing a radio show with me that had nothing to do with Ganji. He wouldn't leave her side the whole time before we went on the air. He st stood there and talked to her for like an hour and just didn't shut up. Nothing about business. It was all about, you know, what are you up to? What have you been doing? You know, you know, it's too bad we can't go out. You know, all this kind of stuff. Do you blame, and we, and, do you blame and, him? No, not at all. Not at all. We're but, in Vegas and she's a hot chick. Right. Duh. Right. But she was supposed to come to dinner with us one night. And she didn't show up, and Ganji was very disappointed. Oh, oh stop. I was very that disappointed. disappointed. So you were, I didn't even think about so it. So you were no. working her. Did you think you had a shot? I... No, no. Why? I, I don't think so. No, I really honestly think she's into women. I do. That's well, why? That's yeah. why you don't have a shot? Well, then yeah, you, no, he shot should have a shot then because he's every girl's best friend. He's <laughs> like a woman. It should work out fine for him. How long is she in town for now? Do you know? I think until tomorrow. Are you going to say... Hey, you want to go out to dinner? Uh, uh, maybe. We'll see. Ah, I don't know. Maybe. See? Maybe. See, we'll see. I know. I know. Do you have fine. reservations? Yeah. <laughs> I have a place waiting. <laughs> I have a car waiting for us. But no, Gary, there's nothing. That line that you asked Ganji about is a tough one to cross. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you're a producer. You're acting professionally. It's yet. not that tough. Oh, no? <laughs> what would you do? How would you do it? What would be your move? Uh, I don't know. I, my moves are old and rusty. And it's been a very long time, so I don't know what my move would have been. I I would assume that, like you know, next time she comes to New York, I'll try to figure out a way to hang. You're gonna out. Yeah, the problem but is that you, would, that, next time's a bad idea. But why next? Why sure, next time? How do you make sure that you don't end up being her friend, showing her around town instead yeah. of taking it someplace? I, else? I don't know. That that could be a problem. It, I think you'd try to have to like, the work it. Main worry. <laughs> That you don't want to be like unprofessional, yeah. or yeah, no, I don't, I don't, no. Yeah, but you're off part you're of off it. Duty. Here's the main worry. Here's the main worry. He 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 calls her up and says, "Hey, you want to go out to dinner tonight?" She goes, "Sure." Takes her out to dinner tonight. They have a couple of drinks. He gets her. He plants a kiss on her. She goes, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And next time she comes on the air, she goes, "The fucking guy." We go out to dinner and he's all over me, and it's all over the radio. That's right. the fear. That's part of it, sure, but also the unprofessional thing. I don't want to. I don't want to make it seem like I'm hitting on every single. Look, there's a new girl every month. I don't want to make it seem like I'm hitting on twelve should, girls a month. I mean, twelve girls a year. Tell her I, know that to I would three, like to be. You're, you're on the top three, and I, you know. Let's yeah, I'm on the t I'm I'm on the top three of the girls that I like. Yeah. Now, Mike, you weren't here for the ugly meter test, right. but you know how you've you've observed how everyone has reacted yeah. to this. Ronnie insists that he is not bothered by this. Ronnie at all. is such a liar. Okay, so today I bought him. I brought in. I got him a shirt for this weekend's comedy gigs in Chicago that said, I'm a zero. As soon as he saw it, he took it, he hit me with it, and he threw it at me. Now, does that sound like somebody who's not upset with it? I think he's uh, he's harboring a lot of pent-up rage yeah, over me, this. Me, I'm, I'm right there with Lieberman. Yeah. I can't sleep at night. I think he's very upset. I think because he thinks he's better looking than a lot of people here. I didn't I never he say does. When did he I ever say he's, that? He's, he's, he's said when to me... When did I ever say that, anything of the sort? That he thinks that other people are not as I got a better personality than you. I know that. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah who, who, I'm, not every, I'm not every girl's best friend, at I least. Think, I definitely think... When, I, when I hit on a girl, at least I, when I, I, I wind up maybe taking him home, Gange. I think he you know definitely thinks he's better looking than JD. <laughs> do you think you're better looking than JD? What is what is that? What does JD have to do with it? I you, that's one of the people that I think you're upset about that you lost to. He lost to everybody. He lost to everybody. Yeah, well, but where, no, but I think where JD, does JD come from? I think that's the one that bothers you the most. You're out of your mind. I don't. Know, I think you he's, really are. You've been riding. Ronnie, is I gotta there, tell you, is there someone that of other guys? So everyone lately. beat you. Uh, by that, by yeah, that well, process. The whole, Whether you think it's wait, real or not. According, according wait, to no. this, the whole world beat me. No, no, okay? no. no. I know. So, but so, you're zero. so why, that why would so I pick, why would anyone, I pick on But, but, uh, but JD? of that list, is there anyone that you're like, I'm sure I'm better looking than that person? I don't look at it that way. I don't look at I'm not looking you don't, at guys. You don't look, you I'm don't, not looking at guys to see if I'm better looking You don't looking ever than think them. about like, hey, I'm definitely better looking than this guy. No, or that. no. Never I don't. Think that? Do you think you're better looking than Jay Leno? He was an 11. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, right, so I think one. I think Ronnie wants to answer questions about people that don't work here. Right. No, it's not. To, I, what I don't, about what about? I don't look at people here and say, "Oh, well, I'm, look, I'm better looking." Do you, than do you think you're better looking than Lieberman? Uh, Lieberman's standing behind me. <laughs> do you think he's better look? Do you think you're better looking? Uh, 
Probably on the same level. See, I'll give you an easy one. <laughs> Do you think you're better looking than Greg Carmel? No. See, so you, there Some are, there are easier ones to answer. answer. What, about, what about Doug Goodstein? He scored a lot lower than Dan Nah, Howard he did. looks like Andy Panda. I'm better looking than him. What okay. about me? I, I don't mind whatever you think. What do you think? I don't know, Benji. Uh, girls have a Give me a nice look and tell me what you think. No, girls have a certain thing about you with your eyes and shit, so I guess maybe you are. How do them. you feel personally? I don't know. I don't look at guys that way, dude. Look at me and make a decision. It's apples and oranges, that. though. I, I mean, you're good looking in an AARP lineup, oh. but oh. but other people hey, listen, are better listen, looking listen, in a, in a 30s or 40s thing. You know, why don't you admit you dye your hair? I, at least admit I dye my mustache. I don't dye my hair. Oh, you do. I swear on my Everybody son, knows I don't it. dye There's my hair. There's people all over There's here. gray in there, There's asshole. There's no fucking all right, all right, gray in You there. two kids, stop. There's no gray in there. Ronnie, last... There's not one gray hair in there. Ronnie, last one, then we'll move on. Do you think you're better looking than Howard is? I... I... I don't look at it that way. I don't look I'm at it that I'm asking you way. to look at it that way. No, I don't think... I, I think I'm the same as everybody else. <laughs> but you're... You're... You said you're better looking than Leno. And not as good looking as Greg Carmel. Well, Greg Carmel is in a class of his own with Will. <laughs> okay. Oh, you put Will in that class also? Yeah. yeah. I'm in that class. No. Yeah. No. Yes, I am. I'm the, in the hot the, class of the show. Never. I know I know for a fact that the interns swarm all over Will. They talk about him, how, how hot he is. You know, not maybe not the interns now, but the former interns, I've heard them talk about Will. They've had crushes on Will, you know. And and you that's, know that that's and, all. And, Qui and Quivers isn't totally in love with Carmel, you know. So, whatever. I don't. I, that, I don't care. I don't look at guys in that way, dude. I'm not going to look at a guy and say, right, "Oh, right. I think you're handsome." All right. I don't, I don't look at it that way. You answered the question. You're right. I've seen that firsthand with Will, although he is getting older these days. <laughs> Mike well, in New man. York, you're on the wrap-up show. Uh, Ganji, Ganji's too much, man. I mean, you guys are all good guys. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to bash him, but Ganji. Yeah, every girl, it's it's once a month with you. If you want some sound advice? Don't yeah. talk about it. You don't talk about it. Just keep it on the DL. Ask her out, and don't broadcast it because you just ruined it. If you really like her. Well, Blake, I'm blaming it on Ronnie because he goes around telling everything. Oh, oh, oh where do we? Oh, yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie's a lot older than you guys. You guys shouldn't even. Be, it's funny that you even put in a ball. He's a lot older. When he was younger, you should pose the question when he was everyone else's age. You know, you guys, you guys bash Ronnie. Oh. You think you're better looking? Fine. He's got to be 60 years old, late 50s. No, 65, 70. I don't know, yeah, right, may, but yeah. maybe, Mike, maybe Ronnie's cultivated his look over time. I mean, I'm sure he was a handsome guy when he was younger, and now he's... What the fuck is your problem? I'm complimenting you. <laughs> what, what do you mean? What, what happened? It, it all died now? No, I'm saying maybe you've reformed your look a little bit. You know, you, you care more no, about I, your no, appearance. No, it's always been my look, man. You always look that way? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I always look that way. Except <laughs> first grade. I used to have a mullet before, okay? Now, now I don't have the mullet. I'd love to and see an that. afro, and an afro. I'm going to pose this question actually to Gary and Ganji, but Ganji, you first. When something like this comes up, and yes, Ronnie got a zero, and John got an 18, and other people got scores that they didn't like, and get your balls busted, and Howard's goofing on you, there, a part of you hates it, but there's got to be a part of you that sort of likes the spotlight being on you. How do you deal with that? And Gary, you too. Uh you know what? I only dislike certain parts of it. Yes, it's a great show. It's part of the entertainment of the show. I get it. And I get that, you know, everybody has to be get their balls busted at one point. It's it's when, you know, you claim you don't like it and you're really kind of against it like John is with this 18. I think John's totally like Either he's really pissed at this 18 or he's totally playing it up in order to get more attention. I don't think he's playing it up. I don't think I, so either. I used to like the attention. When I, I mean, when I first got on the show, I, you could say anything you wanted, but I was thrilled Howard was talking about me on the radio. It was fun. But then as you get older and more mature and you become in charge of stuff, it's sort of, you know, it's it's it, there's nothing worse than taking an emasculating ass kicking and walking back into the office and the interns have their eyes averted because it was so fucking embarrassing. <laughs> hey, hey, John, I'll I mean tell you the truth, Ganji, and surely I think will back me up in the newsroom. What I like about my job is I like to be able to go in studio, light the match, and then just step back and watch everything. I really don't like to be the center of attention and yeah, you all didn't that. Run, you didn't but run you, fast enough when you lit the match on this one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like you've you been running in every time that your name comes up with this 18. Well, you've been like running in there. But I've been no, letting him. Gary, no, no, no. To be fair, Gary has told me to go in. I don't hover around and say, Gary, can I go in? Can I go in? Here's what happened today. Don't pull that microphone out of my face. Here's what happened today. It was really funny. He, Howard started talking about John Lieberman. He was waiting outside my office as he does every morning because he's doing news and John started talking to nobody.
That's but you know that's great you know moving his arms and everything and I said you should go in because it was very real. He wasn't acting mad. He was mad. And I, I, I just want to say the stuff you're hearing on the air is just the stuff you're hearing on the air. There's a whole the, John is back there screaming about this. Since it happened, I mean, he's not happy about it. John, has uh, it who made would be you, happy? You got an eighteen. <laughs> has it made you question <laughs> but, yourself at all? Like, hey, maybe I'm not as good looking as I thought I was. Question myself? I mean, yeah, I'm sure a little bit. I mean, we're all insecure in a little way. Well, John, so, I am sure Robin choosing JD over you again has to have you questioning. What's well, well, with you, uh, John? You're very feminine and admitted. You know. <laughs> <laughs> What? I don't even know what that. What does that mean, <laughs> Ronnie? I thought you didn't judge what does guys that, that mean? way. I mean, you're wearing a purple tie. Oh, <laughs> you wear purple shirts all. The, I'm not even going. There. You wear purple shirts all the time. Yeah, but what just are like you talking you, about feminine. Yeah, well, on you, it just looks really odd. Yeah, you do. You, re- you look really odd today, dude. Yeah. Sorry. On you, it just it doesn't come across. Are as you kidding odd. me? No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it, you look like you should be at a Bravo show. <laughs> It's been all the talk around the office this morning, John. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, welcome to the playground in fifth grade. (laughs) (laughs) This is like romper room for grown-ups. John, what were you going to say, though? Yeah, please do. Well, now I got sidetracked. I was just going to say, I mean, am I questioning my looks? I don't know. I'm not questioning my looks, but look, it hit a button with me. I'm not putting it on. I'm I'm just telling you, I'm not putting it on. I'm an excitable guy, for better or for worse, and I don't have a good poker face, so... You don't have a good face at all. (laughs) (laughs) Jennifer, just so you know, you're not going to sleep again tonight. (laughs) Now he's he's, he's a little little feminine today. Has your girlfriend tried to, like... Convince you otherwise? Like, hey, you're not. Those guys are crazy. Yeah, I mean, she says all the apps bullshit and all that. (laughs) She's been very good. Did you try? Did you download? I can't even believe that she goes in the bathroom and cries. (laughs) John, did you? John, did you download? Ronnie, you. You want to go there? Where am I going? Uh, Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, do you think she's going around trying to find better looking guys that she can marry with the app? John, where, where, where do you think he's going? Yeah, where are we going, John? Where am I going, John? Yeah, like where, where we, going, on. John? we only have two minutes, so hurry yeah. up. Ronnie's just pushing buttons, pushing buttons. Well, hey, where do you <laughs> work, man? You're not working in America's most wanted anymore. Well, <laughs> you're pretty, bad, pretty much. You're, you're, there are very few differences, dude, you're, you're, believe me. You're in the pool of alligators now. <laughs> now, I, I want to know if anybody, not just... Uh, anybody here that you may know of actually got the app and tried it again. I know Benji I, got retested on the air. Did wait a minute. You, 67. I, tell him about jo- Charlie Hess, a good, really good-looking guy. Of, one of the guys on the Howard TV staff who's like a decent-looking <laughs> guy. I thought, I thought you, you didn't, didn't check out guys, guys that way, Ronnie. Yeah, but Charlie, yeah. come on. Oh, sorry. Charlie's the Charlie's exception. Where, is Charlie a, a Greg Carmel or better? Like, he's in the in the same class. Uh-huh. Charlie Body-wise, got, too? Charlie got no. a, three. Yeah. a three. Charlie got a three. A three? A three? Yeah. Uh, I Charlie got a has a really thick beard. Yeah. I wonder if that's yeah, I, I thought yeah. Oh, yeah. Ronnie's might throw it off, like, just the depth, of, like, in and out of it. See, a three is worse than a zero, I would argue. Yeah. A zero yeah. clearly shows there's a problem with the app. A three is you registered, you just registered. So, like, an 18 is worse than a zero. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I said to Howard today, and I view an 18 as worse than a zero. It doesn't matter, John. You're still very feminine today. <laughs> I'll show Howard. What did, let me believe. see. What did Ronnie get? A, a, let me see. Let me see. Bottom red and yellow. <laughs> Ugly I've never had results. this. You're, oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Oh, you announce it. Listen, Ronnie is a zero. No. Are you kidding? Zero. <laughs> Lower than Jay Leno. Are uh, you read kidding? It, read it. But, <laughs> Ronnie, you come here. Text? Come here. What? I swear, You're take a look. Get out of here. Look at that. Oh, thank go. God. Fuck off. Right in the bottom. Fuck off. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? I, zero. I, He's never even seen zero. What does it zero. say? <laughs> okay, well, it's, it says his head size, like ratio, is only 1% off, which is, is pretty good, but it says the eyes are extremely too small and way too far apart. That's where he's losing most of his. Uh, his point. His, his, his mouth is thirty-two percent, thirty-four percent narrower than his than it should be for his face. So his wow. nose is all right, but well, I've no. Why well, suddenly I feel hot? Well, I beat him by thirty-four points. It can't go negative. So wow, a zero. Has I've it, never had that. Never. 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 Now there's well, a new. Well, low. someone beat Leno. I guess he can feel good about himself. Oh, wow. The guy is here for the uh, um, the ugly meter app. Obviously, he wants to confront Ronnie about him saying that the, you know, his score wasn't legitimate. He's like, who does Ronnie think he is? You know, we, we would no, no, no. sabotage it just to, you know, sell. Like, how does he sell apps more than anybody else on the show? You got him out? Um, yeah, right, right. Like, why wouldn't anyone else sell? Yeah. He sold 200,000 apps the week he was on the show. He sold a total of 300,000. He estimates he made personally between three and $400,000 from it. Wow. 
He said the other amazing thing was after the appearance, the app made the top 141 different com uh, countries. He says, you know, which really shows your reach. Wow. Um, and, you know, he's app building business is busier than ever. They're hiring a new programmer. You, you made this kid a millionaire, I think. Wow. It's all said and done. Apparently, Ronnie made him a millionaire. Yeah, no, Ronnie. Yeah, Excuse Ronnie. me, Ronnie. <laughs> Not me. I had nothing to do <laughs> All right, so uh, it's been about a month since you've been here. It has, yeah. Um, uh, do you plan on retesting the staff again? Or? I, I don't think so. I think we're just going to talk about a few things and maybe stir up a little more drama. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Who knows? I don't uh, like last time. I don't have don't have expectations. We'll just you know Howard controls that room, so we'll just see what happens. So how do you feel about Ronnie's backlash? <sighs> wow. <laughs> There's a lot to be said there. So I think we're gonna. Uh, hopefully we'll get into it a little bit on the show, but uh, surprised me. The, the a few of the people surprised me. The, the conspiracy theory. Oh, a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff that uh, went on after the show. The fans don't know about. So I think we'll uh, talk about some of it today. Nice. Thanks. Enjoy. Uh, enjoy your time. On hey, the show. I will as always. The guy who invented the ugly app that we had on the air the other day that created quite a commotion. Yes. Where I scored a 34, but. Thank God John Lieberman scored an 18 and <laughs> Ronnie scored a zero. Ronnie really helping out. Anyway, Joe Overline is the inventor of the Ugly app. He's going to give us an update uh, just to show you the power of this show. <laughs> oh, hello there, Joe. Hey, Joe, what's happening? He's back. Of course he's back. <laughs> Why not? Of course. Joe, uh, after you were on our show and we played with the Ugly app... You became a very wealthy man. You sold how many apps? Well, Ugly Meter, after the show, since then, has done... I haven't checked in a few days, but we sold 220,000 apps about, so... And you personally made about three or $400,000, it says here. I've got to split it with my friend, but yeah. Wow. <laughs> so not, not bad for, for a, a day's doing work. nothing and yeah. coming down here, though, so... You know, today you look like an 85. <laughs> that, uh, what is your score on the Ugly app? Oh, app? God, 32. The funny oh oh wow you did worse than me yeah I know and I know. you're it's better than me I hear about it <laughs> <laughs> you know one of the funny things that came about Joe after you were on the air that, and then the reason we invited you back is that Ronnie feels you guys should pay him because he believes now listen to this right. he believes that you are such Thank a mastermind you that, that you intentionally made the ugly app give him a zero so he's saying the ugly app is fake that you planned this because if he got a zero, more than anyone on the show, people would run out and buy the ugly app. Well, they would keep talking about it, and it would stay in people's minds, and therefore greater sales. Right. I, did you in any way fix it so Ronnie would get a zero on the ugly app? Well, now that we have nothing to lose and come on here and talk about this, because a lot of people were accusing us before, you know. I think Ronnie has a bit of an ego to think that, that he's the one. We, he is the one on the show that the world revolves around. Uh, I think he's been hanging around strippers too long. He thinks he's the center of the room all the time now. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know where Ronnie is, but Ronnie, uh, D D Joe claims he did nothing to this. This completely. Well, you know how Ronnie is with these theories. You're never going to convince him. <laughs> and Ronnie's never right. Uh, Ronnie. Yeah. I think... Ronnie has one statement to make. Wait, Ronnie has... Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ronnie will not give this guy any kind of publicity. Ronnie doesn't want to talk to him. He's got. A, he's an asshole. He, Who? He badmouthed me on I love the you, Ronnie. Come round on. table. And I have nothing to say what about him. How did he He, he made his you? money off the show. Good luck to him. But wait a second. Uh, Super, no. What did Ronnie they say made on Superfan? a statement. Uh, Ronnie. Yeah. Howard has a question for Ronnie. <laughs> what? Ronnie told JD he wants to punch this guy in the face. No. Why is he so why? sad? But why won't he articulate it? Now's his chance. He's been saying all kinds of weird things, and now he finally has a chance. Hey, by the way, um, where is uh, John Lieberman? He's out there, too. That John. was someone I wanted to talk about, too. Yeah, did you mastermind giving no, John no, an 18? No. Who would have thought John would react the way he did? But it was great, but... The, the, everyone's reactions were different. We had hundreds of emails after the show asking the, a lot of unanswered questions after we went home, and you know, John was one of them. John, I got to say something. You got an 18, and you had a, you know, of course, anyone would have a bad reaction. I had a bad reaction to a 34. But you're such a, a man about it. I mean, Ronnie's reaction that he won't talk to Joe is re absurd. And do you think that Joe sat at home and masterminded giving you an 18?
No, absolutely not. And Ronnie told us in an interview that this gentleman owes him at least $50,000 for, <laughs> for getting uh, a zero. For getting a zero and for making you now famous and making making you rich and the app rich. That I mean, is the most obs you know, I love Ronnie. He's a friend. But that's the stupidest fucking thing I ever heard, that Ronnie is owed $50,000. Ronnie truly it's believes stupid. that you ran his face through face distortion software mm -hmm. before grading him, and that's why he got a zero. Do you have wow. face distortion software? No, I'm not that good yet, but, you know, it's funny that I, I love that. I just love that Ronnie thinks that he's the center of this whole thing. Like, if, you know. For, for fans, at least, and kind of around here, too. Like, Gary's, like, the go-to guy to beat right. up on things. Like, right. that's who I would have done this if to. If you were going to give a zero to somebody, <laughs> yeah. you'd give it to Gary. You'd never hear the end of it. I mean, Ronnie's not on the show that much. I wouldn't have expected that this reaction. kind of promotion. But, you know, I got to say, John, obviously... And by the way, I mean, why would Ronnie be owed $50,000 for getting a zero? Yeah, you're owed nothing. Ronnie's owed something. Right. I mean, you know... It, you got the 18. Did you have any conspiracy theories behind it? No. I mean, I thought it was bullshit, but I didn't have any grand conspiracy theories. I mean, Ronnie sat down and thought this out. Yeah. Thought out how this all went down. Ronnie Which does really that, should scare you. Ronnie does that a lot. <laughs> exactly. Ronnie does that a lot. Like, he gives me his theories on stuff, and they're always way off. <laughs> like, I mean, really way off. Like not having any basis in reality. What did you say about Ronnie on the um, Superfan Roundtable? I don't know. Nothing. Uh, ask him if he'll come in here. I don't know. No, he doesn't want to. Oh, be yeah. Here. I guess not really. I didn't say I anything. Think, I think you I said. I've never seen Ronnie be such a pussy. Uh, you know, I heard like he's refusing to do the behind the scenes show, too. Wow. And he's never done that before, I guess. <laughs> did you, he's a big star. <laughs> did you bring your own security? Because he's I talking was thinking about him like, how, uh, Ronnie's here to protect <laughs> Howard. Who's going to protect me? <laughs> <laughs> I saw when he brought you into the yeah. green room. Yeah. He didn't say two words to you. Well, wow. I was wondering if he even remembered who I was because. Oh, he remembered. Because he was. He was pretty quiet, but... Do you uh, get, is this the most violent reaction you've gotten to the Ugly app? Oh, yeah. And, you know, yeah, see, we've had, we have guys like John, obviously, you're more happy with your score, but got to say, I, I've talked to John several times since the show, and... He's a pro, man. He he represents you well. He's been classy oh, he's the whole time. He, he is, and it, and it shows. And this is what was so great about this app. Uh, my friend Tyler, we were at dinner, he asked, is everybody on the show really who they are? Is it a lot of acting going on? And this was one of those segments that just brought everyone's personality out, and Absolutely. it was great. Was there anyone so, who didn't take it? I know, JD, me. well, beside you, <laughs> I understand I why women won't take it. They, they're not going to risk well, it. I mean, women, you know, are sensitive to that kind of thing. Yeah. Ronnie's going to come in. He should be in any uh, second. Okay, there go. Is. Yeah, but I mean, Ron, I would like to hear what Ronnie yeah. has to say. I haven't heard all I you. have nothing to say. Well, I have a question then for you. Go ahead. Why do you think you're owed $50,000? Oh, I, did, I was joking with Lieberman. I didn't say 50. I said 30. <laughs> <laughs> you said your quote was, write me a check. Right. Write me a yeah, check. Yeah, exactly. I said it. Why I didn't say 50000 And you mean well, you got the guy here. I was here. joking. But Ronnie, you, oh, you're, oh, you're Wait, kidding. What did I say on Superfan Roundtable? Yeah, what, did what I don't want to talk off? to you. No, I really don't I really don't want to talk to you. I really don't want to talk to you. I'm talking to him. Okay, okay. okay. Sure. What, I don't like you. Okay. I don't like your voice. Like you sound you. like China. Everybody's saying you sound like China out there. China? <laughs> yeah. You mean that wrestler? Yeah. You sound like China? Uh, apparently, I guess. Well, that's what I was told. Ronnie. You don't like him because you got a zero. Do you really honestly think this guy masterminded? I don't really a zero? care, dude. I don't want to know you do about this. You I don't even talk I to don't the want, guy. I don't want to talk to him. I don't need to talk to him. But why are you I upset? Got, no, I did, why did, are you upset? Because I don't need this guy. I don't need him in my life. I don't need to be bothered yeah, with but, him. But why are you so upset? He's having a great time. He's making a ton of money. It's great. I'm are happy you for angry him. with him? I don't care. No, That's are you angry telling. with him? No, I just I don't for like being bad mouthed on Superfan. There's what no reason for it. What did he say it. about you? Know, you know, I didn't bad. I just said his thing was shit, and that was it. What? He doesn't That's have to personally attack me. It doesn't sound like you don't care. Well, hey, you what do did care. he say? Robin, you know, don't attack. You said you're not going to attack people. What? She was just asking Mind what was said. What I'm said? talking to Howard, all right? <laughs> and all right. I asked Howard to ask what he right. said on Facebook. What Super did fan. the guy say about you that said I don't you remember. Are... I don't... Oh, my God. Oh, I don't remember. Crazy. I do. Just, what oh, did now, he say? Yeah, what did he say? He said... He, he doesn't remember either, of course. He you remembers. Know. You remember. No, he says he doesn't. You said, you said he basically... Does, he, I just heard him say he doesn't remember, John. Okay. What did I John, say? John, what the I'll fuck is your problem? I just heard him say he doesn't remember. Will you please calm down? He's out of his mind. 
<laughs> what is wrong with you? Seriously. What Ronnie, is what, what is, is wrong, wrong with you? On? You two have been, you've benefited from the 0. 0. 0.0. At the block party, they're yelling 0. 0.0. There's t I benefited? So you have benefited. Yeah, oh, yeah, I benefit with guys holding signs up. It's great. That's I a, love how it. do you think he feels when he's hey, with yeah. his girlfriend and he's a zero? <laughs> well, look, I don't want to get into all that. The, but it's not that. this guy's fault but, you're a zero. You tell, I got a 34. That's nothing to be proud of. Yeah, okay. And he takes pictures of, of Sal's cock and balls, and he gets a two. <laughs> They're taking a picture of Sal's cock and balls, and we'll know if it beats Ronnie. Give me a fucking break, you asswipe. But, but Ronnie. Come here, Ronnie. We, Let me give you a hug. Stay the fuck away from Come me, here. dude. Do me a favor. Go home with your, your money. Look, be happy. You got your publicity. He made three, be happy, he made okay? Three, he made 300000 personally. Good for him. Yeah. I'm happy for him. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm happy to fucking guy. On Be Super Fan, you said, from what I can recall, and I don't have all the notes. On the show, as usual, listen, you know, lots listen, of users around. I don't here. have all the notes in front of me, but from what I recall, you said basically that Ronnie is too big for his britches. That he he has a, an inflated sense of self, right. and if you were going to do this for a bit, you would have done either Gary or Benji because you would have got you would have sold even more apps had you done Gary or Benji, correct? Yeah, and if you did I, Gary I or Benji, he wouldn't that. be sitting yeah. here again, okay? Will you let me finish, Ronnie? No, I don't want to What do you mean? Finish. If Gary got a zero, you think this guy wouldn't... You, Gary would have went, went along with it, and that would have been the end of it. I mean, he knew you'd get upset about a zero. Yeah. Because he remembers, you know, but a lot of Ronnie, shit that he loves, you, people love to rile me up. That's you fine, kept it okay? going, Ronnie. Yeah, I got, I got, you, you know, like you, you said, kept it you going. kept yeah. it going. You kept it going on wrap up. You kept it going in the hallway. So you liked it. Yeah, I, lo initially. Oh, yeah, I loved it, John. Did you just not like you loved it? Yeah, <laughs> just like you loved I it. I didn't say I loved it. Oh, you didn't love it either, man. <laughs> yeah, why don't you admit how you fucked up you were over it, how you didn't sleep at night. I did not like yeah. my score, that's no secret. But I didn't blame <laughs> this man. I didn't blame this no, man for No, you came to me and you said this is all you know, a bullshit. a conspiracy theory. Come on, John, tell, me, tell him how you said it was bullshit, too. I did, and I just Come repeated on, John. that. Ronnie, I just repeated that. Fucking but asshole. what I didn't you do think was... You shit all what on me, I you're didn't out of your fucking mind. Oh, you're, you're so done. What, what I didn't say... <laughs> What I didn't I'm say, so done. listen wow. to me, please. The guy didn't sleep for fucking listen, three days. Listen to me, Ronald. Ronald. <laughs> three fucking days. No, it wasn't sleep. three days. You're out of your mind. No. What I didn't say was. Don't make me call your girlfriend because she'll, she'll tell me how you didn't sleep for three days. You stay away from her. <laughs> but to Ronnie, didn't you become important because of the app? Like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I can I even see now when we travel around with America's Got Talent, everyone's 0, 0.0. It's become your thing. Oh, yeah, big deal. That's yeah. real, real impressive. No. This, I'd rather you yell Mambo like and you smell like shit than fucking tell me that crap. Right. So, you know, when I didn't I, know he was so vain, you know? Yeah, I'm not vain, believe me. Oh, Ronnie. Uh, wow. Look, the two people. Look how happy he is. Look, he's got this big fucking smirk on his <laughs> face. This he's he's great, getting all his publicity <laughs> like he wanted. Okay? He's using the show. It's well, fine. The, the ugly he meter. Was fine with me. On the show. The ugly meter pro is available on iTunes. He's making right <laughs> Great, man. Thanks to you. Good for you. And you, you single-handedly. Yeah, and, and what's you with you, man? I sit and talk to you about stuff, and you agree with a lot of shit I say. Of course. Of course yeah. I do. You're what, crazy. You afraid? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm not fucking afraid. You're what choice? What does he what have? Do what do you mean? You're driving a car. I'm going to get you riled up? No. Yeah, okay, dude. We talk about stuff, and, and I give you opinions on stuff, and you say, you know, I, you're so I, right I about that. You, yeah, but you, I told you, I don't think this guy masterminded giving you a 0, 0.0. Okay. I told you, the ugly app is a fun thing. Do I think it's scientific? No. But you got a 0, 0.0, not because the yeah, guy but thought... And a cock and ball's got a 2. Come on. <laughs> well, what does that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. I don't know. That's man. ridiculous. Look, you single handedly got. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me you got beat by ridiculous. <laughs> guys, Richard, Sal's cock and balls beat uh, you, and, and Richard's, and Richard's asshole. Ass beat it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't argue with science, right? Yeah, science. Yeah, some science. <laughs> Have you heard? Scientific, wait a second, Joe. Is there scientific stuff, seriously, in in the app? Yeah. Uh, that, you know, that was actually one of the big questions we because got from fans. Yeah, because it's based uh, on on uh, on like sort of your your cranial. Yeah, uh, big scientists yeah, worked on there's this. There's actually deal. published scientific articles on on beauty, and it's called the golden ratio. There's there are all these points on your face. There's certain ratios between them that make the perfect face, uh -huh. and. 
I mean, it's it's math. It's it really it's is, and it just. Uh, so when Ronnie know, got a zero, is is that still like no one else has ever gotten a zero? It's almost like he doesn't no have one. a face. No one ever still got not. a zero. It's still not. Not that his I've science had. house over you, there. You haven't encountered anyone I, I, in all your tests before. Not yet. Not yet. One woman called in and had rescanned mm. Ronnie and got him a two. I think. Right. So I mean, it's pretty. Right. Do you want right to rescan with the? Ex- I wouldn't do it again. Get in front of this motherfucker's camera if you paid me a million dollars. Do you want to take the test again? Absolutely. Not if you get a zero. No. Okay, but if you go up, you. I will not do anything on his fucking camera. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Does anyone else have the app so they can? No, give it? I will not do it. You don't want to go up? I will not do it. What, if you went up from I'm a zero, I'm not doing it. Sounds I like Dr. Do Seuss. It. I will not do it. Oh, not shut with a hat. You. Not with a cat. You little <laughs> fucking cry baby. Over. Don't even start with me. Cry baby? Yeah, you You're cry, the cry for, baby. Dude, you didn't stop for days. There is a difference between being disappointed in your score and thinking that this man launched a conspiracy <laughs> to give you a certain score. Okay? Right. Yeah. yeah, I still believe it. I'm sorry. I know. Maybe exactly. I, I you am still fucking believe- crazy now, okay? You well, are. Yeah. Show something. Let's Joe. call into scientists and let him check my fucking brain. I gotta Get say your something. science department in here, Mr. Big Shot. Can I say something? I really mean this. Yeah. I'll tell you why I think you should take no, it. No, I'm not doing it. You look really handsome today. I'm, I'm not being doing serious. it. I'm not doing it. Because you have less facial I will hair not now. do it. You look handsome. I don't really care. You got a haircut. So I got a haircut. I say you go up to at least nine points. And you put M25 points. in your hair over the weekend. <laughs> oh, do, what? I guarantee you'll go up at least nine points. I don't really care, dude. You'll be a nine. I don't care. Joe, I want you to say, on the do you have kids? I do, a five-year-old. Okay. On the life of your child, did you fix the app so Ronnie would do bad? On the, the life, life of-, of my child, Ronnie is a zero. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> good for you. Wow. Well, there you go. Oh, Whatever, dear. dude. Sorry, zero. Yeah. He, he swore in the life of his kid. Good for him. Do you, do you believe him? No. You don't? No, I don't fucking believe him. So you still re- re- think he's that he's got his fucking legs crossed. Oh, he's got his legs crossed. Yeah. Take, uncross your legs for a second. Dude, do you, do you really <laughs> think I can't give a shit about this guy and his kid and everything yeah, I think else? you do. I think you're really bummed about it. That's no, why I'm I think you should take it again. About it. Get I don't this care. Over with and fucking get a higher score than a zero and it's done. No, I'm not doing it. Not you will it. not take it again. Absolutely not. Well, what are you afraid of? That you'll I'm get a zero afra- again? I don't care. You've already I already got, got the zero. zero. Who right. cares? Right. You, you, you praise JD for what his score. What did you score. do at 18? Let me, let me finish. 18? <laughs> just, just do it again. Maybe you know it. Yeah, higher. go ahead. Do it again, I, Big fine. Shot. Go ahead. You do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah, do it. And, and, and don't sleep no. for another three days. Hey. Go ahead. <laughs> listen. Go listen to me. At least I went to sleep. At least I went to sleep at night. Wow. You didn't. Ronnie. You went nuts on the wrap up show, dude. I, I'll make them pull the tape. You went fucking crazy over this yeah, thing but on the wrap up show. He doesn't have delusions Look. of grandeur that this Whatever. guy's Whatever. He's it. still, he's out of his mind over it. I'm out of my mind. You're talking to this guy about bringing in scientists and well, Albert is, Einstein well, and yeah, this Albert Ken, Einstein. Ken he's got on, all kinds Ken of scientists. Ken is on the air from Buffalo. He, Go ahead, Ken. He's got all kinds of scientists hey, working. The, hey, man. What's quick. up, guys? Listen, man. I was with, I was with my, my wife and we were screwing around with the app. But like, let's check it out. Well, man, Ronnie. Brother, don't feel bad, dude. My dog scored a three, and I scored a zero. You got a zero. I got a zero, and I used to model for a magazine back, you know, about five, six years ago. There you go. And I got a zero. Well, good for him. I'm happy Why for you him. So with this guy. So you, I'm happy no, for him. He's trying to make right. you feel better. No, I, 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 he got a zero. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Roddy, Roddy, Roddy. Yes, sir. Man, it's all out of fun, and you can't take all this shit so serious, dude. You're a good-looking guy, man. Dude, I don't care. Dude, That's this guy's I, a fellow well, zero. He's trying to bond with you. <laughs> good. I'm happy for him. Just He's got a model for a wife. I'm glad for the guy. Roddy, us zeros got to stick together. Yeah, man. Why don't you start a zero? Why don't you come to our comedy show? I'll get you on the guest list, dude. Dude, that'd be awesome. I would come to your comedy. Where do you live? Today, bro. Where do you live? I live in Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. Uh, we're coming to Toronto. You want to come to the Toronto show? Oh, dude, I'd love it, man. I right. love it. All right, get, uh, Ronnie giving away t- So, yeah, look at this. Look, now let, people uh, that let, offer sympathy for your score now dude, get giveaways. Uh, let them put you on hold and get. let me get your number. <laughs> I'll make sure you know, you're on hold and you want to give them some tickets? Yeah, give them tickets. Oh, okay, okay. Here's, oh, thanks, Ronnie. You're awesome. <laughs> you're Mr. No Benefits. <laughs> Ronnie just taking over oh. with the giveaways. Uh, Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Yeah, this is what I need now. Just go to prove what a freaking asshole you are, Ronnie. Go ahead, I'm listening. You're, you're Come on, a let me hear. Douchebag. Okay. And America now knows what a freaking asshole you really 
are. Well, we know who the real asshole is because your asshole was hanging out all day at America's Got Talent. So everybody saw your asshole, what an asshole you are. I was hanging they saw your shit you. stains on your underwear. Okay? <laughs> so, okay, who's the asshole? I figured it would matter. Everybody said, Gary's son saw your asshole with shit on it. Oh, my God, is that gross. All right, Bill, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, hey, I'm calling about this bullshit app you're selling on the Android store. Yeah, the so iTunes is our, our official app, so, yeah. The, is, you don't sell it on the Android. Android. You don't sell on Android? Cause I'm There's a lot of knockoffs out there. Our iTunes is, it works for iPhone, and iPad is the legitimate app. Why don't you have it for uh, Android? We, well, we would have if we would have known this. What it, we didn't expect this to turn into what it did. I mean, right. <laughs> thanks to Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks to the Stern Show. Yeah. Well, the, by giving no, you the zero, it was you. Which, you are owed thirty thousand so, dollars. Yeah, okay, Robin. Howard, you actually will you ever pay Ron? How come you never took it, Robin? I didn't uh, want to. Yeah, well, okay. She doesn't want to. Think, okay, and I don't want to either. Show you got a lot, a lot of people trying to buy these fake apps off off the Android. Yeah, it's tough with Android that it happens. Yeah, and you, you just buy thousands and thousands of people, and everything, every every note in there says, "Thanks for the Stern Show." Thanks for the Stern Show. All right, thank you, Bill. Bill upset about something. I'm not sure what. He's got the fake app, not the right. real one. We get them pulled every single week. People are knocking us off. So. Wow. Well, you what a shame. You do. What a shame, Ronnie. Boo -hoo. Boo -hoo. That's <laughs> money out of Ronnie's pocket. <laughs> Ronnie, let me just ask you one quick question. Go ahead, John. Is there anybody else on this show who, if they got a 0, 0.0, would have generated more publicity for the app than you? I don't know. Answer the question. I don't know. Because you answered it for me in the hallway one day, and you said no. You said that you could do more for this app than anybody else. Because look at how it blew up. Look okay, at the guy. that's all would I wanted to know. Would they bring the fucking guy back again? If, would they bring the guy back again? Well, I'm bringing him back because you complained so much. I gave you a shot at talking to this guy, and all you're doing is yelling. I wanted to answer, Ronnie. All you do is scream about me on the other shows. I don't have a chance to respond. Well, you respond on a super fan. You got well, your, you got you your word got out there with Mark. You, you got your word out. Talk. You got your word out. I invited out. him back because you've been so upset and vocal about your zero score. No, I haven't. I stopped. I haven't said another no. word about it. All right. I heard a lot of talk. Mm. Yeah, there was talk in the beginning. How can you be this so angry a month later? Have you talked to not, JD? Have you talked to not, JD? Because I get a sense that since you gave JD his score, he has also kind of more confidence now. You know, he he's now had that. I'm, gl I'm glad. Look at this, Ronnie. JD Harmeyer has a business card from the Howard Stern Show. It says, Ugly Meter Score 52 out of 100. Is that right? Yeah, look. Good. Look. So JD's well, one of those listen. situations where Ugly Meter can be a good thing because. I'm happy for JD. Guys, man. I, took well, him, I took him on the road and I said I would do what I did. JD's, and he got. JD's whole personality changed. I don't know. It was up to changed. him afterwards. JD's whole personality changed after good. the Ugly Meter. Well, and I heard Robin last week. Saying, you know, looking at JD, and maybe he is kind of <laughs> handsome. You know, I mean, look at we're this. It's not it all bad. I mean, you. people yes. get their, their ugly bad, meter scores can help them Ronnie, too. Ronnie, as bad as things are for you, they're better for JD. Good, I'm happy so, for JD. Believe me. Let's go to. Uh, Mike. Would I have taken him on the road and do this shit? I don't know. Did he get Did he get two girls when he was on the road with me? Yeah, because he's a 52. Okay, good. Whatever. Go, go ahead, Mike. Yes, Mike. Hey, Howard, it's Mike from Boston. Yes. Uh, I just want to let Ronnie know that he really isn't a zero. <laughs> he's maybe a one. That's about it. You think he's a one? I think if he retested, I seriously, I think if you retwist, I, I bet you beat uh, John Lieberman's score. Uh -oh. I bet you no. would too. He's not that. There's no way. No way. No way. Exactly. You See? think not? No way. Come on, Ronnie. Let's do it. I'm not doing it. Dude. Why? Because I'm not. Because he's a pussy. <laughs> That's right. I'm a pussy. <laughs> Take your shirt off, Ronnie. You I'm might do pussy. better. Yeah. Uh, okay. You won't. You won't retest. Hmm. What do you what do you got to lose? On, and beat Ronnie. Lieberman's ass. Beat him. No. Pussy. This just tells us a lot, Ron. Yeah, you John, it's fine. John, you John, you're you bust my to do balls it? all you want. You're the one who didn't sleep for three days. Not me. John, okay? will you You're do the it? one it really hit. He's will you, willing to risk it. John, will you retest yes. against Ron? Yeah, what do I have to lose? Well, go ahead, John. Well, do it. Come on, Ronnie. Oh, hey, John. I'm not now, doing it. I'll tell you, you say what you have to lose. <laughs> you could be lower. I, I scan a lot of people and I'm still not going to be a zero. Right. That's your risk because that's a lot. I mean, I would take your 18 Come on, points. Ron. And <laughs> no, I'm not doing it, John. <laughs> Ronnie, no, I've never you, seen you afraid like that. I know. I'm not, yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah. This is the head of security. Yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm afraid. Admit it. I'm not afraid. Then why won't you do I it? I won't do it. Pussy. Right. Exactly. I'm a pussy. You're afraid. Keep writing, Benj. I'm still not doing it. What? Write what? Whatever he's writing he's, over there. I don't, know what right. I don't care. I'm saying to you. I'm not doing it. Do it. No. 
Beat the fucking app. No. You're not a zero. I'm not doing it. Did he take the test with his glasses on? It doesn't matter. It lines it up with his eyes. It really? I mean, negative. His face you is taking his your face. glasses off. That's what fucked you up. Yeah, okay. Seriously. Might have reflected. I don't know. Whatever. If, if he takes it with his glasses off, do you think he'd do better? It won't matter. Oh, I could so hit him in the face with a frying pan, see if that oh. yeah, pushes some stuff oh. in place. Yeah. Oh. Keep it up, dude. You're, you're, a real, you're a real funny guy. What if you put a cock and You're a real over? fucking funny guy. <laughs> that could help. Good for three points. You're real funny. Yeah, you're a real comedian. You're a scientist. You're everything else. Go ahead. Oh, my. Be my guest. Oh, Keep knocking. I don't really funny. give a fuck. Keep doing it. What is it, Mike? Have a good time with it. Great radio. Thank you very much, pal. All Love right. You. Thank you. I want the Ronnie to confront this guy. I am shocked that Ronnie's this upset. upset. Yeah, it is weird. You're a dude. Who cares? You're a zero. Dude, I don't care. So what? I'm a 30. I don't need care. this guy's app. I don't need the bullshit. I don't Jason, really you're on the air in Toronto. Howard the King. Good morning, buddy, Good morning. and the whole crew there. I love you guys Thank always. You. Listen, as much as I love the, 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 you know, the, the different kind of discussion that's not revolved around your kitty show over there, America Talent, uh, which I have no interest in hearing, and I'm sure most people don't either. Now, fuck them then. Tune out, asshole. I love your show. Fuck I'm off. I don't care. Back. Like Ronnie says, I don't care. I know, but listen, Ron, Ronnie, is not, he's not a beautiful man. I'll, I'll give you that much, right. Ron, but, you know, you're definitely average looking at, at least. And I'll tell you about this app. I did three times, and I was 85. Right. I was four, and I was about 19, I think. So, you know, it's, it's completely useless. It, it's the wheel of stupidity. I mean, anyone that even indulges it. To think it has any credibility. I mean, it, it's, it makes good radio talk. I, I, hear right now, but I don't know why Ronnie's so afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it. I you are. You Ronnie clearly Ronnie are. I'm not. John, shut up. <laughs> if, you, if you were in a... Shut up, John. Well, John's right. Yeah, well, John's right. Now, uh, yeah, John's right. He is. Yeah, okay, good. So yeah. just do it, Ron. No, I'm not doing it, John. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the last word is from John in uh, Valvosta, Georgia, I guess. No, is. John. Valdosta. Hey, in, in Uncle Ronnie's defense, I think the facial hair, Joe, has something to do with it. I mean, if someone had a huge, dark beard, would your app take that into account? No, this is facial structure, so unfortunately the ridiculous mustache didn't knock him off any points. So um, <laughs> keep it up with your stupid nonsense. You can keep it. Hey, you Ronnie, know what? Ronnie, you're listen, a fucking, Ronnie. Listen, Ronnie. Don't fucking in, asshole. Ronnie, okay? I, I know you're angry. Your stupid but fucking listen. comments. You're supposed to be here promoting your app. No, Don't I'm not. Fucking I'm here to see you. Get on my I'm fucking case you, pulling me fucking ugly Ronnie. because I will throw your ass out of Ronnie, here. It's si all right? First of all, Ronnie. You're a fucking douchebag. Ronnie, it's science you're a stupid calling you ugly. It's not me. You're a fucking douchebag, okay? You Ronnie. happy now? No, you I'm fucking not, ripped my I like asshole. You, like you ripped you my angry. asshole apart on Superfan, and I said after that I wouldn't even fucking give you the right time. But it's his show, okay? You won't give him the right so time. So I fucking came in here because he wanted me to come in here. But you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you're a piece of shit on the bottom of my fucking shoe. You could say whatever you want about me with strippers and everything else, okay? You're a piece of shit, and I don't like my you. Goodness. You're a fucking user. And that's it. I'm done. Oh, I like you, Ronnie. And you can say whatever the fuck you want now. Go on Superfan. Go on the fucking wrap-up show. I'm done with your fucking ass. And you're an ugly motherfucker. You should be I, mad I, at I'm him. I'm not denying it. Because you I'm a should be mad at the app, Ronnie. <laughs> I'm mad at him. You should be, you should Don't be, fucking tell me oh, what I should be mad at. You should be mad at the app, not no, him. No, bullshit. Because he he's didn't... a fucking big mouth asshole making money off your fucking show. Well, not spending so, a dime on a advertising. People, but, Everybody bitches about advertising here. He's making all this fucking money free off your show. Why I've do never you seen a grown man act like this. Bullshit. What do you care? Because he's a fucking douchebag. If I don't care, what do you care? Wow. Wow. I have never seen a 70-year-old man act like that. By the way, can I tell you... what you want out of me? No, can you I tell you one thing? blow up. He's going to okay? be on Superfan on Wednesday. I don't really give a fuck. Let him do whatever he wants. I said I'm done with his fucking bullshit. Come on the show He's with me, Ronnie. He's a fucking asshole, and that's it. I'm done. How much do you spend on advertising, Ron? How much do you... Yeah, I thought people what? work here allowed to plug their stuff. If they're not, then we won't plug it, okay? I'm just saying. I thought you, I worked here for you. If you're I thought about, I worked for you. I thought I'm part of this shit. If you're worried about I guess about I'm not. I could come in here and get fucking ripped apart should buy by this some. fucking punk. We all got okay? ripped apart. What, I, the reason I'm not getting ripped apart is... I don't have to listen to it, I accepted okay? my 34. I know I'm okay, ugly. Okay, good. So, so why did he have to come back? 
What's the big deal? Because you two were going at it. I wasn't going at it. He's fucking ripping no, my ass apart. you were going at it, too. Okay? And you told me you were upset. I he's not him back. done because he needed more fucking advertising. He wanted to come back on okay? and say, Okay, he's not hey. done. He had a fucking going soup fan and ripped my fucking ass apart. But I wanted you him You got on. what you want. You got a fucking blow up out of me. He's a prick. I don't like him. And I will not fucking do anything for him. Will you take the app again? And uh, <laughs> you know what? We have our own Mel Gibson. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. The ugly app is Whew. just... Whew. The ugly I, app is really It got under dangerous. Ronnie's Unbelievable. skin. I've never yeah. seen anything like that. I think well, Ronnie I, must have... He because, must have thought he was really, really handsome. Because Ron, yeah, exactly. Ronnie's whole thing is with the chicks and the strippers, and the, you know, he's he's, he's a good-looking so guy. So why does he yeah. care? I mean, really, this is Ronnie's life, and he hanging out with strippers all the time, and he cares about what an app tells him. You know, he's a uh, he's. Well, hey guys, well, here's Richard and Sal. Oh so, God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! We need help with with life, okay? We need security for security. We get attacked by security. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, you know nothing about me. So I know a lot about you. Fuck. I listen to you every day. He spit in my face. Oh God! Oh God! Oh I hope my Zero's God. not contagious. Easy. Well, every time I walk out of the room, he's got something all bad. All right, all right, Ronnie. Ronnie, easy. Right here. Okay, I'm standing right here. Ronnie, it's not even on the mic. Ronnie, look, look, everybody, calm down. Sit down, Ronnie. It's all right. To go okay. out of the studio for a while. What's your problem? What's what, your problem? What what mic is Ronnie, that? Ronnie, I really, no, I'm, I'm a huge fan of yours, and I like I you a lot. No but what microphone is that? Hey, hey, hey. the fuck Why is wrong with you? What's hey, wrong with you? You don't hey, know your own show. Turn it on. Who's backup security? There's no security needed. Well, you better calm down. I'm not touching guy. I get beat up by a 70 year old man today. This is gonna be great. <laughs> what is, what is going on? Go ahead. Go ahead and talk rationally now. What's the matter, Ronnie? What do you mean, what's the matter, Ronnie? You gotta calm down. I'm fine. Why You're do you have to control him like that? I'm not that. out of control. Do you see me doing anything? Man, Step back. What are you I want to talk to him right to his fucking ahead, face. What's your him. problem with me? Huh? Ronnie, I'm calm. I'm just like, trying to talk to you. I'm yeah, just trying to talk to you. What's your fucking problem with me? Nothing. I, I think what's you're great. What's with you? You got a problem because I go to strip clubs? That bothers you? No, of course you? not. That's great. Because your wife won't let you out of the fucking house? No, I love huh? you, Ronnie. That bothers you? Ronnie, I said Does that bother you? Ronnie, Ronnie, I said it. I heard him say it, okay? I said it as a good thing. I said I said why you have a great life. Why do you care? you said I got a fucked up life. You said that right on the fucking you're too close, Ronnie. Ronnie, no, I'm not too close. You're too close. No, why? Because they can't get the camera shots on Howard TV. No, too close to him. No, I'm not close. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm comfortable. Why are you intimidating him? Why yeah, is he why? intimidating me? He yeah. he got what he wanted, dude. He intimidated me on Superfan so he could get his ass back. Ronnie, yet. the guy, okay? the guy, the guy. Has an the guy. App. He what is has he your his buddy app. or something? Yeah, he is. He's a <laughs> guest of mine. He's my guest. Oh, good. I'm glad. You got a zero. You asked me to and come in here. You got I a zero. I fucking came in yeah, here. But you okay? got a zero and you're freaking out. So you out. got what you wanted. I came in. Yeah. How I yeah. act is my fucking business. But I no, don't like the guy. You okay? got a zero. And I'm not doing anything to the guy, so you don't have to. All fucking stand here. Yes, How about do. I want to talk to him to his face? Sir, I'd love to talk okay? to you, Ronnie. Hey, listen. And it's... I don't want to talk to you off the air. Well, you okay? want to talk or do you want to sit here and scream at Go the Go ahead. Air? What's Go the problem ahead. with me? I'm sorry, you got a bad score. I don't care about your score. <laughs> but it's out of dude. my control. Yeah, you're, I know it's you're your, sci zero. your scientist. You're a zero. I'm sorry. Oh, boo hoo. You you, it's your DNA. I can't do yes, anything about DNA, it. It's my DNA, yeah. Take the test. I, I really again. sincerely. Yeah. I wish I'm, you. Ronnie, yeah. I, I do. Listen, I've listened to you for yeah, years. I'm a huge fan yeah, of yours. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I, 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 see. I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. I, Ronnie, you're mad at a really guy because you got a zero. I'm not mad at him. I'm just mad at the <laughs> shit he's fucking saying about my life. Tell him he's to mind his business that, about I, my do fucking you life. Do you understand <laughs> what people say? Your are reaction, you okay? yeah. your reaction yeah, is over the are top. You? Because I said a good thing about you. And no, you didn't say anything good. I said you have a great life hanging out with us. Uh -huh. I haven't said I didn't say Nothing anything on Superfan Super Fan. that I didn't say on the show. Wait, 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 Today, what did I say on Superfan that was so bad? You can't even remember Jason, it. Jason, I, yeah. Jason said he listened to Superfan and he doesn't know what was said. He can't figure it out. Nothing That's what I'm saying. It's not that me. I don't remember what I didn't say. It's that I don't remember saying anything bad about you. Okay. I said what you've got an ego. What did he say? I mean, what did he say? Right, Ronnie. You don't have to leave, Ronnie. I'm so done.
So dumb. Yeah. Whenever I'm, you're asking, I'm glad he's done. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Maybe yeah. He's scaring yeah. me. Yeah. You're scary. Yeah, scary. You're being scary. I'm scary. You don't even know what the guy said. Yeah, I don't know what the guy said. And he's out of his mind. Uh, go back there. Uh, about it. He doesn't what even know I what do? was said. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Richard? Off. What did I do? Sal and I just tried something with the ugly app. I went and took a shit in the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, and what did you get? Oh. I got an 8.3. <laughs> Better than Ronnie. <laughs> wow, we. Wow. Well. That's great. I'm still disappointed we didn't scan you, Robin. But I know that's no, not going to happen. Ain't gonna no, happen. you have a better chance of scanning uh, Ronnie. You want me screaming like no, that? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I, I think you're sane. That's the difference. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let me tell you. I don't know. It has a strange effect on some people. The ugly app. Is you know. By the way, John Lieberman, I congratulate you on remaining calm with your 18. <laughs> I got a 34. Was I happy about it? No. No. I everybody's liked... living with their school. Sometimes you have to accept what you don't want to accept. And quite frankly, I've seen myself now photographed and uh, videoed at America's Got Talent. I think 34 was kind to me. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know how I got that oh, high. Oh dear. I'm hideous. You know, we you were mentioning how the women don't like to be scanned. One of my in most interesting scans out there is after the show, so the fans didn't hear it was scanning Lisa G. Oh, because we did a, talk about that. We talked about high. her score. She got a great score, but, you know, I mean, so I finally meet Lisa in person, and she's a little older than I am, but Lisa's, like, the cutest thing ever. I don't know why she's so insecure. When I held that camera up to her face, yeah. she looked terrified. And meanwhile, what did she and get? Like an 80? 70-something? 70 70 and I mean, hard. I don't know why she was so worried about it. I think it was a 72 because yeah, we hear yeah, about it right. often in the newsroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> John, uh, you know, seriously, for a fellow ugly guy, you acted pretty cool. You really did. And I admire that. Thank you, I mean, Howard. I'm, I'm wondering what's happening out here. I'm going to go check. You're going to go take a look. Okay. And finally, Mike, you have the last word. We're speaking, of course, to Joe Overline. His iPhone app, the Ugly Meter Pro, is available on iTunes. <laughs> Joe, you're very brave. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie, around Randy this morning would have scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I mean, I'm just scared to walk out of the studio. I think I'll just <laughs> we'll stay here the rest of the day. <laughs> we'll have an escort. Oh. Pretty much anyone here can take Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike, go ahead. Hey, Howard. This is Mike Cincinnati. As was calling, I wanted to say... Uh, Tell uh, Ronnie, the pet lady, to calm down. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, he the medicine to, to take another uh, picture of himself in the app. Wow. It's just unbelievable, the reaction to the ugly app. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Mary Ann from Brooklyn, go ahead. How it don't have this asshole on, this super fan. He wouldn't shut the fuck up. And a lot of people try the app, and it works. Every time someone tries it, it works different. Ronnie's very handsome. You know what a fucking app is? It's a mirror. That's what an app is, asshole. You think you created something so good. You were horrible on super fan. You didn't give anyone a chance to talk. And well, who's writing your frying pan material? Because you need a new writer. It sucks. What was oh, your... I love you. I can't wait till America's... Marianne, what was your score on the ugly app? I, I tell you what, I'm ugly. I know I am. No, I am not. no, you're not. No, no you're way. Not. I'm not using Everyone that time, at, but I wouldn't give him a dime. I don't like him. Everyone in America's Got Talent who saw in the audience was like, wow, she's really pretty. Yeah. Well, they need glasses. How is... <laughs> when are you going to go to The View and all that stuff? Get this guy out of there. I need more America's Got Howard. I need to know when you're going to be at The View, Matt Lauer, and Jimmy Fallon so I could plan accordingly. I love you, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> You all right, Joe? I'm fine. This is... <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny. Again, I, I came in here. I thought I'd be here 30 seconds. Yeah, well... And it turns to, into a thing. And You, you know what, Ronnie... You keep uh, messing with Ronnie. You'll get longer time. I'm just sitting here. That's the greatest thing. All I got to do is sit here, and Ronnie does it himself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. What a day. Huh? It's a Monday. My heart be still. <laughs> Good start to the week, I guess. You're not kidding. I guess Ronnie's day was ruined the moment he found out you were a guest again. Well, I was wondering if he recognized me because he was kind of nice in the he, waiting he room. Know, he and... knew you were coming in because oh, we always he, have did. We, we, he gets the list. He's security. <laughs> it's funny with Ronnie. I guess just not talking and screaming is considered nice. So I was like, oh, he's quiet. But, but, wow. What can I tell you? All right. Wow. Well, Joe Overline and his ugly app. Ugly meter. Ugly meter, sorry. No, no problem. And the Ugly Meter Pro also. There's an Ugly Meter and an Ugly Meter Pro. I think weren't they using the Ugly Meter Pro? Pro is the one you want. Ugly Meter is a, a gag, the one we made a couple of years ago. Right. Ugly Meter Pro is what we used on the show, is the real version right. that everyone got their real scores from. And uh, 
Yeah, wow. Any, any, yeah, any, I think we answered the questions people had for us. You working I mean, on any new apps or anything? Yeah, we actually, we actually did so well with this is uh, we've hired some more programmers now to, <laughs> to do some more things. Because Why don't you make something called the Ronnie We, we got an experience. <laughs> <laughs> for fear of my safety. Right, right. Wow. I think we got Ronnie pushed to his limit right uh, now. It just measures your anger. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when you hit a Ronnie, it means you're at the top. Yeah. <laughs> A Ronnie or a Mel. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I wish you the best. I mean, I'm sorry Ronnie had such a violent reaction. It was all in good fun. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Ronnie like that. Well, you know, Ronnie is a ladies' man. And, and continues to be. This has not slowed him down. Yeah, but it's a blow to his. You know, when mm. I know when we're standing there at America's Got Talent and Ronnie's with me and people yell out zero. It's hard uh. for him because he's, uh, you know, he's a... He's a ladies' man. <laughs> well, that's what was so interesting. I, I think this affected John more than I, I know. Then it, sh it should affect John more than Ronnie. I mean, John was in here, serious newscaster, just right. you know, in his suit every day. And I mean, look at his intro song. Is the most you guys? You have the best writers in the world, and the best thing they could come up with was he's Jewish. And right. you know, right. and then and then Ugly Meter comes in, and wow. I wow. mean, but you know, he was a pro. He took it and. We move. Oh, great. Uh -oh, well, usually, moved Ronnie has a good sense of humor. Though. I'm ugly and I'm fucking no. crazy. Dude, I was calm anyway. I got one thing you to were say. Calm. I got one thing this to say. Calm. Okay? Go ahead. Let Ronnie have one thing to one say. Thing. Go ahead. Okay? The guy came on here. He took my picture. I got a zero. Okay? Fine. That's fact. He got his publicity. Whatever, whether it was from me or from you, he sold a lot of apps. He made a lot of money. Right. Okay? That's a fact. Goes on Superfan, okay, this is what really got me with this guy. All right, go ahead. Got all his free publicity, it was real nice. This is what I wanted Dude, to hear. Dude, you went on Superfan, and you attacked me personally, my personal life, what, what I do. What did I say to you? Oh, yeah, the, what, how I hang out with strippers, that's none of your business. I didn't attack you. But that's something you put out on I'm, the wait internet. A minute, number Hello? one, Superfan I'm, called me. Can I say something? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you shut up for one minute? Sure. I never attacked you anything about your personal life. <laughs> That you're an asshole or anything. Never said anything bad about you. Just you never said I'm an asshole. No, I just said. <laughs> Let's pull out some. Tapes. I just said, dude, <laughs> you that I thought him. your app was bullshit. Okay, that's what I said. I attacked your business. I didn't attack you personally. Your personal life. That's where you fucking got me. But how, okay, there Ronnie, was no I, I, way, fucking reason Ronnie, for it. You do mention there on the air you go to strip clubs. You're a Ricky man. That's none of his but business. I, I never said that in a negative it's way. It's none of his business to bring but, it up. I didn't bring up anything you go about to strip clubs? anybody's personal life. Is it your personal okay? life when you're announcing, you know, that you're opening strip clubs all over the country? Aren't strip clubs your business? Yeah. You go and you appear at strip clubs. Yeah, okay, that's fine. your business. So how could you be mad at him for saying you go to strip clubs? No, he, he said I have an ego problem. Or it's not. I never attacked him. Well, personally, look at your, look at I don't your ego. need him to attack me personally. <laughs> look at your ego. There's no it, reason for it. You're taking this too hard. So big deal. You got a zero. I don't care. I keep telling you that. You sound I like a guy you. who cares. All right. Listen. You see, I. You know. Ronnie, Ronnie, you twist Dude. everything I say to be negative, though. I, I said you go to strip clubs. Why is that? A, if I no, said you go to McDonald's, would you say thing, that's Dude, a bad thing? I don't remember the whole goddamn show, uh, but I sat there and well, listened to the whole thing. Do you remember any Your email I mean, used to be scores, man. Please. You know, used to be. What's, this, mean, what's the sense of trying to even fucking talk to you? To me? Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to talk sense to you. I'm trying to bring out a point. He said you went to strip You know what? But Even when you he try said, to bring out a legitimate point around here, you, you get your balls busted, okay? But he, he I said tried you went to, to strip clubs. You're there's, no about reason that? For it, there's no reason to bring up my personal life. But, but no you, but reason. Your personal life is I don't really care. Your there's no reason for him to bring Ronnie. it up. Ronnie. Ronnie. You, you, you mentioned it on the air all Understood, the time. Understood, but there's no reason for him. We're talking about an app. We're talking about a zero. But he We're not you talking about clubs because what you I do. Strip. It's none of his you business appear, what I do. But you appear okay? at strip clubs. You're on the radio appearing at strip clubs. I was trying to help you. I was advertising for you, Ronnie. <laughs> right, Robin? You're my I, friend. I don't understand how that personal. See, whenever I try to talk sense to him, I can't get through. Yeah, the he. What's his personal life? Strip clubs? Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't win. See, I can't win no matter what I say. I it doesn't know. even matter. So, what about him is okay to say? I don't know because if that's a personal life. See, he wants issue. to be on the radio and he wants people talking about him. And then when they start talking about what he talks about, then he gets upset. He loves scores, man. He's Ricky, man. You know, right. I, I don't understand. 
What could you don't be understand. bad about that? <laughs> you don't understand. How could you not understand? <laughs> He's bringing out a legitimate point, and he doesn't get any support. I t- anyway. Sometimes, like I have conversations with Ronnie, and then I go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, you're right." And then he goes, "You see, you agree with me in the car." <laughs> I go, well, of, course, <laughs> of course I agree with you. What am I going to do? Where you're a hostage. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm not going to piss him off. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Captain Jenks. When has he ever been upset about strip clubs? I don't know. He didn't like that the guy said he goes to strip clubs. But who doesn't say he goes to strip clubs? And he has a block party show this weekend, which is, you know, that's something he does. He, he promotes it. Yeah. Let's fuck some hoes! Yes, Jenks. Yeah, maybe maybe Ronnie needs to time out because he's getting really upset about this. Yeah, he's getting all worked uh, up, and I'm not sure. You know, why. Ronnie's not an ugly guy. Ronnie's not an ugly guy. I mean, it was it was just a fluke. It's you know, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> to you, maybe it's a joke. He's taking it pretty hard. He is. Well, I know he is, but he's going. You're going to run his blood pressure up. He's going to have a heart attack. And, you I know, know he's, he's going to have a heart attack. He is. Jenks is right. He's fucking well, crazy. Well, I said, I mean, it looked to me like he needed a little time out, too. Yeah. Well, I came on to calm him down. I wanted to get rid of the oh, bad blood. Oh, forget it. You're no calming <laughs> calm effect. Well, I'm, I'm, just, I'll, I'm just sitting here. And you didn't even calm him down a little bit. I know. I know. I, I'm oh trying, but I, I, wanted to, I wanted to shake his hand at the end of the day and be friends. Do you realize how many ugly apps you would sell if it killed Ronnie? And, like, <laughs> like, 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 the ugly meter heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he put on his gravestone. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the ugly he opted him in. Wow. What anger in him. But he doesn't I'm, get it. Like weeks later, he's still screaming. You brought up like the strippers because it's private. Yeah, like he listened and, and you made these personal attacks. How could he attack Ronnie personally? He only knows what Ronnie says on the air. Right, you don't I even know Ronnie. I am crazy. I know it. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm oh, crazy my. in my wow. own way. Uh. (laughs) Um, I I was really worried uh, because this is some odd thinking. Yeah, I know. This explains some of the psych test results, though. Yeah, I mean, it just the more that's what I kept thinking. Like I said before, this is bringing out things in people even more. Don't you put out a psych app? What did he get on the? uh, What did he get on the psych app? (laughs) On paper, I'm not crazy. What on paper? On paper, I'm not crazy. (laughs) What what did he get on that psych evaluation? I for, you know I think he had what was it he had some kind of you know, like border, border it was li- close to to being <laughs> pathological yeah on on some kind of uh, side of a diagnosis. I know he scored the worst, but I don't and know. they they said he had a lot of issues. Yeah. I love that he's still your uh, right hand man after. <laughs> I love Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie's my guy. It wasn't a number for Ronnie, but the word that they was used a lot was uh, severe. Yeah. Like severe paranoia and severe <laughs> something else. And this shows <laughs> it. Well, he does have severe paranoia if he thinks this guy masterminded giving him a zero. Yeah. Hmm. Well, anyway, Ronnie left uh, to cool down, and that's good. Where does he go yeah. to cool down? Uh, he left our compound. <laughs> he did? He left he, the building. He, he, left, <laughs> he left our little wing here. Oh, at oh. Poor Ronnie. Oh. I feel yeah. bad for him. I know. You didn't really do anything terrible to him. I, I'm try- I was trying to, like... I know. You, you just, feel bad, but, you know, he got I, a zero. And I feel think- more bad for John because, you know, he's a good guy, but... I felt bad for Ronnie for, like, this two-minute interval, and then I'm just like... He's crazy. What do I do about it? The, right. The, I mean, I can't You, you do didn't do much. anything wrong. You yeah. came in with your app. We had fun. You with did it. the same thing with him. You did with everyone else. You took mm-hmm. his picture. Right. And then all, all all hell broke loose, and he got mad at you. And then I guess when you Happens. went on Superfan, you said he was he goes to strip clubs. <laughs> that was awful. Which is a terrible revelation that. for you to make. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Everyone right, lost look. respect for Ronnie that day. <laughs> 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 Scores, man. Got a tattoo. <laughs> You know, I try to tell this to Ronnie. You can't have it both ways. You can't be the guy on the air screaming about whores and strip clubs, and then all of a sudden, when you don't want that, it, it can't go away. Right. You know. But it wasn't I'm even, scores, man. It wasn't, even, it. it wasn't even said in a negative way. That's what I, like, everything he takes, he twists to be negative. It doesn't matter. Well, he's matter. angry at you, and well, so I whatever know, but, you like, say. I just try to sit and look at him, and we just... 
12 he, inches in front of me, and I just... He even attacked the way you talk. He said, you sound like China. I, I <laughs> guess I sound like China. <laughs> now that I'm listening, maybe a little maybe bit you I do. do. <laughs> yeah, I maybe I am like, China. Wow. <laughs> what does China always say? We can... Um, we can... What? The family? Oh, yeah, I'm right. No, that's not good. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm going to let you. I'm exhausted from this. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest. I want to go. I want to lay down. I love my vagina. <laughs> Could you say I love my vagina? <laughs> I love my vagina. <laughs> I love my vagina. Say <laughs> yeah. He other. does sound like China. Yeah. There's a huge tree trunk in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a sound clip I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going in. <laughs> All right. Well, we've had oh. enough fun. Wow. I ow, guess. Ow, ow. Joe's idea was to come in and say to Ronnie, "Hey, you know, I I didn't uh, I didn't fix the ugly app so right. that it would attack you. It was something that just happened, and that uh, I really haven't spoken badly about you, and I don't have anything personally against you. I don't understand why you don't understand. But Ronnie didn't really. Uh, find Ronnie's not in the mood to listen. He's not. He's not. I don't feel Ronnie was listening. So I was curious. We rescanned Benji on the break last time, and. Was he happy with his... He went up? Yeah, he did go up to around a 70, which I think was more accurate, because he was 70? doing some weird thing. You, you know, what was it? Fucking 90. <laughs> no, what was it? Yeah. <laughs> Benji, what were you the second time? Uh, 67. 67. Okay. Yeah, because wow, yeah, I good. remember the first scan wasn't good, because yeah. we had your head all angled, yeah. but, you know, yeah. um, it, it was funny, because I was listening last week when we talk, had Elisa in here, and were you, so were you happy with the 67, or...? Of course he is. It's a beginning. It's a start. You are? Okay. Because <laughs> yeah. I kind of got the vibe afterwards that he was... Uh still wanted to be a 90 and oh please it kind of had the you know and elisa was in here last week and you guys were talking to her about everything you talked about and I, it was I the dream same benji that is never happy with anything no, but just, i but, dream of a 67 yeah, so yeah. I. If it's, I, I wanted a 52 like jd <laughs> all right joe well okay we've all calmed down now joe overlines the guest his iphone app is the ugly meter pro and it's available on itunes what's going on oh, gary okay. i gotta take a break what just, is this that's uh, Just read that first sentence. That's what's that's Ronnie's psych evaluation. Yeah, I know. All right, uh, we're gonna leave Ronnie. You have enough of Ronnie. Ronnie's Ronnie having, can't take. Ronnie is upset. Joe, please right don't now. mention that Ronnie is uh, a guy who goes to strip clubs. I'll try to keep that a secret All from right. now on. Right. <laughs> All right. Ugly and I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> All right, Joe. Thank you. Thanks. There Alan. he is, Joe Overline, Robin, <laughs> and uh, we'll be back right after these words. Uh, <laughs> How's there something on? We still. Now wireless. Oh, what did you just press? Wireless. I'll watch for you. No, no. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in again, boy. Oh boy, that was. I didn't get to talk to you last time. Really wild. Very wild this morning. Are you okay? Yeah, great. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, let me take a picture of you real quick. Take one with the flash. Hold on one second. Keep his hands off. Keep his hands off. What are you doing? You getting fucking crazy over there? No, he grabbed me by the back of my jacket. Oh, he did? Yeah. Okay, I came in. Are you all right? Do you want me to hear your hands? Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. He didn't say anything bad about you. Yeah, it's definitely all. He said, all he said was. Talking about getting married and stuff. Guy helped me a lot. Really? What, yeah, were you and then having I, a problem? Then I was talking about my bachelor party and what Ronnie said to me. And my my, my um, psychiatrist goes, why would somebody say something so horrible? <laughs> yes, well, get Ronnie in there. Ronnie's yeah. supposedly in psychiatry. I don't know what he's doing He there. goes one day a week. That's hardly But he probably doesn't even know what <laughs> to bring up, you know? I, I just, just said imagine. to my psychiatrist, I go, the guy's retarded. Yeah, Ronnie wouldn't say to, to his psychiatrist, you know, I was at this bachelor party and I said these things. What's wrong with me? Oh, he thinks, he, you know. He would never think that's anything to address. Yeah, Ronnie and uh, Artie went at it at the um, on the wrap up show yesterday, and Ronnie's been bitching all morning about how Artie treated him yesterday. Really? But uh, <laughs> I got to tell you, like, like so I said to my psychiatrist, this guy gets up. I said, this guy, uh, so, supposed friend. Yeah, I go. He goes. He gets up, and he goes, uh, "What are you doing? What the fuck is wrong with you getting married? What the fuck is wrong?" Like, like, so I said, "What?" Keep so it the said, same. So I said to my psychiatrist, "Why would a, he?" Well, my psychiatrist goes, "Well, why would a guy say that?" He goes. He must be very jealous and angry. Yeah. I said, well, Ronnie is jealous and angry. Yeah, I'd forgotten how yeah. jealous and angry he is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm jealous and angry, yes. Why would you well, say something like that? You don't know that that's a bad thing to say? Even? Dude, 
Dude, you know, he's angry. Do you don't seriously answer me honestly? You don't know that's a bad thing to say. What did I say? I didn't do the speech. Do the speech. No, no, already, I, if, I, you got I, the no if he's doing, I'm fucking walking. Right, I don't walk want any shit. Here we go. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> right. What are you doing? You what are you doing? You no. dumb fuck. You want to talk to Give me? Give an asshole. You're gonna have that asshole do this shit for me. Forget. Oh, it. I know you. 23 years. Let's keep things the same. Fuck. That's a lovely girl. But I, what are you doing? <laughs> the fuck are you getting married He's for? He's the best. He's the yeah, best. You got Bet's a lovely best girl. Bet's a lovely girl. girl. What the fuck are you getting married for? What are you crazy? I got married. Stay the same. <laughs> Let's fuck the boys. Ricky, man. Let's go. <laughs> There's the speech. Where is he? Get back here. So in then here. he's on the wrap-up show yesterday talking about how he just wanted to have fun. And none of us know how to have fun. I go, well, gee. That's fun? Gee, that's fun listening to you scream about what an asshole what I am? What is so much fun about that to him? Fun is making other people uncomfortable. You heard the speech. He's already off on that? Not even a little bit. And I, you know something? <laughs> and I, and I you hear what Fred said? And I love Ronnie. I really do. I think Ronnie, is, I, I think there are times... When Ronnie does do things to be funny or have fun or whatever, I'm not so sure. That's what that, he said on the wrap-up show. Yeah, I'm not so sure that he's. No, I wasn't like, trying. I didn't say I was trying to be funny. You were trying to have fun, and you're the only one who has fun. All right, listen. You had fun at my expense. Yeah. All right. Fine. Whatever you say. <laughs> you don't think that's a bad speech? Yeah. Okay. It was a bad. Speech. In retrospect, it was a bad speech. Okay. You're yeah, happy you happy now? It, it was a bad speech. No, but it doesn't sound sincere. No, it was. It no, was a bad saying, speech. Do you think? Would you? Yeah, really it was a bad. That? Yeah, it was horrible. Why was it horrible? It was horrible. I I, I made an asshole out of myself. It was horrible. Oh, he's. It was horrible. Him. Nah, it's not sincere. You don't think it was? Horrible. Yeah, whatever. All right, thank you. Whatever. Oh, wait, well, then let's yeah. ask him the 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 other questions. Like, why was that speech good? I didn't say it was good. I was having a good time. It, I, it was funny. You I, were I having, was having fun. Have a good time. Okay. You were having fun. Yeah, but is right. there no yeah. other way? And then to that have a fucking Doug Hurwitz goes on your website and put. Well, did you ever say to me yesterday that I ruined your bachelor party? No. Okay. Why is the headline on Hurwitz's thing that I ruined his ba your bachelor party? <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't see it. Piece of shit. Wait till I see him later. <laughs> but he wasn't even there. Doug well, Hurwitz? that's that's why he put that up because yeah. he's probably upset. You know that he wasn't Ronnie there. ended up at the bachelor party. No, I know how. No, I ha I, I know, know how I he ended up there. Him. You. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been there. Why? I have no idea. Here's what happened. Ronnie, we were standing at the elevator. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Well, let me let me. We're let me standing at the elevator, going home. Right. And Ross had walked over to ask you a question, and he was standing there and asking you about this bachelor dinner, and um, you, you said, and you said to him, "Is Ronnie on the list?" And he says, "Oh, of course he is." Yeah. Well, you know what it was. So Ross made the mistake. He comes up to me I'm and Ronnie in front of in front Ronnie. of Ronnie. He goes, right. "Hey, we're gonna have a bachelor dinner for you." Blah, blah. And I'm saying to myself, "That's a terrible thing to bring," because I'm sure they had no intention of inviting Ronnie. Right. There you go. Because I'm not in on the guest list at all. But they're bringing it up in front of me. They said, "Would you be available for a bachelor dinner?" I said, "Yes." I said, "Well, of course you're inviting Ronnie." I mean, the guy's standing right there. I don't think yeah, he was looking for Ronnie. Position. Yeah. yeah, I think everyone knew Ronnie would be an embarrassment. Right, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. Well, they knew they were going to a nice place. Well, maybe I should right. stay home uh, when you when your wedding is in a few weeks. Okay. Okay. Maybe I if should. You stay, want to? Maybe I should stay home. Do you want I to? I think that's a good idea. Do you idea. want to stay home? Maybe me Did and Sal will go out that night. All right. Did you have yeah. other things to do? Yeah, I have other things to do. <laughs> All right. Well, then go ahead. All right. You're not, you're not planning like a, on making any like, speeches at my like, wedding. No, no. Yeah. Believe me. Believe do me. Do me a favor. Try to limit the amount of alcohol at my wedding. I'll be I'll be sitting in a corner somewhere and don't even fucking talk. Will to me. you drink? Will you don't you, even talk to you, me? And don't you come near me? Will you agree to have? Because I won't. I don't even want to talk to you that night. Who? <laughs> that guy He's over there. He's talking to Artie. Who's the name he wants? Why is he mad at How did I get the head of security mad at me again? Yeah, head of security. Yeah. Well, what are Why you? Why don't you make a mockery of that too? Like and you to Doug Hurwitz, in all mockery. fairness. Yeah, and to Doug Hurwitz, in all fairness. <laughs> On the website, can you make the headline "Unwanted Guest Gives Horrible, Obnoxious Speech" <laughs> instead of what you, you know, the lie you put there? Yeah, right. <laughs> Keep writing, Benji. Put your new glasses over there, moron. Oh. And you better stop running through the halls again. Oh. <laughs> or I'll have you locked out of the building altogether. Yeah, he's throwing everybody wow. under the bus. Wow. Way. Don't peek out from behind your computer. Well, you want to hear two examples of Ronnie being a drunk asshole? No, I don't my, want to hear it. At my birthday and Bubba's wedding? I love it. Go uh, ahead. Oh, come on, ahead. man. What do you have to bring that up Remind for? Remind everybody because the, some people. What, why do you have to do that? Have, they think Artie's exaggerating. Go ahead, play these. All right, here's that Ronnie. Was, 
That this was, is Ronnie. Oh, come on. At man. my birthday party. <laughs> Being Thanks, a, Artie. Thanks a lot. I ain't no shit. This You're is like, all your fault. It would have came yeah, up, no, Ron. It wouldn't have came up. Ron, it would have no, came up. No, it wouldn't have came up. Nobody said about shit about it. Up. Nobody said shit about it. Wouldn't it wouldn't have came up. Whatever. The Leave me alone. fucking grammar over there. If I paid for a grammar school no. for you, would you go? No. Charm school. It wouldn't have no. came up. Charm school. I'm not going to any school. <laughs> Not he going to why send you to charm school? No, I'm not going to charm <laughs> school. Miss charm school. Excuse hey, you know me, what? madame. Hey, you're teach may me I have that? Hey, hey, teach me how to eat with a fork, too? Howard TV. I got no. the next big special. Ronnie's Charm School. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Is this the salad fork? Every yeah. week he gets his own show at charm school. You just tape him at charm school. No. They don't and have then a, we send them out no, into society. They don't have a budget anymore, that so they can't do any so other more specials. Good. It'll be like My Fair Lady. Yeah. Yeah. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane, motherfucker! <laughs> no specials this year, no more. You go to a psychiatrist now or not? Yes. Could you discuss with him why the fuck you say dumb fucking shit at parties? Yeah, okay. There's something I will. I'll going, discuss that. So at me. My psychiatrist goes, what the fuck? Well, this is what I'm saying. Ronnie wouldn't bring it up because Ronnie doesn't even see this as a problem. He doesn't understand how inappropriate he is. All right, we gotta fuck some girls tonight, man. I'm not. I'm not listening to this. <laughs> not listening. Get rid of these fucking wives, shit. Let's go to scores and fuck some hoes. Yeah, that was at the lighthouse. Yes. <laughs> here's uh, here's Ronnie above his wedding. <laughs> we, we need a special dedication to Heather. He knows how to class up a wedding, I'll tell you that. Jesus. <laughs> you remember that, Fred? Holy. I, did that that first uh, speech with... Uh, with uh, That Doug. was at the Valentine party. I no, know. that was that at... Was at so that party. happened before the Bubba wedding. Yes. Right. And he, we probably, like, commented on his behavior at that point. Yeah, and that he, was he the end of the see, first let week me of work here. Let me, let me explain it to you. He thinks he's funny. <laughs> he really thinks he's funny. He doesn't get it. But now he's running out of the room and he won't listen to it. Lucky him. Because he's embarrassed. <laughs> you know what? If you think it's funny and you think you are funny, then just stand behind it and right, own it and say, right. you know what? I'm trying. You guys are crazy. I'm just trying to be funny. But this proves that he's like guilty about it. Well, him and Ar the, the, the two of them, Artie and uh, Ronnie, started out in the wrap-up show with each other. <laughs> Listen to this. This is from yesterday's wrap-up show. Ronnie got up to make a toast. And Ronnie sort of tossed out a premise that I think he thought was going to be laughed at, and it fell flat. And then uh, a premise, <laughs> right? And then go and then go with the idea that he was yelling "fuck" a lot. And we were in a pretty classy restaurant. I think that's where he, he lost his way. We were at a great restaurant, an awesome restaurant, right? But that's I think that when you, you went with this idea, like, what are you doing? And I think you thought everybody was going to laugh, and, and no, everyone I didn't. Yeah, okay. no, but but it's everyone. I wasn't was, trying to be a comedian, Gary. I would just say everybody looked at you like, well, what's that all about? What? Whatever. So he was being serious. Then that's really bad. Yeah, now I'm confused because about five seconds ago, he said he was trying to be funny. Right. Now in this thing, he's saying he's yeah. not being funny. Well, it? Whatever. It was a bachelor party. You're supposed to be having fun. You know? <laughs> well, obviously nobody was having fun. We were having a lot of fun. Well, well, yeah, I, oh, you look like you're having a ball. I, you, Gar, I, Gar, Ron, I wasn't having fun when you put me in a headlock. And I we, didn't put you in a headlock. Yes, you did. I, did not, I, I went like this to you, man. What's going what? on? What's, What's going, going on? on? You know what it is? Ronnie's used to hanging out with a different crowd. I and, guess. You know. I was I was having fun, actually. Yeah, we, I was having a great time until his speech. I, apparently, he looked around and he thought nobody was having fun. So, yeah. on the Ronnie scale, right. nobody it, was having no fun. No one was having fun because no one was so, screaming so, fuck. Was so, pe when people nobody was drunk chair. and screaming obscenities. In the uh, middle of a restaurant. Fun means being retarded. I guess. <laughs> and, and Richie <laughs> leans over to me and he goes, what's with him? He goes... Ten tables are going to leave. He's yelling out "fuck" in the middle of my restaurant. This, that, Nobu is like like one of the most expensive restaurants in the yeah, city. Yeah, you know, it's like one of the most classy joints. And I've never heard anybody screaming in there. Fuck. 
No, no that happens at Applebee's. <laughs> Chris Rock was offended. <laughs> TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays. He no, thinks that, he's at a TGI Howard, Fridays. That doesn't even happen at Applebee's. That happens at cockfights. Right, right, right. <laughs> Bring me more fluke, motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck you. Bring me more jalapeno poppers. <laughs> Ronnie, were you just trying to like get the party going? That kind of thing? I wasn't trying to do anything. First of all, th- shouldn't you have been working that night? Why weren't you no. working? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I was... Because you were getting drunk with us, there was some fat... Like, you know, high school couple with acne without a ride home in front of a gym well, in West High School. What can I tell you, man? I'm sorry. Boy, the bitter don't sober fucking, Artie. Don't fucking invite me again, okay, Artie? Oh, did I invite you to Howard's bachelor party? No. Well, fuck you, I then. thought it was a weird the invite. your problem? So do you think you're getting picked on? Unfair? Angry. Unfair. Angry man! Are you, are, are you getting singled out? You used on to be f- happy. You're not angry. I'm, now you're angry. I'm very happy. You're not happy. I'm the happiest guy alive. I'm going to go home and not do heroin. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Good. <laughs> Ronnie feels singled out. Here's another clip. But listen to that here. exchange. I said, did I invite you to... He goes, don't invite me next time, Artie. I said, did I invite you to <laughs> Howard's bachelor party? And he goes, well, fuck you then. What is that? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Just lashing You're out. You're trying to make sense out of this? <laughs> it's like, I, well, I'm not in charge of inviting you. Well, fuck you for well, not inviting me. Yeah. But how would I invite you? I didn't... <laughs> you I'm, it's make, invited. I, I'm not trying to make sense of it, Ron, but it's making even less sense than normal. It's like, it's like fighting in a mental institute. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. He's... He, he fights like a retard. He's just lashing out. Ronnie feels singled out. Okay, listen to this clip. Do you feel like you're being singled out here? Of course. As always. Why? Ron, you were acting it's, like a jerk off. It's a just great, to admit it. It's a great topic. It's 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 airtime. It's true. Artie, Artie can make fun of me. Howard can make fun of me. I'm the big asshole at the Garrett, party. Did I say anything out of line? Your impersonation of Ronnie was dead on. Okay, that I was thank like, you. Freddie and I both agree. Oh, yeah, what is Freddie? No, 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 I, but we were there, Ronnie. What is Freddie? I got, no. I got no agenda. Freddie doesn't you. laugh at anything. But I'm saying, I, whether it was funny or not is not the question. The way Artie did it was pretty dead on. And Freddie and I have no agenda All with right, you. All right, whatever. Whatever. Next time I'll sit there with my fucking hands folded. What is this about peer pressure? I don't remember that one. Is that a good one, Gary? <laughs> the Next time. Peer pressure. Oh, good. <laughs> Who was applying the peer pressure to go out afterwards at Howard? Oh, I guess this was about that I didn't go to the strip right. club. Right. Who, who was applying the peer pressure to go out afterwards that Howard was talking about? Ha- uh, Ronnie. What? Ron, you were, there was a lot of peer pressure on your part to go to the strip club, but everybody you was know, We were all trying to get the, the guy to go for at least one dance and yeah, no. say he went to a strip club for his bachelor party. I, I, I just, Lonnie's, a great, I Lonnie, glad, Lonnie's, Lonnie's a great guy. Dude, and I, I would hope that Howard one day makes it over there for Lonnie. Because I, Lonnie, I would have been glad if he went there for five minutes and to say that we, he, he spent time with us at, at a strip club. Now admit it. Because it was his bachelor party. And by the way, if we would have went over to that Rick Strip Club. Yeah. They had the whole third floor closed off for us if oh. we did come. If we would have went over. <laughs> you got to get him to charm school. I got to get him to charm school. Any school. Can if you we... imagine the charm school teacher is going to lose it? How did he get out of high school? I don't think he did. They just wanted him gone. If we would have went over. <laughs> why didn't you guys go? There was tons of funny money well, to Why didn't you guys go then? Because nobody wanted to go. Everybody was like, got their period. Nobody they wanted all, to go. They all got their period all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Here, Ronnie God. thinks Artie doesn't like him. Do you think Artie sort of has it in for you? Yeah. yeah. Why is that? I what never doesn't doesn't fuck, fuck. Artie doesn't fucking like me. It's obvious. You're right. I really want the security job. I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just doesn't like me. You sincerely That's believe wrong. wrong. That's wrong. He fucking hates me. That's I bullshit. Does. I never bring this up. I never bring this up. It's bullshit. Yeah. I invited you to my house, and I invite you again to my house. Getting ready to throw the bottle at me. No, I'm not. Got it up in the air. No, I'm not. Uh, You're not fucking up as bad as Teddy did yet. (laughs) What makes you think that? Because I know you sincerely. You do think that. that. Yeah, I know. Why? Because he's a delusional. Yeah, I'm delusional. There's something wrong with me. (laughs) Obviously. He got it up here in the head. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yes. Because any time he can, he throws me out. I do Under not. The bus, I man. do not. He I fucking do. hates me. I know he does. Listen. Ron, it's all right. Sure I don't after, care. Sure, after how it retires, we'll be great friends. See? Wrap-up show. Very exciting. Wow. <laughs> they were really going on at those guys. Yeah, it went on for a while. Yeah. yeah, well, he's had this thing with you for a long time. Though. Yeah, but then we patched it up. You we really bat- think it was patched up? It, it, it culminated with his roast. <laughs> And then after his roast, we made up, and we've been okay until this happened, this ugliness. Huh. I, uh, how? Is this from our website? Uh, updated. Wait, what? 
updated. It's the fastest thing I've ever seen Doug yeah, updated. And now, <laughs> uh, now on HowardStern.com, it says, Unwanted guest makes horrible speech at Howard's bachelor party. <laughs> That's like an onion <laughs> headline. <laughs> Artie complained that Ronnie and the limo driver's drunken behavior nearly ruined the party, and Howard agreed. <laughs> Ronnie gets, gets up and goes, F, man. Fuck, man. Why are you getting married, man? Why do things have to change? In response, Ronnie instructed Howard to never invite him to anything again. <laughs> and Howard shot back that it was a bachelor party. He didn't invite him to anything. <laughs> he doesn't understand even that concept. There it is, Rob. Right up there on the website. Beautiful. That's a nice Ronnie picture. Unique. Ronnie in his underpants or whatever. With that his was. skull shirt on. Yeah, that was the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. The worst I ever saw him was his last birthday party at the place that Big John runs. Headquarters? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my own with the cake. He threw the cake all over the fucking place. He got it all over my, my jacket. He threw cake at everybody. It's See, like a that's monkey. That's the kind of party you're supposed to be having, I suppose. There was no cake throwing. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't throw any cake at Nobu. But did you say uh, Ronnie broke the microphone on the cake? Mm. Yeah. It came to the table, yeah. Oh, yeah. Top of the cake. So he was probably piece. thinking, well, now some cake throwing's going No one's having any fun. No one's breaking the cake. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was wild. Yeah, there he is. There That's he is at that. his party. <laughs> In a Superman outfit. In a outfit. Superman outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Jeez. Happy birthday, How Dad. Old is he? <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> How old is he? <laughs> He's Smith 12 there. Jake. He's in a Superman and in a outfit. Superman costume. Yeah. Good for him. All right, Ronnie. Well, see, you guys don't know how to have fun. You're we right. really don't. You wear regular clothes and nobody throws cake. And there were no naked women there either. <laughs> Ron, what's yeah. the matter, man? Go away. Come on, talk Go to me. Go away. Talk to me. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. Yeah, here's your friend. This is everybody's buddy here. Talk to him. What's He's your... the best guy there is around. <laughs> He's What's the best guy in the fucking building. What's your problem with Artie, man? He's the best guy in the building. Talk to him. Then, then he's, on, he's on the floor. They're waiting for him. Then why do you have a problem with him if he's the me. best guy around? I don't want to fucking talk to you. Come on. You or your boss, none of you fucking in-demand people. Uh, I love Ron. Uh, it's a good man. Ronnie. Salute. What? He doesn't hate you. Yes, he of, course, does. of course not. He fucking hates no, he me. I do him. not. I, you know what? All serious, I do not. I love Ronnie. Me and him are the same guy. We're 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 peas in a pod. I don't hate you at all. Hear that? What pod are we in? All right, let's go to Wolfie. Wolfie, hi. Hey, Morning Howard. Hey, I, I went ahead and transcribed a couple of JD's comments from his uh, reunion discussion that I thought were uh, very good. I wanted you to take a look. Oh, good. This is fun when Wolf takes JD's conversation with us on the air and transcribes it. Which conversation was this? This is when I was talking to JD about going to his high school reunion. Okay, high school right. reunion. Go ahead, Wolf. Okay. Howard had made the comment that I never went to my high school reunions either. I didn't like the people there, and they didn't like me. And Robin chimed in, apparently J.D. liked the people. Well, J.D.'s response was, yeah, I mean, no. Oh, well, no. I didn't uh, listen. Uh, the people I liked was fewer than the people I don't like or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the other one that I, Completely the other one that true. I liked. <laughs> he's like he's like the Sarah Palin of this show. Yeah. Uh, Howard asked JD, "Are there girls that you can get presently that you just reject?" JD's response: "Um, I have, I do, I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure." <laughs> <laughs> at, at one point, what was that quote? I do. I, I think he was going to say, I don't know, but first he said, I do. <laughs> then he said, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's, it's just amazing. He, he throws in so many sentences in between his words that you can barely even catch them, but if you really slow it down, you can get everything written out. So what do you do? You record it, and then you play it back over and over until you get the exact transcription? I just watch it on uh, Howard TV, then pause it. Right. Okay. So that gives, gives you the time. And one other thought about J.D., I was just curious, this whole feud with Jared, I was wondering if, if J.D. could put it to rest, if he could potentially prove that he's better than Jared at maybe one thing. And uh, a couple of years back, J.D. won that dance contest with the people in the studio. Do you think if you gave 
I don't know, each of them maybe a minute to do a dance routine that J.D. might potentially beat Jared? I don't think it's about beating him in a dance routine. I think J.D. would like to be better looking than Jared. Yeah, he'd like to be Jared. Yeah. We'd we all like to be good looking. I mean, he hates Jared because he wishes he was Jared. Yeah. Jared goes out on a boat at Artie's house and within five minutes has 20 hot chicks back at the party. <laughs> well, he even said Jared can take his shirt off without thinking about it. Right. But Jared just takes his shirt off yeah. in a car. Yeah. 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 I got to tell you, I was in a sales meeting yesterday. Um, the new season of the show 24 is coming out. Right. And they're interested in a promotion. And they would like uh, Jared and JD to be handcuffed to each other for 24 hours. Oh, oh, good. And every hour that they're together, they each make money. Wow. As long as they can last, they make money. They have to be handcuffed to each other for that's, 24 hours. That's the greatest thing ever. I yeah. would watch that. Oh, yeah. I just JD, love the. I mean, JD really can't stand Jared. Now, JD, this is what you're going to be doing. Do it. Money, JD. No, it's not, it has Moolah. nothing to do. It has mean, nothing to do with Jared. I don't want to be handcuffed to somebody for right, 24 to hours. You want to make some money? What about money, though? Do? I don't care. I, I don't you care enough he, that much. You haven't heard the amount yet. I. Oh, I think I know it, but whatever. You wouldn't do that. I hear. No. I hear Wolfie transcribing. I'm not Jeff the drunk. <laughs> Can I say something? Go ahead. Sorry. I'm talking about money. <laughs> All That'd right, something you something you're lacking. Dude, you think you know it? What do you think it is? I because I I think I heard the uh, the amount? pitch or whatever. You heard what? I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Get your pen out, Wolfie. Wait, your what shag. did you say? <laughs> I think I heard the pitch, like in the last meeting we had. Or whatever. right, the so, idea is for 24 hours, you and Jared are handcuffed together, <laughs> and for every hour you're handcuffed to him, you get paid. And you'll have different tasks and things like that, like on Survivor. <laughs> oh, I'm really not interested in something like that. Are you crazy? I guess I am. Sorry. I'm not, I'm dude, not, it's you know. Money. Let's say in 24 uh, hours. I know it's money, dude. but money I just, you could ever make. What if you, in a couple, in, in a couple hours, you make a couple of grand? Okay, 24 here's, hours. Here's what they're offering. Go ahead. And, and this is just for starters. It's $100 a person per hour. $2,400 $2, each for the 24 hours. Jared, nice should, Jared should get a little more. Absolutely. Why? <laughs> JD. That'd be good. Because <laughs> he's Jared. Yeah. Because he's Jared. <laughs> yeah, of course. Jared is better. Jared will be yeah. showering and like, not caring. Yeah. yeah. He'll just. Yeah, I don't want to like be using a bathroom. I have to be hanging. That's the fun of the game. But guess what? That's not fun to me. So I don't care. <laughs> what do you want us to give you? Twenty four hundred. No, I'm not asking for twenty four. I'm doing it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. And then Jared could go on a date during the 24 hours. Ah, you know, it would be man. great if he was getting laid oh, and he had to hand Jared, Jared, Jared the condom. Jared is getting laid. Jared's get, Jared. He goes, hey, JD, here, just just kneel down by the bed while I get while I get laid. Jared's fucking two chicks. They're both fucking Jared. <laughs> well, they should go to a bar and Jared will be picking Jared up women up while both. JD hangs off his arm. Right. <laughs> I had to sit there a while. Two chicks were blowing them. I don't want to do that. It, well, you're missing the, the point completely. I don't want to be handcuffed to anyone. That's the point. No, it's, well, I'm not missing any point. Nobody wants you to do something you'd love. Believe well, us. Uh, did I ask Money? to be put in this? We no. Do, do you I, probably are going to meet really hot girls. I don't just think you're just going out with Jared. The spillover from Jared will be amazing. Uh, Literally. It help you. Like, JD. Uh, JD, look at me. Forget, all, forget all these other dude. people. Look at me. I am. Look at me. Are right. you looking right now? Mesmerizing. Right. Yes. <laughs> this is something you need to do, and I'll tell you why. I don't know. Shh. I don't. Can I okay. tell you to listen to me? You're not listening. <laughs> this is something you, you need to overcome your fears. Uh, uh, you are completely freaked out by this guy. No, it's not. Why can't you handle it? You can't handle Jared? No. Are this you scared you? of him? No, it's no, it's not the power him. What's the worst Jared. part of him? What's the worst part of no, it? No, it's... What do you God, imagine? Listen, Look, listen to me. No, just answer my question. What do you imagine will happen for 24 hours when you're handcuffed to Jared? I will be the most uncomfortable I've ever been in my entire life. Right, why? Because I'm handcuffed to somebody. I'm like constantly around. I got no uh, privacy or alone time or anything and whatsoever. For one day. Alone time. Whatever. I, I don't know. You get alone time every minute of your life. Yeah, uh, how about having some people in your life for a And change? nobody's paying no, you I'm for fine. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story about a great American, a man <laughs> named G. Gordon Liddy. Ever meet him? No, you I haven't know, met Do you know who he is? Yeah, he's... Uh... All right, G. Gordon Liddy, when he was a boy, was terrified of rats. <laughs> rats. You know what he did? Do you know this story? No. <laughs> he approached a rat, killed it, grilled it, and ate the whole fucking thing. 
We're not suggesting you do that with Jared. Mm. But what I am right. suggesting not, is I'm not gonna learn fear. from G. Gordon Liddy. How do you get over your fears? You get over them by conquering them. You blow confronting, Jared. Confronting, confronting. You blow Jared. You blow Jared. Oh, what if he's getting <laughs> laid and, and all of a sudden he comes and his cum lands on my face? Uh, JD. Well, if you get the shit, I'm you offering win. you a chance to not only make twenty four hundred dollars, but I'm offering you a chance to overcome your worst nightmare. To be G. Gordon Liddy. No, right. See, you imagine what Jared's life is like. You guys now are. Uh, you could actually see it. We all do. G. Okay. Gordon we Liddy all is fifty life. times the man any of us are. He knows about guns. He knows how to kill people. He can, he's beating up guys in prison. Eating rats. Eating rats. This, 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 <laughs> and if, if Jared was his issue, he'd handcuff himself for a week. It should, it should be a week, listen, by the way. Listen. Okay. Yeah. I'm letting you off the Forget hook. Forget Jared, all right? It Go could ahead. be John Hine, who I, l- right. I love. I don't want to be handcuffed to him. I don't want to be handcuffed to anyone. Of course not. But, you're but this is twenty four. I don't care. I don't want money that way. I don't care. I'm fine. I'll fucking, you know, whatever. You'll Be- fucking know whatever. <laughs> no, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing yeah, it. You have the last no, you I'm not. It. No, I don't Talk want to. Talk to Ronnie about it. He'll make you understand. The, uh, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, JD. Could you for once be... Be a part of something. Could you for once just go along? You're almost go with Eric the flow. I, if I went along with it, it wouldn't last long. It would last like five hours, maybe. You don't well, think you could get more idea. than five hours no. through it? So no. I tell you what I'm going to do with you. That's five hundred bucks. Do this for me. Let's start the competition. <laughs> so uh, listen to me. Would God. you let me finish a sentence? We'll start it. You go as long as you can take it. The very least you're going to make. It's five hundred dollars. Mm. No. Well, let's see. How much do we say mm-hmm. for every hour? One hundred. Well, if he could only last five hundred, I mean five hours, it's oh. hundred dollars. And let's hour. say last an hour. It's a hundred dollars. Here's your lunch <laughs> with benefits. All right, fine. If you're, try it. If you're try it. See how long you can get through it. I, I, if you can do it for five minutes, do it five minutes. If you I do it five hours, if you could do, maybe you'll go the twenty-four hours. You never try know. Try to go the twenty-four. I uh, listen. I will try, but I know it's not going to happen. I can't do. I can't do that. <laughs> what do you think is sorry, the worst Robin? What, what do you I, think the worst part well, of this? Well, how come be? you don't? Why don't you become handcuffed to somebody? Oh, if I was handcuffed to Jared, I'd never <laughs> want to get. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to get handcuffed. All right, well, that I, case, Robin. That was, I, whatever, <laughs> Robin. In that you. case, we're going to handcuff you to Jared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to handcuff you to Greg and Jared, Robin. <laughs> Well, what do you say, pal? Want to try it? Uh, All right. Yeah. I, I don't really want to, but I... I Let's whatever. go for it. Uh, go for it. And now, go you prepare get, yourself mentally for this. And fuck privacy. If you get the shits and you got a shit forever, you win, man. Yeah. No. You, you get shit payback. all over Jared. <laughs> you win. I'd take laxatives and shit. Remember? I, does this mean Jared would like have to come over to my apartment? Yeah. No. Well, you got to figure out some place to go. go to his. Uh, it's up to well, you guys. Where does Jared live? You're going to be somewhere at the gathering. You guys are going to have to negotiate that. <laughs> you go to. You want to go to Jared's place? No. I don't want to go anywhere with anyone. Uh, you can afford a room at the Rich Carlton. <laughs> He's going to blow all the money getting a room? That's what I'd yeah. do. <laughs> you guys are going to be in the same bed together. You're going to get to really know each other. Yeah, you're the, skivvies. You're going to be in your underpants. Yeah, I, you know what? Forget it. I don't want to do this. Now you're doing it. it. You're doing it. Stop being a baby. You don't have remember, a choice. Uh, remember when uh, Kuro shit? This is too good. That poor girl started crying and throwing up when Kuro shit. You could do the same yeah. thing. You could make JD. Cry. Here's what you do. The handcuffs go on. When you say you want to come out, you come out. Okay? But so it you try it. it. A real need. Don't just go for it. See how fail. try it out. Are, Are you, you throwing up? Don't just throw in the towel on yourself. And really try to open yourself up to learn more about Jared. Ask. I know. Like I him. know all I want to know about him. You might like him. <laughs> I d- I did. You well, might uh, like does him anyone again? know that we were we were sort of friends before? No. Yeah. no. Tell well, me about again. that. <laughs> no. Who we would know that? We were sort of that? friendly before. And then what happened? And then you know now. he uh, started to be. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't want to talk about this. What? What? Did I, he I do? don't want to talk about it what at all. You, to do? I'm done. What Nothing. did he start to do? He's fine. He's whatever. Good for him. What did he start to do? <laughs> Nothing. He. Tell me what no. he did to you. I swear I don't, I don't know. He did. I think I know. No. I, I think I know. What? JD. Did, what did he do, J- JD? Nothing. <laughs> you said he, really you were very good friends with and him. And when you hear his, we weren't that good of friends, but we were friendly. Okay. And then what happened? What? 
I really, I really just want to be done talking about it forever. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> just tell us that and you'll be done. Uh-huh. What was the last bad incident? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Fred answer. What, he rape you or something? No. Did he do something to you physically? No. Did he, he probably you? fucked did he lick your chain? He fucked the chick J.D. liked. That's probably no. what Jared probably doesn't even <laughs> know. Well, I'm sure he did, but that has nothing to do <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, got to be I it. I think he hit on it. Did he get he a girl that you girl? liked? No, no. That would drive me crazy, too. All right. I'm sure that happened, no. dude. And he doesn't know he did it. Did he fuck a guy you liked? I feel he became a little full of himself, all right? And that's it. How did the, he get that way? Was just, that before uh, Halloween? How did... What yes. Did, uh, no, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't what, what behaviors did you see to indicate that he became full of himself? I, I don't know. Uh, whatever. There was something you just I don't think you do of. know. I don't think no, you he know. he just thought of something. What was it? No, I mean, there was the, the last instant where, you know, we... The, <laughs> Uh, I just I don't want to talk about the same one. <laughs> Tell me the like incident. Talking about it. We hit on something here. No, no not it, the last I, instant. The last incident. When was when was the last incident? We were bullshitting out in the hallway. Go ahead. <laughs> and uh, and you know it was like all of us and and Ronnie and everybody and I, I don't know he just he he got to. Uh, Ronnie was busting my balls, and then, you know, I I felt, Jared said something, and I felt he was, you know, trying to seem somewhat more higher up, you know, than me or whatever, more important, and, you know, I was just, I had enough, so. (laughs) Wow. <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking of Wolfie's transcription <laughs> yeah, on this. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm Is salivating right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, when Ronnie was goofing on you, Jared piled on. Yes. And piled on in a way that made you realize, you know what, I'm just a buffoon to this guy. He yes. He's better right. than me. Exactly. Okay. That's fair enough. You're perfect. You guys need to be chained to one another. It's fantastic. I don't want promotion. to be chained to anyone, but whatever. He's your. If you, if you could be chained to anyone, who would be like the worst person in the world to be chained to? It had to be Jared, right? Oh, no. It had to be, you know, a homeless guy on the F train or something. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. <an> Compassion. <laughs> <laughs> What'd that guy do to you? <laughs> well, all right. So listen, here's the deal you can make some money, you give it a try. You hate it, young cuff. Mm. Boom. You got the key. You just go boom. <laughs> Unless we don't give you the key, then you you stuck with him. Yeah, one, two, three, boom. Oh, I, I'll find a saw or something. Saw off Jared's oh. arm. <laughs> yeah, you can saw. Oh, off I might have saw off mine. <laughs> Gnaw it off. <laughs> Gnaw it off like a coyote. Uh, <laughs> JD, if he bangs the girl with you in the room, that would count as a menage a trois. Mm. It's true. Yeah, you might get something. How we? Right, Howard, yeah. Should I look into um, a bonus for Jared if he can get JD to quit? Oh yes. fuck him! You know what? Uh, for, wh- why? <laughs> he's higher. He's, he's thinking that he's higher up. Thanks for him. looking out for him, Gare. But you get the bonus <laughs> if you don't let him make you. Okay, quit. Then, right. there you go. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. good, Damn it, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> quiet sometimes. Wolfie, any more transcriptions of JD? <laughs> she just made your money. Uh, Wolf, those, any? Are the, those are the two two major ones that I had written down. Okay, those were the, the standouts. <laughs> Could you do the first one again? Uh, the, the first one. You just want his his response? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, no. Oh well, no. I didn't. Uh, listen. Uh, the people I liked was fewer than the people I don't like. Or whatever. I don't know. Er. <laughs> <laughs> so hilarious. <laughs> Listen to me. This is going to be good for you. I think it's going to be a learning experience. <laughs> yeah, think, I'll, I'll learn how much I hate being chained to somebody. I think you're going to change as a human being right. as a result of this. What? It's going to be good for you. No, it won't. Yes, uh, it's going to be good for you. Go back there and prepare for your, your big challenge. <laughs> Get into training. Handcuff yourself to something. You know what? I'm excited for you. <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> I really am. So you last five minutes, you last five minutes. No, he's going to last longer than that. We should take bets on how long we think mm. he can last. I have my money on a whole 20 I don't think he can go an hour. Well, you'll lose, Robin, oh, I'll tell you. come on, J.D., I, don't be a quitter. I don't think he can go an hour. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> I don't think he's even looking and at $100. Then they won't even get out of this building. <laughs> but you don't want us to be handcuffed for 59 minutes and not get anything. Right. Yeah. I say he lasts 20 minutes. Oh. Where are we going to start this? 
Right here. <laughs> in the morning. Yep. How are they going to work? I don't oh, know. They're going to have to work that out. <laughs> JD will be doing favors for Tim mm. via proxy. <laughs> All right. I wish you luck with this promotion, JD. <sighs> yeah. He'll do it. 2400 plus bonus. And you're helping hours, the hours, JD. Right. I got my money. If you go to 24, you. you get the bonus. If Jared uh, gets you to quit before then, he gets the bonus. Uh, and you're yeah. helping the company. This is a huge client. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. There he is, JD. <laughs> what a great promotion. How bad could it possibly be? It, it, it's what I'm like, it changed that, like, you know, I, I gotta use a bathroom while someone's chained to me. Come on. How am I supposed to take a piss, like, with someone attached to my fucking arm? Hey, or dude, take a shit or something? Bad. For it's not that bucks? bad? 2400 bucks? Well, you're better man than me. Because it's a nightmare. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Leave me alone. My favorite weekend dude, I'm annoyed year, with you guys already. You're oh, not even so chained to me. We're just standing oh. here. Exactly. Do you, see how? I'm not going to get through this, Lisa. It's for the money. Think. Do it for the money. Right, Richard? Here, let's no. practice. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. See, it ain't already. that bad. <laughs> done already. It ain't that bad. <laughs> All right. It ain't that bad. Hey, Howard, can I, uh, can I sit in on a uh, staff meeting someday? I would love to uh, participate if possible. Really? Are you going to be, like, be so full of suggestions that I have to shoot down? No. Like I'm all my guys right. have learned not to waste my time. Right. I mean, I don't need to say a word if that's what you would prefer. You just want to observe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some, something like that. All right, I'll give you a shot. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, talk to Gary. He'll book you in. Dreams come thank true you. on the Howard Stern. Right, thank you. Wolfie's got something. I don't know what it is. He's so funny. He jumped from Gary to JD. <laughs> You got it. Well, you know, you well, got to... That's how Sal got his start here. <laughs> and Richard. Right. Richard's here, by the way. Oh, he's... Oh, you should talk to him, Howard. His illness was yesterday. Yeah, he was sick. He was just telling me how, um, how he was sick. He went down to that Halloween thing at Universal. That's his favorite thing to do in the whole world. And he got sick before that, but he wouldn't miss it. He said if they had to push him in a wheelchair, he would go. So he basically went through this Halloween thing in front of getting everyone in the world sick Ugh. and had to stop like every hour to vomit and have ginger ale. Dude, you're like a two-year-old. Why? You went down to Universal in uh, California? No, in Florida. Oh. And, but, then, and then because what? what you like the rides? Well, no, they, the, have a Halloween. they do a Halloween thing where they turn the whole park... Into a Halloween park. They have like a bunch of haunted houses. But you were sick and you had a fever and, uh, yeah. and you went. I went anyway because I like, fl that's what I flew down there for. I wasn't going to yeah. not go there. That's, that's like a three year old. You have to learn to say no to yourself and say, you know what, as much as I enjoy that, there'll be another time in my life. But right now I'm sick and I need to get better. But it, it'd be that's another what an adult year. Does. Yeah, it'd be another year. Oh, dear. It's what an adult does, Richard. Yeah, but I mean, what what if you got sick before your wedding? You'd well, still go you through with go. your wedding. Yeah, that I'd have to do. You I don't have to go to Universal. You're comparing the haunted house to the wedding. <laughs> well, I mean, the haunted ridiculous. house is very important. The wedding to is me. something I've already arranged, and people are flying right. in and all that kind of stuff. So, of course, I would go through the wedding. Yeah, he is the attraction at the wedding. Right, you're you're just a visitor to an attraction. But this that'll was... be there next year. But, see, I kind of wanted to do it to punish myself, too, because I think I was looking so forward to that weekend. That's the biggest weekend of the year for me, because it's my favorite <laughs> thing ever, that I think I made myself sick because I was so scared of getting sick for that weekend. Mm -hmm. I think it was, what do you call it, psychosomatic? Right. And so I was like, well, you know what? No, you were sick. Yeah, I was. You came home yeah. and you were sick. But mm -hmm. I, I've just told myself uh, nothing's going to stop me from going because Richard, I, I came all the way down there. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, what, have, you, have you ever heard anything so idiotic? I, I don't know what to say. You know I mean, what? He also doesn't <clears throat> care about another human being on Earth. Mm. Now you're spreading your germs to everybody. Yeah, but to ask. Well, we were outdoors. Oh, so people aren't touching the same things you're touching? Well, I you're tried to be careful about touching everybody. things. And we stuff. were outdoors. Mm. Hey, well, listen, what what is so great about the haunted house, man? Like what what Yeah, I mean, what goes on? Like, You've seen it already. But it's like saying what's so great about the Yankees? What if you I had Every game to differ. is different. I beg to differ. No, what if you had what tickets? Goes, tell me what's so great about the haunted house. Well, 
for me, this is my favorite time of the year. These haunted houses, they're like the best there. And there's a bunch of them. The, they turn the whole park. I always say, if there's a heaven, when I die, I'll go to Halloween Horror Nights. Because <laughs> they turn the whole park into like a Halloween extravaganza. They have people running around with chainsaws. It's all foggy. They play John Carpenter music. And it's just everything that I live for, you know, in mm -hmm. this one park. And I only get How to old are you again? 34. Yeah. See, I, I might be jumping on the Ralph bandwagon that he might be mentally deficient. Yeah, he's ill. I could start laughing, but, you know, Jason just pointed out to me something. He said, you know, Richard's such a jerk, he can't figure out a way to go to Will or Jason's wedding. That's not important enough, but he'll be, get wheeled around Universal where he can shit and throw up. Are you going to Jason's wedding? Yes. Yeah, I sent my RSVP back. I'm not going. Well, yeah, I didn't never think you would be. anywhere. Even Beth said to me, it's probably rude for you to go because people sit there and make a fuss over you. And what about the bride? And what about the groom? And I'm boy, sure he'd love to have you and didn't uh, expect I think he's come. probably happier. Boy, that's rationalized. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he just talked himself <laughs> into, it's better that I Do me a favor. Decline. When you go to your shrink next week, tell him, ask him to analyze that whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> but then why is Jason mad at me for not going but not mad at Howard? Because you're not Howard. Right. He's mad at me, too. What, you're, he, he, where are you going again? Coheed and Cambria? Yeah, in California. Yeah. Where's that? That's such a lame I'm just, band. No, oh, they're band? awesome. That's. I mean, you got. Uh, you guys just rag on everything I'm into. There, there's a lot of people there into Halloween. Yeah, but you want to know some? I wouldn't tell a guy I'm not going to your wedding because I'm going to Coheed and Cambria. Well, Jason, like I love Jason, but he really kind of hurt my feelings last year with something he did when he threw me under the bus. And after that, <laughs> I've not really considered him as close of a friend. How did he throw you under the bus? Uh, with the whole Artie thing. What Artie thing? I think, uh, first of all, I think Sal was being relatively truthful. Maybe he went below the belt because he was I angry. Agree. But, I, but uh, I, Sal was saying, the guy who probably was the least truthful, though, was Richard. Richard has a lot of pent up anger towards you, also, and I towards think Darren. It's no not, towards it, Artie. No, oh, it's not. Yeah, no, dude. Fact. I have heard, I have had com be honest. I've had conversations with you where you said things along a very similar line to what Sal said. You never said beer leak sucked or anything, because you know. No, I don't. Oh, surprise that would be. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, uh, I'm not an angry guy. I I get annoyed. Passion, <laughs> which, I, do you even know what that means? Like Gary. I actually had to right? have Gary explain what that means. To <laughs> well, listen, dude. <laughs> uh, listen, just stay clear of me. I don't want to talk to you two anymore. I really don't. Because I because I don't like you guys either. How's that sound? I never said I Fuck don't you. like... First of all, he gets insanely angry uh, you know, when you guys take a swipe at his comedy, and he'll, he'll just go on well, and on about true. it. But 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 <laughs> more vicious than you're getting on the air. You know, who does Artie think he is? You know, he says one thing to your face and then another thing behind your back. That's true. Uh, you, you know, but you say it in a very malicious... No, that, no that I have said that because... And you say it angry. The instance, much angry and this is... I don't want to go and rehash the whole thing where we <laughs> argued at your roast, but you came up to me at that comedy show, the benefit show that we did for Sal's buddy. Right. After my set, you said, hey, great job, Richard. You were really nice. Yeah, okay, then that, you one said night, the, that one night you did good. No, but then the, the when you were at your roast, you said I sucked, and that's really the only time you had ever seen me at that time do comedy. At, your, at, what roast? at my roast? We were yeah, roasting. Right. It was a roast day. What are you talking about? I'm just saying that that was an instance where... <laughs> the stuff said, I say during a roast might not be true. I think that, the, I think that when you took a shot at Richard's comedy, it wasn't... Yeah. In the in during your roast part, it was, it was yeah. earlier in the morning we were talking about it, or earlier in the evening, and you just sort of said offhand, "I think Richard Zach sucked." He took that very hard. Listen, that I know. Of, listen, part of uh, show business is being phony. It really is. I got news for you. Everybody in this room thinks that they're gonna go on and be the honest people that they think they are. You can't live in show business like that. You have to be dishonest. Does Gary like Gina Gershon? No, but. Uh, <laughs> dying to hear her album? No. <laughs> but you have to be phony. You have to, otherwise you will not survive in this business. Uh, I said on the air that I didn't think Richard was being honest because I've heard him complain before and about, you know, how Artie was treating him, and <laughs> that was it. I didn't say you were trashing him behind your back. I said I heard you complaining about him. Well, but you never had any examples, and... Be well, yes, and I did. I had a, a specific example of one that you told me. I, I, I thought I, we were over this, dude. This is like a year I ago. I know, but really, you really... I mean, I was... I All considered right. you a good friend kind of up until that moment, and then... Well, fine. I'd rather have you not go to my wedding because you don't consider us friends anymore than give me some bullshit I'm going to a Coheed and Cambria concert in L.A. <laughs> Well, that's then I just part think you're of the reason, too. 
Well, no, are you not coming because we're not friends? Are you not coming because well, you've got to go to a concert? I got to admit, I get really insulted when people tell me they wouldn't come to my wedding. Of course you do. Yeah, that is insulting. Yeah, it, actually, Will said the other day, like, at first he didn't care when people said no, but then he said the closer it got to the wedding, he's like, you know what? That's a shitty thing to, yeah. to back up. Especially, look, Howard, I totally understand your deal. And, you know, you're my boss and we're friendly, but so it's a different situation than someone like Richard. Who's who, a co-worker. Who's a co-worker, but we hang out, you know, right. we used to, you know, hang out, we talk all the time, you know, I mean, we're, we're friendly with each other. But that was... You did came into play when oh, it, stop when the I made my bo- then what, You're decision. saying something now? <laughs> this is really interesting because Richard hasn't said a word about this till today to anyone. Uh, uh, you got you got an RSVP. No, no, he said about the wedding, not going. But this whole thing about how he's mad at me still from a year ago. That's this is all new. Well, it's not that I'm mad. I just haven't forgot about it. So you're it. just rationalizing now. I yeah, he's rationalizing. No, I haven't really considered us as close. So if you Since were then. close, you would go to Jason's wedding instead of the concert. Yeah. So why didn't you go to Will's wedding? Well, I had an appearance. Right. A month ago on the wrap-up show, you said you felt horrible, you were sick to your stomach about it, but you just had to make this decision to go to this concert. Nothing came up that I don't like you anymore. Well, because that it was a part of the decision, that and the I fact that I really want to go to the concert. I, uh, <laughs> I do remember, I don't remember, I do remember Jason said something that I really took issue with Richard about it. I don't remember exactly what it was. But. Yeah, but I thought we had resolved all this. Oh, things. God, yeah. I didn't even yeah. remember it happened, but, you know, all Richard... Right, well, Richard I gotta was, take a break. It's Richard was all the brunt of it, so I guess he's remembered. <laughs> so fascinating, but uh, I do have to take a break, boys, and uh, thank you. Richard, thank I hope you, you feel better. Uh, Thanks, Jason, uh, you've gotten fatter than I've ever seen you, and you're getting married mm-hmm. soon. What's going on with you? What, are you gonna go on a crash diet? No, no, no. I'm not. What's going on uh, internally? You nervous? No, actually, I'm not nervous at all uh, about the actually getting married part. No, I have a... I, I just stopped caring. I, I, I don't know. I just don't... Th- I don't Aren't <laughs> you worried about your health? Or? Yes, that's the one thing I really worry about. Yeah. I don't care how I look, but I am starting to get worried. You know, I'm getting old now. I'm almost 30. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you got to start worrying about that shit. I really thought you were going to rally and lose weight before the wedding. I thought nah. you were one of those guys. but I, I don't care. It, it just seems so stupid to try and lose weight for one day. It's I don't know. It just seems disingenuous. Yeah, but maybe this- it would be a trend that would... Yeah, continue. maybe you'd continue. keep it up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, I got to get in shape, but uh, not for the wedding. So you're still you're still upset about all this? Well, yeah. It's, it's been over a year, though. I mean, I know. Have uh, you, eventually, I'll probably get over it, but it takes a while. Have you guys spoken about this at all? No, not really. Right. Everybody on the planet. <laughs> Ronnie eventually goes. This guy thinks he's a big. Show. He's done it with me. He's like, everybody. You know, see, everyone's got to get dressed down by him if something good happens to them. And clearly, Ronnie got me paranoid because he said. Uh, that was fucking Howard. Yeah, and I don't want. I said, what's the fuck? I said, do not bug Howard with shit at all, especially about me. Nothing. You know, Ronnie, Teddy has never once bugged me. Why Dude, would you say I never it? told Teddy not to you talk You told Artie. To I never told Teddy not to talk to Dude, what you. You told to? Artie not to, for Teddy to talk to me. I did not. That's no, what Ron, Artie you says. made me paranoid that one no, day. I when just you said, said you, 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 well, I'm walking Howard down and Teddy yells out, wish us luck in Miami, and Howard looked at me like, we didn't understand like, what he was talking Dude, about. I, Howard doesn't I, even remember it. I don't it. even know what you're talking about. Oh, don't play dumb no, with me now. No, because you, no, you interpreted my look. You do this to me all the time. You interpreted Why do you do this? going to say you're up season. Why do you do this to me? You make me into such an asshole all the time. You know why you're an asshole? No, 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 no. It's not right. Let me, let me talk. Yeah, of course. Let you talk. You interpret my whatever you think my look is. No, it wasn't a look. You we dis- give it we words. discussed your, it. Listen, listen How, to you. We listen discussed to it afterwards. We said, "Why did he come to us and say that?" You even said it to me, and that made me why mental. Why make me look I was like, like an idiot all the time? But why would you go to Artie I and didn't say go- to him? I didn't what tell you Artie not to talk to him. No, but you said that you 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 speak for me and you I don't know a thing. I like for, Teddy. Dude, I didn't speak for you. I didn't say anything. That I like Teddy, what, you didn't what like. did he say to you, Artie? But Ron, when after you said that Howard and me gave each other a look, like who the fuck is this idiot talking to us? I, I I got mental about it. No, I, said, I didn't say. So I called the, Ted up and I said, "Listen, don't." We didn't bug understand Howard. why he came to him and said right, that. You, you assumed we didn't understand, but Howard saying he didn't even know. I don't about care. It. Oh, come on, no, he won't Ronnie, admit then it. You hit he doesn't want to be the bad guy. Well, I don't know. No, that. Ronnie, mean, Ronnie, hold it. You don't know anything and I didn't, about And me. I didn't tell him not to talk to you. No, no I did. I, I talked he to Teddy. He told me as a result of your reaction. Listen to me. 
If I turn to you, I don't remember this particular yeah, incident, but if I turn to you, but if I turn to you and go, it. hey, I don't know what Teddy's talking about. Of course you don't remember it. Okay, wait it's, a always, it's always me. But if I turn to you and say, I don't know. I what make this shit up in my head, I guess. Did I tell you to go to Artie and say what you said to him? No, I just happened to mention it to Artie. Why That's all. do you speak for me? I didn't You're speak not my for representative. You. I didn't speak for you. When I went yes, to Artie, did. I said to him, we don't un I didn't understand why <laughs> I or we. Came. I said, what did I say? You said me and Howard were going down to his car. Exactly. And, okay, I'm not. I'm going to tell you exactly what I, what I remember. And you tell me where I'm wrong. And you said, Teddy came up to us and said, wish us luck in Miami. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm going to take Hardy I'm, I'm, out and put him on the beach. Make sure he gets some sun. Make sure he enjoys himself. Make sure, and right, we, sort of we, just we, like goofy small talk or whatever. And right. he said, when he said that, Howard looked at me like, who the hell is this guy? Yeah, that's Not, my problem. And, and, and when you when that happened, I went... Uh, God, I got to talk to Ryan, Teddy. I don't want him bugging problem. Howard. Okay. Ryan, you know what? You I'm don't saying, have to. As soon, as soon as you wait, know wait. I'm right, you, you no, 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 walk no, out the no, door. No, that's but not true. I'm not walking out the door. You don't need to go to Artie and tell him you, I don't understand something. Because you do the something. same thing with everybody. You don't want to be the bad guy ever. No, I, uh, fine, make me the bad guy. No, Ronnie, right. don't make me anything. I know you anything. like a book, okay? Don't you can't tell up, me I don't know you. Don't you don't know me. Yeah, okay. Don't go up to Artie and say, Howard doesn't understand why I said, Teddy said we it. we didn't understand. Well, there's no we. There's me and then there's you. No, we, if you we didn't discussed understand. it. Don't I, tell me we didn't I discuss I asked you to go it. tell that to Artie. No, I didn't say you told me to go don't say it to Artie. Don't talk to me, okay? Ronnie, All I said was we couldn't understand why he came up to us and said that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I ask you to go to Artie? and say we don't understand that's not what, what i'm saying i'm not saying why all do you include me in we that we will we if i have were a problem to the I'll elevator talk to Artie. and you said to me i looked at you and you looked at me and i said what was that all about <laughs> did i ask and you, you to do said, that i don't know did i ask you to do that answer the question did i ask you to tell Artie you know what i will not Teddy. talk to you anymore at all how's that isn't I'm that fine better with that but you're, isn't you're, that better don't change the subject. No, I'm not changing the subject Did because I you're making me look like an idiot like this you, was never talked about. We talked Ronnie, about it. If I we told you elevator, I got a blow, let's say I told you. You don't want to be the bad guy. Why don't you say, just admit it? Not at all. You never want to be I the have, bad guy. It's everybody else who's got to be. Do you hear how crazy this fuck no, is? No, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Robert, do you hear how crazy it's this yeah, fuck I, is? I, it's the same. I, it's same I, it's I don't want to be the bad guy. Did I say to you I don't want Teddy bothering me? You said that I clear the hallways? Gary, yes, Gary I told to you to. Gary comes to me and goes, Ronnie, Ronnie, stop. You sound like a moron. No, I don't sound you like sound a moron. You sound like a fucking dumbass who didn't yeah. graduate high school. Yeah, okay. Listen to me. Number one, number one, if I tell you to clear the halls, I have no problem with that. You can tell the whole world that I told you to clear the halls. I don't want to be bothered with that. Yeah, okay. I don't need you going up to Artie and saying, we don't understand Teddy. There's no we. There's no, there, we're not a couple. You don't speak for me. You're not my I representative. Didn't say, I didn't say. I as didn't far say as me it was being a, a bad a guy, I will, I, I will be the bad guy every time and no, tell you're not Artie a bad to my face. You're not a bad guy. Hold it. You don't want to be I a bad guy. I didn't ask you to be the bad oh guy. I didn't ask you to represent me. I didn't, I didn't I ask you to I wasn't trying to represent you. You went to Artie and said, we don't understand why Teddy came up to us. No, you can say, I don't understand why Teddy came up to me. Do you understand the difference between we and, and you? Okay, I, was, I guess I was walking by myself then. But I didn't ask you to make a comment to Artie. I don't care if we're in an... I don't care if I get a blowjob in front of you. You don't have to go up to my girlfriend and tell her. You don't have to go and report on my comings and goings. If oh, yeah, I like, ask, I, like I really do that. No, I'm saying you don't have to go up to you know Artie what? and say, Artie, guess what? We, I will not Howard... How, how about good morning? Yeah. Good night. How's good. that? Good. How's that? Good. Because that you don't good? even understand what I'm saying now. No, I do understand. What? T explain to no, me what I'm wanna, saying. I don't want to. Why? Because you know you're wrong. Yeah, I'm always wrong. You're always right. Okay, tell me general, how I'm wrong. You're General Stern. You run the ship. Fine. You do what you want to do. I will not talk Do you to understand you. the difference? Hello? Goodbye. What? You know what, Ronnie? Do me a favor. If you don't understand, if it's going to come down to me being uncomfortable with hello, goodbye, don't be my driver anymore. What an Jeez, asshole. I have never... What's going on around here? Uh, you know what? I'm done with him. I mean, this guy doesn't get it.
I didn't ask him to go up to you. See, when I talked to Teddy, this is what I said to him. I said, this is how the show operates. If if Ronnie's telling me the truth and you really did annoy Howard, this is what happens. It'll probably, I never it'll, said he annoyed it'll, me. Right, it'll probably come out on the air. Howard will say, I'm fried, right, right, right. and here comes Artie's assistant annoying me. And you know what? If you did do that, you're going to have to deal with it on the air, and I can't save you. You know, that's how the yeah. show works. When Howard never brought it up, I was like, well, maybe it was Ronnie overreacting. Uh -huh. And now it's clear that Howard didn't even know what happened. So when Ronnie said said we, meaning him and Howard, I immediately got defensive. Of course, and he I thinks I'm sending him in to uh, have a meeting with right. him. Right. I said, Ted, you represent me. Don't bug Howard. And Teddy was like, he felt Greg, do me a favor. Walk, walk away with the camera, now. okay? Do me a favor. I, don't, I got a Teddy who's afraid to talk to me but because Ronnie's of Ronnie. But interpreting looks now. Yeah. I mean, if you look, yeah. he thinks he knows. Greg, do me a favor. Here's what Ronnie does. Okay? Okay. Private with Ronnie. And I say to Ronnie, gee, I don't know what Teddy was just talking about. He interprets that now as he's going to go to Artie. See, he made a quantum leap. And what? this is what you see. And then he gets into, I'm never talking to you again. I'm you wrong. See, you're right. He, he, yeah, yeah, I'm wrong. You're right. You're right. He doesn't listen. He doesn't. He, well, he knows yeah, he's, he's wrong. On his, on his own yeah. planet. He's now. on Ronnie World, the same <laughs> Ronnie World that had him go up at Bubba's wedding and start screaming out, let's fuck some whores. Let's fuck some whores! And then he doesn't listen when you try to explain things to him. That's why he doesn't learn. He can't listen. And of all the things you might like, this is you're certainly gonna lie, not lie about this. Where I mean, why would you bullshit and say I, I, you yeah. know, you see, I things, didn't see it when you did. Things I mean, go on all day <laughs> in my name that I don't know about. Like him coming up to you and go, "We didn't understand, Teddy. We." Oh, and I was so stressed out about it, too. I'm like, Ted, you know, because I said, Ted, if you're going to get abused for an hour on the air, it's going to be uh, shit I'm taking, too. It's going to be funny, probably, but that's how the show works. I like and Teddy. <laughs> I never once asked Ronnie to approach you about this. Ronnie stands out in the halls and does the Ronnie show. And he thinks he's funny. And he's got a whole personality now where he's a smug, wise guy. Well, you know what? Ronnie's yeah. head is getting too big. Yeah. Uh no, He's and, a smug and, asshole. And I'm you know what, Ted, you. Teddy, it sucks because Teddy caught unnecessary shit because the one thing I said to Ted when I hired him, I said, listen, if I'm talking to people in the studio like Howard, Robin, Fred, Gary, or even Benji about what's going on in that studio, like, you can't interrupt that. You can't, like, I'll, I'll, I'll see your shit outside in the hall because with, well, with those main people, you can't right. really interrupt. And, and, he, and he seemed to know what I was talking about. And uh, so when this happened, I really got pissed off at him. Yeah. And so it was... No, no, no. no. It's completely... This <laughs> This is again Ronnie's persona of uh, you know he's 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 a Weisenheimer he's a tough guy and he goes to hey we didn't like we don't like when uh, Teddy talks to us about this and uh, Teddy what the hell was Teddy talking about I, uh, we didn't if I say to Ronnie and I'm walking with the guy and I go gee I don't understand what Teddy's talking about. I didn't ask. He takes the quantum leap that he should approach you about that it. Now, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. The other thing about it is it is very believable that you were fried and someone might have annoyed you. You know, it didn't sound so far-fetched. Right. I didn't see the incident. So, you know, it was a believable thing. And, right. uh, you and, know, that, and, and then he gets here on the air. And he makes me uncomfortable because he doesn't listen. It was a small. It was a small statement. Yeah, I don't you know don't how need it to blows do. up into because he's not really with it, uh. and he feels super criticized. And all I'm saying to him is, "Hey, do me a favor. Don't speak for me." Don't go to Artie and talk about Teddy. You were wrong. You yeah. did. You misinterpreted what I was doing. Ronnie What's cannot. The big deal? Ronnie cannot take any criticism, oh. and then he makes me uncomfortable. And and he's going to insist that he's right about yeah. what you were thinking. There's nothing right about it. You just it. don't want to be the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be the bad guy. What does being the bad guy have to do with it? I wasn't looking to talk to Teddy about this. Of all the places and yeah. people, Howard know. wouldn't he mind gonna, being the bad guy. What would you give a fuck about Teddy? He was gonna he he was gonna fix me. And uh, make things right for me right. because I don't want to be the bad guy. Look Teddy's, at that quantum leap. Teddy's the one guy in the history of the show Howard's protecting. Like, no, no. I'm, I'm protecting Teddy. I'm pretty sure if Teddy was annoying me, I could go up to Teddy and say, Teddy, <laughs> stop or, annoying or you me. you just say it or right I'm, here. Of right. course, I'm here. You know annoying? And no, I Ronnie, totally expected Ronnie, that. Ronnie knows me so well that he took care of things. Because I don't. Did I say to him, Ronnie, I don't want to be the bad guy. You go talk to Artie about Teddy. No. If I had said that, okay, fine. Ronnie took care of things. 
But I got to tell you something. Knowing Ronnie's personality, he'd be the last guy to ta- ask to take care of anything to deal with Artie any, or Teddy. Any sensitive thing. Oh, yeah. and I had a knot in my stomach, too, because I had got back from the Miami trip. I was tired. I got off the plane late. Ronnie hits me with that. So the whole pre-show, I'm saying, okay, when is Howard going to lean over and say, what's with your fucking assistant? <laughs> it's an hour Has anybody that. else been contacted by Ronnie because I don't want to be the bad guy about something? I have no idea. Yeah, because I just want to straighten everything out right now. I mean, you're getting to be like Prince. Don't yeah. look at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm fine with Teddy. Oh, you you don't want to be the bad guy. No, if I ask you to go take care of something, that means I don't want to be the bad guy. I didn't ask him to take care of this. He just read my mind. Yeah. You know, now Ronnie's locked into Scott's studio. I hope he's listening. <laughs> what, because he, I really need him to get this. Hiding in, her, in a room? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I really need him to get this. Don't walk around saying Howard's afraid to be the bad guy, so I'm going to inform you of what, what the problem is. You know, I don't know what... Uh, Ronnie's locked at Scott's studio, which is a whole other issue, but Richard and Sal are out there, like, knocking on the door on their hands and knees, <laughs> sliding stuff on her. He's going to kill him. It's locked. <laughs> you all right, Ronnie? Open the door, you little whiny bitch. <laughs> Yell at him, say, I got your breakfast. Put a piece of cheese. Wait a like, second, Scott, what is it? a little mouse. Get a scores girl. Yeah. Give her outside. A scores dollar. I have no. a scores dollar. Yeah. Scores, mommy. <laughs> hey, this will get him out. We'll put scores money under the door. <laughs> what are you doing? Put scores money under the door. Don't put a hundred, I don't get it. Yeah, he'll take it. Hold it up to the window. <laughs> 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 it was. I'm scared. Get ready to run. <laughs> God, it looks like it's lighting up. Remember when you light up an M80? <laughs> 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 It's like feed, but feeding a rattlesnake. Exactly. It doesn't say sky, it just says control. Ah. Do they have a locksmith or something? He's gonna go crazy. Where is Ronnie's apology to me right now? I want it. I really do want one, Robin. Oh, I think you deserve one. I'm feeling very uncomfortable. Where is he? This is uh, crazy. I'm going to be in the, I'm gonna be in the shit house with him now forever. <laughs> You're not in the shit house. You did nothing wrong. Yeah, I don't think he's going to. He should apologize to you too, then. <laughs> Ronnie, Teddy's the one who caught Where's my apology? Ronnie's not coming out. And, Come, uh, I demand an apology. <laughs> Yes, Ronnie. Fuck you. Hey. <laughs> Everything bothers you, man. That's right. It does. Dude, I don't give a shit. Well, Dude, I, I do. give a shit. I give and a I shit. I said that, so shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Dude, I, I don't even Fuck want to you. talk about it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Where's too. the apology? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to rip my ass apart. Hey, let me tell you something, man. You're being an asshole. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's clear. Man. I don't give a shit. How's that? <laughs> Dude, I don't want to make you feel bad. You come in Believe and give me an the apology. The thing I want to do is make you feel bad. What are you in there with your girlfriend, Scott the Engineer? <laughs> hmm? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, so. Go yeah, ahead. okay. Yeah, it bothers you. You goddamn piece of shit. Oh. Whoa. You stupid asshole. You're a total asshole. I don't think this is the kind of apology he was looking for. It's hardly an apology. What? You are such an asshole. You know what? You know why nobody invites you to anything now? Because you're an asshole. By the way, those are Ronnie drops. Yes, I know. Yeah, Fuck yeah. you, too. All right, come on. <laughs> it's clear he's had similar arguments in his life. Yeah, oh, bullshit, man. Don't <laughs> oh, bullshit me now. Thank you, Ronnie. 
All right. That's great. Who's doing that, Richard? <laughs> Richard. Because Sal's got Sal's on dildo patrol, so that must Sal's be Richard. Sal's got a big, giant black penis on a stick, and he's waving it <laughs> at Scott's door. <laughs> Where is my apology, Robin? Why don't I get one? Well, this is another thing that happens around here. You have a problem with the staff, and then you're uncomfortable walking through the hall. Yeah. Wow. I yeah. don't know how they work that. Yeah, they all do that to me. You should be fine. This is your house. They should be uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable in my house. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on, what? I'm just trying to cheer you up. Yeah, you're always trying to cheer people up. I am. You're so full of shit, too, man. I was worried Seriously. about you. Seriously, you're, you're such a phony. Why? You are such a phony. I was locked in. You're locked away in that Everything room. Everything is for air with you. Don't tell no, me you're trying. Hey! Happy New Year! Let's fuck some heroes! Hey! Hey! Oh, man, that was great. I think he broke his hand. What, what is this? It never stops. It's B roll. Yeah, B roll. Right, what's everyone's problem today? This is A roll. B roll. B roll. All right, what's Howard's problem? He he seems like he wants it both ways. <laughs> nothing. What do you want, man? I Enough. I want you to react to what Howard I got nothing to, to say. I got nothing to say. Because anything I say is wrong anyway. But so. you clearly think he's out of line for you know. For Whatever, words. dude. He doesn't he's want to be he's right. No, I'm wrong. He doesn't want to be the bad guy. No, he's he right. He's right. Guy. I'm wrong. Bottom line. He's right. I'm wrong. You all right. Can you pull my there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with me. You look like you're upset. I'm not upset. You were you cursing. Me, Who was I cursing at? I saw the tag on that whole Who thing by mistake. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You got a TV show now, you fucking asshole. <laughs> you're right. That's I all know. you ever look for. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, that's the way you are. Yeah, but you're also a TV star now. That's the way you are. You got, you got something out of it, Everybody's too. Everybody's got their own agenda here. You're you know? a TV star, though, so you, it works that, for you, too. Everybody's got their own agenda. I bringing up your name was going to lead to this whole thing. Yeah, well, hey. I'm sorry. Can I kiss yeah. your cheek, Ronnie? No. Give him a kiss. Make him feel better. No. Him a kiss. His Doug give him producing a kiss. his TV show again. Give him a kiss. Can I just he, kiss he's, he's producing his TV show again. <laughs> kiss his ass. I like kiss his ass instead. Dude, will you go away? Let me just... <laughs> Don't touch me with your dirty hands. It's not dirty. No, you are dirty. Like, on, You're dirty. You're dirty. Go give away. Go produce your TV show, okay? I am right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Exactly. You're, that's, oh, now you hurt Lisa. Oh, why'd you push me in yeah. there? Yeah. Lisa, HR. You know where that is? Go to HR. <laughs> Poor, horny Ronnie. Go to HR. Horny Ronnie. Dude, don't touch me with your dirty hands. Just smell. <laughs> you feel me? You stink. You don't clean yourself. You don't brush oh, look at him. Scott, give him a hug. No, you don't. Everybody says you stink. <laughs> well, everybody says you're a jerk, are they? Right? That's good, whatever. Well, let them say what they want. <laughs> the girl's trying to eat her eggs. Leave her alone. <laughs> Sal, he wants a hug. He does? Yeah, yeah he has. Uh, he requested it. No way. He's going to kick my ass. I'm not giving him a hug. But I love you, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ronnie, I heard Richard and Sal were fucking with you good. I got it on tape. Whatever. What'd they do to you? <laughs> they, they got these popper things. They were popping them in my face. Let me see. Here's Ronnie walking down the hall. I don't hear any sound. Oh, there it is. You're locked away in that room. is for air with you. Don't tell no, me you're trying. Hey! 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 Oh, man. Ronnie's so fun to fuck with. He can't take it. It's like a kindergarten school. Right. It's like after you get reamed. Like two weeks or he, he was locked in Scott's studio for like 20 minutes. <laughs>
<laughs> this is, is this the, where he tackles Sal? Yeah, this ah. is the Howard TV oh. stuff that I love. Yeah. Oh. Running in action. Woo. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sal does seem like that kid you know in school who would get you so mad you just wanted to rip his head off. And he's laughing. Through and that's all thing. he does is laugh. Right. We were putting, we had scores funny money. We were putting under the door to try and lure him out of Scott's studio. That'll get him out of there, trust me. <laughs> no, I don't need it. What's up, man? You're having a rough morning. Fuck you and in demand. Fuck you, cocksucking cameraman, too. Really? Yeah, fuck you. What did I do? You're standing there like a fucking guy with <clears throat> a statue with that camera outside the door. I can't believe how many people disagreed with me that you shouldn't spy on your kids' instant messages. You know, that created a lot of debate in the on the wrap-up show yesterday, and it seemed that they, you were not the... Your view was not the popular one. Here's uh, the wrap-up show. Sal and uh, John Hine got in on it. I have two daughters. They're on instant message. I want to know who's instant messaging my daughters. I do. And I'll tell you, John. I, I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pervy Sal. <laughs> saying he instant messages. Oh, nice. John's, nice. Uh, I think, 14-year-old daughter or something, nine-year-old daughter. Wow. Now, what does that mean? Is the joke there, Sal's fucking your daughter? <laughs> hey, oh. I think he wants to ride home. Not yet, Artie. But there's, there's a little bit of a big brother there. I totally admit that, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Honestly, I don't understand it. And I remember uh, reading a noted child psychologist saying that if you do that, I have no problem if you tell the kid you're doing it. That's another story. Mm -hmm. If you say, look, you're underage, I don't want you on the internet, I need to read your uh, mail, and I need to read your uh, IMs, <laughs> and I need to... <laughs> there was an explosion oh, in the studio! Man. Nothing like giving <laughs> parenting advice while you're vomiting. So, hey, can I just can I just make one point? I threw it by a lot of people, and a lot of my friends said, "Wow, Gary's out of line." Can I just make one point? A lot of the people. Were that, any of them parents? Yeah, all of them were. Oh. A lot of people that opposed it in the email, and this is the point that I'm making. You know, my kids twelve. I have twelve and nine year olds. People were like. I have a 17-year-old son. I would never do that. And I'm not going to do it to a 17-year-old either. Yeah, but you should, it's fine to do it to a 17-year-old if you tell them I probably that's would what you're tell doing. Them, but I mean, I'm protecting a little kid. I'm not spying no, on an 18-year-old. But you, a 12-year-old is... How old is your kid? 12. 12, 12 is old that's enough old. that, that you, you should sit down and level with him and say, I'm reading your mail. See, for the most part... What He's it's, never going to trust you. What it seemed to be is parent, people who had kids said I was doing the right thing, and people who didn't have kids said I was completely wrong. Well, I have, I have kids, and I, I do think it's wrong. And believe me, I'd be very curious to read their emails and, and find out what was going on, but I know that... First of all, it, my, my son doesn't even... He doesn't even get emails, so it's, emails aren't involved. It's instant messages. Mostly what I'm looking at is where he's going on the web. I'll read you some of this stuff, okay? Pro and con. We should have an expert weigh in on that. I am so glad I am not Gary's child. He's really disgusting. <laughs> I, oh, I, I own this child and do not trust him. Therefore, the child deserves no privacy. Well, that's my feeling. I mean, I agree with that writer. Jeez, leave the guy alone. He's just protecting his child from online freaks. If he tells the kid he's monitoring his instant messages, maybe this kid would just make a new screen name for instant messages. No. He's not, he can make as many screen names as he wants. Gary has an ability to look at everything on his computer. It's not the same as listening to a phone call between two children. You never know who is talking to your children online. Well, you never know who's talking to your kid on, on a phone. Pervs call all the time into a house. Uh, here's another one. This email is for Gary Delabate. I'm very curious to know that website application for tracking your son's computer I see stuff. That somebody wants to do it. Don't listen to any of them telling you you're doing the wrong thing. I have a 15 year old son and he is hell on wheels. Well, yeah, uh, he's hell on wheels, but maybe because you can't trust, you don't trust them, and you haven't taught them. Well, I did say, you know, thinking about it, and again, I'm not a parent, have never had to deal with a kid on a daily basis, don't know what it would be like. But some of these things are because parents are lazy. I have a similar program on my computer. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh -oh. So what would you have me do that you don't think I'm doing? First of all, you have to have rules. You have to I do. limit your kid's uh, um, time on the, Doesn't matter. You on can, the computer. You give a kid 15 minutes and he can do something wrong. So that's but a stupid thing right there. But the point is you there. have to be there for that 15 minutes. Well, yeah. Well, you can't stand no. over a kid. The stupid thing you're doing 
is not telling your kid, who's a 12-year-old, no, no, I, that I, you I got read your, his stuff. I got your point of view. I, I, I have no Robert's problem point. with you reading it. I want to hear honest. Robert's point of view that I'm a lazy parent. That's I got your point of view. But you, so keep you going. don't want to be there. You want to be busy doing your other things and then at your convenience go back and check what he did. I'm saying yeah, it's called the a experts, fucking life, Quivers. The experts say Jesus you should Christ. be there when your kid is on the Internet. That's impossible to be there for every second your child is on the Internet. That's You know, I love these guys that write books. Like, I love when, when my kid was a baby, these, they write these fucking behavior books by people who never had kids. And they're like, well, you tell your kid to do this, and if it doesn't work, they don't tell you what to do. Well, then why not just be honest with the kid and tell him you're on his computer so he I knows can't be here. I'm gonna not to have private thoughts on it. I mean, I'm in the room when he's on the computer, and of course I'm looking over, but I can't look over every second. You said and, and, it here yesterday that you go to your office and do, I do. work. No, but I, I mean, I'm right next to him. My office door is open. Why are you against telling him? I don't understand. I haven't decided about that yet. I'm still thinking about Why? it. Why? Because you don't want to be a creep. No, 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 no. Why this, wouldn't I, you I tell don't think about, because, because you want to catch him doing something weird. Well, I don't know that I want to catch him doing something weird, but I think if you tell them, it if gives them the so option to weirdos go. weirdos won't contact him, then why not tell him that's what I'm doing and I'm reading your stuff so he doesn't so he doesn't feel invaded? And part of it is to keep him off the wacky websites. That's that's what started the All whole right, thing. All right, so tell him that. Say, I don't want you on wacky websites and just know I'm gonna, I, I have the ability to check in. I'm thinking about it. I haven't well. decided one way or another. I have a similar program on my computer and found out that, my, that an 18-year-old was offering to show my 12-year-old daughter his penis. <laughs> I had a little talk with the 18-year-old and his parents. Gary is 100% right to care for his children. Yeah, I have no problem with Gary caring, caring for his for children. His children yeah. Just but to how be honest with him. So, so you're thinking that that guy's daughter should have known... Of course, because she, she's going to have private things that she writes to her friends. It, it's her way of asserting her independence away from her parents. But what if she were writing with that guy? Oh, okay, well, that's, I get your point. Yeah, that, all I'm saying is she, the same 18-year-old would write, and she might even say to him, you know, my parents read this, and, and you better be, be, be warned. You'll go to jail, you fuck. I asked another person, <clears throat> would you ever do that to your child? Would you ever track what? And, you know, he has a very good relationship with his daughter, and his daughter's older now. But he said, no, I would never do that no, because my daughter... Are like and I are like this, and we talk about. And things. his daughter's older now, and probably did, was it wasn't even probably didn't have his daughter in the age of the internet, all the crap oh, that's, that's going on. Oh, that's a cop out. That's, that's not, not a cop true. out. Come on. And the girl's just graduating high school this year. It's not like she's that old. Fine Gary. to read this stuff. Just be honest and tell them every What's expert. Your opinion? Every child. No, I don't every tell you how to. I didn't tell you how to. Then tell me why you won't tell your son. Guy, you're a lazy parent. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, why won't you tell your son? Because I think that once they know, it gives them the ability, the ability to go around should they make that decision. Wait a second. You said you wanted to protect your son from perverts contacting him on the Internet and from him seeing porn. Right. What would prevent you from telling him that you're going to monitor his computer? Because maybe... The, if he, you, mean, you mean the perverts? What has that got to do with perverts contacting your son? Well, that's one aspect of it. Maybe he'll go someplace different to go look at weird shit. Weird Again, shit. he's only 12. He's only 12. He's 15. Bro, where would you, what, so let's say he got a hold of a porno magazine. So how would you monitor that anyway? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But right. I, but be, so then why would you monitor his internet or and not tell him? do you go through his room as well? No. I'll tell you what you're stuff? up to. You want to read you all his me, private conversations with I know I already friends. hate you and Robin with your fucking house. I know I'm right. <laughs> I know I'm right. I know you, you're I getting, you're I know getting I know off on get, reading everything, yeah, every one of I'm your son's fucking, thoughts. Be, I, that's what I am. I didn't say you're beating off. I said you're getting off But you don't know. You're getting off on playing God. See, because you don't know because I'm not reading every one of his thoughts. Yeah, but you have that ability to. What's spot checking? You're reading his thoughts. I'm reading one out of every 10 or 15 IMs just to make sure everything things on the up and up. Yeah, right. so, that's not, so that's not reading his thoughts. No, but it's not reading every one of his thoughts and getting off on it. John you're Hines getting off on playing God. Oh, please. John Hine please. is staying out of you here. You think you're God. I want to know, is he reading his, do his daughters know? John thinks that... Just tell the kids. Hold on. John thinks that, for, in his case, that the fact that he has daughters makes it all the more reason why but he should be doing what I'm doing. But does he tell them no, that it's there? absolutely not. He's he not wrong. I I just I, I, and also, what is your opinion? You have no, you have no justification for not telling your son, other than you're afraid that your son won't like you. I didn't say that. You said I that. I could tell it. Because you, what you, other re possible reason could you have? Who's playing God now? What possible fucking mind reason, reader? What possible reason could you have? God, I love being able to fucking tell you what I think here. <laughs> tell me whatever you want. No, no, no. But, you, but, but you're, you're playing you're, God you know now because wrong. you know what's in my head. So you're God. No, I just know that what's in your head is pretty much empty rocks, and no, you're not no, thinking you, you, it through. Now you're a parent. You've got to think that through. You know everything. You're, you're the perfect parent. Wait, wait a second. Forget it being a parent. Right. Do you think it would be right to go to um, Robin's computer and read what's on her computer? Robin is a grown woman. But what if you're running a company? 
How do you know Robin's not stealing from the company? I have that right How to do far it. Do you, oh, you have that right. Okay, so can you t- would you tell her or would you would you uh, be, keep no, your secret? No, most companies don't most tell. Most companies don't tell you. Find out. Well, that's I wrong. Mean, you just you know then it. I wouldn't work for that company. You work for the company that does it. They don't. Do, they do. How do you know they do it? Because every company does it. You're telling every me that Sirius company, reads my emails. Um, not your. If you're plugged in here, I am right through the Sirius network. They have the ability to look at your email and very well might be looking at it. Well, then they should, th- Then if you know that, then that's fine. Since you know no, that, I, it's fine. Your son has they no don't clue necessarily at 12 exactly. years they don't old that you're you, reading his email. Right. And I don't understand what your you're point is. You're going down a weird road because you... No, I'm not. Why, why do you want to read his email? every time it doesn't work for you... Why do you want to read his email? Go back to where Give me the reason why you want to read his email. Why do you want to read his email? Sirius isn't telling you that they're looking at your email, but they probably are. Now what? Now what are you going to do? I'd leave. The, you should get up and go out. I'll go. Find, you, I'll, I'd come go back find for you in half an hour and find out. Go that they, find out. They probably if they're have the my ability. email without my permission. They're fucked. They You're probably not on have the ability. Dot com. Right. Let me tell you something. If you ask a company, give they, me they one should have reason you. why you read your son's email without telling him. Well, first of all, I don't read his email. But why I read? Tell his, me his, why his, you his, read it without telling him. Tell me why then. Why am I to, to make sure that okay. he's not up to weird shit? Why can't you tell him? You know, I don't know the answer to that. Maybe I will tell him. I didn't say. I mean, I said. So why a, didn't you tell him? Because I because I think that once you tell them, you it, told me you were you were reading his email to keep him away from perverts, or to keep perverts away from him. Both. Both. That's ways. the same thing. Right. But aren't you also <laughs> monitoring his behavior? You don't want him necessarily getting in with the wrong crowd, or I, you know, John and I talked about. He like, if we wants saw, to read his son's finish, conversations listen, you want to a with sentence. all his little friends in Greenwich. <laughs> That's what he wants to do, yeah, yeah. and he wants to know what they're up to. That's right. Well, Howard does his reading. And you know what? Read, you he, are the first one. To, you're the first one to tell me your mother. Your Don't. mother did the wrong thing. She was always in your room, up your ass. Oh, no doubt. And that's wrong, and you even admit it. And you're doing the same fucking thing, yeah, so I'm go hard, think about it. I will. You're not doing the same thing? No, I said I'll go think about it. You, are you doing the same thing I'm going to go and think about it. I'm going to go in my room and think about it. What's the difference between what your mom did and what you're doing? Nothing. I'm going to go in my room and think about it. I am. <laughs> I'm thinking about What's it now. What's the difference between what you're doing and your mom did? I'm being serious. 50 fucking times I told you nothing. Now I'm going to go think about so it. So now you're going to invade your son's privacy I'm without telling him. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Now, now I understand that you're being a jokester with me, and you're I'm trying to be a wise ass. I'm bringing up a serious topic. Does a kid have a right to know his email's being read? And why wouldn't you tell him? Why wouldn't you say, I'm reading your email? Or his instant messages. And it's, it's fine with me to monitor a kid on the web. I, I agree with you. But tell him. And I very well might. I would, like I said, it's... What are you, what are you waiting it, for? The dude, kid's 12. It's, it's, He's waiting for him it's to be a conversa- Hold on. It's a what, conversation what, what, we had yesterday... You guys brought up a point that I Did think you is possible. This with Mary? I didn't have a chance to last okay. night, but I thought it was a valid point. So it's something I'm thinking about. I don't know what what fight you're looking for. No, because John, you're because you're not doing the right thing. This is That's a very a hot button Do issue. Do your daughters know that you have this program on their computer? No. no what is it? Three. Why can't I get his mic on? Three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, they John. don't. They don't. No. And you feel perfectly comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with not telling them. I feel like it's a big brother kind of thing. Uh-huh. So why not tell them? It's a hard question to answer. Like, I don't Why are you so hard about it? Why wouldn't because, you be honest? Because part of me, and I, it's hypocritical, part of me doesn't want to break that illusion. You know what I mean? Like, that you th- trust them. Well, I do trust them. <laughs> no, I don't, you don't. I don't do, well, I don't do the email thing. That get, Nor I, should you trust I them. I don't do the, the email internet. thing but what I, do, I, I wouldn't no trust problem, any fucking I have no kid. problem with what you guys are doing. I just hate your dishonesty. I would say to my kids, I have to look at what you, while you're in my house, and until you're of age, I need to look at what you're looking at because I, you could be tricked by a, an internet pervert, or I also feel uncomfortable with you looking at the pornography that is prevalent on the internet. And I would sit down and say that, and they'd hate me for it, and they'd say I don't think that's fair, because who knows why? And I'd say, well, I feel justified, and I've told you, so be aware of it. You know, keep your thoughts uh, very simple on there, and tell your friends. But I'm when you say something stuff. like "I don't want you to be on these pornography sites," you might be introducing something they haven't even thought about. That's right. true. And then you're encouraging them now to go find a way to do it to Maybe. see what you don't want them to see. I just believe in honesty. I put it on there because <laughs> I do. I saw all these weird. You, I mean, when JD plays the Dateline stuff with all those weird IM names right. and stuff I like that. I agree with you. I've warned my daughter. I said you can't take an IM unless you know where it's coming from. So Agreed. I have a list right. of the IMs of her friends, whatever else. And if there's a name that's not there, I want to know. Yeah, and I don't do want to know read after the, conversations the fact. Between so what, her and her friends. No, tell the truth. I don't. How you do don't, you not? When I first put the software on, 
I read one, and I was like, "This is." I feel creepy about this. See, that's this what wrong. I asked him yesterday on the wrap-up show. I, so any human being would be curious if it was my kid. You by that the way, ability. John's not telling you the truth right now. That, I think he's that absolutely too. Absolutely, read his daughter's God IMs. Spoken. He is not telling the truth, no. and he knows deep in his heart he's not. He has read his daughter's IMs to a friend. I just said I read one. I don't agree with you. I bet you it's at least fifty you've read. How come not guy read? How come guy one. can't figure out which microphone to turn on? <laughs> I know exactly what you're doing. Okay, what have I read? You've read your you've read your daughter's friendly. Uh, messages back and forth. No, I it's haven't. Just, it, it's a, no human being wouldn't be curious to do that. I, if, you, if I had the ability to do that, I'd do it. If I, I, I don't saying, know. You guys are putting yourself in the position of God and you're not going to take advantage of I it. I don't know if I necessarily agree with Howard or you guys. I'm not sure, but I, I really think, John, come on, you've read more than one of those. John, no. have you read it two? Would just be, it would have just be Have you read be maybe curious. two? Maybe you make a mistake. Maybe you've read two. No. No, you've only read one. I've read one. Yeah. The first one she was doing, and I felt uh -huh. really weird about it, and I said, you know what? I'm not going to read these anymore. If I see an instant message name that I don't know, that's what I'll so investigate. But have until you found then, one you don't know? Yeah. And did you read it? No, she blocked it, and she came to me, and I said, that's great. I, I take that back. I did read it. Oh, so you read two. I did. Uh, okay, good. All right, that's what I thought. What did the right, one thank say? Thank you, John. Listen, what I got to move on. Said? I want to get Vinny Maggio. I'm curious what it said, the subject matter of it. What made you feel creepy about it? What, what it was, was somebody talking? he didn't recognize. It was no, no, no. Marty. The one I read was her and her friend just going back and forth just about, about school. Just about nothing. Yeah, like bullshit. But right. the guy, it was like, the handle was like, Hold on a second. Perv 103 or something Wait a like second. that. Michael, yeah. Michael Devlin's on the phone. Mike, go ahead. <laughs> hey, Gary, come on. Leave your kids alone, man. They're good kids, man. You know what? The guy doing his voice is very close to Michael Devlin. Hey, do you know what? Uh, your son's got a little cute mole on his ass. He's a good kid. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mike. Michael says don't watch what your kids do on the internet. All right. Thanks, guys. I do advocate honesty in this situation. That's all I'm saying. I don't disagree with what you're doing. I just think you should tell the kids. If I decide to tell my kid the truth and my wife lets me, I'll tell him the truth. I'll call well, him and tell him on the air. When mommy gives you permission to do okay. the right thing, let me know. That's okay, a goodbye. discussion between two people. Well, mommy. You got right. a mommy now, too. When, so mommy, when mommy gives you permission. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Vinny Mazio Jr. I'm here today to do an escape artist act. Um, I've changed my career, well not that I had a comedy career and a producing career, to movies and escape artists. And I plan on doing some Harry's escape artist act. Uh, Howard called me the first jackass and you know he's right there. So I'm gonna go with it. You guys are gonna chain me up as hard as you want and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of it. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna get out of these chains. I'm working. Leave me alone. Pan down. Oh, yeah. oh hot coffee on my balls. <laughs> you know you want us. You know we're hot. I see you, you big stud. On your couch with the football and beer in your hand. You know you want some of this, and some of that, and some of that. Bring in Vinny Maggio, another genius. Oh, dear. Glad Damn. we could help you with your parenting this yeah. morning. Man. <laughs> got ugly. Yeah, because I'm doing such a great job. <laughs> you know what? I'm against kids and computers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give Vinny 15 minutes for maybe tops. Come on. No, come Speaking on. Speaking of kids. Yes. More, more than the audience can put up with you. Oh, please. Just come talk, on. Talk about a guy, a guy who's, uh, uh, listen. You want to be in show business. How old are you now? How old are you now? Answer the question. How old are you? Uh, Come on. How old are you? 46. Is that the truth? I'm, yeah, I'm You're 46. What would it mean? Is that the are truth? Are you older than 46? No, I'm 46 years old. And you haven't made it in show business. I have, I've what happened made to that some movie? things what happen. What happened to the movie you were producing? What do you think happened to it? It's on the way. On the way. Yeah, it takes yeah. yeah. sometimes four, year, four years to, to produce and make a movie. What is the name of the movie? You think it's easy? That is true. JohnnyPostalTheMovie.com. And I'm never the name gonna, of it's Johnny Postal. It's good, and one day I hope you believe it. It's never when you see it. I got a really good well, one. How far 
are you along in this for? Well, got to, I mean, you know, he's saying it's never going to go along. But did he look at the uh, storyboards? Did he look at the website? No, he just comes in. He, he now, never you seen had my, that website eight years my, ago. I ain't really talking about eight years ago. You, you started it's out. Been you were going to be a comedian. Years ago. What happened to that? You're going to make a movie. I don't. What I to do that? good. Uh, look, I'm doing what I do fire. best. When someone called up and said, "Hey, he should escape fire," so that's what I put, uh, put my thing in. Stupidly, right, I left my in, handcuff keys in the in the, second, in the car. Second. Now you're an escape artist. I didn't say I was an escape artist. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm doing, and I'm practicing. I'm getting shaped. I bet you I lost go wrong. weight. What well, let's see do? if I get out. What do you want to do today? Tell me. Tell me what you want to do today. Exactly. Well, well, it's trash my movie like that, and you didn't see it. I didn't trash your movie. I said you said it's, it's never, never going to get made. I stand by it's, that. I stand. I stand by. It's going to get made. Well, let's see it. I he hope. Well, trash trash your movie. It it's not going to happen one. overnight. I can't trash the movie. I got movie. a top director, Frank Callo, Umberto Tosselli, who uh, you know did a good job raising the money. No, he put no out the money, and they all believe in it. You know. Why don't you come in here with your backers? Christ, I, I, no, I figured I'm you'd be glad to see me, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> You know? I think you are wrong. Yeah. I know I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, then you're right. Okay, so well, now where's you your know. hair? Put up to your hair. What? Where's your hair? Huh? You took Somebody, off the hat. You know, stole your you hair. You had such Someone a good life. Stole Thank you. Your, hair. your hair is an escape artist. <laughs> <laughs> you see, now that was funny. Thank you. That was funny. All right, Vinny. Yes. Uh, despite what you may think, I do not hate you. I, I think I, you're an interesting character. This is different, though. How, okay? Uh, this uh, is different. This isn't comedy. So, all right, well, we never saw you. Okay, do understand yet. that. All right. <laughs> Are you seeing a psychiatrist now? Someone said. Oh, I'm seeing somebody. Yeah, no, for, so for some. Uh, What's wrong with you? That. I think he, out of his divorce, he was forced to go. Nothing. I, I just, That's what I read. Yeah. Really? Because what of your divorce. Yeah, nothing happened. I, I never just, heard. He, of she made all kinds of accusations and and things and. <laughs> the doctor, the the judge said, well, he's got to go see a psychiatrist, a, a psychologist first. And his name is Dr. Frankenstein. And <laughs> is no, that true? My, I, to my father's soul. In, really? In heaven. Yeah, that's his name, Dr. Frankenstein. And he Dr. wrote a thing. Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, he, had a, he wrote a two-page two, two essay. He, his real name's Frankenstein. No, sh no, wow. no shit. Right. Hey. All right, easy. His real name is... Oh, come on. All right, take it easy. All right, take All right. it easy. So you're saying you go in to see a psychiatrist. Right. As a, I never heard in a divorce you have to go see a psychiatrist. I was appointed a psychiatrist because... My medical record somehow got to her, uh -huh. and she got him to the judge, which really was, you know, I, I had a bad divorce. Then they had a party what for Johnny. What did your medical record say that somebody said immediately send him to a psychiatrist? It, it just, it was, it's nothing crazy. It's something, it's, a, it's an imbalance type of a thing oh. that I don't have anymore. I believe it. That's why, that's why I don't have it anymore. Are you on medication anymore. for it? Huh? Are you on medication? Yeah, for, keep yeah. already away from my bag, please. Right. <laughs> now, why did Dr. Right. Frankenstein change his name to Frankenstein? Because he didn't want to probably get get made fun of. But and I, he, I he's, think he's going to get made fun of either way. No, he's a great doctor. Why not change it to he, Stein? Yeah, it was Dr. Frankenstein. Stein. But he, he's a big guy. You know what I mean? It's not like he's a little puny guy. He's but what I love about your doctor, and you should say to him, why would him. you change your name from he Frankenstein? He cleared me. He cleared me. Why would you change your name from Frankenstein to Frankenstein? It's not going to be any better for you. You should change why? your Name to Steen or Stein, Doctor well, Stein. Well, it's, it's not a bad thing. People uh, have Dr. last Frank? names. All right, look. Right. What is this now? You have a new career. That's like a guy named Doctor Penis changes his name to Doctor Cock. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's ridiculous. Doctor Adolf Hitler. Right, man, I tell you, you are on the money, man. <laughs> Thank you. Doctor you Adolf doing, Hitler. Good. How are to you? Doctor right. Adolf Hutler. There's like a shirt outside for you. <laughs> I like Vinny. All right, I'm ready. I'll take it. I need yeah, shirt. I Vinny, told him you got to focus. Go. You're eating up your own time. I need okay. Shirt. Uh, sorry. You want to sit and have a private conversation with Artie? Feel free. But <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say hello. When you get boring. All right. All right, and you're getting very boring. Uh huh. You sit and talk to Artie. I'm Nobody sorry. Cares. I apologize. I'm addressing you, and you're going to talk to Artie. <laughs> What's the matter with you? You I want know. to be in show business. You, th you think that's the way to the make king. it? The king. You're the king. That's right. Focus. You think people on the Tonight Show look past Jay and start talking to Kevin? No. 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 And you know Kevin, what? I was on the, the most important. It's just that I know you 21, 22 years, <laughs> and, and I see you as me. you. Right. And and I and, right. and I commend you for your success. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. You now have a career as an escape artist. You do an escape. What is the escape movie we're going to see? And, well, movie. I have 30, 30 uh, six feet of chain. Go ahead. Um, you're going to chain me up and handcuff me. Now, let, are these <laughs> trick handcuffs? No, they're Smith & Wesson. Here, let me put them on you. Oh, I can't because I, I left the keys at the... Um, what? 
I left the keys by accident at now, the car. Now, what if you can't get out? Because of... I had a rush here to be here at 8.30. Oh, this is going to be So I, I begged the guy. Wait a I was second. A... Vinny, I booked you three weeks ago. What's the rush? This... I knew you were coming here today at 8.30. Oh, Gary. Gary what? Who do you got? I'm looking up over... No, yeah, but I mean, you knew you were coming here, so I don't understand what the big rush is. You get up early. I, I was told... Keys... All right, you're right, Gary. I was told ready. 8 o'clock... Eight o'clock. You realize every time you come here, something's fucked up, right? I didn't fuck anything up. Did you see me do it yet? If I handcuff you, will you walk out of here in or out of handcuffs? As long as you don't handcuff me like I murdered your brother or something. <laughs> I put handcuffs on you. When the bit is done, will you be free of handcuffs, or am I gonna have to walk you down to your garage and handcuff Gary, you? I'll be Gary, free. Gary, he yeah. told Ronnie. That if he can't get out of his handcuffs, that uh, Ronnie has to walk him down to the parking lot. It's only down <laughs> and, the block. So let me ask you something. You come here with a trick. You come I here screwed to one thing up, but I'll get out of the handcuffs. And now it's our responsibility. No, you, I, you don't have to walk me. I'll go you myself. You sure you have the key in the car or are we going to have to I'm drive I'm positive. It's on my key. My key's in uh, the ignition. And I, and I was trying to get here on time. It was a three-hour ride because there was accidents. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me ask you right something. Let's, let's, let's make this interesting. I'm going to let you do your escape artist trick. Thank you. And if you do it right, hey, God bless you. You're great. But there's got to be some consequence if you don't do it right. If uh -huh. you can't get out of those handcuffs, how long does it take you to get out? It might take, with the amount of chains I got, yeah. it might take me a few minutes. How many minutes? I'll May give you two minutes. How about three? All right. I'll give you three minutes. If yeah, you, yeah get, you didn't even compromise. I like right. that. If you get, I'll give you a break. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I know this must be hard. If you don't get out in three minutes, Sal comes in and teabags you. Ooh. All right? What's Sal's going to drop his balls right on your face. Captain Sack will come Captain in. Sack. I, I, so uh, you got you to gotta get this thing right. There's oh, Captain, here's oh Captain my Sack. God. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Here he is. You know what? That's Captain it's Sack. It's worth... Oh, God. Oh. Thanks a lot. All right, Captain Sack. Meet Vinny Mazzio. <laughs> yeah, What's nobody, up, bitch? Oh, this is crazy. Well, Sergeant now, This is now, fucking now, disgusting. Now, then, after he drops his nutsack on you, Dude, if you don't... You? Listen to me. If you don't... Give me five minutes. Hold it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'll give you two more minutes <laughs> after the... You. I'll give you two more minutes I, after the initial three. And if you don't get out after two minutes... Richard in the blonde wig over there and the thong... Oh, that's, this is disgusting. He's going to smack you in the face with his penis. All mm -hmm. right? So. He's Sergeant Penis. Don't waste my time. Richard is wearing the creepiest piece of clothing I've ever seen. <laughs> you're both wearing wigs, and you're both wearing thongs, and Captain Nutsack has his nuts out of his thong. Actually, really today, Howard, some we're, 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 we're Rochelle and Sally Ann today. All right. So really? you guys you guys <laughs> go off in the distance. Let Vinny do his thing. And All I will, we'll fucking be waiting plug. in the wings. I can't believe this. What do you mean hey, you can't gonna believe it? Hey, you're going to get out, I, right? I, I thought you'd look at me in a different light. Why? I'm not looking what? at you. I know your no. story. You know, that, 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 well, I know my story. You think you know my story. When David I'm Blaine, not sucking when on balls. David Blaine or Houdini did escape. That's different. They risked their lives. They risked their lives. So you have to risk something. You are risking getting nuts in your face, and you're risking penis slaps in your in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's got to be a risk to it, or else people don't care. It's called it's called suspense. It's called showbiz. Are you ready to take this challenge Can on? Can you give me a couple of minutes? To Just do what? A couple of minutes? I got a right, show. Go, I got a oh, life. Okay. Good this for is you. Cirque du Silly. <laughs> Are you ready to be chained? Or do um, you want to just walk out of here knowing you can't do it? I can Look, do it. Look, they're ready. You think, have you done it before? I'm have not going to answer that. Have that you, I, I have you, you've been not here? at this extent. What? You're coming not here? Not to this extent. You've come in here... To tell me that you're going to try and escape and you've you never guys, done it before. You guys are the sickest fucking right here, things bitch. I've ever seen. <laughs> Why are we sick? You He's come in. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> well, who are you talking I'm about? I'm talking about those two things. <laughs> Richard and Sal. Why? What do you see? Huh? That makes you disgusted. What do I see? Two homos that... Look, he's getting fucking hard. That's what I say. <laughs> he's good. fucking hard. Oh, this this one, better be good. Richard has his penis out and he's flaunting it. And he's saying, if you don't get your escape done... All right, and what if I do? If you do, you will get your plugs and you will be honored here on this show. That's as right. a great then escape we'll look at you really? in a different That's right. light. Okay. Give me the respect you deserve. All right. yeah. well, Gary, come in here. You'll give me the... All right. What? Oh, my God. Look at this. I can't hear you. <laughs> he, Vinny can't hear you. What an he asshole. He just come, came from the hardware store. <laughs> it's five minutes. <laughs> All right, Vinny, go over to the staging area for I your stunt. Fear. I want a fair. All right, I have a five clock minutes. right here. Three minutes. I will give you three minutes no, and then two and minutes. And then two, two after you get, After you get the balls in your mouth, this I mean, in your, in your, on your okay. face. 
All right. Hey, look at that thing. You know how we got a bunch of crap to throw at Vinny, so he might want to take off his shirt, too. No, we're not throwing anything at Vinny unless Vinny, then if to the two minutes, then we'll negotiate some You're more. giving him another two minutes? Yeah. Now, you Sal, where, myself? where will the nuts go? Your, okay. Okay, at the one-minute mark, I'm going to dip my balls into this vanilla pudding. <laughs> my balls are going to be slathered with the pudding. Now, and don't then, put those balls near his mouth. You no, put them on and his... then at the two-minute mark, my balls are going to go right over his face. I'm going to dunk them right on there. I right over his the eyes, the bridge of his nose, everything. This isn't fair. Why? Huh? You said you can get out of this. Yeah, but they didn't know there was any consequences. Well, then but walk Especially out of this that. room now in shame. You know walk what, out. You know what, Vinny, every time you come here, you, you, come, no, you come here with an idea, and then when we start doing it, you no, look like you're about to cry. I'm not crying. But when you do, you look like you're... Dude, I've got balls in a dick ready to be stuck in but my you're mouth. you're an escape How artist. How would you feel? You yeah, could get out of it. You shouldn't yeah, be I'm, scared. I'm learning. Well, if you're like Houdini, you need well, risk. If you're learning, why did you... Do this? Why did you just Vinny. call me and say you wanted to do this? If you're learning... It'll, 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 what did you put more thought into? Funny. What? This will I, motivate you. The different, the different things. All right, you have your chains. That's what you're hearing in the background. Oh, oh. Vinny, remember what I say as you get changed the handcuff. Here, go, go How way. is he supposed to be yeah. wrapped yeah, in this way, chain? Jerk. Oh, no. oh, come on, Gary. Like the cops. Come on. You can't. You, you He's don't, got a, don't, you know. You're an escape artist, uh, asshole. Let's go. Hey, Vinny. fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> Vinny, what's the problem? I'm going to be Tell a me. Minute. What? What is your problem now? You're not even on top. Right. Okay. They're, they're tight. Not even on at all. Move your sleep. Houdini never complained like okay, this. That's all. That's not tight, right? Vinny, do you know how to do this? What? Do of you know how to get out of this? I can get out of these handcuffs. No, I can. <laughs> this is fantastic, dude. I love you, man. But sometimes you really. Oh. What? What did I do? You, what? Houdini would do a trick. He could. He would. His life would be threatened. He wouldn't do it for this. Okay, he wouldn't. Okay, I, I don't believe he would do it. Well, for then you're gonna. Then why are you doing it? What? Then why are you doing it? Then maybe I should walk out and say, or yes. goodbye. Goodbye. You know? Do you want to leave or do you want to do your stunt? I want to do my stunt, but I don't want no tea bags. Well, if you can't get out, you got to have a I risk. I don't even like tea. Oh man! All right, here's the deal, Howard. He's handcuffed. Are you crying? Please. He does. He cries. He's crying. Are you crying? I'm not, not crying. I don't cry. <laughs> What are you on, talking shit. about, Gary? I'm not crying. But you're crying and huh? You understand I'm helping your trick here. If you, if There's got to be a consequence. Okay. All right. Wait, what was, what was that? Take, take oh, these. going to start chaining you. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you're squeezing my neck. I can't uh, Gary, you can't oh squeeze God. his neck. You're squeezing See, the chain. We don't already. have any professionals no, here. Yeah, there's no pros. <laughs> if he dies, we'll do him a favor, believe me. All right. Is w it, w how w do you w want to be chained? Vinny. And incidentally, everybody out there on the air, I did not expect this. Well, then You're a very leave. creative person, Howard. Then leave if you don't want no, to have a I'm risk. No, I'm not saying I'm leaving, but I'm going to bitch about it. All right. She didn't play there. No, don't get crazy with him, man. This, this looks like the set of a gay around. porn yeah, movie. What is happening? They are now chaining. Vinny's hands are handcuffed behind his back. He is Five chained. Five fucking minutes. Three minutes. And Five then the minutes. No, three minutes. Three, and then what's the, what's the other two? And then the two, and you're going to get smacked in the face with yeah. a dick <laughs> from what? Richard. No, you told me. I Five said it. minutes. I yes, said, you did. I said three minutes. Audience. Let me tell you what I said. You said you would give me two minutes I said I'd give you, no. I said I'd give you three that minutes, there. and then you get... Listen to me, because you can walk out now. I'm going to explain the rules to you again. <laughs> you told me five. I did not. Listen right, to carefully. Compromise with no. me and give me four. No. Listen to me. What's wrong with a compromise? You're a businessman. Listen to me. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I, give, I give you two hours. Sal just started putting that vanilla pudding on his... <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Oh, my wait. goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Vinny, here's what I'm offering. You are now chained... <laughs> you are now handcuffed. You claim you're an escape artist. I didn't claim I was an escape you artist. You said you I knew said, how to do it. Hey, you know, it's like Rocky Balboa, the movie. All it right. ain't over till it's over. Well, I wouldn't be okay. doing this with these kind of consequences if I don't know how to do it. But here's what I'm offering you. I'll give you three minutes to get out. If you don't get out in three minutes, Sal will teabag you with mayonnaise and pudding on Do you balls. have a clock that I can actually I have at? a clock right here. Where? Right up here, and I promise you I will keep an accurate time. All right. Now. I'm a man of my word. Now, Ew, if you don't get out, disgusting. If you don't get out in three minutes, Vinny, listen carefully. I'll give you another two minutes. If oh, you don't okay. get out after those two minutes, Richard will smack you in the face with his cock. 
Okay. All right. But you understand, at the three-minute mark, you get the sack. Now, Sal, what are you doing over there? Oh. Right now, I'm lathering he, he really up my balls. You really these cuffs, and I can't untighten them oh. because I ain't got to Well, what are you going to do? Howard, they are, I swear to God, I swear I to God, they, might, uh, they are as loose as humanly possible. why did you come in here okay. with this if I you just, can't just do it? Give me a, do you, you make no sense. Have you ever tried this? Have you? I made sense? Yes, I have. All right. You tried this, yes. and you were able to do it. Yes. All right. On your mark. He's get up. Yeah, Howard. Howard. He has to get on his back. Just let him. Uh, yeah, let him do what he wants. The fucking rules. Let him do what he wants. Three wants. minutes. I got to dunk him. Well, when he when we have to three we're minutes. Lie okay, down. you got it. You'll 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 yeah, teabag you can him. Do it. He's started. No wait. No wait. Wait wait no, wait wait wait, wait, wait. On your mark. Gary, you keep time. Okay. Why don't we start in in ten seconds? All right. You have ten seconds to get ready, Vinny. All right. Hey. Gary. On your mark. Five. Four. You can't touch me. Three. Two, two, one, go. go. All right, Benny. Oh, he's out. Oh. How do you do oh, that? Both of you. Wow. What eat your hell? eat your pudding and suck your hard cock. <laughs> he got out. <laughs> out. He got out. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> have to do? They must handcuffs. They must They're be Smith bullshit and handcuffs. We Smith and Wesson handcuffs. Get our own handcuffs and do it. Yeah. How do? How do no, you? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. No backpedaling. No, no. no back See, you told me if I get out. That's no, I'll happen. give you the plug. No, that but was... I'll give you the plug. I promise I have... you. But I'm telling you, you could never come in Don't here. Don't even come near me, dudes. No, we're not going. Trust there. me. <laughs> I was completely rooting for Vinny to get out, by the way. I'm just telling you that those were not real cops. They're not. They're not. Get and out I... of them, right now. I don't have the key, but you can get out of it if they're, they're not trick handcuffs. You don't think they're Smith and Wesson handcuffs? So what? Let me look at them. We have we have our own handcuffs. We do. All right, put a minute. Oh. Go ahead. Big shot. Yeah, Wait a second. Handcuffs. Wait Come a second, Vinny. No, I'm done. Ah, you I, see, I, I did what I had to do. Swear on the life of your dead father, those aren't trick handcuffs. I would never do that. I would never swear on my father. Swear on your children father. that those nope, are not. No, I wouldn't swear on my right. children. Fair enough. Here's your plug. You're a cheater. Oh, see, oh, thanks a lot, Howard. Check out, check out, Vinny. Check out. I'm not going to backpedal. Yeah, no, no, not that way. Not that way. It was a trick. We've been friends for years. Trick handcuffs. Wow. Admit There's it. There's no Admit such it. thing Tell the as truth. magic. Right. I will say that. There's no such thing as magic. No, there is a thing Siegfried as magic. Siegfried and Wald. No, there isn't. Siegfried There's no such who? thing Siegfried as magic. Siegfried and who? Roy. Roy. There is no such thing Siegfried as magic. Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> All right, check out Vinny's movie, Johnny Postal. What? There's no movie. I'm not going to be Johnny Postal. I have a small part in the movie as Uncle Kenny. I'm the reading course. your plug. Do you want it or not? Yes, please, my All friend. Right. Thank you. Check out Vinny's movie, Johnny Postal, at johnnypostalthemovie.com. Yeah, go see the Cheaters movie. Ooh. You cheated. Ooh. I cheated? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Gary, yeah, I cheated. Absolutely. I it, cheated. Let me put the handcuffs on you. You get out. I don't know the secret. Huh? Tell me the secret. Well, there I'll has to be a secret. Was right. Houdini well, then, had then a I'll secret. Give you, then I'll give you the real handcuffs. I don't handcuffs. believe you're being like this, Gary. Right. Because, because I, can come in, I can come in with a pair of trick handcuffs They're and not, do a trick. They... <laughs> I got a pair of handcuffs. Dude, you want to show by the way, I just want to. blue, right here. Oh, you, shut swore, up. you swore. Oh, you swore. Shut up. You swore. You. you swore in your father's life ten I minutes ago. My fa I swore my father's life. There, you got to work with him. I didn't. I said there's a trick to everything. All right. So okay. you. you so why were you whining like a bitch that it was going to take you? Was that part of the you performance? Know, you wrapped me up like a, 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 a nothing. I mean, I was like laughing. Yeah, you didn't even wrap him good. Well, because the handcuffs were on. The handcuffs were the were the big thing. Yeah, yeah, well, he knew. Yeah, the chain. You knew they were fake. I told you, go over. You get the sock open. You think I'm bullshit? Okay. Uh, all right, but all right. but yeah, seriously, seriously. But the, lock, the, lock. But the lock. We didn't. But the lock is part of locking oh, you're me a, up. You are a fucking professional retard. I swear to God, I didn't mind. Right, please, please, please up again. Uh, check out Vinny's movie Johnny Postal at johnnypostalthemovie.com. You told me I made myself. And to, book, and to book and Vinny, now, do you want me what? to do your plug? Yes, please. To book <laughs> Vinny, email him at comiconfire at AOL.com. Comiconfire at AOL.com. Yeah. And meet Vinny Mazio. And meet so, Vinny Mazio Jr. At? At johnnypostalthemovie.com. Oh, okay. Is that it, Vinny? No, two. It's a J O H N N Y. So, that's it. J-O-H-N-N-Y. Johnny is J-O-H-N-N-Y. Okay. Why are you angry? I don't I'm understand. I'm not angry at all. I love you to death. So what's your problem? I don't have a problem. I have a problem with Gary saying that and all this stuff. Well, it's a I trick just, is what we're saying. You I, won't, I you won't him, put on real handcuffs. On, did he? Put on the real handcuffs, dude. Come on. Did he? I'm done, man. Oh, you're done. done. Now you're done. After you plug, you're done. No, Let somebody else try to do anything for you. Can somebody else try to do commercials? What? 
the guys were just saying, like, even if Vinny would have struggled for a minute, he has, like, no ability to He's perform. not a showman. Not a showman. Like, you should have struggled for a minute and a half, and we would have been like, wow, it's, I've never seen an escape artist get out in two seconds. Well, when you got balls ready to be stuck down your throat, see what you do. Amen. Would he, would he right us, answer. Would he let us put the cock and balls in his face for another plug? <laughs> you want cock and balls? No, I'm not a plug hog. I'm here because I like Howard. Thank you. And buddy. Robin. <laughs> All right, Vinny. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, and right. I, Thank you. Too bad we can't say the same asshole. Oh. <laughs> I like yeah. Vinny a lot. I'm only kidding. I'm Vinny. a big fan of Vinny. Vinny. That's all right. Vinny. I don't take it. It doesn't matter. Vinny. So, Vinny. Right. Look at me. Yes, I like Vinny very much. Pastor I like from very much, too. A very what good. is with those sunglasses, though, Vinny? Vinny with sunglasses. He, it's his look, Robin. That's please. not a good look. <laughs> oh, sunglasses. I'll take them. I don't got a problem with that. What is it? Uh... Uh, yeah, Jordan, go ahead, and then I got to move along. Yeah, this is absolutely the worst bit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see it on TV. <laughs> this, this guy came in with fake handcuffs. You can get you can get handcuffs that say. I know. All right, so he he I, had his fun. We just watched the replay. You should, you should hold them down and teabag them anyway. We just watched the replay on TV. They, they're some sort of breakaway handcuffs. They're not whatever. I know. I whatever know. you say they are, Vinny, they're just bullshit see handcuffs. See if I one of us can get out of them. You see, Gary, dude, here's where you don't listen. He didn't even, you know, make it suspenseful. I mean, it was five seconds he was out. This is ridiculous. Vinny, uh, look, your trick was not that good. You should probably go get teabagged anyway just for being, you know, being silly. Just for the plug. Right. Get over there and get your teabag. Come on, Vinny, on your back. Let's no go. way. Hey, Howard. You might like it. Can I teabag Ronnie instead? Yes. Come on, Ronnie. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Vinny, thank you. Are you crying? Oh, he's crying. No. I'm not crying. I can't I believe you're crying. Wh why, can't, why are you saying I'm crying when I'm not crying? I don't know. Crying? You're not even looking at me. <laughs> I'm looking right at you, dude. You okay. look great. All right, you know? thanks. No, I don't. What do you want me to do? All right, Vinny, we love you. And good luck with this movie. And when it comes out, come in here and promote it like a man. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm I, would, gonna, I would like that, you know? Right. I'm going to go get Ronnie Howard. <laughs> Howard. <laughs> oh, Howard. No. oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Get that shit off of me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my God. Sal, stop it. I'll choke you. Ronnie, no, stop it. I'll Ronnie. tell you right now. I'll stop choke it. your stop ass out. Stop it. 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 Stop it, you guys. Ronnie, uh, Sal, stop. No, Ronnie, stop it. Stop it. Pull him, pull him up. He's going to kill Sal. <laughs> You okay, Sal? I felt like I was getting choked by Gary Coleman with those little bitches. <laughs> you okay, Ron? <laughs> Ronnie? Ronnie, you all right? Ronnie. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this has been <laughs> horrific. See what you did, Vinny? <laughs> Vinny, now you're ruined. Yeah, Vin, uh, yeah, right. See, I'm, if you had taken that tea bag, you could have saved Ronnie. Yeah, I'll take that. No, I tell you what, though, I take a punch for him. <laughs> you like Ronnie, right? I love Ronnie. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what are you doing with those chains? All right, thank you, this, Vinny. You know, it's... Ronnie is going to kill you, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was Will's didn't. idea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we had to save the bed. What can I tell you? <laughs> All right. Vinny, thank you very much, and I wish you luck with the film. And please come in when your film is released. We would like to talk to you about All right. it. All right. Thank and you. other things. Can I write some treatments and stuff and send them no, to Gary? Not no, not to me. No. Write Not to you, treatment. to Gary. Treatments. About, hey, what kind of treatment? I'll have readers? a good idea, but I can't well, talk about it anymore. How about you read his treatment if we can teabag and uh, put a penis in his face? Oh, that's good. No, that's quite that's, all right. That's I'll, I'll go my own route. Leave him alone. All right, boys, thank you. How, how would you think that there, you know, there's no trick to it? No, you know, we know there's a trick, but it's too obvious. It's too obvious. I'll put you in real... What? If I put them on you, you couldn't get out. Well, of course not. I don't, don't know the know trick. The trick. Right. I had to practice the trick for like a month, and Gary's treating me like a piece of shit, and I don't believe it. <laughs> it's just not good. You could have made it worse. I bet one of us could get out of it. No, Gary. You're not, a, you're not a piece of shit. You're just a I was afraid of getting balls stuck in my mouth. What do you expect? And a, all you know, all I'm not right. going to do Vinny, that. Vinny, thank you. And thank I'm not hollering. I'm just saying, though. I wish you, you luck. You know, Gary's my friend. I know him a long time. I know you guys a long time. Been coming on this show a long Vinny, time. we love you. And I just want a little respect, that's all. You got the respect. You, know? you got the respect. respect. <laughs> you got the respect. Yeah. Vin, you got the respect. You're a regular David Blaine, pal. <laughs> now get the fuck out of here. Maybe, well, yeah. You're a regular Cher, pal. And I like the bush on your mouth. Well, I think Ronnie took Ooh. care of those two for you. Thank you, Ronnie. Thanks, Ronnie. And I'm right behind you, Ron. Wow. Well, Ronnie, you made a new friend. The trick would be to get him out of there. About the only one I have, probably. <laughs> the trick would be to get him out of there. <laughs>
Ronnie, you He's all right? Going. You have uh, a lot of anger. So long, Robin. Bye, Vinny. So long, Fred. Take care, guys. Take Come on. Later, Vinny. Vin. All right. Ronnie taking Vinny out. <laughs> and thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you. What a silly show. <laughs> Howard, I've been listening for 20 years. I love you, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. Later. All right. <sighs> there go the boys in their thongs. What's that on Sal's oh, ass? No, there's a bunch of red stuff on his ass. I know, but Ronnie almost killed him. I know. Ronnie was choking him. I would have let that go for minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ronnie did exactly what a man should do if a guy comes up. <laughs> I mean, you know. He had his balls out. That was it. I'm trying to touch him with him. Someone comes over here. Guy could get choked doing that. (laughs) Guy could get killed doing that. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I didn't see Sal doing that to Shaggy too dope. Right. Come on, man. Vinny. What? That didn't go how you uh, had imagined it. Uh, It actually, actually. Hold up, talk to me. Get back up. Dude, I could never get out of those handcuffs that fast. I don't care what Gary Delabate says. If I didn't have that fear. So that, that pushed you along, the fact that balls and cocked I saw you telling him. What are you talking You're about? You're such Seeing these two guys instigate. with their balls and their Dude, dick hanging out. Dude, you never put dick near okay? me again like that. I swear I'll fucking kill you. you know? I will. I'll fucking kill you. What was, we'll yeah. totally I'm not kidding you. I'll fucking kill you. Don't ever put your dick in my ass like that he again. He had his balls by you. Yeah, but I didn't put him on him. Yeah, but you fucking, because you knew I wasn't looking. <laughs> and I heard the report, the disturbing report, that Teddy got mugged for his iPhone. Mm. Teddy... What does John call him Teddy Microphone? I, I don't know right. when that happened. Teddy just got married. Yeah, it turns out he was on the subway, and uh, uh, he says he he says like a pack of wolves, like seven guys descended on him and uh, tried to fight him. T- uh, grabbed his iPhone, and then he chased them, and they turned around and looked at him, and they said to him, hey, Teddy, or whatever. They knew him? No. They said, hey, look, guy. Stop chasing us! You're being foolish. Like they almost said, like, "What do you, what do you want to get yeah, your ass kicked?" Asking for trouble. And Teddy thought about it. And he said, "You know, maybe this guy's giving me good advice." But the the odd part of the story, and why I want to speak to Teddy, because this is upsetting to me. Teddy has one of those apps where he can track where his iPhone is, exactly where it is. He says, "Here it is. I know exactly where my iPhone is." And so he why called. Is he chasing them. Well, he called the police, and the police wouldn't do anything about it. He said, w- would you send the car over there and, and get my iPhone? There's been a crime. Well, this is horrible because obviously these people are predators. Yeah, I, I don't understand that. I mean, here we have the technology to get the guy's iPhone back and catch a bunch of marauders. Why would the police not? I, I, I don't understand his story. It doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense to me. I believe the police would go check it out. Why not? You know, they're doing the stop and frisk thing. This is obviously people yeah. who are up to no good. What, uh, Gary, when is Teddy coming so I can talk to him about this? Or is he uh, not here till late in the show? It's at around 8, Howard. 8. Do you know anything about that story? No, but uh, John Lieberman's here, and I, and I think so, you may have a couple of the facts wrong. Oh, all right. Uh, John, come on in. This is John Lieberman. He uh, he's made his bones on the Tim case where uh, Tim shit in the bathroom, and he uh, now we look forward to he, every report. He did DNA swabbing and all kinds of things, and all of a sudden he's like top reporter around here. He's, John Lieberman got eighteen on the ugly meter. App. Yeah, a lot going on around here. Yeah, and who so, knew? So Teddy went out drinking Sunday night with right. his new wife, right? And he ends up turned around on the C train in Manhattan, headed the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So he's headed to Brooklyn. Okay. He gets off the train. He's discombobulated. Next thing he knows, there's seven or eight guys poking at him, reaching in his pockets, trying to mug him. Right. They end up getting his iPhone out of his pocket. But they don't take his watch or his wallet or or anything. So far, I'm with you. I think I got the facts straight. Then he gets back home. And he calls the police, but the right. police say they want to come to his house right. and do the report and everything. But he was drunk and kind of out of it, oh, and said, that's, "said oh, that's why." Okay. Said, he "I don't, really you know, yeah. I don't, I don't feel like dealing with this right now." So then he uses the app on the iPhone to locate his phone, right. and he sees it sitting on Fulton Street in Brooklyn, right, 
for hours and hours, and then he wants to go back. Yesterday morning, he told us he wants to go back and find his phone. Vigilante style. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. And, and we advised him that it's probably not the best idea to well, do that. Well, why won't he... So, so the police are not at fault. They came over. No. They were ready to come right over, take the report, and get the phone for him, and he didn't do it. The police are not at fault. No, not, not at all. Not at all. Not That's at what all. I said, because it seems to me the cops would be all over this. Well, look, I mean, people well, get there. His, where is his iPhone now? Is he still is he still able to track it on his iPad? Yeah, he's still tracking it so on that why app. He, now, why won't he call the police now? Well, he says he was considering it. He says that he will call the police and actually go through and file the I report I mean, what, is he going to wait a month? I used to think right. Teddy was kind of a sensible guy. And that, that, that makes no sense to me. Well, then it's his fault. Well, he'd rather go out on his own and try and tackle these guys. And, and get killed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was saying back there yesterday, yeah, that he wanted to go and... Why don't you as a reporter go see who the guys are and interview the guys who took his phone? Well, people on Twitter were like, you know, go out and live tweet finding Teddy's phone <laughs> yeah. on oh, Fulton Street in Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, so... Do we do we know it's... where Teddy's phone is right now? We know exactly where it is. Yeah, we know exactly. We know we know approximately the block it's on in Fulton Street. It's sitting in some guy's apartment, blinking. Hey, while I got you here, yes, I mean th that story makes no sense to me. I don't understand it. I don't understand why he's not calling the police. But uh, can you imagine being that drunk? D no, I, I that mean you I, can't even. Call the police. You, how, can, you can't get involved. How drunk are people getting also? What, well, what is he that? did. Uh, the interesting thing is he did call the police, but once he found out it wasn't going to be a snap your finger process, well, I mean, they had to come they, out, yeah. write a report and everything like that. And he just said, you know what? I'm going to bed. I'll deal with it in the morning. Uh -huh. And then in the morning, he didn't deal with he it. He still hasn't dealt with it. That's just and, odd to me. I, I, that's a fascinating man. I would like to interview him about that. Well, I, I, I would also. I mean, was his wife with him? Yes, his new wife was with him, and uh, I believe that Sarah, Tim's assistant, was there as well. Right. Because they're all very friendly. Right. And it was, uh, you know, it was a party. It was a Sunday party. I understand they went to brunch, and they were drinking all day. And sometimes, you know, when you go the wrong way on the C train, you yeah, can I get mean, into trouble. I mean, you're so drunk, you don't know how to get home. Right. He probably, like, was out of it. So and, and not you know, one of them knew they were going the wrong way on the sea track. Well, it was just the two of them. It was just Teddy oh, and his see. wife at that point. And you know when these packs of gangs, these groups, I mean, they can smell blood. I mean, they could right. see that Teddy was drunk. No, they drunk can smell and, booze. Uh, yeah. And they can smell booze exactly. <laughs> so they pounced on their prey. They found a uh, you know that yeah. he was weak, and they got his iPhone. Yep. Luckily, he wasn't hurt. He had a little bruise on his head. But well, I still say you should call the police. He could easily get his phone back. Yeah, and the imbeciles who took the phone. Well, the longer he waits, the more ridiculous it is. Something's up with that story. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe it wasn't a pack of guys. Maybe it was one dude. And one little dude, and little Teddy's dude afraid and to say that he couldn't <laughs> I mean, defend what, himself. Wait, wait, why would you call the police for your phone? It's a seven hundred dollar phone. Teddy says he actually ran after the guys after they took his phone yeah. he ran after them and one of the guys said dude just go home right. almost like you know right don't no, what are you doing advice. yeah yeah you get your ass kicked yeah the thugs were giving teddy advice in uh -huh. his inebriated they felt state bad for him, right. yeah right. <laughs> yeah i think they felt so bad for him that's why they didn't take his wallet or his watch well yeah, that doesn't make sense to me either the wallet and the watch but, all right, I, I want to hear from him. Uh, but you bring him to me at some point. Okay, we'll give him a grilling. And I, and I believe you uh, covering the story when he goes to the police and, uh, and being part of the, the uh, chase down with the police, you would be yeah, terrific on, on that. Yeah, go on the ride. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. You'll be on the we'll ride. We'll be there for all of it. All right, real good. Okay, keep me posted. Oh, you know, while I got you here, let me ask you another thing. Sure. Did you do the Toe Fungus Gary report? I did not. That was a Lisa G. That's her beat. Lisa it's Gary's G. toe fungus. Gary's toes are Lisa's beat. Yes. Yeah, I got to tell you because uh, I was so curious when I heard that story because Gary was at my house over the weekend, and of course he goes in my pool, and I did. I noticed his toes looked absolutely horrible. He's I mean, got his fungus back. He had laser Yeah, treatment. I thought he had gotten rid of it, and it was like one of the toenails was like almost sticking up, like in a weird way, and look rotting. Ew. But on the on the report, it said that he put on some sort of cover up thing that makes his toes look normal, but they look nothing no like normal. Uh, what is he putting on his toes? There's some sort of medicine, and the medicine is administered by a thing you put over the nail, and when you put it on the nail, it makes your toe look normal. 
Why doesn't he get rid of this fungus? When you were at my house, was that before you put this new cover up on your nail? That is true. There's before. Oh man! But you I have, have to, saw I, I anything have to tell you, nastier or gnarlier than that toe. I think it's funny because they probably were. I've been at your house three, four summers in a row. This is the healthiest I've ever been. It's only really? it's only it's the one toe, one toe, and it's and. <laughs> but oh my God, Gary, that toe has some fucking look. I mean, it is. You cannot. <laughs> what does it look like? It looks like to me. I looked quickly because I didn't want to bum out. We were having a good time, and I and like I didn't want to concentrate. Like, but the whole time Gary's in my pool, I'm like, I hope that shit doesn't spread to me. It doesn't. You know, Mary and I. Mary and I had a long discussion. Mary's like, you've had this for like seven years now, right? And she she's like, we use the same shower and everything, and you know, you don't. Get, I don't think. I mean, it can spread that way, but I think I got it from. From I don't know, like sweat in the socks or running. That's what the podiatrist said. No, it's unbearable to look at. And uh, Gary's toe—it's the big toe. I don't know which foot it's on. Both. Both. The big. So it's the one toe on each foot. That's right. I looked at one. I went, oh, I looked away. (laughs) And then uh, because I was talking again, we had a good time, right, Gary? And uh, the toe, the big toe. And then it looks almost like the nail is lifting off the foot and it's sticking almost straight up in the air. It's weird. Yeah, I think you must have glanced and seen that, but that's not what it looks like. What does it look like? It's just discolored. You want to show it's, it? No, it's, but doesn't it stick? It's no, like all it's, not, thi- it's, it's not, super not, thick. No, it's not any longer. You know, I keep them trimmed. It's not any longer. It's not sticking up. It's just it's discolored. It's not bubbly. Should we see it? It's well, like, now, it, now you would know because now it's been, I had this weird process where... It's cosmetically covered up. It's cosmetically covered up, but the cosmetic stuff that they use is also has medicine in it that's treating it. Oh. I mean, can you imagine what this is? They've been treating this thing for like for years. It can't I've, be killed. I've had yeah. friends who have had this for, I've had friends who have had it for 10, 15 years. It won't stop. I've, I've had um, the laser treatment three times, and, which got wow. rid of everything. But the one toe. But the, but the one toe. Why is this toe so... Uh, I don't know, Robin. You're a nurse. Tell me. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> you never saw anything like it. And you're saying it looks normal now with this thing on it? It looks more normal. In other words, if you stared at it, you could tell that there's something going on. But if you I glanced at it, I guarantee you, Gary's nail is thicker than a normal na- normal nail. It's bubbly, like almost oh. like like it's. Well, you can't tell now that it's covered. I you bet you think the cover is good. I bet you the cover's bad. But Remember, he thought his teeth like looked his good. His teeth used to be good, right. and they were terrible. I mean, my God. It's not bubbly. It's just discolored. It's yellow. I think it's more than discolored. I think it looks. It again. It looks I will rotting. I will tell you that it's the, that it's the, they were in the best shape they've ever been in. I hear that, but the one. But, but I'm toe, saying you've seen them three years in a row and you didn't I seem understand. to notice. I understand. Oh, I noticed. I, Don't worry. Notice like this. But this one. This looked. Cra- this this looked scared like, you. <laughs> this looked like from Mars. This isn't even the worst. This isn't even the worst case I've ever seen. Like like mine are mild. Compared to others, first of all, the bottom of each of the toe is healthy. It's just the top part. It's like half the. By nail. the way, why can I have a discussion with you about this, but Ronnie can have a discussion about know. anything? I well, don't. Know. I just find Ronnie. He's such a good guy, but he's a, something in in the way he grew up or something. He's immediately combative. I think he must have been picked on or something. And you like, know what I, I was thinking yesterday too mm-hmm. that he doesn't understand the term defensive because every time <laughs> you say Ronnie, why are you being so defensive? He goes, I'm not defensive. I said good morning to him out there, and he grunted. Right. He grunted like a Neanderthal or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's very upset. You can't even say good morning to the guy no, anymore. Nah, he's he's uh, he's. <laughs> he was. I, I got to tell you, uh, yesterday we spoke to him on a wrap up show. Yeah. And John and I got off the wrap up show. It was the first time where we, dis- you know, John and I we sort of recap. Right. And we were like. I think we felt sorry for him. He seemed very defeated. He's a confused guy. And he seemed very upset, and, yeah. and, and, and he seemed really shaken in in a sad kind of way. <laughs> really? He, well, he thinks everyone's out to get him, he but he's does. paranoid. His button is when anybody says anything about his lifestyle, like when Scott DePace questioned the going out with strippers, when the uh, psychology guy questioned the swinger lifestyle, that's his re- Achilles heel. When yeah. anybody... When anybody questions the way he's decided to live his life, that seems like he just explodes. And Howard, nuts, yeah. and, and, and at dinner last night, you know, Lucas was here for the wrap-up show yesterday, so he saw a lot of what went on with Ronnie. Right. And at dinner last night, like Lucas was really upset in the sense that what he he doesn't know the show, so what he got was that there was a guy that came to the wrap-up show, Ronnie, who he's met before, who seemed very sad, who seemed <laughs> who seemed like he was going to quit his job because he was so upset about the, about the way you talk about him. And Lucas was like, is Ronnie going to leave? Is he going to quit? Because he just seems so upset, and uh, it was very upsetting to so him. Ronnie upset Lucas. Well, not there on purpose. You go. 
You upset Lucas. I, just, I didn't what? do that. What? 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 What do I have? Who are you to me? I don't have to fucking say hello to you in the morning. I didn't say you have to say yeah, hello. Well, I, am I too. see you out there and I say good morning. And I said yeah. And well, a normal said, yeah, person can you? just say good morning like everybody I didn't else grunt. out there. Fucking open your ears. You did grunt. I said yeah. Uh, you? you were down tweeting. I don't you have go. To fucking talk to you. Who no, the fuck are you? Put you, your goddamn jacket on. You don't have to talk to me. You're right. Put your jacket on. Were you really bummed out on the wrap-up show, or were hey, you dude, just putting? Hey, dude, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking break with you and 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 beat all I over doing? my case, you know. First of all, let bringing me these something. fucking douchebags in here to fucking rip my ass all apart. Do you think? You know first what? Of all, I don't really care anymore. You do what you want. But can I say oh something though? My defense. Be my guest. Okay. Gary said to me with the ugly app, there's a guy who developed an <laughs> oh, ugly app. But I'm going to take it No, but I'm going to take it through the history because I don't believe you're, the extent of your paranoia. You're I so, spoke Look, you've I got spoke, a problem. I spoke you've to got real, a problem. I spoke to real police yesterday. Real guys that heard this bullshit. Yeah. This guy, they hear guys like this every day of the week in the police academy, and they know nothing. Okay, They're right. fucking book smart. That's all they are. They never spent a day on the fucking street. They don't know about security working with people. Okay. Fuck him. Okay. Okay? Fair enough. And fuck Wolfie, too, because half of that <laughs> shit that was in that thing was written by him. He knows all... They all Gary, know about Wolfie the show. Write any of okay? That? That you know of? I'm telling you, Wolfie sent me an email this morning. And Fuck he, Wolfie. And I, I don't want to hear oh about God. Wolfie. But hold on, Ronnie, he Fuck said to me, him. He said if he's a smirking face piece of <laughs> shit. Oh, <dear>. Okay? <laughs> Fuck can, can, him. Can Gary get out of sentence? No. Oh. <laughs> he, w Wolfie just said, I fuck, fuck Wolfie. <laughs> no, go ahead. What did Wolfie say? I'm curious. He said, I swear to you. Oh, yeah. I he, met this guy. Swears. And he did a profile. He goes, I would, in, in no way, shape, or form, did I write what he, what this guy, the profiler had to say. Look, and he also I don't said, believe. Club I don't foot, him I don't, and his club foot shoes and shit. He, what fuck about a club him? foot? I have no idea. What oh, he's talking. Club foot club shoes foot. he wears. What are you talking about? That fucking guy was in here. He's a fucking douchebag. But I mean, listen. The profiler? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, that's about? what I'm talking about. The profiler. But, but listen. The guy who listened to the show since 1985. That's how he knows about everybody here. Yeah. Fucking well, asshole. But I mean, he I said, could write the same profile. But Ronnie, here's my point about you. What are you looking at? <laughs> well, you're <laughs> exploding. Your you're, you're about to explode out of your suit. Ron, try to follow me on this. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But the guy said really weird things about me too but i listened and i didn't Good. explode i'm because, happy for you man i mean it's true i wear condoms and he's saying that i have an intimacy issue with my wife that's pretty insulting but, but you've talked about that on the air and so have you that's what i mean this you've talked this about guy, security is, a million so times does, so how does this no i so, don't no i don't but we everyone I don't knows you're the security guy about what my fucking credentials are or anything else you don't do that kind of shit but you, you keep get so your angry. You keep your mouth shut. You get, you're the only one who gets stand, angry. I'm going to stand here with my hand on my heart now. What the fuck is that? He, I don't know. You, you get so angry, though. So say to the guy, hey, I don't fuck believe that. Fuck him. I don't have to come in and fucking patronize him. Fuck I, him. And I heard the wrap-up show. Do you really think that I orchestrated the ugly app so that you would get a 0.0? I didn't say anything about the ugly app. You said it app, on, yes, the app, on the app, uh, on the wrap-up show. You said in the wrap-up show that you thought that, not that Howard orchestrated, but that it was orchestrated against you. I said that a long time ago. So I every, didn't have to say but, it on the wrap-up show. So you think show. every bit is orchestrated it, I about you. No, but I you said it back then, dude. He thinks every bit is orchestrated. Ronnie Why believes that every him? bit. Yeah, because you know, you know it fucking riles my ass up. I had no idea that you'd yeah. get a 0, 0. Whatever, dude. I don't care. How, How could anybody predict that? You know what? That? I'm going out yeah. in the hall. I'm doing my thing. Yeah, because you, you can't handle it. Yeah, right. I can't handle Howard, it. Howard, can I make a can't crazy. No, because these guys are full of shit. Somebody tweeted last night that yellow book, security for dummies. And Ronnie retweeted it. Ronnie Man, retweeted it. Handbook. He said, "This is my handbook. That's it's one of those right. yellow you know security what? for dummies book." Can I finish? It was for securities it was for fucking. What are you getting so close to me for? It was for the fucking stock market. It wasn't even real securities. Oh, securities. Yeah, yeah. So securities, exactly, not security. Read the fucking. I was getting to that, but you started right. to attack Fuck me. Fuck you! I didn't attack you. Put your jacket on. What are you doing without a jacket? This was an impromptu visit with, in the studio. Don't come here without a jacket. Oh I wasn't right. planning right, to come in. Well, can I, Howard, come can in I just make one jacket, small point? You know? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you look okay. like a bum. Ronnie on the rapper show yesterday said that that they singled him out. I said, well, why would Wolfie single you out? He said, because it's good radio. And I made the point that they profiled Fred and wouldn't 
Making He's afraid fun of, of Fred. Wouldn't making fun of Fred, Fred might kill be him. good radio as well, but they didn't. Your right. security training has taught you that, Ronnie. They're afraid of Fred. <laughs> and then he's got a, a, an explanation. Well, I mean, you had a meltdown on the wrap-up show. I had no I idea. I didn't have a meltdown. You sounded like uh, Lucas. I didn't have any fucking meltdown. You scared Lucas. No, I didn't scare Lucas. You scared small children. I wasn't even yelling, Something's dude. going on, because the past week, you've been... Yes, yesterday, Don't I asked you about, about your me. new... I asked you about your new car, and you jumped down my throat. Don't, oh, it's not your business. He has some kind of new pace car it's all paint, your, all painted what? up it's not that my sources business. told me your sources and I, told me and I, I know who your fucking source is. There's a one. There's one source here that knows about it. Who? So I know who your source is. Who is, is the I'm source? Not, I'm not revealing. You it. don't, because I have multiple sources <laughs> yeah, on this. Multiple one. sources. So talk about your painted up pace car. None of your fucking business. What do you mean a pace it's car? It's none of your fucking business. Ronnie, what is a pace car? The, what, you mean like none a of track? your fucking business, dude. You're talking about a pace car that keeps uh to tra at the track. You have you have a that pace car. Don't worry about what I have. Wow. I'm not talking what about What do you know about We this? break news. This yeah. is what I'm telling you, what Howard. Is it? You don't even know what it is. You I, fucking come to, come to me yesterday and try and pull it out of me and I won't tell you shit. Because I'm not going to give up my source. Business. I'm not going to give up everything I know. Source. That Fuck you have him. some crazy Fuck color painted up. Yeah, crazy. No. Pace car yeah, I had in your garage. like that, right? You stupid ass motherfucker. Well, then explain <laughs> what it is. Why are you I'm not explaining anything to you, man. I don't have to. Are you now an owner of a pace car? Don't worry what I am. What do you mean? I'm asking you I'm as a friend. I'm not telling you. I'll tell you off the air. I don't have to tell you anything on the air anymore. Wow. Wow. We. And then you threatened me yesterday with the block party. Oh, you want to be part of the show? But you want your block party? Is then that you a threat? Better, then you better talk. Is that a threat? Yeah. No, you, I never said that. You're basically telling me that, Gary? if I'm not part of the sh if I don't. No, I never told you. Oh, Again, yes, you you're did. paranoid. Yeah, I'm I paranoid. said to you. If, like you tell Lisa G, you want to be part of the show, and then sometimes you don't want to be part of the I'm show. I'm part of the show Either all the time. Don't fucking out. tell me that, But man. you can't talk I've to taken you. more shit around no this fucking place. No one can talk place. to you anymore. Between me and Gary, we took more shit in this place than anybody else. Well, Gary uh, Gary's takes more shit. Gary's not on your side. I Gary? don't care if Gary's on my side. I'm just I making, ask Gary about I'm his disgusting a, I'm toe. A I'm making a statement. I ask Gary about his disgusting toe. He doesn't freak out. I'm not freaking out. I don't. I don't have to. You tell are my freaking personal out. Business, you're okay? freaking out. I'm not freaking Someone out. Someone asks you about your car and you're yeah. freaking out because he's an idiot. What is it? What is? It? Why is there? Why, a why the personal why attacks? There, why is there a story in there? So you're calling why, me an idiot? Because I bought a fucking car. Why is so there? So you're a calling story me an idiot? I asked you about it too. What? I asked you too. What's a pace car? I don't oh, talk. So I'm an idiot too. Then I guess you're calling me an idiot. Whatever. Thanks. Nice. Call me an idiot. Yeah. I mean, these personal attacks idiot. are really Look, unwarranted. The things you fucking called me over the past fucking two years. I haven't said years? anything. Oh please, you, you put me down like I'm a fucking piece of shit on the street. Uh, yesterday I didn't you put you down put for me a minute. down, man. You love it. When you love put, doing it. Name something where I put you down. <laughs> you just called me an idiot. So yeah, what do you? Whatever, what? dude. Uh, because yeah. you don't have an example. I have plenty of examples. I've only treated you nicely. I have plenty of examples. No, you don't. Name one. I have plenty of examples. Give me an example. You're always fucking making fun with the security thing. I didn't say anything. Always. The guy, always, the guy man, profiled you. Fucking put you. me down constantly. The guy profiled oh, you. My, my security guy is fucking half the size of me. Oh, I never made I a height joke. How do I have a fucking guy like that with Did me? Did I make the height jokes? I'll Dude, I've heard it a million uh, times. I don't, I don't think, make. I don't know. No, I, don't I don't make the high jokes. Times, I mean, everybody. From me, I've heard does. it a million times. All from right. you. everyone around here does. You don't hear it from me. Yeah, okay. I'm paying you and hiring you, and you're saying and I'm you're putting making, you down. And you're making fun of me too, all at the same no, time. No, I'm not. It makes no sense. I but never okay. made high jokes. That's why I'm here. Go find one. Go find a high joke. I found him. Ever since I, we had the I roast. I can't believe he's this sensitive. Oh, I'm he's very so, sensitive, You should have heard him Robin. on the wrap-up show. He sounded very like a crazy sensitive. man. Yeah I'm a, yeah, I'm a lunatic. You sound like a lunatic. A crazy man. Can I ask man. you about the car? It, 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 no, you... fuck him. I don't have to fucking answer him. What the hell is this? Do you that... hate everyone here who asks What's you it? questions? No. It's What's... not like I asked you some no. incriminating question. Here, let me show I you how asked... he does it. Let me have this. That doesn't work. He walked. I don't. No, no. Oh, okay, I just ahead. want to sh a, a uh, little demonstration. Uh, Ronnie's holding a microphone. Okay. He, he wants to. This is radio. Ronnie. He walks up to you and he goes. He <laughs> sticks this in your fucking mouth like this. He Go goes, ahead. Well, that's what's, this, what's this I hear about this new car you got? Right. So what'd you say? Mind your business. It's none of your business. <laughs> no, actually, you said something much more profane than that. Like what? Get the fuck out of my face. I don't have to tell you about my car. Yeah, exactly. Why can't you just say... Uh, I do don't... I ask you about your car? Ronnie, why can't you just say I don't feel like talking about it? I do. You, that doesn't work with him. You just say, excuse me, I don't want to talk it about it. It doesn't work with him. No, I stay on it. And, because he, and he stays on it with that thing. He sticks it in your mouth if like, it's it's, an issue, like it's somebody's cock. If it's right. an issue that people back there are talking about, I heard you. Moron. <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if this is an issue that people back I there sure are talking about... Me. 
then I am right, entitled to ask man. him about it. He's the newsman. He's got to ask. It's and not news. But it is why, true. You got a news. pace car? People it's back news. there why are you talking about this. I'm not this? embarrassed. Why won't you talk about I your pace car? I ain't fucking embarrassed. Why won't you talk about your it's pace fucking, car? It's a great fucking car. It's a so tell item, us about okay? it. No, I don't want to tell you about it. Because it's the way you handle it. When you walk up to somebody and say, hey, listen, hey, Ronnie, you know, I just heard something about from somebody that you got this really cool car. No. Instead, you walk up and shove this cock in my mouth and go... Cock? <laughs> when yeah. did it become a cock? He well, loves. Do you he, think it looks like a cock to you? And, and you think that's right, and he's tempting me with his cock. That's his cock. This so you want cock. me to get another microphone that does that isn't a phallic symbol? Is that what you say? I talk to Lisa all the time. She doesn't walk around with that thing. But you stick it in everybody's Well, that's because you have ulterior motives. So Lisa yeah. says you bought a pace car. Do you go to the track with it? No. What you drive it around town? It's a car. It's a regular car, but what does it have? Stickers all over it? It doesn't have stickers all over it. What does it say on it? How does one distinguish it it's a, that it's a pace car? Because it says it. It says pace car. It, Indianapolis 500 pace car. Now, mm. now, this is a car that you drive around in every day? No, when I feel like taking it out. Is this in addition to your other cars? Or yeah. It is? Yeah. It's and, a collector's item. It has collector's insurance on it, everything. Now, what's it's not special like it's about a, a pace car in, in the sense that it's... They only made 500 of them in that year. And why do you like this so much? Because I car. like cars, okay? Do you feel you that like, people... You like your things? Yeah. I like cars. Do people that feel... That bothered you too, I know that. No, I'm asking... <laughs> I didn't do anything. I'm you were doing so you. good, Ronnie, yeah. up until the hab. Do, do you no, feel you, people will no, think you're... No, I feel shit coming on. No, you know? I'm asking I'm you... I'm paranoid, But remember? let it come on. Don't just yeah. anticipate I it. Say, do you feel people will think you're in the race car business no, if you drive a pace car? No, I don't care what they think. It, but doesn't it appear that you're in the race car business? No. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the only question okay, I had. Good. Do you wear a jumpsuit? Yeah, I wear a jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wear a jumpsuit, a crash helmet, a helmet racing gloves. With a microphone. I don't know so anything in about... with my pit crew. I don't know. Is this common that people drive around in pace cars? No. Yeah, they, they, they make 500 of them. It's a collector's item. People like to buy them because they're really into the... It, it, I'm it, like Jay Leno. You know, I, have, a, I collect a, cars. It's Why a replica you, of the car that was actually used maybe that year. Oh, it's at, a replica. Yeah, yeah it's not, it wasn't actually used at the Indianapolis 500. They made right. 500 of them. I see, and, and it's a special thing to walk it's around a with a pace edition car. car, right? And it says "pace car" on it. Yes, yeah. and that's, and then people will look at it you. Has, and, yeah, it draws it a lot of attention when you're driving oh, it down so the street. That bothers but. you too. Your hair draws a lot of attention too. You know that, right? Your hair? Yeah, his hair. He's got you know this whole thing going on. He don't, won't admit he dyes his hair. Do you everybody dye, knows, everybody dye knows it, but okay. Ronnie, he he's just trying to push my buttons. No, do you dye no. Let me tell. I, I, do you like to push unequivocally my do not. Down? I unequivocally do not you like dye to my push hair. My fucking and buttons, Mister M26. He says, and he look he how doesn't. defensive he gets. Look how gray it is on the side. There's no gray. Your fucking eyes are popping out of your fucking look head. Look how gray it is on the sides. <laughs> okay. If I yeah, you dyed leave a little it, bit. that's the whole idea. Look you are not going to rile me up, Ronnie. Look at my mustache. Look how gray I leave in it. You're scaring me <laughs> with your laugh and the fact you're so close. Listen to me. Uh, if I use the product that you claim I you use... You don't like that I'm close? How about when you stick that black thing in my mouth, huh? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> if I used hair yeah. color, it would be a much yeah. better color. No. It is gray on the side. No, you try to make it more natural looking, but, you know, you're not doing I a good job. I swear on a good my job. child, I don't dye my hair. Well, there you go. So there you go, Ronald. Are, are yeah. we done? No. No. You are always attack. You you came in here. How is it me. attacking I was out you? Out there minding my fucking Ronnie, business. How is it attacking okay? you? Oh, wait, here's uh, here's Wolfie. He'll, let's find out. I'm not talking to him. Hey Wolfie, how no, you I'm doing? leaving for this part. What is it, Wolfie? Oh, Sorry. Here he goes. Sorry. Oh, yes. you're such a baby. Yeah, Just I'm a listen baby. To Wolfie. Yes, I am. So what do you have to say? Maybe he wants to apologize to, to no, you. No, not him. He's a smirk, <laughs> fucking smug. Yeah, Ronnie, smirky, you're smug so bastard. To, to think yes. That I spend any of my time yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because Wolfie's you wanna, point is, Wolfie, no one... you want to be so part of this show, Wolfie. I know you would do anything to get hey, your hey, airtime. That That's you why you brought the fucking guy in here yesterday. Why I'm, did you listen to Wolfie? I don't want to listen to him. I'm, I'm going to talk right over him. Why? I really don't give why a shit about I give nothing, no shit about Wolfie. When we do our block party shows, he covers it in Pennsylvania. He only talk, he'll only turn in interviews that talk bad about me. That's Ronnie, fuck you, Wolfie. You think, Wolfie, you go I and edit, fuck yourself, you man. I, I don't is? give a shit what you say. You I don't care what you say, Wolfie. Wolfie. I really Wolfie, don't care. Did you? Did you? Uh, 
Did did you write what the profiler said? He about doesn't have to. Everybody knows what he fucking said. Wait Every, a second. It's it's Wolfie, air. Talk, it's been talked about on well, the can air. Can I ask him a question? No, I can't ask no, him a question. No, it's a fucking waste of time, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everything that guy said yesterday. Okay, we've talked. Everybody's talked about it on the air, right from down from KC being whatever he was. KC, you don't think he was right about KC? Every, that's what I mean. Everybody knew that. Right. I, he right. wasn't saying anything. And we talked, about, and we talked about it on the air. He that crazy. You, you know? are a paranoid baby, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, well, you said that yesterday, too, Wolfie, okay? Like you just so want to be here so bad, you know? I understand Bobby, it now. I, I, I understand I, it, Wolfie. Wolfie, it's fine. I, I, I'm, gla I'm glad you got in here yesterday. I'm very happy for you. Wolfie, but, but you know what? You're not here every day, and I know you're going to cry about that. So Wolfie, it's fine. I don't. I don't need to be. There oh, you do day, need Ronnie. to be here. You need to be here in the worst way because I know you beg for a job here. Yeah, I know you I beg for a job. You beg for a job here, Ronnie. Wolfie. Up there? You beg for it. Ro Robbie, I you beg here. for it, dude. <laughs> he, won't let Ron he won't let Wolfie talk. No. You what is that? Is that your thing? You, beg you, you I filibuster. filibuster. You you talk over everyone. Is that your thing? What? So that yeah, it's okay for him to fucking walk all over. Secure. Me. Well, yeah, let, I am well let's hear what okay. he's got to say. I don't want to hear what he's got to say. I don't care. That's the whole I thing. I care. Well, good. Then you can listen to it. I don't have to listen to it. Why do I have to stand in and listen to something I don't want to listen to? <laughs> Why? Uh, Why I do know. I have to listen to it? I don't have an it? answer for that. I could All be right. in my pace call. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, All right, Wolfie. All right. I can't hear what you're saying anyway. So Have a good day, Wolfie, and you'll uh, Mary keep trying from to Brooklyn. get a job here. Mary Ann from Brooklyn, you're on the air. <laughs> Hi, Howard. This is the best ever. Ronnie, you know I love you, Howard. He stands up. He's sixty something years old. He watches your back at AGT. I'm watching him from the box. I don't have a problem with him. He can't communicate with anyone. A guy comes I in here. Okay, fine. Ronnie, Ronnie can't handle talking to anybody. I, I never want to talk like it. It's old school. He was born like he's more like my age, and he feels very defensive. And like I think everyone's sort right. of picking on him. Maybe you're right, I Joe. Go ahead. You're on the air. <laughs> Ronnie, you are such a baby. Yes, I am. Of yeah, course. Ronnie, here, here, here's my point. Go ahead. Man, you bust balls around there nonstop. Somebody. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Up, I bust know, balls talk, around here? Yeah. How do I bust balls around here? You're constantly joking with people and playing around. There you go. Yeah. Joking. There you go. No, joking. you walk up to people, you tell them to fuck off, and then you, yeah, say, and you say you're joking. But the people don't know you're joking. Oh, they don't. Please. They know me uh, long enough. You bust here. balls. Yeah, okay. Everybody busts balls around here. Well, everybody. So you should take it a little bit. And I, I don't do think that guy it. yesterday was I busting balls. I take it balls. from the people around here. I don't have to take it from outside people, dude. I take it what? from you. I take it from everybody here. Nobody gets their balls. Uh, is this busted. a case that you can take you you can dish it out, but you can't no, take it? No, that's bullshit. I I take it. You you mm -hmm. can't tell me I don't take it. All right, let's go to Clayton. That's horseshit. Clayton, what do you have well, to you say? You don't take it gracefully. No, maybe I don't, but I take it. You got to calm down. You got yeah. a fucking heart attack. Yeah, no, Clayton, I'm gonna go blow in the eyeball. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, now I see why your eyeballs are blowing <laughs> yeah. out of your head. Clayton, exactly. go ahead. Hey, Ronnie, you got the '82 vet, or you got the uh, Buick Grand National? Neither one, dude. It's the oh, Camaro. Come on now. Neither one. I'm it, serious. It uh, looks like a Corvette to me, the one I well, just saw. Well, that one, yeah, he says he doesn't I'm saying have. it's a Corvette, Roddy, but um, it's not 82. Oh, Roddy, it's a Corvette. I'm, I'm sticking up, Ronnie, I'm sticking up for you. It's a and very it's not, sharp car. By the way, by it's the way, very, it's a very, very sharp It's car. not 82 pace car. It's a 78 pace car. The wow. Car. Okay, that's uh -huh. a, that's a, a No, not mine, but I'm just saying the pace car he's talking about is not an 82. It's a 78. Silver and black, two-tone. Ronnie, are you upset with the source... For telling Thanks, John Howard. Lieberman about your car, you know what? Uh, it's part of the deal around here. You I know. Think you I know, know who, you know who it, is. it is. I know. I definitely know who it is. Who? Who is it? I'm not saying. Who do you think it is? I definitely know who it is. Who do you? I'm wondering. Is it uh, I, Richie? Uh, I didn't. Say, I'm Wilson? not saying anything. I just said I definitely know who it is. Richie Wilson. I didn't say anything. I'm asking you. Who's the source? I. So you don't why? know. Because you would identify. Okay, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't. Said it was not me. Was not Richie? Well, no. did not say where. I didn't say it was Richie. It was did multiple was sources anyway. I didn't say it was Richie. It was multiple sources anyway. Well, Who good, are you suspecting? Good for you. I'm Who, not, why are you not telling me that? I don't care. I care. I don't care. Who do you suspect? I don't suspect anyone. Uh, so maybe don't, you don't really know. I don't really know. You're right. I don't. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know. Don't oh, know. Oh, wow. Boy, oh boy, you worked up. Yeah, I'm worked up. Mm. 
I mean, I've never seen you this worked up. Yeah, well. I mean, I, I, it's unbelievable. And when the things it, you said it, it about fucking, me it were fucking terrible. bothers me when a fucking retard comes in here with club feet and fucking tries to rip my fucking <laughs> ass apart about the job I do. He knows nothing about the job I do and how I handle people, really handle people when we're in a situation. So he can go fuck himself. Do you think He never handled a situation in his life. He Here's a note I just got. Ronnie talked about the pace car at his last party and John Lieberman was there. So what, what who needed a source? I don't know. I and actually don't remember yeah, hearing so about maybe it I there. Did talk about it that day. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. He's my source. <laughs> Let me see. What Let is me that? see if that's the right picture, guys. Is that Ronnie's I'm pace car? Let is me see it? it. Is that your pace car? Let me see it. <laughs> pace car. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, Absolutely not. Nope. Can you imagine him driving around in his pace car? <laughs> How often do you do that? I'd like to see that. When, a, when the sun shines. Yeah, but tonight's day, you take it, it out. Come out in the rain or the, it'll never come out in the rain do or the you, snow. Do you drive it at high speeds? No, absolutely not. When, when do you, how fast can your pace car go? It must be able to go very quick. It's a Corvette. It goes as fast as a Corvette goes. What's have, the top speed it can go? I have no idea. I never tried it. Have you used it on any bridges and tunnels in the city? What? Um, have you driven it oh, into what, any you tunnels? Go cameras? Yeah. No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Because I never even... It came from Kentucky and it came on a truck. So I've never brought it across a bridge yet. Okay? Was it delivered to your home? Why is that... Well, look, at, look at you. Your fucking eyes are popping out of your head. Why is that so interesting to you? Was it delivered to my home? No, it was, somebody dropped it in the middle of the street somewhere and left it there. And they called me and said, oh, your car is in the middle of the street. Wow, Go get it. Wee, what is oh, wrong man. with you? He's a, he's, he I'm a reporter. Howard, I he do does details. Howard 100 yeah. News. Well, then why don't you work on your details? He does. Because obviously... Did, did, Ron, Ron. You're not he working does on Howard, your details. He does Howard 100 But he's 100 not news. working on his details. He is. He's asking you. If he had a story, he should have came in here with the, all the details, pictures, everything. Well, he's asking everything. you. He's He's not a fucking reporter. Well, he's not going to go to your Bring home and Steve spy. Langford back. He got fired from his job. You're telling him. He needs a job. Bring him back, will you please? Oh, you're now you're trying to get me fired. <laughs> go pack your fucking bags. Now you're I trying to get me fired. The other day. I told you that. <laughs> oh, I told you that. Goodness. I'm going to get your bags packed. I don't for think you. it's your place to a, f even suggest to fire me. You're right. not my boss. That's right. Look how upset you are. You look like you're going to cry. What? Look at you. <laughs> look at you. You're all upset. You can't right, take because it. I don't. You I don't want it? my reporting question. I don't want my reporting question. Oh my God! I don't. Oh, Did I not have a story? No, you have no story. It is a story. You, don't you have, have a pace car. You have no details. You don't even know what fucking color it is. Why do what I need to know what color it is? You don't want him spying on you. Because you're going. Because you're going around there. You, oh, is it orange? Is it pink? Is These are black? called questions. Reporters ask questions, Ronnie. Yeah. He doesn't know all the answers. He well, has a source. You. Before, before he comes in and makes a statement, he should have the details. What? He's a reporter. Mm -hmm. But he's asking you. You're well, the guy who wants the fucking car. Telling him shit. Him Look, I'm if not going to break I, down I, the I fundamentals of how to be a reporter for I you. If, okay? <laughs> If I won't tell him the details, <laughs> isn't it oh his God, job? All right. Wait, wait. Listen, this is crazy. Is it in this his is job? crazy. This is, is crazy. It in his job to go out? If I won't give him the details, Ronnie, a report, he's not going to go you spy him. on you. Dude, he's, it's not. He's well, not now I might. He just asked you a couple of questions. You're getting so fucking defensive. Let don't. me guess. You want a portion of the guy's book proceeds from yesterday, right? Just like you want no, some don't of want, the ugly dude, app guys. I don't want proceeds. anything from him. Believe me. Listen. At the last thing I wanted something from him. I have to go back to work and work. Put your jacket on. Go find out what color my car is. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Do some work. You really want me... Do some work. Go ahead. Sounds like a challenge. Yes, you'll have to break into my garage then. And then you'll go to jail. <laughs> there are other ways. You'll go to jail. There are other ways. You'll go to jail. He's going to sit out and watch and, and, and with a camera and, and photograph you. He, you don't want that. I got people everywhere. He's going to stay. <laughs> you got out. people nowhere. <laughs> Brian, go people ahead. People everywhere. <laughs> uh, listen, will Lisa G please fuck Ronnie? <laughs> By the way. Uh, I'm pent up. <laughs> I would love to uh, have that all go down, too, because that would be great. All right, thank you, Brian. Th listen, Ronnie, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank Enjoy you, uh, John day. Lieberman. Uh, Have a nice one. I still say John's a great reporter. I'm sorry, Ronnie. That's good. I'm glad. All right. I'm happy for you. Wow, we that was some interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's amazing. Oh my God. Oh yeah. 
Anyway, I was trying to tell you about Gary's toe fungus, but <laughs> I do right. have to That's, do that. got gobbled up in the run. Wow. I'm sure it did. What is it, Carl? Hey, hey, Howard. Ronnie's a bitch, man. Who flies off the handle like that as a security professional? I think you got, <laughs> got off-duty cops with you. He would get rolled up in a heartbeat. He'd get that handlebar mustache punched right off that fucking face. If something really happened, man. Thank God you got real cops with you. All right. Listen, Carl, thank you. Thank you. Right. running back in here screaming. Uh, 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 what is it, Gary? That's uh, that's the car. Oh, that's Ronnie's car? It's got more than a decal on it. Oh, my God. It's no, a whole thing. No, those cars are really painted up. Official pace car. And then it's got Corvette written across the glass. Because I forget what Everything kind of car it is. Everything but name is on the car. Yeah. Fred, you, you are into cars. Do you understand this at all? I, you... I don't get the whole indie car thing at all. Right. I, mean, I think it kind of looks retarded. Personally. You think it's silly for a guy that I age to be driving around? Yeah. I mean, he's got that in his garage now. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, it's like an adult version of like a Power Ranger or something. What does a thing like that cost? Is that an expensive? Know, it's nice funny. Piece it, of change. it is because they probably get you when it when it comes out. I don't know the collectability on those cars. To be perfectly frank with you, but some of them don't necessarily go for any more than a regular. I think there's collectability because it's one of five hundred. So if you can find someone who's interested in it, then they probably right. It pay has a to be more. the same kind. But of the only thing I think that makes it distinctive Ronnie has. are the decals. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to drive around with stuff written all over my car. But I don't even want to have like a vanity plate. Right. But and the whole that. thing is when somebody, when you drive around in a car like that, everybody's looking at it, wondering what it is. Well, also, they're driving, you're driving around and people are assuming you're something tied in with the race car community. Well, right? sometimes you don't even, you know, because I, I always see, you know, guys with race cars uh, on a flatbed as they're coming to and from races. And everybody on the road is looking at the car. Right. Well, Ronnie will be driving this thing. So everybody will be looking right. at Ronnie. That's and what he And won't they wants. assume he's a race car driver of some kind? Well, when you look at him, you're... Yeah, I'm right. racing in the <laughs> HOV <laughs> lane. sure that's not the case? All right. No, but I mean, it, it's sort of uh, like if I... It, it assumes involvement. It's like sort. if I wore a David Letterman jacket. You would you would think that I worked on the David Letterman show, right? Right. But and you then like people would walk up and go, "Oh, what do you do on the David Letterman show?" I go, I don't do that. I like the jacket. That's a perfect example because you could buy those in the gift shop next to Letterman. Right. Right. But I don't think Tony Stewart is driving around in a pace car. That's what I mean. Probably like like, like that would be like me driving around in a um, uh, I don't know or, a or milk so, truck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Are you right. a milkman? You're a milkman, no, aren't you? I just worship milkmen. <laughs> your, your information. Yeah, I am like a brony with that, a Corvette. Is your, that the car? For your information, okay? Is this the car? Tony Stewart yeah. owns a bunch of cars like that. He does? He collects He doesn't them. drive around in them. Yes, but, he does. But he's a race driver. But he yeah, belongs but this, in one of those. Yeah. That's what he does for a living. Yeah, he tells you, you that, that, Ronnie. What are you talking about? In other words, let's say I like the milkman industry, and I drove around in a milk truck. Why is this such a... (laughs) Or one of those ice cream trucks. I love the ice cream. Why do you buy every new phone Do you sell Mr. Softy? Why do you buy every new phone? I buy a new phone because I want to be up on the latest technology. And it also works. like, okay? This is something I like. And that bothers you, too. See, I don't get that either. No, no, no. I'm trying to understand it. No, it bothers you. It doesn't bother Because you're making fun of it. I'm not. I'm asking. You are. You're making fucking fun of it. You assume asking... It bothers you. You assume asking a question. You owned a Corvette for three days and you got rid of it because it's like not it. your thing. Right. This is my thing. I like cars. I'm sorry. It bothered you so much. All right. Uh, fair enough. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We can't you can't, have, you can't have a conversation no, with them. can't because it's, it's unfair, dude. It's unfair to talk to you. <laughs> I could do this you all day. You attack my know, character. So you attack my height. <laughs> you attack my job. And now you attack my car. You've gone too far. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? You know, Imus wears cowboy outfits, but he's right. not a cowboy. Right. But he likes it. He walks but, but around in that duster and yeah. you expect him to pull a six gun on you. Yeah, you think it's like Clint Eastwood <laughs> from from a spaghetti western. And like I just walks around in that that that, that cowboy th- hat. get up and you go, Well, like if you didn't know who he was, you'd say, Oh, sir, what ranch do you work on? And you know uh, What rodeo do you ride? Right, for? right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are you a rodeo rider? Are you with the rodeo? You know, you would say, and he'd go, nah. I, I, what are you talking about? Don't say that to me. I just walk around like this. Right. Uh, And Ronnie walks around like a race car driver. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right, listen, I'd love Sometimes I put on a dress and pretend to be Danica Patrick. (laughs) Ron. Yeah. Why react this way to stories? I mean, you're only 
You're only perpetuating the story. You're only oh, keeping Scott's it trying going. to figure out my car. Forget it. You figured it out, he says. Yeah, what is it? 95. Well, anything's possible. Fair enough. Ron. Yeah. Why keep a story moving like this? Yeah, now, you... see, Lieberman will run in there now because somebody else did the work for him. I don't give out any Somebody stories. else did the work for him now. He'll go in and say to Scott, could you print me out a picture of the 95 now? Yes, he did. Yeah. Good. He came in with Good. to me with it. Yeah, but I'm saying Lieberman didn't do that. That's his job to do. Not a, not somebody who works in the office back here. Ronnie, why act so closely guarded about the story? Why not just own up to it, give your information, and move on? I mean, you know why how should things, I? Because you know how things it's work not, around here. You're making it. Business. You're making it worse. It's not his fucking business. You're making it worse, Ron. I have people out here. Get the fuck out of here. I have a job to do. John, why do you think this has set him off so much? I mean, what's going on with Ronnie? Ronnie has been irked lately about a number of things. I think the psychological profile yesterday, whenever anybody pokes at his lifestyle or how he chooses to live his life, he goes off. And then whatever comes subsequent to that, he then goes off. So I happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time when I asked him about the car yesterday. And a reporter's job is to probe. We ask questions to find out the truth. So I knew, Ronnie confirmed that he got a pace car. I didn't know all the details, but I knew the way to get the details was to bring it up on the air with Howard. And look, now we have the details. We have the year, we have the make, you know. So Ronnie is just angry. I mean, that's no breaking news. All right, Robin, it's time to hear from John Hyde. Johnny Boy, come on in, pal, and John tell us what's going to be on the wrap-up show. Wrap-up show has been on fire. Lest anyone think it's been not on fire, you're wrong, because uh, yesterday's it show is on with fire. It is. Ronnie <laughs> Mund going at it. It was unbelievable yep. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, what, what are you going to be talking about today? You think that something is up with Teddy Microphone getting mugged and losing his iPhone. It's just weird that he doesn't call the cops and get his phone back. Where is that fucking guy? Yeah, he's here now. <laughs> he's hey, here. Explain that. Teddy, come here just real quick. I don't want to spend all morning on it, but I, I wouldn't mind an explanation. I started out uh, at 6 o'clock in the morning with this. Um, Teddy. I did go. I went yesterday. Oh, you went to the police, yeah, 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 yeah. but why would you wait? I mean, what? well, no, no, no. I, I couldn't go that night. Is your drinking out of control? No. What? Do you and it's your average. Do you and your wife get just fucking slammed? Well, everybody gets pretty slammed in our circle. How yeah. many drinks did you have? I don't know, like umpteen. Are you that umpteen? Yeah. Are you that fucking uh, bummed out about your life? No, not at all. It's we're you having drink fun. Eight? We were with a huge group of people. It was just like super fun. I mean, it's what you we can't do. have fun without getting completely fucked up. Uh, yes, of course, of course. Let me tell you something. I've cut my drinking back almost to the point. I don't drink almost. I know. I, I barely drink. Well, I mean, I look, might have one drink a, a week. I know. I know. I, I, I know. Tell you, look at me. I'm having as much fun as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Are you blacking out? I was browned out. I'd you, say. What does that mean? That's a, you know, a little less than. What's black going out. on with no, you, I don't you young know. guy? You that miserable? It was miserable? just a really fun time. I don't know. We had a. It was you a think party. That's fun to black out. Yeah, it's not fun to get on a subway afterwards, you know. But so you got going on the, the wrong way and everything. It's just oh, crazy. I need to hear her. You say a, yes, a pack of hyenas. You say seven guys. Oh, it was took like your, took it was your, like yeah, it was like National Geographic. They uh -huh. took your. <laughs> What, they does that mean? what does that mean? <laughs> like, you know, the wounded wildebeest and like all the eight hyenas are nipping at it. Like, So, so you were drunk. You were on the sea train yeah. and with your wife yep. and they, they surrounded you and they, they t took your iPhone from you. Yeah. I mean, they were all nipping at me right. and I was kind of fighting them off. And then one of them, as we were getting back on through the turnstile, one of them got his hand in, grabbed the phone. And, right. he and was at some point gone. you, you got to give up because who knows what can happen. But I did go to the police yesterday. I mean, I called them but that night. why that wait night. two days? No, no. One day. One and day. I, I, I followed the advice of the 911 he's operator. Got an, he's got an iPad, and on the iPad, it tracks where your iPhone yeah. is. He knows the exact location. The cops said to him, just uh, you have to file a report, yeah. and we'll go get your phone. And you got to jump through their hoops. I mean, they don't... It's their not like, hoops? I mean, it's not like they, well, they can just make sure go kick down the door. Well, of course, because they got to yeah. make sure that you really own the iPhone. Yeah. They can't yeah. just... You call them up, they just can't go get it But for it's you. also a little minutia involved because it's at a... It was at a train station, so now it falls under the transit bureau, and then it's this, and then this, and this. And I went to my local precinct, which is up here. All right. Do you have your iPhone back? No. What, you have an iPad. It tells you exactly it, where it is. It's still sitting in the same spot where 
it was. Where and, are the police on this? Uh, they are now investigating, but you know, well, investigating. Yeah, you uh, mean detectives you to- have been assigned and everything. Yeah, and they, you gave them the location. Yeah, and they need to, in fact, come and collect my Metro card to double check where I was when I swiped it and all that other stuff. They're By really that time, going deep. The, 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 yeah. the phone's going to be gone. As soon as the battery dies on the phone, you can't track oh, it. Oh, for <laughs> Christ's sake! Well, I mean, look, I got well, lucky. Well, look, Teddy yeah. le- uh, wasted has several days. He did, but I well, mean, uh, one day, Rob, one day. It was su- Monday yesterday afternoon. And the I reason went to you the didn't go to the cops right away because I you called nine one one. It was like ten o'clock at night, and and it was Sunday night, and I just you wanted to. Yeah, I was just like, did. I have to get up. You were wasted. The guys like you know the nine one one operator was very nice, but they said, oh, we'll have to send a car over to your house, and I, you know, I figured right. it would take hours. All so. right, well, keep us posted. Look, on I'm that. fine. It was like you know we're very lucky. No, I know blessed, you're fine. You know? I mean, but but you should have your phone back. I'm a little sore here, but that's all right. What they punch you in the head? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Well, of course not. You were so wasted, you blacked out. Yeah. Yeah, well, Listen to me, see, my that friend. That concerns me more than the phone. <laughs> Listen it, to me. You know, that you, you put yourself in danger. I love these people who decide that they can go and, and be out of their minds and nothing's going to happen to them in a big city. Well, now Robin's upset know. with you. I'm sorry, Robin. That's right. <laughs> you probably sore from falling down when you were drunk. Yeah, he probably hit his own head. I know. That's why I'm not. I didn't. Hey, bring did that you up. recently bash uh, Benji on the rap no, show? No, no, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Mm. I heard it. No. What? Benji, you and Teddy having a hard time? No. I've always uh I've always liked him. I just thought he's he was real weasley about it because he bashes me on air and then he comes up and I said, bash him off air and then I can't come up on air. No, no, but then you come up to me off air and you said, "Hey, I just made that up because I want to get on air." So I didn't the- say that. I just said that's my. I, I'm like I have to. You know, I I've nothing to say here right now. That's my angle. Well, you, so you, said really, you, don't, you said you didn't really No, feel but that like way. little things like the shoes, you know? Like when you brought up his but shoes he's today. High like these little you know. fucking things that just drive me crazy. Last year with, the, with, the, than with, his with the wig, with the whole Rock of Ages Benji well, yeah, thing, that, you know, that, seriously. That, he tries to draw eyeliner. eyeliner. But then again, I, I zoomed out and I stepped out and I said, wait a minute, I've only been here six years. There was the Benji who came in in African garb. There was right. the Benji who did this. So maybe that's his thing. And then I said, it's not my place to... And then I, I felt bad that I was just in a grumpy mood. And it was, right. I don't know, pre-wedding stress. You've also been critical of John... It was after your wedding. You've also, not been, all, but you've also been critical of John Hine. You feel he's too straight-laced for the John show. John Hine? Yes, no. John Hine. Isn't that true? No. Uh, yes, it is. No, not at all. Straight laced. Too straight laced. No. In other words, he's uh, he should be a little he's looser. He's a straight guy, but no, right. no, no. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think he should all be right. a looser. You're not critical of him. No. The one thing I did say was when he got the fast food truck, I was like, the guy doesn't eat any condiments. But you know. Okay. That, all right. That was everybody's criticism. Keep me posted on that phone. Yes. If I get the phone back, I'll let you know. But yeah. otherwise, well, the new one's coming out in six weeks, no. so I'm eligible for. So an maybe upgrade. they you don't even need it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let those guys. Oh uh, yeah, they can have it. All right. Thank you. Later. Concerned about his drinking. Do you think you could stop drinking for six months? No. You can't. Absolutely so you're an alcoholic. No. no. What? Are you an alcoholic? No, but... That means you are. What do you mean, six months? Why would I want to? Stop for six <laughs> months because... <laughs> What's in it for me? Health, uh, to show that you're not addicted? Not good enough. Maybe, I don't know, I'm going to miss out on can a lot you stop, of fun. Can you, stop out for, can you stop for a month? Uh, do you think I could, you could. You sure. could? Do it. But I won't. Show me. I can't. <laughs> you're an alcoholic. you got to raise the stakes. You're an alcoholic. What do you mean? I mean, you're an alcoholic. No. You can't quit for a month. I can. I can do anything I want. I can do anything I put my mind to. Quit for a month. No. Why? Because. Because why? Because it's, I'm having fun. You're having fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm you have any an other awesome kind of time. fun? Life without booze is not exactly. fun. Exactly. I'm not going to lose my arm. And Let's go, baby. All right. <laughs> okay, you might have a problem. Well, we'll see. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. All right. I know. You've been right about a lot of Whoa. things. I'm right about you're everything. Probably, I know I'm you're America's right. judge. All right. Thanks, Goodbye. Teddy. Right. Right, Robin? Right. <laughs> right. See, even Robin agrees. Teddy, microphone. Sir. Mm-hmm. Obviously a tumultuous Sunday for you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, no big deal. I mean, I think I had it coming. Uh, I got robbed of my iPhone, and I did go to the police yesterday and filled out a report and, you know, started the whole minutia, really, jumping through all the hoops. Why do you say that? Why do you say that you think you had it coming? Oh, man, I was an easy target. I was, like, you know, blacked out drunk on on the subway and going the wrong way. And then, I don't know, I mean, I I probably just, you know, stuck out. And I'm sure, like, look at this idiot and, you know, whatever. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. They they didn't get, like, my wallet or my watch or her engagement ring or anything like that. So, you know, just a phone. 
the whole thing's actually rather embarrassing, so. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm sorry to hear that it happened. It's all right, you know, I'm lucky. I consider we were both very lucky. None of us got hurt, none of us got robbed majorly, so. Again, and they can't rob you of your spirit. That's Ted. right, they can't take what's in here. <laughs> Later. Hey, look who's on the phone, Dale Yeager. You know who he is? Yeah, he's the guy who was here yesterday that Ronnie lost his I mind I don't want to talk to him. Dale, what's up? Hey, Howard, um, I, I, I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, I heard earlier, I'm listening to the replay of the West Coast show, yeah. mm -hmm. and, um, and I hear Ronnie making this, a statement which is absolutely ridiculous and asinine. Which one is now, that? Well, he yeah, which statement? statement? He goes, well, I've talked to real police officers, and they say they know these guys, they're all book smart, they, they hear them at the academy. Howard, I've been operational in the field. I'm operational now. I work on cases. I'm in doing interrogations. I'm not a guy who's just some college professor that stands in a room and gives theories. No, I tried to tell Ronnie about that, but he won't listen to me. He Ronnie's screaming too loud and, to listen. And you, know what, you know what blows my mind is, of all the profiles I did, and I actually did one on Robin, but we didn't get to it, but um, of all the profiles I did, his was the shortest. Right. And he got the most upset. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I still don't understand what he got so upset about. I don't, I don't either. And that's another thing, too. I wanted to clarify. He, I said that I believed, and, and again, it's not definitive, I believe that he, in his past, has done swinging because of all the stripper things. Well, swinging is when you have more than one sex partner at a time. Two people or more. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think he understood what the definition of that was. I just wanted to clarify that. All right, Dale, fair enough. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. That's Dale Yeager, who is a uh, professional profiler who got into a huge fight with Ronnie yesterday. Yeah, well, he's probably set Ronnie off again. He might have. He might have. I don't know. I don't know. It's very possible. Ron. Talk yeah. That. Now that you've had some time to think about things. Yes, now we played that. What? Have your feelings changed now that you've had some no. time? No. Feelings changed about what? The guy's a fucking professor. Well, he said he has done some field work. He has. Yeah, he says he's still in the field giving lectures. That's not the field. Seems like you're giving him a lot of power by not answering to he him. He has no power. I talk to real police officers. They know about guys like him. They laugh at him. <laughs> What else is in the news? Right? What do they do? They laugh at him. How do they do that? <laughs> Stop turning the radio off. I can't hear you. One said Ronnie was almost crying. What? Yeah, he almost was. He did. Baba Booey thinks he was crying. What is going on with him? I don't know. He got all upset. He's getting very emotional. Yeah. What bothers me most right now is that I spoke to Howard on Friday morning after the party. And we talked on the phone. And he said what a great time he had, and he was glad I was there. Then he goes and he tells me, on the air today, he went to a shrink and talked about what an asshole I was and everything. And you don't think that bothers me? I, Just like it bothers Jason I know it bothers, about this asshole going to Ronnie, a fucking Ronnie. concert? How many times has somebody done something <laughs> that Howard's saving for the air? Of course he's yeah, not going to tell you the Dude, he went to a day. shrink and talked about it. So, Ronnie, how do you think Howard... <laughs> How do you think Howard really feels about you in this situation? I think he was upset. I think he was upset about it. Why would you go to your shrink and talk about it if you really weren't upset about it? Do you think he walked in and said to a shrink, I got to get this off my chest? Or do you think you go through, maybe they're talking about wedding stress and this is a subject that came up? I don't know. I don't know how it came up, but it came up and that's, that really bothers me. Well, that's good. First Finally, of all, you got through to him. I didn't go into my shrink and go, "Gee, you're not going to believe this one." How do you know? Uh, how do you I know the shrink talking... doesn't have a ten minutes set aside every week for Ronnie time? Now, Gary um, hit it right on the head. I was sitting in the shrink and I was talking. First of all, when I spoke to Ronnie, I hadn't spoken to my shrink yet. I wasn't really aware how, how much it bothered me what he said. And then I was, uh, you know, sitting there at my shrink, and I was talking about the stress of the wedding, because I really am stressed out. It's unbelievable. Uh, Beth is, too. Well, of course you are. Yeah, we're, all, we're just completely stressed. It's weird. I can't wait for it to be over. So, anyway, you know, I was sitting there at the shrink, and I was talking about the stress, and I said, you know, I had this uh, bachelor party, I said, and... One of the guys gets up, and I, and I told him what he said. He gets up, and he goes, you know, 
Geez, what are you doing? Get married? What the fuck are you going to, you know? So stupid, you know? So I said, uh, and I said, you know, he's, he's crashed this guy. But uh, nevertheless, you know, it really got me. He goes, my, my psychiatrist just said to me, what a terrible thing to say. Because <laughs> why would he say that? Why do you think he said that? I said, because he's not happy for me, I guess. Or he's um angry guy. And then the psychiatrist said, yeah. You know, it wasn't anything like I walked in and I was just talking about the bachelor party and I was talking more about the fact that, you know, we didn't go to the strip club and all that. And then I just said, yeah. And I said, you know, this weird thing happened. I said, it was just kind of strange. And I said, you know, it, it, that kind of shit just really freaked me out. And Ronnie was talking on the uh, wrap-up show, too, how he thinks he wasn't really invited. Because well, what I said yesterday, and I guess he wasn't. You know, I mean, I don't know if he would have been there or not. <laughs> and then he started screaming about how everyone else is my friend, but I don't really hang oh out with him. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, this was the whole well, theme said, of the wrap-up show What do you yesterday. say, Gary? He, Ronnie's not to say anything. Ronnie's saying he didn't, I guess I don't belong there. Um, you know, how you have some, he, he insinuated that you have more of a relationship with everyone there but him. Yeah, he's my limo driver. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to him. I like Ronnie a lot. We spend a lot of time together, but I don't know what he wants to go with this. You know what I mean? Well, I don't understand why it bothers him so much that you two don't hang out. You don't have anything in common. I know. <laughs> He'd have a miserable time hanging out with you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really... You're not going to NASCAR. Right. You, you know, you're not doing that stuff. But what I do with Ronnie... I like Ronnie. He's a good guy. Yeah, I mean, but uh, you just don't have any any place where you would be hanging out together. He wants to take our relationship further. Right. You know, yeah. He'd be having dinner with you and stuff, and that would be great. If Ronnie didn't drive my car, I wouldn't know really know him. Right. <laughs> but that's what irks him. And I don't know why, because he really doesn't want to do what you do. I get the feeling that he thinks that, that, that because you guys have been together so long that there's there's more that he's more than just a guy. Well, your brother. you're friends. I might have made made a mistake when I had him do security because now he's up here and he's hanging out. And he gets his name like he's in the newspaper today on page yeah. six. With really? Me. Yeah, they they keep misspelling his name, which I love. It's a, they call him Ronnie, the limo driver, Mun M U N N M U N N. Yeah, but the, uh, the the story was basically that nothing really went on in my bachelor party. But you know now now he's a bit of a personality. And, but still, there are a lot of guys you like around here that you don't have anything in common with and you're not going out on the weekends with. Yeah, and the reason I called him after the party was I needed to book the car for something. Right. He didn't, you didn't call him just to say you <laughs> well, had a great book time. book the car next time and hang up the phone. Don't talk to me. Oh, mm. my God. How's that? <laughs> you're so mm. dumb. It's incredible. No, I'm not That's dumb. Not what I'm, you're you're Dude, really first dumb. first of all, I never said anything about going out to dinner with I you like or anything you. like that. I don't okay? mind talking to you. I don't, and, it's not that I dislike you. And you know you. what? Dude, yeah. I, I did never said I wanted to hang out with you. When did I ever say that? You never said it. Oh, you're yes, the one, he you're has. The one who he's, a, he's actually Listen. talked about how we Dude. don't get together anymore. Of course. He says it all said, the time. I never said that. You say oh it all the time. God. When did I say that? Yeah, a couple of years ago, that was a the A couple rap. of years ago, yeah, okay. Yeah, you've said it many times. No, I've never said it. First of all, don't bullshit me, okay? When you tell me stuff like, oh, I'm going to have you out there. Out, this is like three years in a row. Right. You've said this to me. Yeah, and then you every know what time I'm talking I, about, yeah, right? You, you said, you said, I said to Ronnie, I'm going to have you at my house. And don't, then I, don't say it, because you don't mean it. Yeah, I don't. You're right. Exactly. That was wrong. Don't I, say I, it. I don't want to have you there. I know. Oh, my right. God. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you, the third year already. You're not even understanding something. No, I'm understanding a lot. I understood a lot yesterday. I like you very much. You're a guy that I dude, enjoy I don't working be your with. Friend, okay, I don't. I, I no, realize. Do. I'm Stop not to, saying that. No, it's true. Dude. You do. You no. do. Stop you do. And Stop be it. honest. I am be being honest, honest because right you, you sound silly. No, I'm being you sound honest silly. in the fact that I know I, I'm we your friend. We are friends. At, at I, a I don't hang out with Artie every day. I don't want to hang out with you every day. We're we see each other. Don't bullshit me though and tell me, oh, I'm going to have you out to the house and all. You won't listen. Don't bullshit me, man. You don't want to listen, do you? Okay. All right. I'm listening. Okay, I'm not going to bullshit you. I'm never having you in my house. Okay, Good. so now you know. Good. Okay. I don't want to see your two. house. I don't want to be out Good. there. Good, too. I won't even drive to your house with anybody. I'll make sure some, I'll never two. be there. Don't worry about it. I don't want it. you there. 
I won't. Number two. Okay. That doesn't Good. mean I don't like you. It doesn't mean I don't want to be that's your fine. friend. I am your friend at work. At a certain point. We have a nice... That's right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's I'm okay. I'm not looking to fuck you. I never said that. Right. I'm not Sal. I don't want to be in your fucking house, dude. I'm well, not like you Sal. You do. You no, do. I don't. You can be honest. When was it ever like that with you? Never. You're okay. so full of shit, dude. Uh, Come on. You Everyone get off. And you mind your business you to because to your I'm not therapist. talking to you, okay? He, he goes to the <laughs> therapist to to once therapist. a week. It ain't doing I'm not many talking good. to you. You better talk to your therapist because you're not even aware of your own feelings. Everyone, said, I felt bad that everyone said you were crying on I wasn't the wrap crying. Show. All right, so you started what? to cry. It's no I shame. Was, <laughs> but here's the thing. I was not crying. Here's the thing. It actually makes you human. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's very touching. You can admit. The camera guy was there. He's outside in the hall. He just said to me, dude, you weren't crying. But he won't come in. Right. I wasn't crying. You're not okay, allowed to fair enough. You weren't he's crying. He's not no. going to tell you to your face. No. Right. But uh, <laughs> okay. here's here's what I want you to understand. I understand perfectly. You don't even oh, have to do? explain it. Okay. Then I won't why, talk. Why can't somebody I, I, talk to you? Because I understand. Because he's insane. I said it on the air yesterday <laughs> on the wrap-up show. You know, another thing. Okay. All of us know Howard because of what we do for a living. All, all of us know him through work, you know. And, yeah. and you know, and not because we were friends in high yeah, school. Yeah, he, uh, he wants... That's fine, he dude. Wants to be I, I never ass. say anything. Uh, I, I talk when did to I ever you? put up a shit like that? Right. Like, can like I talk? Or are you going to filibuster? Right, or are you going to let me man. talk? No, right. no, because you hate when I'm coming back to you and I'm telling you the truth. No, you're not making any sense. Yep. No, I'm making, making a lot of sense. sense. Not making a lot of sense because only you, to you. Why? Why would you say shit to me like uh, three years in a row? You tell oh. Uh, definitely, I'm like, gotta have you out there. Because the I like you, and I don't do want to bullshit me. Wait, this well, you don't okay, want me. You don't the, want me there. No, actually, I did. And I didn't get to it this summer. That was, that's what you said and last summer. That's true. And the summer before. Right. And I realized, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I'm, you know, right. I, I sort of had this idea that maybe we would hang a little bit. But, you know, you're right. I'll, I'll cut that off. That's Freud, would, Freud yeah. would say that's he doesn't good. want you at his house. That's right. fine. That's but fine. But here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, The Freud, reason you work with me is because I like you. And, and I do a good job, okay? And you, you can do add a good that job. to it, too. And you do a good job. All right. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. And I know it. That's absolutely true of everyone here. I know that. You're not the only I one. I know that. I don't single you out. I didn't run into you're my psychiatrist's office to talk about you that you're complimenting yourself too no, much. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. What I ended up doing. I was upset about it, okay? Yeah, but what I ended I'm up I'm not doing, allowed to get upset about something. You're not here. You, you sound dumb now. <gasps> yeah, okay. Because you're not listening. All right. I and you, and you're reacting to Please. stuff. You sound stupid. <laughs> now listen. I don't sound stupid. No, you sound dumb. Well, you think so. Somebody told me they listen to Ronnie and these things, and he sounds like Rain Man. Yeah. Well, yeah, you okay. know, he's overmatched you. This isn't fair. Is anyone in the Ronnie uh, doesn't sound dumb camp? <laughs> let me, let me see. If, Bill, do you think Ronnie sounds dumb? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's the perfect fucking answer. Go <laughs> I don't know. Bill, go, go, to go, the ahead. go to the phones. Yeah, Bill? Great. Oh, yeah. He, I don't, how do you tolerate that from an employee? Tolerate his, what, his, moron? His, How, what is he your, tolerating? His voca- your vocabulary is so limited. Oh, and you God, here we go. Retard, Ronnie. I'm trying to explain to you. I'm listening. That I went into the therapist's office. Now here, the reason I don't have you to my home is that here I spend some time with you outside of work. Right. We go to a lovely dinner at a right. class restaurant. Okay. You're screaming out the word fuck. Right, I was screaming out all the right. word fuck. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Secondly, you get... You say you want to have fun. So the idea of having fun is screaming the word fuck. Right. And then telling me what an asshole I am for getting married. Right. Okay. And then, you, then I say to you, hey, Ronnie, that like I really, me. Like, I really meant that. Okay, go ahead. Well, I meant you coming to my house, too. Okay. So anyway, yeah. then you, uh, then, now you can understand why I have trepidation about bringing you to my okay. house. So then, you don't you, have to worry. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you what's behind this. Okay. Because you, you proved to me that, you know, there's something wrong. Then I said to you, Ronnie, that's a very terrible thing to say. I'm just having fun, which makes no sense in terms of an answer. I know you're having fun, but I'm okay. telling you it was something that was offensive. All right. That I many apologize. Fa- if you got offended, I apologize. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, it's no big deal. Okay. I mean, I'm okay. not uh, angry with you. I don't hate you. Okay. It's just who Ronnie is. Right. This is Ronnie's. It's hard for you to say something nice. Right. It's difficult. That's I understand right. that you're an angry man. That's right, I am. You have anger in you. I do. I have a lot of anger. I do too. I relate. I have a ton of anger in me. Yeah, I've never seen anyone so angry. Right. Off the hook anger. So your anger came out. 
Why do you think you said that? You, beside the stock answer, I just like to have fun. That's, why do you think you that's said that's my answer? I, if you don't think that's the right answer, no. But well, why do you I think apologize. you said that? Do you, are, you, I, are you really? I hostile? shouldn't have been there to begin with. Don't like you think I said, that's an you know, act? Okay. Well, don't don't get off the topic. I'm yeah. asking you, man to man. Right. Why do you think you made this? I don't know. You made? I really don't. You have no idea. I why? don't know. Maybe it was the liquor. I don't know. Okay, let's say These it is the liquor. Excuses. Let's say the liquor loosened uh, excuse you Excuse me, I wasn't talking to you, okay? I'm Ron, talking to Howard. Well, I'm Ron, talking, I'm asking I'm you for serious. Howard. Seriously, man to man. <laughs> I'm and I'm not offended you. by what you said in terms of, I understand what no, you said. No, obviously you were, because it, well, bo it, it bothered you. You went and talked but to your I'm guy not, about but it. But I'm not mad at you. Okay. But I'm trying to understand. In other words, so here you were asked, you weren't asked to make a toast. You made a toast. People and were you, just doing it. And right, then right. And somebody, you got Somebody said to me, why don't you go goofing around? Okay. All right. So I did. You get up, you say, hey, I know Howard for 23 years, and what right. I want to say is, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you fucking getting married? Right. What the fuck? Why do you have to fucking change things? What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. Pretty much something like that. Yeah. There wasn't that All much right. fuck in it, but okay. Artie, was there a lot of fucks in it? You actually oh. underestimated the fuck. Okay. Right. That's All what right. I thought. Okay, Artie. Yeah. What he said... I don't even need you to can you Can you repeat what now? Ronnie said? I don't need you to be in this, Artie, okay? Wait, let Ronnie, I really let don't Ronnie say it. If he's going to come... Let Artie do his impression. Well, I have to do my this job. Be, this, you're trying to it's talk to me serious? All this right, is not fucking serious, okay? You're right. All right. All right. I'm not serious. All right. Stay out of it, all right? I'll, I'll stay out of Shall it. Shall we okay? all leave so you stay can the hell be out alone? of it? Here it is. I have a cupcake. Good. Have so a here's cupcake. the big. Here's the question. Have a black and white cookie too. Here's the big question. What? Aside from you know, hey, I was drunk. I'm just trying to have fun. I because the answer, I'm just trying to have fun, doesn't make me understand anymore. Why do you think you had to attack me in my decision all right. at the bachelor party? I where see I'm a bachelor. All right, I all right see, go ahead. All right, here it is. Go I ahead. see a bachelor party is kind of like. Uh, a goofy guys, bunch of goofy guys getting together, and ha it's like a, almost like a roast. Oh, a roast! You know, not not. It's not a comedy show. It's just like a bunch of guys goofing around, saying, "Why is the guy getting married?" You know, that's what they do at a bachelor party. Oh, okay. Well, that's, then maybe I didn't. Do, I, I didn't see anyone else doing that. How come nobody that? else did it? Well, you what took you it do. upon yourself. Here's, why, here's why, why, I agree why, with Ron. Why do, I Ron to, why do I have to talk to you? I Ron. just have a question. Why did why nobody you, else do I it? I have no idea. Ron, I agree. <laughs> By the way, I agree with you on that. That's what bachelor. That is a yeah. theme at bachelor parties. But right. You have to. You have to like you know read situations based on their their individuality. Uh, Obviously, it's, I forgot who is, I this, forgot who I was dealing this with. This okay? wasn't a bachelor sorry. party where that was appropriate. But this, right. I agree exactly. with you. Bachelor he's a bachelor party. He's a different kind of guy. He's not into that. It's stuff. a different I'm kind of sorry. place. I've never had a bachelor party in a place that, that nice. You but know, I'll right. take it one step further because People that's what do I say that at bachelor party. Ronnie's absolutely right. What he just said is right. But this wasn't even a bachelor party. Like somebody called it a bachelor party. But it was really it was just a dinner, a dinner friends. for friends dinner, before you yeah. get married. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't a, like a bachelor yeah. party. We were all having a good time in the basement of the Knights of Columbus, and strippers come and right. You know, that's what Ronnie thing. has said to me. No out. one was having a good time, so I wanted to have a good time. So I always say, well, like I thought when did we I were. Say that you said it yesterday. That no one was having. Yeah, you a said good no time? one was having a good time. So I, I want to have a good I time. I you guys don't not have a good time. I don't time. remember saying that. Dude. Well, yeah, yeah. You, the reason you said you did it yesterday was because nobody was having fun. Whatever. Well, it was a bachelor party. You're supposed to be having fun. You know, <laughs> well, obviously nobody was having fun. We were having a lot of fun. Well, yeah, that, oh, you look like you're having a ball. I, you, yeah, I, yeah, Ron, I wasn't having fun when you put me in a headlock. And I we, didn't put you in a headlock. Yes, you did. I did not. I, I went like this to you, man. What's going what? on? What's We're going on? It was a little too classy, the event. Yeah. Right. Too low-key. Well, that's why I said I shouldn't have been there, obviously. And I'm not mad at you. I'm really not. Oh, obviously you I are. No, you don't it, know it's me. It's like day three of it. So no, obviously, it's I'm, bothering I you. heard you on the wrap-up show. You continued it. Yeah, I continued it saying that obviously ah, it bothered so did you. did I continue it or did you continue I it? I continued. John asked me to come in. Yeah. Okay. So you shouldn't have gone in then. Why not? If you didn't not? want it to continue. If you didn't want it to continue, don't keep talking about it. No, I went on there to say basically that I didn't realize that it bothered you so much till you said you went to the shrink and talked about it. And that freaked you out. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Okay. So the fact so that now, is I didn't go to the that's shrink it. it's to done. specifically talk about you, but it did come up. I didn't up. say you went to specifically talk about right. me. I never said that. When did I ever say that? You're putting words I'm in my mouth. I'm telling you, you the you're question trying to rile was me asked, up, the and it's not working, was, dude. I'm sorry. You're, okay? you're riled beyond the max. Yeah, okay. What are you talking about? It's not working. It's totally working. It's not working. You're totally you're riled up. I'm not here. talking to you. You're totally <laughs> riled up. <laughs> Is he not riled up? Let's take a vote. You know, he's <laughs> yeah. he's dude. He's definitely riled up because you know what? He opened the door for me this morning and I said, Hi Ronnie, didn't say a word to me. 
I answered your that's friend. No, you didn't. I said no, hello. That's you, Ronnie's, you were that's like Ronnie's the Sphinx, dude. I said hello to you. You were like the Sphinx. About? You open, I, you open the door. Stick. What are you talking and about? I thought, oh, that's Ronnie Ron, being funny. Ronnie's back again. You know, no, Ronnie's God. explained that whole persona to me. That's oh. him having fun teasing people. No, I'm not oh, teasing wait. anybody. I didn't let, say Let me write that down. I said hello to Fred. Fred just didn't hear it, obviously. That's the Ronnie Then I got to get my hearing checked. Yeah, I guess so. But I didn't see your mouth move, so that's usually when mouths move. Fred, that's the Ronnie charm. That's bullshit, because I said hello to him. Like, if you call Ronnie on the phone, he'll just go. I even opened the door for him. He goes, like, no, I, I said goes, that. You and opened I the said, door, and I said, oh, Ronnie's happy this morning. And I said, You're how you doing, man? That's the Ronnie charm, because sometimes you call no. him on the phone, you go, hey, Ronnie, you go, uh. and you go, Ronnie. Oh, so then he that, wasn't mad. Goes, no, he goes, uh. oh, then I take it back. I apologize. I go, you okay? He goes, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> what? It's like, what? Dude, huh. Huh. He doesn't move look, huh. if, yeah. even if I talk to you on the phone, it's it's not good. If I don't talk to you on the phone, it's not good. So, I don't know. I don't know what you uh, want Joe, from you're me. on the air now in town, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Hey, this is great. Hey, Howard. Uh, good morning. I would like to just tell this ungrateful little fucking turd how many uh, millions of guys out there would die for his type of job and drive you around and to be in the studio and so on and so forth. This is the most ungrateful little piece of shit that I've ever heard in my life. Well, what is this guy's problem? He's got a limited vocabulary. He sounds as dumb as a fucking rock. And uh, what's the deal with not letting Artie talk? I mean, you know what? Artie was there. He's got stuff to say. Well, how about Ronnie shutting the fuck up and letting somebody else talk? I was talking to Howard, not Artie, okay? Go fuck yourself, little, asshole. Go away. Yourself, <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so go drive your fucking car down Pennsylvania Turnpike, all right? Actually, I'm driving yeah. my truck right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you drive a truck. Car. Big deal. And I wish you were on the middle of the street so I could run you to fuck Yeah. Home. Yeah. You do that. <laughs> oh. You do that. <laughs> Ronnie, didn't you drive a truck? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, time. Ronnie is a fellow truck driver. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know what to say to that. Uh, a fellow truck driver. This guy, I, I, I just don't understand his, his level of ungratefulness, Howard. I yeah. mean, it's simple as that. When did, when did I ever say I was ungrateful, moron? When did you ever hear me you say I was ungrateful? Have, you didn't have to. No, you don't say it. Other Ronnie. people see it you in you. To, oh, okay. You, I'm you don't have it. to say it. It's the way you act. It's the way you talk. It's the way you walk around with an attitude all the time. Every an time attitude? Here, yeah, I have an attitude. <laughs> hey, you're ungrateful, dude. You're I have an ungrateful. attitude. <laughs> you know what? You should take a vote from a million people, and I guarantee you 999,999 of them would say that you're an ungrateful little shit. Because that's what that's you That's good. Are. That's good. I'm happy. All right, Joe. Thank you. You make me happy by saying that, Joe. Howard. Thank you, Howard. Go blow your horn. Hey, blow me. Let me hear it, man. Blow <laughs> it. <laughs> Come on, let me hear your horn. All right, he's gone now, Ronnie. He mm -hmm. will never hear that horn. Yeah, good. Well, anyway, look. To, for the record, yes, I like you. I don't Stop want you walking to tell around. me that. Shh. Listen for once. Yeah. You'll sound much smarter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I right. like you. I, I don't hate you. I never said you did. Did I, I say that? you're a real good guy, an honest guy, and a great guy to have working here. I like you personally. You're a very nice guy. Now, you want to belittle that? Whatever it is, I'm not saying you can a word. do whatever you want. I'm not saying anything. I didn't ask you to say a word. Let me ask you him something. Is there anyone around here that you like, but what? you don't hang out with? What does that mean? Uh, listen to her again. That's a very good question. <laughs> is there anyone around here that you like that you don't hang out with? Give him some thinking music. Don't answer right away. <laughs> is there anyone around here that you like? Yeah. That you don't. That hang I want to hang out with, or no, that, you that you don't, don't hang, hang out, out with. with. Now the think about it. Password is gravy. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is your answer? Uh, I hang out with who I like, and that's it, you know. All right, listen to me. Is there anyone here you like that you don't hang out with? Uh, Think about it. Not really. There isn't? No. Okay. The everyone you like, you hang out with? Pretty much. There's not a soul here. That I don't want to hang out with you because I don't like you, boy, so I don't have to I worry like about that. I that person, but, you know, uh, we never get together. Uh, No. All right. What, do you think it was? I'm going to say Howard? No, no. I, I he wasn't wanna... looking for Howard's name. Oh, oh okay. What she's I'm saying sure. is I know what you she's probably saying. are the same as me. There are people that you like very much, but you don't hang out with them. That's no, the I hang out with who I, who I like. I hang out with. I, you know. Everyone Ugh. here who you like, you hang out with. Right. There's not anyone here you say, you know, I like them, but I never hang out with them. No. There's no one here you say that about. No. Absolutely not. You just haven't hung out with them for whatever reason. 
Exactly. So okay. who do you hang out with? That means do you everyone like the, else you hate. I hang out with everybody? You want to tell you who I hang out with here? Look, can I ask you a question? Right. I'll ask you another way. Right. The the other security people here at Sirius, yeah. do you like them? Yeah, I like them a lot. Do you hang out with them? No. Why? Oh, you like them. Yeah, I like no, them. There's an example. You just said you answered Yeah, Robbie's but I don't question. hang out with them. No. Why not? I don't know. We never really talked about it, hanging out. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. so like me, right. you like these people, right. you just don't hang out with them. Yeah, but, <clears throat> okay, whatever. You're right. You're right. So you just said two seconds ago, okay. you, answered, you answered falsely. Yeah, you lied to me. <laughs> you lied to Robin. What did I lie to you about? You she said, said there was nobody you liked that you didn't hang out with. There's a lot of people I talk to here that I like. Yeah, yeah why don't but you, you hang, don't out, hang with out with them? Right? No, exactly. So it doesn't mean anything, does it? So, do, so when you go around on the wrap-up show and say you think I, when you say you, yeah, okay. I th you think that I hate you. I didn't say I hate. When you did, did I? did. You said Howard hates me. I think I he hates me. I didn't say that. I when like you. When did I say that? Just because I don't hang out with you doesn't mean I don't I like you. I didn't say you hated me. I never said you hated me. No, you have. No, I haven't. Fa fa fo hi. Mm hmm. When did I say that? I think he hates me. No, I said I did. <clears throat> I never said hate, brother. That never came up. I don't see Gary running I in like here. I like you. I don't know where he is. Yeah, he's in his office. I like you. E eating cookies. <laughs> well, Gary, would you answer the question? Here's Gary. <laughs> question is, doesn't Ronnie say, I think Howard hates me? I think Howard doesn't like me. Doesn't like me. Right. Right. Okay. I, I think Howard doesn't hate. like me. Did right. I say hate? Right. He goes, okay, it's a big difference right. between... And Ronnie, right. you did do that hate. whole rap yesterday about how you didn't think you belonged in exactly. that group of people. I wasn't in... I, you were invited. Listen, dude. We got, we, you said it yourself yesterday morning. Right. You can play back the whole thing. Yep. That if you, I wasn't standing there with Ross right. by the elevator... I probably wouldn't have been there. That's true. Because you were the one who said... Well, I you? invited you. Exactly. Now, no, listen. you said, is Ronnie on the list? So you've said, not hate, but you say, I think Howard doesn't like me. Well, I'm telling no, you... No, to a point... Like, for a certain point... Ronnie... To a point... Ronnie... Like... I like I you. I shouldn't have been at that party. Ronnie, it was I a like It was you. all your friends... Right. But, right, ...that you right. hang out with. That's right. You don't hang out with me. I don't. So I shouldn't have been there. I didn't say I had a problem with you being there. No, you didn't say that. I said I but like you. But you were put you. on the spot, kind I, of. Are you coming to my wedding? Yeah. So why did I invite you? So did there's I a lot of other people coming to your wedding. That's right. Okay. So you're one of the select people that I like that is going to hang out with me. Okay. You're going to... I invite. Nothing is enough for you. You want I, more contact. No, I don't. That's. I like you enough to invite you point. to my wedding. Okay. Okay. I like you enough, so why can't you be happy? I'm happy. You feel like I don't like you. You tell Gary Howard doesn't like me. I invited you to my wedding. Does that mean I don't why like you? Why do we have to keep going over the same thing over and so over again? So why are you going around bad mouthing me saying I'm I don't like you? I'm not bad mouthing you. I know my, I know my place my now, okay? I know my place. Oh, Here boy. we go. Okay. There's Here a we place. go. Your place. Right. So the security people have to know their place because you don't no. hang out with them? Then no. Why are you saying that about me? What do you mean I know my place? I don't have the relationship with them that I have with you. I, it's, it's, what? W what is the relationship you have with him? I, I'm with you every day. Yeah. I'm not with them every day. And we see each other every day. Yeah. That's and it. What it's does not that the mean? same. Okay? What does that you, mean? What do you mean it's not the same? It's not, why, you, why do you have to stick me in the no, no, side no, no. of my the, fucking all neck? All of us hang out together every day. Yeah, well, I, I hang out with Robin every day. I don't see her. Understood. That's understood. No, it's not to you. You're not getting it. I get it. Believe me, You're I get it. You're not a friend I hang out with outside of the right. studio. Right. Exactly. I got and that. And you're getting offended and you I think I don't like I used to be, like but you. not anymore. I understand no, that. There you go. There you no, go. No, it's true. He's detected a change. Uh, excuse me. When Neil, w and uh, the old days with Neil and Wayne Siegel, which Wayne Siegel is still he's his friend. He hangs out with him. That's uh, fine. Do, uh, you have we a fantasy. To, when do I hang out with Wayne hang, Siegel? We when all do I hang out with Wayne Siegel? I don't know. We all used oh, to hang out together. Oh, so you think I go, hang out with Wayne Back in the Siegel. day. Right. Right. Right or wrong. Right. We used to go out right, and hang out. Right. And now we don't. Okay, that's fine. And do you? Do I so hang out with Neil? Do I no, still see Neil? No, no. Absolutely not. I like Neil. Okay. I consider Neil a friend, even though I haven't seen him in Obviously, years. Obviously, if I didn't work here with you... I wouldn't see you either. Exactly. There you go. I got that. But it hurts you too much. You're mm. overly sensitive and you don't want to see it. Okay. 
I, I, you know, I'm wasting time straightening you out all the time. I got it, brother. I got it. Don't worry. Uh, you said that before. Yeah, you I keep got saying it. that, but you don't. You hurt. I don't. Stop yeah. being so hurt. I'm I don't hurt. matter that much. I'm not hurt. hurt. Is that why you were screaming? Why do things have to change? No. <laughs> You don't like that I'm with Beth? No, I, Beth, I think Beth is great. I used great. to hang I out with that, you more? When, dude, I Did I used to hang that, out with you more? No, absolutely not. Why do things have to change? Is this about you? No. What, are you crazy? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. All right. I'm not well, crazy. Well, go to that therapist. I said, I, said about he, I said even at the thing when I did make the speech that you hated or whatever, I said, Beth is a great girl and I love her. No, that's right. But the That's fact all? is, when you screamed out, why the fuck do you have to get married? And why Dude, the fuck do I things have to change? To you what I, you're afraid what a, that things are changing too right, fast. My interpretation of a, bachelor, of a bachelor, of a bachelor dinner uh, or a bachelor party are two different things. Okay? All right, good. That's all. All right. That's the difference. Now listen. Like I explained to Artie, Drop this, what I said. To me. Now listen. It's like a to me, it's like a goofy guy's roast. Okay, now I you want get you, up and you say. Yeah. What's wrong with you, you moron? Why you are you getting the, married? You read the situation what? properly. You, know, okay. you read the situation perfectly again. Okay. Now, do me a favor. Drop this. I dropped it. No, you didn't. You were on the wrap-up show yesterday. Drop it. Get over John it. John asked me to come in and talk about it. I, I went again, in Again, let's about finalize this. I like you. I, I don't want to know if you like me. Oh, yes, you do. No, I don't. You certainly no, do. No, I don't. You need smoke signals every I day. I don't need smoke signals. Believe All me. Right. I'll finish this comment. I like you. I don't want you to say you Shh. like me. Calm, calm down. Because now you're making me look like a moron by doing no. that. No. Yeah. I said I like you. I don't care. Okay. Okay. I'm, t I'm just telling you I, I don't like you. I don't care if you like me. All right. Fair okay. enough. We heard can't that. Can't you listen? No. You can't uh, listen. No. <laughs> I can't hug you every day. No, I don't want you to hug me. I can't put my finger up your ass and my cock in your mouth. I don't oh. want you to. But okay. I like you very much. I'm not mm. Sal Governale. I All keep right. telling you I that, like okay? you. You're a good guy. Okay. I think you're a great worker. I, dude, and I, a not, shh, I heard that. Shh, I've heard all this. Shh. Enough already, calm please. Calm down. It's uh, <laughs> shh. every day for like the first 40 minutes of the show is the same shit. Well, I get my ass busted go. here for the past three days. <laughs> all right. Let's start again. Can we, like can we say goodbye now? I like you. Drop this. this I dropped silly. it. I dropped it. I said it yesterday. It's dropped. It's done. Stop going around talking about how I don't like you. You sound retarded. I didn't say that. I like you very much. I didn't do it. I don't. Shh. You did say that. Oh God. Don't say you didn't say it. You yeah. said it. Okay. Every party. Parties are dangerous times for you. Yes, you know, my very wedding's dang. coming up. Remember my Valentine party Dude, when your shirt was off? Maybe, mm. maybe. And remember you, when? Maybe I should on just. Stage? Remember I think it Bubba's wedding? Maybe I should bow remember out. Robin's. You think maybe I should no. bow out of it? You do what you want. All right. But here's the thing. You got to calm down with the drinking. It doesn't suit you. <laughs> I like to drink. I like drunk. that. I like I to drink. I know, but okay. you're a terrible, terrible drunk. I like to drink at a party. Terrible drunk. Right. Well, okay. maybe moderation. <laughs> I'm a horrible drunk. You are. Moderation. You, you moderation. Get the worst personality. I'm, I, I, my scores, <laughs> man, is about having fun. <laughs> I'm not scores, man. Mel's going to be at my wedding. You'll see your behavior. I know. There's going to be a lot of people at your wedding. But listen to me. Mel's going to be at my wedding. Mel yeah, runs this company. Yeah, Scott Greenstein's going to be there. It. I know all about it. And there's some other financial people going to be there that actually have a bigger interest in this company than even Mel and Scott. Understood. And don't knock these people over yeah. when you're you drunk. You don't want to fuck this one like up. Like I said, maybe I should bow out. Oh, here well, you go. Now no, hurt yourself. No. Why don't you hurt yourself? No, I'm you not hurting you myself. You want to be there. You don't have to bow out. No. I, I don't want to. You don't want to go? Then don't, don't go. I didn't say you didn't want to go, go, then don't go. Just see, tell me now. See, he's putting words in my mouth again. But you said it. You started this um, line. Now I don't you, now want. You put I don't want to embarrass him. Okay? Maybe I'll How embarrass. How about him. just don't, don't embarrass, embarrass him. yourself? I didn't embarrass. Don't, don't embarrass yourself is what I'm trying to help you with here. I was fine at your engagement party. I sat there minding my own business, didn't All I? Right, good. Right. Good. Proud of you. Yeah, we probably mm -hmm. just dressed you down. No, and yeah. you try and you try and you try to watch me call it. <laughs> you try to get me. You try to get me up to yell my thing, and I wouldn't do it. Good. I was testing you. Yeah, you were testing me. <laughs> <laughs> don't admit it. Don't deny it. Well, stop let me it. tell you how much I like you. I don't want to know. I believe in you, and I believe you can control yourself. I believe you can get through a night without taking your shirt off, or so let's say, let's fuck some more. You, uh, you asked down. me to take my shirt off. Come on. Let's not bring I that up again. I take your shirt off. Yeah. He, yeah. If yeah, I ask you to take your shirt off, do yourself a favor. Don't take it off. Could you do me a favor? Right. Could you, if if you, I ask you, you to do really, something, think it through. You really are going to say to me, you didn't ask me to take my shirt yes. off. Yes, I'm going to say that to you. 
How could you say that to me? <laughs> well, why would you do it anyway? Right. If he says, it's, dude, walk it's off not a like ledge. A, dude, I wasn't getting naked. I had a t shirt on. Yeah, My skull t shirt, Artie. I know you did. Okay. I know you and for some reason, I don't know what his, he was talking about to his friend from the gym. Mm hmm. Next thing I know, he's asking me to take my shirt off and show the guy my tattoos. Right. Okay? So, <laughs> it's not like I was naked. No, I, I had a t-shirt on. I took no one believes me when I tell them about his tattoos. Oh, my God. How would you have so, handled it if he asked you to get naked, though? I wouldn't have done would it. would have been well, naked. You why? sure? <laughs> well, why did you take the shirt off? Because I had a shirt on underneath. It's not like I, I, had, I wouldn't have had a shirt on. All right. I wouldn't have walk, been walking around with no shirt on. I had a t-shirt on. No, I know. No, you were topless. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I have pictures of it. I, you know why? I yeah, good. Let me see the pictures. I want to see. Beth and I were, have been uh, cleaning up stuff. Yes. So we found our Valentine's pictures. Oh, that. Yeah, that I was. Yeah, I, you, and that I didn't I tell was. you to do that. I was wrecked. Okay. Yeah. I admit it. And you that was, you're I saying think, I so told we, you to you, do that? No, I didn't say. You no, just said that. No. At your at your bachelor no, dinner. No, I didn't say you took your shirt off at the bachelor. I said at the Valentine's party. No, 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 no. no. This is this is. I'm yesterday. talking about yesterday. The day. No, you. T I know. I asked you to show your okay. tattoo. I'm talking about the Valentine party where you walked around topless Nobody and asked passed for that. out on the floor. And I'm saying. Well, I think he knocked me down when he went down. Yes, it good. won't look good for you. Should have hit your head. It won't look oh. good for you at the wedding. If you, I'm helping you here. Yeah. If you behave like that in no, front of not, certain people yeah, whose okay. names Understood. I don't even mention. And I don't mean Mel and Scott. They're small potatoes. Yeah, I know. You understand? Understood. Okay. Listen, I didn't ask you to tell me what a mistake I'm making marrying Beth, but you told me. I did. You let me have it. I never told you so, you're making a mistake what marrying did you say? Beth. say? Repeat your... I asked, why are you getting married? That's all. No. Artie, do the impression. Mm -hmm. Pl I'm leaving. No, nope. uh, you can leave, but leave, let me remind it of what I you said. Hear. What the fuck are you doing? I don't Keep everything the same. Why are you going to change, man? <laughs> what the fuck are you fucking doing? Beth's a very nice girl. <laughs> but what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it the same. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it the same. <laughs> Look at my tattoos. <laughs> fuck it. Let's fuck some of <laughs> You're crazy for getting married. You're crazy. Let's fucking go out. <laughs> Beth is a sweetheart. <laughs> but fuck her! Uh, fuck her! This fucking wife shit! <laughs> <laughs> what is this fucking wife shit? Fuck her! Let's gotta fuck some girls, man! Get them back here! Let's fuck them! <laughs> Meanwhile, that's going on. Richie's, Richie, who owns the Nobu, leans into me and he goes, mm. I think about ten tables just emptied out. Oh. These people, Those tables. These people paid a lot of money. Now there's a guy. It's a maniac standing up yelling out "fuck." Yeah. Fuck those tables! They're fucking assholes. And it's not even anybody they know. It would be one right. thing if it was somebody they knew. Oh, they're lucky. Oh. He's Ronnie, the limo driver, Mun. Yeah. Well, anyway, I no one's having fun. Let's have fun. Come on, in wife shit. Fuck up. Let's go out and fucking get drunk and. What the fuck are you doing? Get married, you crazy <laughs> asshole! <laughs> <laughs> I've known you 23 years, 23 fucking years. He's a comedian. <laughs> but I think you hit it on the head when you said that uh, he's losing you. He thinks. Mm. Yeah, that's what it he's is. He's losing because that's not too creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're crazy, You really don't think Howard likes you? Dude, go away. Come on. Be a more don't be a him, moron. Him now. and Artie don't. You got like enough you. foot you got enough footage in that in that room there. You don't need any more, okay? What I can't talk to you out in the No, nah, no, nah, I got nothing to say to you. Why not? Because you're bullshit too, because you could have came in and said I wasn't crying. I you're watching Howard TV's HD clip of the week. What is it, Ronnie? Are you at war with Bubba? Yeah, he's an ass. What did he do? The guy, the guy, he's commenting on your last day's show. He's laying in his bed in the hotel room. He should have been there. He should have been sweeping the steps as you walked up to the stage. <laughs> oh. Do you have a cold? Is that what's going on? No, man. Why are you talking out of the side of your mouth? Why, why something's going on with like Ryan. Did you have a stroke or something? Did you have a stroke? All this pressure got to him. <laughs> the pressure got to me. No, yeah, yeah, see? The guy, the guy should have been there for you that day. No. I mean, you, you, mean, know, no. you know, you got to understand something. Bubba was like a really big star down in Florida and everything. It's my day. Yeah. So what? He, 
It, it, it doesn't have he to be. He came a, around where it was appropriate, but he doesn't need to. But what is he going to stand on the yeah, side well, of the why stage? Is he, why is he commenting from a hotel room then? What do you mean commenting from what a did hotel he say? room? There's Brent. Brent's a good guy, too. Brent's a good dude. Yeah, I they, love Brent. Brent works on Bubba's show. They both suck. Oh, you oh, hate whoa. Brent, too? You hate yeah. Brent? Yeah. How could you hate <laughs> then, these guys? Minute, They're cool minute, guys. And then, and then Bubba goes, he goes, I'm going to challenge. He gets on H100 News, and he goes, I'm going to challenge you to a boxing match. Who does he think is Cabby? <laughs> no, he's way more rugged than Cabby. What's deal? <laughs> What's going on here, Brent? I mean, we, we were all what one happened? happy family, and everything's now breaking Falling down. Falling apart Ronnie. quickly. No, no it's, it's just a bad attitude by Ronnie over here. That's oh, all. Yeah, Everybody yeah. else Can't is great. Ra- by me? Ra- Ralph is great. Will, I worked with Will the other night. Super fan roundtable. He's awesome. We had drinks with Artie the other night. Everything's fine. Yeah. Yeah. If, everything's fine. Yeah, what Artie, uh, Artie paid you a check, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he might have bought a couple of yeah, shots. That's, what, but that's why he was a good. That's why he was a good guy. <laughs> what happened? Though? How about the night I set you guys up in scores, right? Huh? What's up with that? And well, now what's what's now going on with this guy, now you man? You treat me like crap. What happened? Wait, huh? wait, Ronnie. Where, Ronnie, where was the breakdown? Down. Down. Where what, was the what, breakdown? What was the breakdown? Something must have happened more than uh, yeah, Bubba right? not showing up at the last show. I mean, that's not Bubba's thing. He's got no. He had no business coming on the round table. I, I, I came down there for the last that show. Was, that was our show, man. But why he's can't got, Bubba he's, come on the round table? He's wait, got his own. Wait, show. wait, wait, wait. Since when is it your show, Ronnie? No, we had we were doing our thing, and who did our thing? Did you guys? Did you guys? Wait a second. Did you diss Ronnie? Something something did like. you got? Did you guys rape Ronnie? Who is that what happened down there? Is that what happened? Who needs that guy? Short doggy, short doggy dog over here. I think has got a complex. Short doggy dog. Look, look, how, look, tall, how tall are you, man? I'm, I'm, I'm what, five, six foot buddy, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an ex-marine, man. Oh, you, give me a break. I'll, I'll pull every beard every yeah, hair out of your okay, beard. No yeah, problem. Right, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bye, focals. Yeah. Bye, focals. <laughs> My ass. You're, you're Howard Security. What if somebody comes in here and goes crazy? What are you going to do? Like Chuck Zito said, what are you going to do? Uh, Chuck Zito? <laughs> Chuck Zito's my buddy, man. But, Don't worry about Chuck Zito. You can't He's going to hope Chuck you, is there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> but you got it right, Howard. It was a litch of class. It was. It was. Yeah. And uh, there was another one, Shea Sweet. Oh, he did it more than once? And Bubba will eat out a, a point. Like, isn't he afraid of disease? I mean, <laughs> I would guess you? not. No, he's no. an animal. The guy's an animal. You can see. It. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Bubba. <laughs> Come on up here. Bubba, sit down on the couch. You sit down on the couch here. There's a whole controversy going on. First of all, I was plugging your first day on the air. I said, it's got to be a big day for you. Two years yeah, off Yeah, you must the be air. anxious because it's been yeah. two years. Yeah, and, and Ralph is telling us your studios down in Tampa are absolutely magnificent. This is unbelievable compared. Ours is a little bit more shady. A little bit right. more yeah, yeah. ghetto. A yeah. little yeah. ghetto. A little more ghetto. <laughs> now, the, this and, is every, very, you and, know. and we're all j- vibing and having a great time, and Ronnie just is mad at you, hates you, and hates Brad. No, no, no. He hates me. He started this whole stupid thing. No, Ronnie, you started, started it, to be honest. You Ronnie started, started it, Ronnie. I started it. Ralph, who started it? Wait, you were in the studio. on the round table. We're doing the round table show first with all, you. First why of all, Ralph. Have, why does he have to Ronnie, come on what did show? Bubba do? You, you just needs him. First of all, he came he's on the round fucking table groupie show. for Tony Stewart, so he yeah, wants so. to <laughs> suck Tony Stewart's dick. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the no cursing role isn't happening on your show. You didn't tell Bubba. I'm sorry, Howard. No, it's all right with me. I don't care. You're a Here's the deal. Here's the deal. You want to call me Dick Bob? I'll knock you out, I swear to God. Really, hear me out. Yeah. Look, you want to, give me some of the... Yeah. Let's see yours. Let's see yours. Dude, dude, you what, got, is that, what does that mean? You got a string on your shoulder. What does that mean? Hey, Bob, sit sorry, down for your arm. Sit down, that dude. Mean we don't have to shit, come. Man. Bob is a big guy. Here's yeah. the deal, Ron. When the first, no, time, I, the first, time, the first time I came to, to see you, Howard, I was nervous a little bit. Right. Still am. Right. And uh, Ronnie was really cool to me. You know, he welcomed us in and got us set up in the green room and stuff. Right. And then he found out that I like that I know Tony Stewart real well. I race cars for Tony. Well, yeah. then I was like, you know, cleans his tires for him. <laughs> so anyway, it's better than cleaning uh, Lonnie from Scores tires. No, no, no. I, I, clean, I clean his tires, man. That's the man. Okay. You should be. Yeah, I, heard, I also heard you that you're, I also that heard, console. I also heard that you ordered the, the wrong console. limo. That you, that you, kissing that console. That you messed up the wrong limo. Go ahead. Anyway. Go ahead. This is silly. Yeah, so anyway, anyway, two yeah, of them. Yeah. So anyway. Um, they needed a place for the Super Fan Roundtable because Ralph was seen as mom in Tampa. Right. So I'm like, you guys can use my studios. We're family. I'm Very mean, generous. Know, mine's yes. yours, whatever. Right. And um, well, how so, nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, they came what, in. What, what are these guys standing here for? Beat you up. No, what are these guys standing there for? Who are they? 
I, I can handle my own. Why are they standing there for? If you Ronnie, want to you get, Ronnie, you're, Ronnie, you're, 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 you're getting sidetracked. I'm, I'm trying to tell a story. Uh, pay attention. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, go ahead. Big <laughs> shot. We have, we have, I tell Brent I want it catered. I want, uh, ask, ask uh, Ralph what he likes to drink. Let's have some barbecue and his mom's going to be there. Let's, you know, let's, that's our family. They had a whole spread I walked in our there. Family. Great. You know, Fabulous. This is our family. Fabulous. So, um, we'll never get that on this show. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, we have to beg for pizza on the right. round table here. So I, go ahead. I, I'm listening. I happen to be in Tampa and I'm driving and I'm listening on the Sirius. And uh, so I said, well, I'll, st- I'll stop by. I've never met Ralph. Right. I'll stop by and say hi for a second. So Brent's engineer and he's gotten them. He's working the board and Ralph's having his own deal. So I just, Ralph said, step in and say hi. Right. So I'm just going you know, to step in. I'm going to say, John Hines hosting it. It sounds pretty damn good. It's, right. it's a big bitch fest. Everybody's trying to you know get a word in edgewise. Right. No, no, there's no rhyme to reason, including this asshole. <laughs> hey, Ron, hey, go ahead, go ahead, story. No, finish your story. Go ahead. So, no, I'm, I'm going to finish, my, I'm gonna finish my story. Go ahead. Well, Ralph, uh, Ralph and John Heim seem to be making the most sense. Right. In my, in my yeah, radio right. opinion. Right. They're getting some you know point counterpoints. And this guy, all Ronnie does. Your opinion? Is, and, and, Two years you haven't had a radio show. I still got a fucking opinion. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so, good, good point, Bubba <laughs> Wins. I mean, so I mean, yeah. I mean, I didn't know. You know, I, I could you know be working at Salvation Arm and having okay, opinions. Okay. Right, I do more than just drive people from A to B. Dude, finish your okay? story. Right? So anyway, yeah. he, all he does is just bust balls, just just, just to be just to be well, stupid. Well, he, he has a feeling about you. I okay. don't know what happened. So, so go on. Yeah. Go so I'm, yeah. I just jump in for a second and say, "Hey guys, you know how you doing?" and whatever. And That's then, exciting. Oh, and all of a sudden, he, who Ronnie. I thought were friends, right. Just starts being a dick. Just like, you know, hey, Bubba, what? You get your fat ass off the radio. This is our show. Don't be infiltrating our no, show. No, I didn't say fat ass. Don't say that, man. It, it, we're, we're, we're splitting hairs. I said, so, what set you off, Ronnie? I mean, like, what, you guys why were, were you, why are you mad then? at me? And then all of a sudden you turned on me because I got three words on the super fan. I could give a shit about the fan table. I, all, got, my all own, I, did, I got my own show. Dude, all, Ronnie. I, all I did was ask you, <laughs> why where, are you doing where it? you were. And when wh- you, because you were, you know, this is like old opinion. times. No, giving you your opinion being, on your Ralph, own show. Ralph, was he being cool? No, was no, he, no. Being... he attacked you. I didn't, I didn't really get it. I thought you guys had something going on. Yeah, I really liked him. You know, he wanted me to get a Tony Stewart autograph and kind of make Tony I guess Stewart. You didn't come, I, did, I guess you didn't come through quick. Yeah. I didn't ask you stuff. for a Tony Stewart autograph. It's so funny. Are you, are you, what are you, are you, do you think? Do you have any kids? Lay, you, lay your hand to your kids that you did not ask for a Tony autograph. Yes. So, Who's in the mood so to dance? Yes. Right, said, well, <laughs> wait a second, George. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my! You're now, a liar. You, you came. I'm a liar. You yeah. came to me and said to me, "Listen, Tony's coming to town, man. Maybe we could take him over to score." Yeah, and you're we'll the hang, setup. We'll hang out. I didn't say anything about an autograph. Oh, you said bring him to Howard's show, and I want an autograph. Oh, you lie like shit. And, nope. and, 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 when Tony was in town for the next Hell Championship, I tried to get a hold of Ronnie on his cell phone because Tony was going to go over to Scores and just have dinner and hang out. He right. likes Scores. It's People leave him alone there. Yeah. Right. So I called Ronnie's cell phone. He didn't answer. He called me back later from home, and he was so disappointed that yeah. he wasn't down okay. there at Scores right. like, like, a little bit, like a little bit. I got to tell you, I can't wait for your show. This oh, is good. This is but great. Great. I'm listening. I'm kind of a redneck, okay? And right. the way we settle no. things sometimes is we come up sometimes, we'll just go to blows on it. You know what I mean? Right. Why sit here and be a couple little bitches when we can just put on some big bopper gloves on and just just get her done you know what i'm saying why not you just watched howard tv's hd clip of the week to explain to ronnie why it offended me but he's so he's so busy yelling and lashing out but he left the studio yesterday when we were trying to explain it to him here Oh, he was so hurt on the wrap-up show. It was great. I was listening to it. Yeah, I'll play you some of it. It's great. Let me get to it. Gary Page 1. You know, That's Gary Page 2 is wrap-up. Okay. Yeah, this is wild. The best way I could explain it is, like, okay, so the poem said, where I'm standing there with my wife and all my co-workers and all that, all my friends. Should I explain I'm this to you? To stop already, man. No, because I can't believe Why you don't get it. No, I don't get it. No, I don't get it. But if you concentrate, like in school, and you listen to me, you might get my under. You might get some understanding. But you're so busy yelling. Sorry, but I don't get it. Okay. And so, I, and I never so, will. You all right, maybe. All you why want. do you say you never will? Maybe you will listen. No, to me. I won't. You want to listen or you want to talk? No, nah, well. You'll go ahead and talk. Get yourself talked out, and then I'll explain to you why it's offensive. I. I 
There's no way it's offensive. I'm sorry. Okay. So let me see if I can. Even if other people are offended. I really don't care because I didn't. (laughs) It wasn't meant to be offensive. Okay. All right. Listen to me. You asked me to fucking write a goddamn poem. I wrote a poem. I didn't ask you to write a poem. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you You did. You decided to write a poem. No, 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 dude. You said you're writing a poem. Uh uh. No, you said uh, you should write a a poem for the holiday party. No, you didn't. You said it first. You volunteered that one. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, it's always yeah. I gave you a Go lot ahead. of good ideas. Go ahead, Didn't I give you Girl of the Week? Tell me your t- Twitter. Did who gave you Girl of the Week? Hot Chick of the Week. Hot Chick, who told you to do that? You did. Okay, so okay. there you go. All, All right, right. So I have some good ideas. I didn't say you didn't. Right. Okay. But what, so now, are me you writing listen? that poem was not was not meant to be offensive. Right. Sorry. Was it meant to be? But it was. I don't so, see how. But okay, okay. I'm going to explain it to you. Do you want to learn or you want to talk? Yeah. I'll wait till you're done. You could say whatever you want. You could talk to your blue in the face. You oh, talk, you're not going to You could talk to your blue as that console. Okay. okay? I think if I and explain I it to you. And I will not understand how you think it's offensive. Okay. So I'm going to explain it to you wow. one last time. Go ahead. And let's see if it works. It won't work, but I ahead. think it's going to. Are no, you I don't proud think it will. of this right. ability of yours to not understand? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not okay. that I'm proud, but you know what? No, I what you're saying is I might say to you right now something that resonates, that, that really makes sense to you, and you don't care. It's not going to make sense nope. to you. Okay, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's right. I'm right. Dying. In other words, if I said to you, two plus two is four, you're going to no, no. No, I know two plus two is four. All right, so maybe I know what I'm talking about. Now, here, here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay. You ready to listen, or you going to re- talk? I'm if you want to talk, I'll, I'll shut up. No, I'll listen. Okay. I'll listen, but I'm not going right. to listen. So we had a holiday. You're going to listen, but you're not going to listen. Nope. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. You listen had- with one ear and not with the other. All right. So we had a holiday party. You right. wrote a poem. Right. J.D. read it. Right. I'm standing there with my wife. I'm standing there with Robin, Fred, okay. all the coworkers, everyone. Right. right. And so the line was, hey, some people think Howard's an ass. Some people think Howard is crass. Right. But, you know, I think he's a great guy. Okay. So then you say to yourself, gee, that's a compliment. I complimented my boss. I don't think he's an ass, and I don't think he's a crass. I think he's a great guy, and a lot of us here agree that he's a great guy, right? Do I, I have it so far? And that's, that's the way it ro- okay. was written. So here, I'm going to write a poem about you right now, right off the top of my head. Okay. Ronnie is, a lot of people say Ronnie's a stupid Jew. I don't think so. A lot of people say Ronnie is a big dumb fuck who just drives a limo. But I don't think that. A lot of people say Ronnie's mustache makes him look like an old billy goat. But by the way, I don't think that. I think he's a great guy. Are you offended by that? No. Okay. Okay. All right, then I can't make my point. Have you right. ever um, read Julius Caesar? No. By no Shakespeare. No. Are you I'm too, kidding? I'm too stupid. <laughs> because Mark Anthony, when he wants to uh, libel his opponents, he does it in just that way. Mark Anthony mm-hmm. ma- was married to what's her name? Cleopatra. No. Mark, oh, you're thinking about that. I'm <laughs> talking about the Marcus Anthony from. But do you, okay. seri- Caesar, seriously, you don't was, see. Th- he was maligning his compatriots in just that way some people would say this i don't feel it in other words why bring up at my party that some people think i'm an ass it was part of a poem no i understand it's part it was of a poem but you brought it up in your poem like in other words why go there why not just say you know hey howard's a great guy uh he's my kind of guy you know you sometimes use two words to rhyme but guy, that's how- guy. <laughs> so I'm saying, in other words, in other words, if I brought up every, if the I brought up end, negative the things, end, about, the end part yes, of it brings that saying, out. Right. The end part says, I think he's a great guy. No, I said everybody, everybody thinks at this party everybody that you're a great guy. So, right. Because it's so our why, holiday party. Why in front of my wife and so all my friends? What do you mean in front of my why, why bring up the people who think I'm an ass? In other words, a lot of people think you're an asshole, right? I know they do. All right. Why would I bring Doesn't that up at your party? me. I wouldn't bring it up at your party. Do you follow the logic? A little bit. Come on, tell me I didn't get through to you a little yeah, bit. A little bit, time. maybe. But oh, okay, all right. A little bit, maybe is better oh, than that's nothing. a crack. Yeah. Right. Maybe that bird is about to be had. In other words, you could bring up a million things. Why bring up that some people think I'm because an ass? Because it, it's because it's what? Because I'm writing a ho- I'm writing a poem about a holiday party. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. your holiday party. Right. Um, the whole thing that I wrote about was not about was not about you until the end. No, because it was it in we, the middle. No, at the end. It was all at the, the end. The line about me being an ass. Yeah, but it all broke down until the of the end of the poem. Right. What? So I'm, sa- I'm saying, it, so I don't care what you mean. It was all the end of the oh, poem. Oh, because it came at the end, it should be better. No. 
What's the difference Dude, where it I comes was bringing, up? I was writing about the party, what goes on, how we have fun. Right. How, if I'm writing how a beautiful... People, if you at throw the, me. And, and at the end... Wait. At the end, I brought out how... <laughs> No, you know what? Ronnie, if I threw, if you, you threw a beautiful party, yeah. let's say it was your birthday. Well, I apologize I, to your wife, but I won't apologize. All right, to fine, you. That, that, okay. because you're being stubborn and being yeah. silly. If if I wrote a poem at your party, why wouldn't somebody say? If, and if, I said, if, Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie is robbing the cradle with his young girlfriend, but no, no one here in this room thinks that. Who gives no, a why shit? Would, I don't why give would a shit I bring that up think. at your beautiful I don't give a party? Shit what people think? But why would I bring that up at your party and upset you? I didn't think it would upset you. I thought it would. What, that people that think people I'm an ass? Think of course it upsets ass. me. Why wouldn't that upset me that there are people who think I'm an but ass? But you always say on the air, I don't give a fuck what they say about me. Ronnie, I'm I, got, I made my career and, and you Ronnie, know. Ronnie, I, I, Ronnie. I don't care what they say. Right, Ronnie. Right or wrong. Forget that. Right or wrong. For why won't you person, answer me? For any person who's at a party, oh, why would you bring up that they're an ass? By so, so, that, well, even one person didn't thinks they're an ass. mean it that way. Don't you understand that? How do you understand that? I'm not understanding. I didn't mean it that way. Of but course you did. It was a something, Ronnie. If you were writing him a thank you note, I right. wrote him a thank you note. Let right. me say this. I wrote him a thank Listen you note. Know, Christmas never, fucking card. You would never put in there. You know, some people think you're an ass, but, but I think you're a great I don't. guy. Thank you. You're a great guy. What, what would, would you do that? And I said, thank you. You're a great guy. At the end of it. Yeah, but I'm saying, would you write that in a thank you note? Let's say not, in a, not in a personal thank you note, but this was like for every. Oh, whatever, you'd rather dude. say oh, that you'd rather in, front say in front of everybody. <sighs> so Jeez. if you were writing me a note, would you say, "Hey, I Howard, can't win around here"? I, you, you know what, Ron? That's why Ronnie, I will not write any know. more poems. No, that's you not know the what? answer. No, it's, it's. I don't care it if you write a poem. Answer. But I want you to learn from this. And you're not learning. You're so struggling to be right that you're not. I'm you're not struggling to be right. I just. But you keep saying Ronnie, I insulted listen to Robbins, you, but I don't Ronnie, feel I insulted if you. If I gave you a Christmas tip, okay? Yeah. Let's say I gave you a bunch of dough. Right. And I was a good guy. Right. And now you had to sit down and compose a note to me privately. Okay. Like Robin just said. It's right. A per perfect example. Right. In the note, would you say, hey, by the way, Howard, you know, so many people think you're an asshole, but I got to tell you something. I don't feel that way about you. No, I wouldn't. Why well, wouldn't you write that? Because it's a, a personal thing right. just to me to you. You understand that would be insulting to write that. It might bring bad feelings to the person right. reading it. Would it make me actually feel I, good that I gave you a gift? Right? You agree? Right. So now you got up in public and announced Not, to the room that a lot of people think I'm an ass, but you don't. So why no. would you do that in public if you... I if, didn't... Ronnie, you wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it. Not saying me that I think you're an asshole. No, I didn't write you didn't that. say that. You said a lot of people think I'm an asshole. Right, but Did I didn't you say write that to me in a thank you note if you're thanking me for the party. <sighs> and don't you think that embarrasses me? Whatever. I'm sorry. Whatever. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. That's all I want. I, I don't. I, I still don't get it. But oh okay. my god. Oh my Man. god. Nope. There's no way you don't get it. Nope. I know you do. I don't get it. He won't get it. He gets no. it. You he can't. Just you, refuses. I didn't know you became so sensitive all of a sudden. It's not about being sensitive. I, I thought you had. Like, a, I, thought, I, thought, I thought. 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 Howard Stern. I thought Howard Stern had some kind of a sense of humor. I guess that. Oh, now I'm Howard Stern. I guess that changed. I guess that changed. And you're going to. I guess you don't have a sense of humor anymore. And then smooth it over by saying you're a great guy. That's what you do. I didn't call him an ass. I said some people. It's the Meaning same thing. Like it's media, coming from your shit head, like that. Not, Ronnie. Not the it's coming from your pen. Oh, okay, Robin. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I called him an <laughs> ass. Okay. You, you happy? Did. You did. You, you did. And I you said did he's it oh, man. Saying you happy? You real it. happy now? Good lord. You got it out of now your system. Now do you system? understand? You got it out of your system now. Do you now? understand? No, I he still don't fucking understand. He, he, okay? <laughs> this is what happened in school to him. Yeah, the teacher probably yelled for an hour right. and then said, Ronnie, do you understand? And they go, he goes, no, I'm not going to understand. Yeah, but he's agreeing with everything and then he says, right. I still don't understand. Right. He understands. No, I don't. I still don't. Then why did you apologize for a few seconds? Because ago? I want, you know. Because I got through it. Gotta either. make you happy. No, you Gotta don't. make you happy. Oh, no. Now this is another thing. Gotta make you happy. Right. Have to make you happy. Now, what happened at the party when you uh, started yelling out, what about me? What, why is no one congratulating me? I wasn't me? yelling it out. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised that you ended up at the party dancing with Scott's wife, who was so insulting to you on the air? She apologized. We, we, we settled it.
Because you guys were dirty dancing by the end of the All night. right. So I was I was glad to see she that. She came over and, you know, said when they I said to myself at the beginning of the night that I wasn't even going to talk to her. I didn't want to get into anything with her. Right. I didn't want to start anything there. But if she came over to me and started with me, then I don't know what would have happened. Right. But when she came in, I basically ignored her. Right. So I didn't, you know. I was smart. No problem. Okay. Right. And then she came over and started talking. She said, I want to, you know, talk to you about this. And that was it. And she apologized. And, right. then, and then you end up dirty. She dancing. realized Good. what she had done. Right. Was, might have been insulting. Right. Or she apologized to me. She apologized to Stephanie. She right. apologized so to Rachel chance. for last year's thing. And, and, okay? and, 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 that's, and that shows you that she's a bright woman. That and I'm was stupid. Bigger. Okay? She can consider right. I can't, she I can't considered get what she had words. done was wrong. Right, right. And then, I, and then I had a thing with Benji yesterday. And that, that got settled. What happened there? Well, the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now here, the, yeah, this is a good point. There? You you commented, and I think I um, heard you uh, interviewed on Howard One Hundred News. I meant to ask you about this when you were at the party. You felt Benji's girlfriend blew off your girlfriend. Well, what happened was they were sitting in a booth, like Benji and his girlfriend. and his girlfriend. They were right. sitting in a booth, and it was like they were being of, weird, weird, like kind of like. You should come over and say hello to them or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Like a, like a viewing or something. You got to go, you know. <laughs> go look at them. <laughs> but Stephanie went over to say hello to Benji. Right. Okay? And I was standing like further back. I, I didn't even go over. She was. She went over and said hello to Benji. And she started to touch his hat. Right. And, Playing around. Having and, yeah, and said to him, like, what are you doing? What's this outfit all about? You know, all this kind of crap. And she got very I don't know, protective of him. Of Benji. Elisa? Elisa. Elisa. Got very protective of him and basically told Stephanie get the fuck away from him. Oh. Ooh. Okay. For like real? Didn't, I didn't say she said it like that, but, but she didn't use those words at all. Base, all right, I but, said but she basically gave, gave her that attitude, Benji. Okay? We went through this yesterday, didn't we? Oh, did you? I didn't hear this we, part. No, of we talked show. about it out oh. in the hall. We oh. didn't, it wasn't on the air. And he kept saying, he kept trying to tell me out in the hall. That I, when he walked in with her, I started yelling, look at these fucking idiots or something. That and could that, have happened. And that was, no, no. <laughs> that was another thing I said to myself, just like with Robin Salem. You weren't going to When they into walk it. in, I'm not even going to make like they're there. I'm, I'm ignoring it. Right. So he kept saying to me, I forgot because they claim I had a blackout <laughs> when I was saying, having a speech to you or some bullshit. I had some, I didn't remember anything. Well, okay. you don't remember giving this speech, right? Yeah, I remember it. Believe me, oh, I remember. Oh, you do. It. This was a whole Doug Goodstein thing, also. All right. Yeah. We had been we we had been out to dinner Wednesday night last week. Well, Doug stick Goodstein. To ben well, wait, wait, wait a second. Let's stick get, to Benji. Let's stick to Benji. Okay. For now, let me right? understand something, Ronnie. So what you're saying is because I think you're articulating something that a lot of people tried to say. Right. You felt Benji was acting strange that night at the party. He was acting in a way that was not typical Benji. Like, yeah, like he was like some kind of cool star that walked in. <laughs> right. You know, and no, and nobody should... Talk wait, to him. Well, not that you should come to him. Right. Okay. Yeah, they stake themselves out in a VIP section. And right. In, a, bo go in visit. a booth. Yeah. Like yeah. If, you, if you're in a club right. and you're roped off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And okay. you felt Benji's girlfriend was not friendly towards Stephanie. Well, yeah, because right. she got upset with the Benji, touching, were you there for that? touching his hat. Of course he was there. Do you, yeah. do you remember this at all? I do recall. Yeah, what do you think happened there? Um, Ron, I'm not saying this to upset you, but when we walked in, I don't think oh, we're going to go back to that. Let's not, let's, let's not talk about that. We're talking about... But, but wow, there's so much we can't talk with, about. No, because I told you I wasn't going to say shit, and I didn't. He insists that I did, and I know I didn't. Uh, okay, that when they walked in, I started yelling "fuck you" to them, or "look at these fucking uh -oh. idiots." Okay? Did he do that? He said, "I think the word was like, look at this asshole, look at this asshole." Not about her, Dude, I think about me. He I said did that. not say a word to you. He definitely yelled. Okay, not not necessarily to me, to people. Meanwhile, in front you of asked me. ten people yesterday if they heard it, and they said no. Uh, some people told me they did, and there was who said who they those did? people? Like, they, they were standing there. They you asked them right a in front of me. Listen, Ronnie, oh, I'm whatever, not dude. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> what, what, I didn't say it. I know I didn't say it. I wasn't blacked out, Ronnie. I'm not. I'm not making it up. Okay. Maybe to you, you no, were you yelling. Make, Benji, you make a lot of things. No, up. I'm not. I'm not. And everybody it. knows that. All right. What do I make? You up? make a lot of things right. up around here. So, but anyway, uh, anyway, so, that so paints the scene a little bit. So that then you're, the you're saying your girlfriend was mad at Stephanie and Ronnie. When, when, uh, not at me. I didn't do anything. 
But they, they're According claiming. To, well, yeah. Okay. You, you said they were an ass. Right. Okay. So they're when claiming. Stephanie came over, when well, they came over to the VIP section, girlfriend... they didn't get permission to come in, right? No, but seriously, right. why did Stephanie get attitude from your girlfriend? S Stephanie start. Uh, I, I don't remember exactly, but something like she, she started, you know, grabbing at my hat and my and you know and say and he kept she said to him, "What's this all about?" You know, this whole look and you know asking him questions about it and touched his hat it's, and, it's and started to take you. it off. I think no, Lisa she just didn't take it off. She All right, Benji it. is telling his thing. Okay, fine. He feels that it was probably going to the point of being taken off. She right, was violating my and and I think Were you offended when a, when a young girl comes over and starts playing with you? It's kind of accepted no, that guys like that. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think that that's and so I th bad. And, and Elisa just told her to cut it out. Oh, you think Elisa got jealous? Mm. No, I don't, I, I don't know what it was. I think she just didn't want her grabbing at my, me and, like, you know, make She didn't want him, him <laughs> to be hatless. You know, yeah. But did she, doesn't Elisa think you're capable of telling Stephanie to stop it if uh, yeah. you... Were if you offended you, by that? Oh, uh, was I offended by what? Yeah, like, why did Elisa have to speak up for you? I mean, and you could have said to Stephanie, don't touch my hat. Sure, I could have. Yeah. So, and and I think I was telling her. It. You know, I, I think, I think, uh, I think maybe she took a, like, offense because uh, Stephanie was, like, in, in a fun way, it didn't bother me, but like poking fun at the outfit. I see. Well, let me tell you. Anyway, so uh, yeah. we got into it in the hallway about it because certain people brought it up to him. For, for To be exact, you want me to tell you exactly how this all started in the hallway? Okay. Out of nowhere, Benji's standing there in the hall yesterday after the wrap-up show. Brian Phelan walks up to him and goes, Hey, Benji, I just want to tell you something. Your girlfriend was a total cunt at the party. Oh my goodness! Who said Just like that? that. Brian, Brian said that. Brian said that. Yes. Wow. Hey, right, don't take this personally. Sure. But your girlfriend was cussing the other night. She was really what? was. Oh. I swear to God, listen. I met her. How can I not take that personally? I met her at Rick's, <laughs> and she was awesome. But she had a big attitude at the Christmas party. She did. She totally did. What did she do wrong? She was like. Like, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And she's like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, she just, just me. I don't know. I felt I, Honestly, I think it was that we were, if anything, she got it from me that everyone's going to give me shit about anything that happened. I mean, I purposely came over and sat with you. No, I, we were talking about I know, we haven't, no, I'm saying you were great. You were great. I had a no, great time. Oh, she's great, too, man. Cool. But no, she had an attitude with me. I didn't like it. I don't mind you giving me an attitude, but, you know. She was just shy at the party. And that's how this all started. I see. And then Doug said, you know, there was a lot of people saying the same thing. And then I got into it with him about what happened with me. And uh, that was Boy, it. Boy, I thought the Christmas party was fun. I had no I had a great fun, time, dude. I, I, had, so too. I, I, had, a I had a good fight. time. I didn't realize I didn't, there was I didn't so many know, bad I, I didn't know I was going to walk in here yesterday and get... Well, you deserve it. ...shot with a shotgun. You deserve it. You need to, me to tell you what you do wrong. You don't know what you're doing. Uh, okay. You know you need um, me to, to instruct you and anyway, advise you. Anyway, in, to the Benji and Elisa thing, <laughs> uh, I got a phone call from Benji and Elisa yesterday. Yes. And she did. She doesn't want it to be that way. She was kind of like apologized and everything. Which well, that's I thought wonderful. Was, yeah, it was fine. Okay, so I, so the air is cleared. But, in other but words. the yeah. thing is, I, I think it, you yeah. guys, when people are new in that situation, sometimes they're very nervous and shy. And maybe it comes across as... Uh, as Arrogant. A, Maybe it does right. come across that way, but but she was absolutely. I think anyone that came and sat and we talked to, I think it was very friendly. <laughs> Headphones just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stephanie was trying to be friendly because she Stephanie always came over to talk be right? before you with Elisa when it was just Benji. Well, some or, people or thought that that wasn't whoever, a friendly whoever you were with, she was ab always able to joke around with you, right or wrong. There was never a problem. We've been we've been hanging out for years at these parties and and functions, and there was never a problem like that, was there? I, I don't even get I don't get the point. He's saying something has changed right. that you used to be the guy we could clown around with, right. and now all of a sudden you, he can't. They can clown around with me. Well, uh -oh. it didn't seem that way. I know I, I don't. I and I brought that is, up. To, I brought that up to you yesterday, and also I explained it to Elisa on the phone yesterday, and she understood. I don't understand why you don't understand. I don't understand why you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. King of all blacks, you're on the air with uh, everybody. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, Ron, you know I love you, baby. But but I think that he was he was doing that poem because he thinks you're an asshole, Howard. Well, you know, listen. What? I don't think Ronnie thinks I'm an asshole, what but he doesn't saying? understand oh, that yeah, it's an okay. insult. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, I know you love me. That's such bullshit, too. You do every, you do every, dude. You could do, you do everything you can to stick a knife in my goddamn back. Who are you kidding? You big dope. 
I don't give a shit what you say anyway. I really don't care. You know, I, I did it because I wanted to let Howard know he's an asshole. Yeah, like I really would do that after 26 years with the guy. I'm going to make sure everybody knows I think he's an asshole. You're a moron. Ronnie, you could be married to Go buy your Lexuses and your 22-inch wheels and your fancy fucking cars and, and your goddamn bathroom faucets, whatever you got there. I don't, I don't want to hear about your bullshit. I have guests to take care of out there more important than you. Who's Riley guess? Martin's much, Riley better, Martin than, much his, better than you and his wife. And his wife. And his entourage. I don't want to listen to you. There's nothing to listen to you. You're nobody. To me, you're nobody, man. You are nobody. I don't want to hear All you. All right. I'm Thank done. You, I'm done. Okay. All right, let me just say something to Ronnie real quick because he just cursed me out. Can I just say something? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Ronnie, you could be married for 25 years and never love your wife. I, 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 you, could be, you could work for him all the time and become resentful. Yes. Hey, that's all I'm saying. Good, good. Uh, he left, but uh, I'll pass the word on. Well, to him. he wouldn't have understood anyway. No. Yeah. By the way, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you know what? You're wasting your uh, breath. Hey, Howard, what kind of suit does he have on today? Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, King. Uh, hey, does he have a single? Does he have three buttons or two buttons? <laughs> I think it had. I, I, don't I know. didn't. Count I didn't today. count his buttons. Thank you, King. Wow, what a morning. Well, yeah. Well, now we're discovering that a whole bunch of stuff went on at the party that we're completely unaware of. Yeah, I got a tape from Benji's girlfriend last night, her voice recording, uh, basically saying, gee, if anything went on where I offended you, uh, uh -huh. please uh, know that I didn't mean it. And I, I, wrote, I wrote back, Benji, I said, listen, you didn't offend me at all. And uh, you don't have to apologize for anything. Hmm. So, you know, the Christmas party always uh, leads to lots I, it of... It was like two different parties. I had yeah. a wonderful time. Yeah, I was, I was all right until I <laughs> learned that some people think I'm an ass, but Ronnie doesn't think it. Some people think you are crazy. Uh, some think people think you're a dumbass <laughs> and a douche. Well, Not Ronnie, me. Why don't you think tell us right, eh? every negative thing you've ever yeah, heard? Right. I don't think you're a dumb fucking moron, but, <laughs> but some they people are do. Wrong. I think you almost got through to him when you said about the thank you note. Like, would you yeah. write, hey, Howard, there was you know, a moment. it's amazing. Uh, you sent me a beautiful gift. I just want to thank you. And, you know, all these people think you're an asshole. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were so sensitive. I thought you was Howard Stern. <laughs> You I always say I'm wrong. on the air, you don't care. Well, you must care. Who was that at the party then? <laughs> Maybe it was an imposter. Uh, Are you was, Howard Stern? It was a lookalike. Because <laughs> Howard Stern would not be a friend. If I didn't take him out of the car and didn't make him a security guy. I hope he never stops writing poems. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to write one more <laughs> for New Year's. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's got to write one more poem. <laughs> cookies are my weakness. I, I don't eat cupcakes. I eat cookies. <laughs> First of all, let me uh, bring Chauncey in, who has this tape of the chick from Ever Essence, Evanescence rather, bad mouthing me. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. Cooley, go ahead. Hey, what's up, Howard? I'm very, uh, I don't like you no more. I like the show, but I can't believe you got this guy on after what happened with scores. You're never allowed in scores, are you? I never, I haven't tried to get in. I think It shouldn't be. I don't think Lonnie would let you in. But you know, Howard, unlike yourself, I like to experiment and go to all the clubs, not just Do one. what you want, but you didn't have to write books about scores. It wasn't a book. It was a movie about somebody who worked at scores. All right, well, I, I, I don't like it. And Lonnie doesn't like it. I know Lonnie and if doesn't, doesn't like it. it I don't like you. You don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's, Lonnie's that's, the man. Ronnie told me that Chauncey is not welcome. Hey, can, I, can, can I tell you something? Ronnie, Ronnie you know has something a about major this. Major attitude. When I come here, it's like going into Attica. Ronnie is so angry at me that he has to. You can see him biting his lip. Well, Ronnie's not allowed to do that. He's got to be yeah, professional. Ronnie. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. Yeah, you're he not allowed, not by the way. Professional. Ronnie. You can't bring your personal grudges into he does. work. I'm he not. Does. I'm not bringing any personal grudges. He told grudges. me after. You know what? Can I tell you something? Go ahead. Ronnie, I have no problem with you. I really don't. I got a problem with you, though. I know. I know you do. <laughs> after the last time I was on the show, I went into the hallway. Do you know he pulled me aside and said, I don't like you? 
I so you can't no, do that. No, I no, never said I, you can't don't do lie. that. Hey, listen, it's on film. They listen, filmed it. Don't they lie. It. All right. It. Don't lie. He did. Don't lie. He pulled me aside and said, "Hey, point his finger at me." Said, "I don't like you. Don't even never mention my name on here because I really don't like hey, you." Don't bring that into work, I Ronnie. That's he's I, my guest. I, I get nervous. I Come here. Is guy gonna okay. pop me or something? I didn't do it. Well, Ronnie, right? you're saying you have a problem with him. What's your problem? Hey, tell me your problem. Though. I, I have like no that. problem. No, you do have a problem. I don't have a problem. Tell me about what's going on in scores. He's not allowed, right? No, let him, he he can go to the other place that he talks about all the time. Right. Good. I, I agree. Ronnie, right. Ronnie, right. right. exactly. I, I go to all the places. I don't make any certain place my life. I think it's very sad that you spend every moment of your life. In <laughs> yeah, school. every it's moment of age. my life. That's right. Every moment. I don't know. It's you know, but it, I have no. Again, I have no problem don't, with you. Do I me did. a favor. Don't lie, though. I never said that to you to your face. I, you never did. said yes, it you to did. you. Yes, I never you said it to you. I, I never swear on my mother's life, you did. Yeah. Okay. You did, and it was. It made bring, me feel. Bring me proof, and, okay? And, and it's all right. They filmed it. Yes, yeah, Doug, Doug Goodstein was right how there. How many lies? Doug have you, how many right lies there. have you told on this show already? So is Doug Goodstein here to tell us what happened? He's right he here. came and went. Oh, there he is. He's hiding. Oh. Do you want to tell us Doug, the truth? Tell the truth. You were right there. What I happened? Tell the truth. And to be honest with you, not to bust your balls, I have no idea what you're talking about. When I came out, it's on camera. The camera Zero. was on. The camera was on. I know you're not busting my balls. You probably, either you, you were filming. Well, if it was on, but I swear, the I, I'm not making up. I swear my mother's life. I came out into the hallway, and Ronnie pointed at me and said, never talk about me again on the air. I don't like you. I really don't like you. And I don't. I'll, well, that's I don't, not right. He shouldn't I be think doing I that. remember that, and I swear to God, I don't. I that. thought you guys were, were, were filming. I thought you guys were going to step in. I thought it was going to be trouble. I really did when it happened. Do you remember this? No. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, know, no, I wouldn't say it wasn't true. Is this your last appearance? <laughs> I don't know. Is I don't it? remember. No, no, no. But all. when he did that. No, it was. Just, I think it was the second, not the last one, the one before that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll find out. But whatever. Who cares? You guys work out your differences. Okay. We should fight. I don't Just for the record, I would fight. we I would all don't fight like you. <laughs> in the ring. If you want me to fight? I'll do it for free. You don't have to even pay me. I don't think Ronnie wants to fight you in the ring. This is why I called you in. Okay. <laughs> he is not allowed at scores, no. right? No. If he walked into score, like if he tried to get in, what would Lonnie do? He would. He would uh, Lonnie he would, would, Lonnie's a nice guy. He wouldn't all of a sudden go, oh, no, it's okay, Chelsea, no, come on in. He'd let me in. But he I wouldn't would? get, I wouldn't get the free would? drinks. As long as I'm paying, but... You know, of course, Ronnie doesn't pay for anything when he goes there. So how do you know what I do? Because I played the game that you played there for three years. That's how I know. I went there every night, had the free meals. I had the, the lobster. I had the drinks. He sat me down with the girls. I, I lived the life that you're living now for three years. And so I know exactly what and you're I, talking and about. I don't, you, pay, I don't pay for anything. Right? You don't pay for anything, no. Oh, okay. I know for a fact that you don't pay for anything. How do you know for a fact? Because I played the same game for three years that you're p playing now over there. You're such a liar, man. You, you make do up you things pay? in your do you, head. Do you pay? Yeah. Oh, now you're lying. Now you're a liar. Do you pay you for drinks there? I didn't say I didn't <laughs> say I didn't <laughs> pay so, for drinks. Of course you don't pay. Of course you don't pay for drinks. But I tip yeah. the girls. I, I pay I, for my I dances. Hope so. Yeah, you pay for the dances. Yeah, okay. So, what are you saying? I don't pay. You don't pay for drinks, and you don't pay for food, and you don't pay to get in. Okay. Does anybody... Goodbye. Wait. Goodbye. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. We need security in here. <laughs> and like, I'll leave here, and he'll beat me up out in the hallway. Ronnie's got to restrain himself. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. No, he <laughs> says... Don't you tell me goodbye, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, he, this guy, this, yeah, he got his throat. You got to see, he got, he and, got, and you hear how it said, and you hear how it said, when I come here from now on, I want you to treat me like the other people that come here, and not like a prison convict. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Back into the hallway. Uh, he is boiling. You want to come over here and say that? Oh, I'm not afraid of you. You want to come over here? I will, yes, I'll come, come over here. there. No, no, no. Just what sit, just calm down. It's here. Ronnie, just well, sit Ronnie, down. You, Ronnie, get back. We get, get to restrain Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie get back. Wait, wait, Chauncey, you can sit down. Chauncey. Ronnie, you better, Ronnie, you better back calm back down. You're going to lose your job here. Get Chauncey, over there. If you hit him, you yeah. know Tom will have you out of here. So get get back. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my goodness. Chauncey, sit down. Okay. Sit down. He uh, says he has no problem. Look at how angry he is. Wow. There's my Where do these people come from? <laughs> <laughs> what an ass. Let me ask you something, hey, Ronnie. If, if, if Chauncey tried up. to get into scores today, would Lonnie back down and let him get in? I don't think so. You don't? I don't think he'd let him in. That's the point. Hey, it's up to Lonnie. But uh, coming from Ronnie, who knows? You know, it's... Yeah. But whatever.
but you're some kind of a, a wacky guy. Lonnie, was that good to you, and this is how you treat him? But, but Because that's what, how he is. No. He's, a, he's a rodent. <laughs> He's a rat. He's a total rat. You're, you're a middle-aged man who hangs yeah. out with 20-year-old strippers. Yeah, and what do you I do? I want to know why everybody and what, left and what the room. You, and what do you do? What do you do? I'm a journalist. Oh. And I, I have a life. <laughs> yeah, you're I have a, a journalist. I have, I have a life. You I have, have a, a life. life. I have, have a, a life. life. I have a life outside of a strip club. Well, you need to feel youthful. You need to feel young. You need to feel like women are still attracted to you. So in order to do that, you have to hang out in scores and, and, and uh, get free drinks and just sit there and, and feel like... You're a youthful man again when you're really not. It's over for you. Okay. <laughs> it's a fantasy world that you live in, and it's very sad that it becomes such an important part of your life. <laughs> it is the most important part of your life. It's fine to go to scores once in a while. It's fine to go there and have a good time. But when it becomes the focus of who you are, it becomes pathetic. Oh, he should is, go is to... That what, is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, how exactly do you, how do you know all this? How do you know what the rest of my life is? Ronnie, you're easy to figure out. You're not that complicated. What do you do? You write a free magazine? I write a free magazine. Wow, that's great. Yeah, I'm a syndicated journalist. I do TV appearances. I, yeah, on, I, on I, a porno I, channel. I have a life. On porno channel. Oh, yeah, Channel 60, <laughs> Metro Channel is a porn channel. That's right. They play high school sports on the channel. That's a, that's a porn channel. I feel like I'm getting effed when I watch I it. I know, I know. I think it's funny Chauncey thinks he's a journalist. <laughs> Chauncey's really funny because he says to Ronnie, I go to a different club every night. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why, why he's not better. a loser. <laughs> I don't go, no, Chauncey's I, better because he go, goes to different yeah, clubs. When I go to clubs, I go to different clubs. <laughs> I'm loyal to scores. I think that's it's great to be loyal to scores, but do you go to scores every single night? No, you no. go once in a while. I would. I, I just don't want to. No, just, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You have a life. You have a life every single night. All right. You two are obviously not getting along. But, but remember yeah. what Howard said. Because you don't like me. And by the way, Ronnie, I don't dislike you. I don't even I don't really care you. what you like. I don't How's even that? think twice about you. I don't you. give a crap what but you like. But when I come here, you treat, you have to restrain your emotions. Oh, really? Yeah, you do. Okay, we'll see next time you come. You hear that, Well, that's true. Yeah. You do have to back yeah, well, well, I, I do. I do. treat him like a guest. Ronnie is what Ronnie is. I have no bad feelings for Ronnie. I don't think there's anything sad about Ronnie's life. No. No, no, he, he, he's played up for what it is, and I'm sure he has and, a lot of fun. And you played up for what it is for your life, too. What? What, what, <laughs> what, 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 is, what, is, what is your life all about? I played your life What is your life, life all about? <laughs> what is my life all yeah, about? Yeah. Busting your balls, coming here, making fun of you. That's what my life is all about, Ronnie. <laughs> 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 That's what I live for. I sit well, around home my house all day making jokes about you, thinking about you. Obviously. <laughs> I'm obsessed obviously with you. That's, <laughs> obviously, that's what you're doing, man. Ronnie sort of does hang out at scores a lot. He's best friends with Lonnie and now has become some sort of Consultant. Like, Consultant. Kind of, he's like, sort of like he walks around like he owns the place. How much money have you spent in lap dances in the last year? I never figured it out. Oh, my God. I can imagine. When that money can Millions. be towards your kids. Millions. The money could be going towards your wife, your kids, your family. And you know what? You're giving it to 20-year-old strippers. That's right, because i got to make myself feel young, man. You should be real young, real proud. I am very proud. You should be. Yes, I am. If I was your, if I was your son, I'd be very proud of you. Thank you. All right, listen. Ronnie, you're not can a you loser. Can you send Ronnie out for coffee so I can leave here in safety? Uh, you'll be fine. Ronnie. Yes. What's going to happen when Chauncey gets out here? Absolutely nothing. Unless he wants to start something. You're calm? I'm going to do my job, like I always do. Why did you have to attack Ronnie? Well, I, Ronnie Ronnie doesn't like me. I, I have no problem with Ronnie. I think he's actually a decent guy. You're calm? Yeah, I'm calm. Very calm. Why do you think he decided to attack you? Because he wasn't getting enough air time, so he had to stir up something, so... Might as well start with me. I have no problem with Ronnie. You know, I, just, I'm, I feel bad that he takes life so serious, and I offended him somehow. But uh, I don't take it that serious. To me, this is a comedy show, and I just love to have a good time. You're upset, though. I'm not upset. Nothing to be upset about. 